everyone, I'm Emma, and welcome to part two of the City Witch 4 playthrough compilation. Like I said in the last one, I'm really sorry that I couldn't just make it one big movie. YouTube kind of has a limit of 12 hours now, so with the video being 23 and something hours, I had to split it into two parts. So here's the part two, the second half of the entire playthrough. I hope you guys enjoy having this to work, sleep, study too, do your hobbies, play your games, maybe also be playing some Stardew, and leave a like if you enjoyed the last part. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Spreading weeds have caused damage to my farm. Where? I thought I had this message a couple of days ago. Wait, what? Did I miss these three spots? Oh no. Oh well. Not first. We've got the coffee machine from Evelyn. Um, I'm gonna have to just yeet it on the floor for now. All right, let's see what I can sell from here. So probably the... No, I'm gonna keep the morels just in case we're crafting. I'm not really too bothered about the rice shoots. Sold a few bits of forage and stuff. And the ancient seed. I think I might go ahead and plant. I don't think I filled out the greenhouse yet. I should probably also check on that because I don't think I have in a little while. Oh, we have some new ones ready to go. Oh, and our star fruit is ready too. How did I not even think about that? Oh my god. All right, let's get some more seeds going. Um, I can probably go ahead and grab this star fruit. Means we have a bit more star fruit to go towards our star fruit wine. But any gold ones for now, I'm going to keep for the missing bundle too. And whilst we're at it, we might as well put the coffee machine in the house. Oh, look, the aliens escaped. Of course it has. I mean, I'm probably going to be a bit happier putting this in my room now that it's not got something in there to watch me sleep. And with the star fruit, I do tend to keep the silver ones, especially when I haven't got that many for now. The gold ones can be sold. Evelyn, I just gave you a load of leeks. What did you do with them all? She wants another leek. I mean, I suppose I could bring one over, but not right now. We can do that anytime. I just need to remember to do it at some point. <laughs> so we've got 18 more ancient seeds to plant, which is amazing. Slowly filling out our little greenhouse. And then I think now it's time to actually head back to the island. Oh, let's grab the green beans first. Oh, I see there are weeds around. Let's go pick all of those up before they cause any actual issues. And then let's see down here if we can get any other walnuts from these muscle little things. Wow, it's taken me today three to realize I don't have animation canceling on. <laughs> there we go. Come on, give me a walnut, one of you. Well, no new walnuts there, but let's go hand in that banana. Actually, what can I leave here for now? Um, I'll keep the coal and the copper on me just in case I get any more, which I probably will in the volcano. Ooh, artifact spot. I'm glad we found that banana now. Hello, sir. Enjoy that banana. Thank you for the walnuts. That's a good way to get that one done nice and early. All right, let's do this. <gasps> Walnut. We should be able to get a fair amount of them in here. Probably need to zoom out actually in a second. Much better. And I think what's also quite nice is I'm in here with a burglaring as well. So I should be able to get a fair amount of cinder shards. Just kind of slowly as we make our way along. This one has a button. I mean, 130 and we're only still on floor one. That's kind of not ideal. Maybe I just need to focus on getting to the top. Oh no, is there another button? Oh, where is it? Over there. Hey, first I am Wart Totem. Not that I kind of need it, but I mean, they're still nice to have, right? Got another one with a button in here. Oh my god. And I definitely want to get to... Oh no, I can't reach him. Well, I didn't get any dragon teeth. Oh no, let's not die. I'm so glad I've got this heal spell. It doesn't use very much mana either. Although there is a free dragon's tooth on the floor over there. Let's deal with all these enemies first. Got our first magma cap. Let's check what's in this chest here. A walnut and some boots. Ooh, the boots are actually better, aren't they? Oh no, seven defense, but no immunity. I think I want to keep the immunity for now. Oh, and we've also got the mummified bat. That's a win. I usually have to spend ages farming for that damn thing. All right, on to the next. This isn't going too badly, I feel. It could be worse. <gasps> Another prismatic shard. That's a win. Let's go. I'm going to start keeping my dragon's teeth. No, not dragon's teeth. Cinder shards in my hotbar, so I can actually keep track of how many I've got. Not gonna miss out that little button down there. I am getting a little bit unlucky with the amount of button floors I'm getting though. That is the only thing. Hey, we made it to the fifth floor. Whilst we're here, should I buy the recipes? I probably should, shouldn't I? Um, got any loot for me here? Oh, got our first little robot. Thank you for the diamond. Let's refill the watering can whilst we're here. I could have actually teleported. I just realized I didn't actually need my watering can. That's quite funny. We have the blink spell. Oh no, not these lighter, brighter fire people things. I hate them. It's like slime, but worse. The only thing is I keep my blink spell on a different bar and I don't always want to like switch. It's kind of a pain. More walnuts and cinder shards. I would take that. Oh, we've got a journal scrap too. And then I can pick up that piece of ginger. Hey, there's a walnut little map thing. Now, where are the buttons? There's one over here. Hopefully it's the only one. It is. Okay, let's go. Hey, level nine. We're going to do this. As long as I don't take absurdly long on this level, we're going to be good. Oh my God, we actually got two mummified bats. What's going on? There's a piece of loot up here. Sneaky little chest. <gasps> Dwarf hammer. Um, sap. Sap can go away. With our animation cancelling, that would be pretty good. And it's definitely so much quicker killing everything with that. Uh, 
Level 10. I just, uh, no, now I remember about the prismatic child that's already here. I'll grab the other walnut on the way out, but let's grab this first. And then I'm going to go ahead and try and enchant. I think I'm going to start with, do I start with my pickaxe? Probably my pickaxe. What are we going to get? We have got the powerful enchantment. That's exactly the one I wanted as well. We take less hits to hit things. That'd be great. Don't have enough to do anything else yet, so we'll leave that as it is. But it is almost midnight anyway. Actually, on our way past, we should have time to go and drop off that mummified bat thinking about it. Hello. Let's give you one of these. To think. Generations have come and gone whilst this little bone lay hidden beneath the soil. Now it's mine. Well, I have one too. And would you look at that? With this donation, we've got another full set piece completed. Got a little something waiting for you behind the counter when you're ready. Let's collect that walnut. And then whilst I'm here, let's do this little question thing as well. So I think this one was 22. Got another walnut for that. And then I think, can I do the starfish yet? I can. Is this the one that's 18? It is. Okay, we're now done. Sweet. Let's head back before we pass out. Successful day. Even if it wasn't even a very good luck day. Actually, whilst we're here, let's unlock the desert trader. Desert trader? Island trader. But I can always get these things mixed up. And now I need to figure out what we actually need from here. So... I think the only thing I really need is the mango sapling. I suppose I could do with the banana sapling because I still have to be able to uh, ship one at some point. Although I might actually find one out by the rainbow tree in the summer. I don't know. Maybe it's not worth us doing just yet. Let's go ahead and slap everything away that we can. I'm going to sell any like minerals we got here. Actually, not the emeralds because we're kind of low on those. Maybe not the ruby either. I'm going to sell one of the magma caps and we'll keep all of the dragon's teeth, of course. And then let's get some sleep. Got another like 12 grand last night, so it's another relatively decent money day. And oh, it's raining. Um, oh no, I just realized I sold the topaz that was over here. Uh, ooh, we've got a garlic ready. I'm going to leave that there, obviously, for um, Mr. Froggy Dude. Let's go and see if we can find the next. Oh, do we have enough walnuts for this? We need 20. Okay, we need six more. Should have probably brought my fishing rod, really. Um, I've probably got it in the chest here, actually, thinking about it. But first, I want to go and see... Wait, what was I doing? Oh, yes, I was looking for this. So I might actually be able to... Oh, I probably should have kept the amethyst too. What I'm going to do is teleport back to the farm and then see if we can go ahead and grab the other gems that we might need. So I think it can also be... We've got a ruby. Um, I think it's aquamarine. We've got that, obviously. Topaz and amethyst. Take the opportunity to leave anything here that we can. I think I'll leave the dragon's teeth here too. And apparently I need to ship a cinder shard, so I'll go ahead and do that. And then I'll leave my prismatic shards here just in case, because I don't really need them right now anymore. All right, let's go to Island East this time, because we kind of need to be out here now. So we know that the topaz was in the west, the aquamarine was in the north, so that leaves us with a couple of options down here. Um, so it's not those. Let's try this. I can't remember if I have to talk to it when it's the right way round. No. There we go, we got it. So it was the amethyst over here and the ruby at the bottom. Or was it the other way around? I've forgotten already. But either way, we're only one walnut short now. So maybe we should go ahead and get our fishing rod and do some fishing. There's my fishing rod. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fish out by the dig site because we can get the lucky ring there potentially. That would make the most sense. I mean, I know you can technically get the lucky ring anywhere else, but if I do it over here, more panning spots tend to show up and I need to zoom out to be able to do that too. Got a little panning spot down here. Can I reach it from here? Yes, I can. Oh, it's a bad luck day, so we're not going to get the lucky ring today, but that's fine. I'm not sure if the red is, like, just a bad luck day or if it's the worst luck day. I mean, even if it's a bad luck day, it makes our chances, like, 0.1%, and that kind of isn't worth it. If it's the worst luck day, though, it's literally zero. We physically can't, uh, get that lucky ring today. Hey, golden walnut. There's our 20. We'll go ahead and open up that resort right now, and then we'll go and check the little new area that we're going to unlock. Here you go, little parrot. Have some walnuts. Hey, and now we should get some visitors over here at some point when it's not raining. Oh, I should have brought flute blocks too, shouldn't I? Maybe we go and do that. Can I make them yet? No, I think I need the special order. Okay, that's fine. Let's just get the ones we can for now. There's one. Here's one. Then we go into the tunnel. Then there's one over here. And then it's just a case of waiting for our little visitors to come in here. But first, let's try and catch the stingray. Hopefully we get some more walnuts in the process of that too. Hey, walnut number two from fishing. This is definitely a stingray. Or is it? I know they're reasonably difficult to catch, but I don't remember. I feel like I don't catch many of these. This is one of those fish I don't catch unless I really have to, and now is one of those moments. Hey, we got it. Wow, thank you for the single piece of bait. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was a bubble spot outside, so I might go ahead and take advantage of that. It might have already ended by now. So annoying that I don't have the flute block with me, or rather the recipe. Oh, walnut number three. That was nice and quick. 
I suppose it probably wouldn't be a bad thing for us to carry on with working on our fishing level. We're in spring year two and I still haven't got level 10 fishing. I just don't like fishing. It would definitely be good if the bubble spot could give us the last two walnuts we need from fishing and then I don't have to worry about it on here anymore. We've got a journal scrap. What does this one say? This is another one of the actual, like, more like actual journal pieces. I want the ones with the maps on them. No, I don't want trash. Unless I've miscounted and I've already got all the fishing walnuts. I didn't think I got any at all yet. And I'm also talking about, like, before today, you know, in the last episode. I don't think I've got any at all in that one. It is starting to make me doubt myself, though. At least for now, this bubble spot is being pretty kind to us. <gasps> Another walnut. There we go. That's more like it. Come on, give me one more. Damn it. No, we do still need the fish. I need to remember that we do actually still want the fish. And there's our last walnut. Thank goodness. Let's get out of here. I think I will go ahead and check how far along we are with the walnut room. But first, let's sell off any fish we don't need. I'm going to sell the stingray. Okay, I think we're good. Probably going to be time for another chest as well. Oh my god, I've got 350 wood just chilling over here. Let's make another two chests. Oops. Let's try that again. There we go. Um, What am I going to remove from here? So any fish can come out and fishing related items. Those can go over here. And then in the next one over, I think I'm going to put all my crops. Oh, I should probably plant those taro tubers. Um, those, those. I'll keep the coconuts in here because those are going towards um, the golden coconuts. Just need one more of them. Any other crappy bits in here? Not really. Seeds. Seeds can move. That's basically it. Now, it says that there's taro tubers here, but I don't see anything, so I don't really know exactly what's happened there. But we're just gonna pretend we don't see it and move on. Now, somewhere over here is that walnut that we have from that map. There it is. Oh, and we got the quality bobber as well. That's awesome. Now, let's check on our walnut room progress. 78 out of 100. Okay, we actually are quite a ways away. I think we've got quite a few that we can get from harvesting uh, our crops when those are ready. Pretty sure there's still ones left from killing stuff, from mining. Obviously we've got the mermaid puzzle left and the pirate's cove. I'm not sure if they're going to be here today. Let's go check. Pretty sure there was something about even numbered days, but I can't quite remember what exactly the conditions were. It might have even been later in the day. It might be more like seven o'clock. All right, maybe let's just pop on home a sec and just double check what we've got going about the, the bulletin board. Oh, and our wine's ready. That was a good thing I came back to check. I could probably do a making some more kegs too, actually thinking about it. So let's have a look. Um, I know I left some wood over on the farm, but that's fine. Copper and iron wise, how am I doing? Oh no, I need more copper. All right, well, let's do deal with that real quick because copper doesn't take that much time. Oh, am I out of coal? No, I'm not. Oh my God. <laughs> so all this coal farming we've been doing, I can't possibly be out of coal. And I think what I'm actually going to do as well, I didn't realize it was salmon berry season. Now I'm getting iridium quality salmon berries and they are actually a fair amount better than the plain ones so let's put away the rest of the salmon berries that i have no blackberries i should say and then whilst those ones are smelting let's go and check in town oh no i missed another spot here too you guys are probably screaming at me right now about how messy my fields are <laughs> right what have you got for me he has prime produce you want 25 gold star vegetables or we can do the strong stuff for pam um <clears throat> I probably could do the strong stuff. No, I don't think I have enough time for that. Let's do the gold star vegetables because I think the rhubarb counts as a vegetable. I can go and double check that actually. I hope it does. If not, we might run into a little problem here. Let's see. No, it counts as a fruit. Um, uh, what I might have to do then is just like brush plants and parsnips tomorrow. We have a fair amount of spots over here and I can use ginger island too. That's probably what we're going to have to do. Um, so I'm just going to put a massive capital letters. Let's make it bold and put it right at the top so I remember. Next time I need to plant some parsnips. Okay, how many kegs can we make? We can make 17 and then we're out of wood again. Of course we are. That's fine though, that's still a start. But the shed is now definitely more than halfway full. Let's grab all of our star fruit. All done. And as before, I think I'm just going to sell this batch straight away. We don't know, we're a couple of house upgrades off getting casks, so I'm just going to leave it. And then on the rest of this day, I'm going to try and see how many thumb berries I can get. The fact that they're iridium quality now does actually make all the difference and when we're running around at this speed I don't think we're going to have too much issue catching most of them. There is a trick I could have done by restarting my game at the beginning of this day to make my bushes spawn more berries but I didn't realise it was some berry season really until I actually got back to the farm. We'll just have to make do with what we can get. Alright, 1.50am we've got- nope, 2am we've got 63 salmon berries, I'll take it. Given that they're iridium quality, they are so much better. And what do we make from all that? Oh my god, nearly 100 grand? Oh, over 100 grand? What was it? Is it just the starfruit wine? Oh my god, amazing. Yes, it's closed today, so that's kind of annoying. I think what we need to do today is perhaps focus a little bit on the resource grind. 
Oh my god, the animals are so loud today, what the heck? My ears. We've got a bunch of preserves jars and kegs and stuff. <laughs> Bless you! <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we have a bunch of preserves jars and kegs and stuff that we want to be able to make. Uh, we can't do that without the bunch of wood, so we should probably deal with that like ASAP. I'm gonna go check out by the rainbow tree and stuff. Oh, it's very season also. I got a comment saying that I should probably eat some pancakes before I go ahead and harvest the berry bushes, but I'm a bit too lazy to make some. So I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> but it's a very good tip otherwise. It's a very good tip if you're not me. Got a couple of free potatoes and a cherry. I wonder if we just go straight up to the city today actually thinking about it and give them some gifts. Just use the stuff that we foraged, you know? And oh my god, I didn't realize that out here had berry bushes that you could harvest too. That's a major win. We're gonna get so many berries today. Oh yeah, I forgot about the trees. We'll do the trees on the way home. I am really hoping that Gwen likes one of the things we've got on us and maybe Kristoff might be okay with having a potato because I didn't bring any of the actual gifts that I know they like. Hopefully it'll be fine. Hey Cal. The days go by so fast at this age. What can we give him? Um, would you like a daffodil? No, I don't want to eat it. It's a great gift. Okay, so he does like daffodils. We just know he loves cheese. Gwen, would you like a potato? She does not mind potato. And some cherries for Sadie. Oh, I got a cutscene. Who is it? Oh, it's Gwen. Willow, 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 Willow. You won't believe what just happened. Oh, no, I skipped the dialogue. Damn it. I didn't mean to do that. That's, that's awkward. Oh, she got a job. Zuzu Underground hired me. I'll be working there some nights now. Not sure why they hired me, to be honest, but I'm not complaining. I mean, I know you've got a farm and everything, but it's still pretty cool, right? It's badass. Ha, huh, I'm glad you think that. It is pretty badass, isn't it? Being a functioning member of society and all. Honestly, Gwen. It's what they would have wanted. But whatever. See you around, Willow. What? Suddenly went into a whatever. Okay. Oh, bless her. As long as she manages to stay safe, that's all that matters there. <gasps> Mr. Kristoff, would you like a potato? Hmm? Oh, a gift? Thank you, Willow. I'm very thankful for this. Good to know he also likes potatoes. Not all hope is lost. Bit of a friendship review. Oh my god, buddy, we're already at eight hearts. We've also got cow almost full from all that cheese we've been giving him. It's funny because Kristoff, like, we obviously met him one of the first ones and we found out he likes emeralds, but because you can't get, like, quality ratings on the emerald, you can't really accelerate his friendship that much. I need to find out what other things that he likes so that we can maybe give him some sort of, like, gold quality or even silver quality would be better. Got a buddy over here. Do you like salmon berries? Salmon berries are fine. Oh, I need to talk to him too. I always go and remember to give them gifts, but half the time I don't remember to just talk to them. I was hoping you'd come by today. I was just thinking about you. That's not weird. I'm just gonna leave. Nothing happened. But just see if we can go find David. I can never find Selena, so I've kind of just given up on actually trying to hunt her down. Now what can we give to him? Let's see if he likes daffodils. Very neutral. Okay. Now we know. We'll just stick to cheese and aquamarine. <laughs> Alright, home and wood chopping time. We've got coconut as well. Skip this area because there's too many people around. And then we'll pick up every full tree on the way home. It should give us a good amount of fibre as well. Quite a lot of that laying around. And as tempting as it is to clear these quarries, I need to really focus on the wood today. This will still be here and it'll only build up anyway. Try my best not to destroy any saplings as well because obviously we want them to grow into nice big trees, but because they regrow out in the world kind of quick, at least compared to saplings that you plant elsewhere, it's not the end of the world if I accidentally destroy a few saplings. Right, okay, I got almost a stack of wood. I'm really pleased with that. All of our jars are done, so let's start off a new batch. And I think it's the jars I'll try and see if I can add more of today. I don't know if I want to hold off on the kegs until maybe I've got a bigger shed, I don't know. But let's see, so I need wood, stone, and I think I need coal. This is immediately going to use up basically all of my coal, but what can we do? 17 more jars. And yeah, as expected, it's the coal that we're now short on. So first things first, before I forget, I'm going to add a jar out here so I can indicate if they're done or not. And then the rest is going to go inside. And because I've only just started off another batch today, I can go ahead and fill these up too. Oh no, that looks awkward. There we go. And then at least then the one on the outside will be synced up with the ones that are last to be done. I also used up basically all my wood, so that's not ideal. <laughs> just nearly a stack of wood gone in literally a second. Oh, and I also got a couple of comments in my last video pointing out that the cloud was actually what was making my crops disappear. I noticed that they've actually come back and it's just a visual bug, so I think we're going to be okay. Thank goodness for that. I probably will still be careful though, just in case. Don't want to risk our precious strawberries. I do also need to go ahead and make some more teleport cores. I could probably make quite a few more actually. There's no point uh, 
only making a few at a time and then having to make loads more again. So I've got the 31 here. Kind of annoying that it came out with a one on the end, but I'm too lazy to put them all back. There we go. Now I've got 35 of them. Okay, so it kind of makes a round number in the end, doesn't it? <laughs> and then tomorrow we'll go get our parsnips. So PS Prime Produce. Oh, wait. When can I do that? Do I have to wait six days for the rhubarb? Maybe I do. Okay, well, what I could probably do is go ahead and maybe accelerate everything by a stage. So we'll use one of our prismatic shards up. We'll go ahead and do that. Oh, the strawberries are ready today now. <gasps> oh my god. I was not expecting that. Well, let's go ahead and harvest them tonight. Would be rude not to. And now the rhubarb's only going to be done in four days, so then I've got a little bit more time to deal with Pierre's prime produce. This one random missing- no, I missed a spot, didn't I? That's what happened. I remember now. Oh well. No, I picked one of the blue jazz. Oh, it's fine. We only need one for this. Do I have any more strawberry plants? I don't think I do. I think that was all of them. Yes, it was. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and sell any gold or silver ones. I'm going to keep a few strawberries in here for recipes. And the rest are going to go in the shed for preserving. Well, that was a very productive day. How much did we make? We made a good 22 grand. And today's a good luck day. Ooh, I've got speed grow. Speed grows all in bold here, so I don't know if I bother doing that at the moment. Oh, I need it for the star fruit, actually, thinking about it, and I definitely have enough money. I'm noticing here that all my ancient fruit's done, so let's go ahead and pick all those and get some more plants going. I do definitely enjoy the fact that... Wait, where's my seed makers? Oh, I usually keep seed makers in the greenhouse, but I haven't on this playthrough. I kind of forgot. Um, I usually enjoy the fact that... Wait, what was I even saying? Okay, nine fruit got me 19 seeds, and yeah, what I was saying is that I really do enjoy the fact that the tiles stay tilled in the greenhouse. They never get ruined like they do out in the uh, actual farm. Oh my god, satisfying. Perfectly filled out the first half. With the rest of the coal I have left, I am just going to go ahead and smelt some iron. You do need more iron bars for the kegs as well. I also have a leak on me too, because I want to be able to go and give Evelyn her leak for George. Maybe I'll give some fruit out today too. And what do we got on the board today? Clint wants 40 copper ores. I'm gonna leave that alone. I forgot for a moment what I actually came out for and we're going to Evelyn, so let's give everyone an apricot. Maybe we should give Lewis one too. Here you go. <gasps> we got the cutscene. Willow, what's the meaning of all this? Is this some kind of prank? No, George. We wanted to show our appreciation. Leek. My favorite, just like mummy used to make so many years ago. You mean she used to grow them or like? <laughs> hmm, well, well that, Hmm. I guess maybe I'm not as forgotten and ignored as I thought. Thanks, hun. You made no man's day. Glad you enjoyed the leaks. Evelyn, this is for you. Oh my, it looks wonderful. That's very kind of you. And also, this is also for you. Oh, thank you, dear. This leak looks delicious. George will be so happy. He loves when I make eggs with leeks for breakfast. Sounds like an interesting dish. Ooh, 500 gold for that too? Oh, we'll take it. Today I definitely will go and take the bus. Let's uh, continue the trend of trying not to look suspicious with the fact that we can just get anywhere at all times. Hi Pam. Penny says I've spent way too much time at the saloon. Well, at least now you've got your bus job also, but should make it easy to take care of your bar tab. Okay, to the desert. I will just go ahead and buy a buttload of speed grow, I think, because we have enough money to. I'll just go ahead and get a stack. I mean, it's an investment, but it's one we're going to make use of. Oh my god, I spent basically half my gold. <gasps> There's wood out here too. I know it's probably best that I keep these palm trees around for coconuts, but I do have a fair amount at home, so I probably will just bring them with me next time I go to Ginger Island. Get a few traded up. Maybe we'll just leave these ones up here. Give them a little shake. Come on, give me a coconut, anyone. No? Not a single coconut? Okay. Disappointment. I should have brought three prismatic shards from Magic Rock Candy. Maybe I'll take care of that actually today. I think it's today. We have six prizzies left. I'll take three. And then that'll do us nicely next time we go to Skull Cabins. I think this time we will go ahead and teleport to the desert. Be funny if it's not even today. Only one way to find out. I mean, there is another way. I could Google it, but that's no fun. Hello, Desert Trader. Yes, Magic Rock Candy is Thursdays. I also see that I want some more pigs as well. So how many have I got so far? Um, I literally just have one. Okay, we should probably go take care of that. And what do you want? Three Omni Geos? That's pretty easy. I should have a fair few of those. <gasps> Cinder Sap. I think Cinder Sap's regrown. We can go ahead and collect all that one too. First we put to Marnie's. Let's buy... Should I buy one or two today? I think I'll buy two. Sapu the pig. And one more. What have we got? Prissy the other pig. I'll take it. <laughs> Do a bit of foraging. A bit of wood chopping. I'm just glad the forest has finally regrown. Oh my god, so many berries. So many berries. 
Bro, I think we've officially deforested the entire forest. Ooh, I missed one berry bush. We've got over 200 salmon berries now, and how much wood did we get? Nearly another stack. I'm literally going to use that in like a second. <laughs> Stopping into the sewers to say hi to Krobus while we're here, because I'm pretty sure I've got some horseradish on me. Yes, I have. Here you go. Oh no, that's a coconut. That was so close. This is for you. No, I don't want to eat it. Enjoy. Please don't tell anyone about me. Humans tend to destroy things they can't understand. We've got some mix seeds here, void egg, nothing I particularly want to buy. I'll go the town way out. And then tomorrow I think I want to go to Ginger Island, but before I do I'll go and request a shed upgrade for Robin. I think I only need wood for the next phase. Oh, we now really do have almost a stack, so that's fun. Let's sell off the two truffles that we've got, that makes back some of our money. Maybe I should make some more tea sap things too. Um, let me see what I've got in terms of forageables. I don't think I- oh no, I can't make any because I don't have any leaks. I think I still got winter seeds left though. Do I? Oh, I still have over 100, okay. Okay, so, wood and fibre. We can make, oh, more than 25, 50, 71 tea saplings. That's going to get us a lot of money. We are officially out of fibre though, but that's fine. We'll just get some more. Not the end of the world. Maybe I use this night to go coal farming now. So let's make another monster musk. And then I'm going to teleport straight up there. There shouldn't be anyone around. Let's do this. Probably should zoom out too. It's taken me to exactly this moment to realise I don't have animation cancelling on. I think I fixed it. <laughs> that's better. What am I like? Come on, dust sprites. I've only seen like one little group so far. Oh my god, really? Monster musk and it's empty? Okay, that's more like it. This floor is full of them. Oh my god, I'm trapped. <laughs> trapped by ladders. How many ladders? I definitely have the burglar ring. Okay, yeah, I just had to double check that. <laughs> that's more like it. It's also obviously a good opportunity to get a little bit more iron ore as well. That I will not say no to, especially on a good luck day. <gasps> There's an emerald down there. I need that. Wouldn't usually bother running all the way to the bottom, but we need these for Kristoff, so I'll happily grab it, especially in the situation where we get two like we just did. Hello, dust sprites. Oh, there's two down there. There's only two though, I'm too lazy. Ew, it's getting late. I haven't got anywhere near as much coal as I would have hoped, but I suppose I didn't really give myself that much time to do it. Oh my god, please, please. Okay. <laughs> and this, friends, is why I don't play with the rogue. Like, <laughs> I just absolutely suck at combat. 1 a.m., how many more can we get? Come on, no, I wanted to get that one more dust sprite. It sat behind my body. <laughs> oh well, 47 coal, that's still something. How much did we get for all of those tea saplings? 38 grand. That's definitely funded our pigs. Spreading weeds have caused damage to your farm. I'm willing to bet that that's actually on Ginger Island. We'll go check that out in a minute. First, we'll collect the rice pudding recipe from the mail from Evelyn and Harvey robbing me in the night. And 30 hay from Marnie as well. Let's go put that straight in the silo. I should have space in there, I think. How many is actually in there? 48. Okay, I probably need to take care of that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe cut some of that down. But first, let's put everything away from yesterday. Really prefer if my animals didn't make an absolute beeline for my crops. Not that they actually eat them, but I'm pretty sure that's a normal thing to be concerned about. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take the hammer with me. Cinder shards, coconuts. Oh, that's right. I said I wanted to go do the upgrade to the shed, didn't I, first before I went, so... We'll do that. Um, I'm going to go double check actually how much it is. So the upgrade is 20 grand. So we've got more than enough. Everything is fine. So when I say I know I've got more than enough, like I just want to make sure I've got enough money left over to be able to do anything with. Um, now what out of here am I missing? I'm going to take the quality bob. Should I take the quality bob? I don't know. No, I don't really need to right now. Do you want the coconuts? Oh, and the watering can and the pan. Of course. Um, so back in this chest, what happened to all of my... I had iridium quality coconuts and I don't know where they've gone. What the heck have I done with them? Uh, oh, there they are. Oh, we've got loads of them. How many have I got now? I've got 23 on me, so that's a bit too many. I think I also have the key to the town, but I don't think Robin's going to be there right now. Judging by the fact that I can't find my axe anywhere, I'm willing to bet that it's on Ginger Island, or at least I'm hoping it's there. Maybe I can go check out the island first. I can always come home again, can't I? I always forget that this is actually an option. Uh, so let's go to Island West. Wait, did I remember my speed grow? I did not. Okay, that was lucky. I feel like there's something else I'm forgetting, but oh well. Okay, Island West. Got a whole bunch of taro ready to go. Let's get some of that sold off. I'm going to keep all the basic ones, I think. Just for now, at least. I've got another nine coconuts here. We need one more. And then now we can go ahead and speed grow all of the star fruit. It shaved a day off, which is something. Could be better, but could also be worse. There we go, we've shaved another day off the star fruit. so what I'll do is, what are we going to be at? We're going to be at spring 24, so if I put that on my to-do list, I'll remember to come back and harvest it on that day. Completely forgot about the fact that I actually set up an entire chest just for farming-y stuff, so let's plop all of that in there. 
And then I really wanted to be able to get Clint to open some geodes today, but I don't think he's even going to be there. He's probably going to be coming to Ginger Island today, so maybe I'll do those tomorrow. So, um, what am I here for again? I'm here for golden coconuts. You just not sell them today? Well, okay, that's that idea out the window. Or is it because I haven't opened one yet? I don't know. I'm sure it should always be there, right? Maybe it's because I've not found one yet. Um, okay, well, hopefully at some point soon we'll find one. In fact, I'll go and check in the tent where we're at this one at the moment, because I don't know if I'm confusing it with my stream save. Oh yeah, we are a fair amount off, so maybe I just haven't found one yet. There's a coconut in this one. Give me a gold one too. Damn it. Well, I'll probably just leave all of my coconuts in this area just in case. Let's go ahead and check that dig spot that I just heard come up. Dig spot? I mean panning spot. Okay, we got a fossilized tail. That's the thing we need. Hi. Have tail. And that reminds me, I do need to go and check for snake vertebrae over at the farm too. The island farm, that is, of course. <gasps> come on, give me a tail. Damn it. All right, well, I'll leave my coconuts all here and then we'll go ahead and get that shed upgrade from Robin. Oh, I've got three golden coconuts here. Okay, I'm going to take those with me. Oops. I'll leave the rest of the normal coconuts here, though. Okay, back home we go. Let's get up to Robin's. <gasps> Leak. Oh, and the trees are regrown here, too. Well, only one thing to do. Chop it down. Literally every piece of wood is needed. Oh, no, is this cutscene? Demetrius, I didn't tell you to get tomatoes. I said to get fruit. I don't understand. Tomatoes are fruits. When a normal person says they want fruit, they never mean tomatoes. It doesn't matter what the scientific classification is. No, it's the culinary one that matters. Willow, I'm glad you're here. You'll be able to put this argument to rest. How would you classify a tomato? I mean, honestly, I know scientifically it's a fruit, but in general, you eat it as a vegetable. Really? I figured a farmer would know the correct answer. Don't be rude. I just want you to understand my point of view. It's hard for me to know exactly what assumptions I should make when you tell me something. I know that feeling. But I'll try and get better at it. Thanks for your help, Willow. Oh, another one. Oh, the flute block recipe. We need this. Hi, Willow. I was just cleaning some dust off my saw. Have you ever made anything out of wood? Yes. I've made too many things out of wood. Great, then this blueprint should be a piece of cake for you. I think we've become good enough friends that I can trust you with my carpentry secrets. Here, let me show you the blueprints. Flute block and drum block, there we go. So we could do that today too, because it's actually raining. You can use these to get creative on your farm. It feels good to be able to decorate your house with things you made yourself. I agree, I'm just not very good at decorating my farm in general. Oh, we got another one. Hello, what's happening with all the cutscenes today? Oh, it's Linus, right? Are you hungry? I can make you some lunch. How about some leftover cave carrots too? That's very nice of you, but no thanks. I've had great luck foraging today. Why do I feel like I've had this cutscene before? Maybe I had it on another say, I don't know. It feels like I've already done this cutscene, I'm so confused. Willow, you look like you have something to say. I'm just pleased that Linus is doing well. Thanks, Willow. You had me worried there. I thought you were going to ask me to move on to the farm with you. You know, I consider you my closest friend in the valley. You never tried to fix me. You respect my way of life, even if you don't understand it. I really appreciate that. Ah, oh, can you smell that? A sweet aroma of ripe berries. Look how excited he is. <laughs> what a sweetheart. All right, well, we're back outside again. Let's try that again. Hi, Robin. Can you construct me a big shed? Wait, why can't I build? Oh, I didn't bring the stone. No. Okay, well, we'll go and sort that. I should be able to get back in time. Especially if I blink half the way home as well. You know, we definitely got more than enough stone. I've got an entire stack with me. Okay, big shed. Let's build it. So which one are we going to upgrade first? Probably the keg shed. That's the most important one that we want to expand. That is our main money maker. Or at least it will be in the future. <laughs> And then with the rest of my wood, I think I can go ahead and finish off the last few tappers that we need to do. So I can't remember if I've already got some made up that I just haven't slapped on a tree yet. Let's have a look. Okay, that would be a no. So let's grab some copper. And then I need to make six of them. So I'm going to go double check that actually because I'm kind of nervous that I've got the wrong thing. Um, wrong amount or if I've already put some on there. So let's see. No, it's definitely a six. So let's craft those. And that's used up a fair amount of the remainder of our wood. And tap is all done, so we can now remove that from the list, so our <laughs> list can officially start getting a little bit shorter. I'm completely aware that I've also not really been checking the animal houses as well. Definitely need to empty their auto grabbers. Oh my god, look at all that produce. There's some in here that I haven't shipped before either, so it's probably the large goat's milk. Maybe? Let's have a look. Yes it is. And I've definitely been neglecting making animal products for a while, so we want four eggs. And we'll go ahead and check the coop as well. Kind of nervous about how many eggs might be in there. Okay, it's not too bad. It could be worse. 
Actually, I'm not sure if everything's going to fit in the chest thinking about it. Let's have a look. Oh no, we're good. Our first duck feather as well. That probably shouldn't go here. Oh, I've not actually sold one before. We'll do that too. Should probably get a loom going also. Oh, that's right. I wanted to make the flute blocks, didn't I? So let's have a look what the recipe is. Where are they? There they are. Copper ore, wood and fibre. No, I don't have any fibre. Damn it. I was hoping to take care of that today. Um, What can I do fibre wise? Maybe we can go fibre farming, which oh the joy. Uh, but it's definitely necessary today, I think. Maybe we'll go mining for some copper or two, because I think I'm completely out. Starting on floor 15 is always a pretty good bet when it comes to things like fibre. I don't know how much copper are we going to get today, though, because it's obviously a bad luck day. But we can try. At least on these floors for me, everything seems to break in one hit, so I'm not using as much mana. In fact, breaking the amount of rocks, I'm probably using half as much. Oh, heck no, we're not doing an infested floor, okay. Maybe I'll just stick with starting at 25 instead. Wait, there's still coal over here? I never collected it? I will take that. It's just been sat here the entire time for over a year. I'm trying to decide if I want to save the thousand gold of passing out tonight. I don't know. Maybe I should. I feel like I've spent so much money just on passing out. Maybe I'll wait till like 1.40. I think we can make it back by then, as long as I don't leave it till 10.2 again. No, I'm completely out of mana. Okay. That's probably my cue to leave then. Just can't pass up that huge cluster of copper. Let's go outside so we can teleport back to the farm and hopefully to bed in time. Hey, we made it. <laughs> I've got the spreading weeds will cause damage to my farm again, but I don't see where. Oh well. Caroline with a little parsnip, I'll take that. And is there anything I can sell in here? Um, Probably the crab, dwarf scroll. I'll sell some of the amethyst as well, why not? And then, what was it that I needed for the flute block? Was it just wood, stone and fiber? Wood, copper or fiber, okay. Well, I only need five of those. Actually, I only need four of those. And it's not even raining on the island. Oh no, it is raining on the island. No, wait, that's tomorrow. I'm so confused. Okay. One, two, three, four. We now have our five flute blocks, so that's sorted. And hey, our rhubarb jelly's done too. Look at all that jelly. Probably gonna have to start on some strawberry as well, actually. I'm not sure if I've got enough rhubarb anymore. Well, till the next harvest at least. Oh, Mr. Jar. Okay, maybe we do have enough rhubarb. Never mind. Next time, definitely not though. It's also Shane's birthday, so let's have a look if we've got anything for him that we can give. I've got some gold star hot peppers, so I'll make use of those. Being a Saturday, Shane should be at home, so hopefully we can give him his gift with no problems. Oh, I completely forgot about them not opening, and I don't have the key to the town yet. <laughs> and 9am, let's go. Hi Shane, happy birthday. Oh no, don't eat it, do not eat it. Enjoy. If I could reset my life, maybe I'd start a chicken farm. Only free range eggs, of course. Good for you, Shane. Where are we now? I think it did say 7 out of 8. Yeah, we're actually not that far off to maxing his friendship. And then we're going to go straight to Clint's. Let's get these coconuts opened. Hi, Clint. Can you open these for me? I'll do the artifact trays whilst I'm here as well. Oh, golden walnut. I'll take that. Pineapple seeds. And then please give me the skull. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Golden pumpkin. I'll probably sell that one. Don't know if I've already had that. And I don't know if I've already had that. But hey, we got a walnut at least. Hello, Gunther. Okay, literally just the fossilized thing. Okay. We got a reward for it. Five wart totems and the skeleton tail thing. I'm just going to put that in here, completely out of order. But oh well. <laughs> the only one here we're not max friendship with. I could use the golden pumpkin as a gift. Um, What about you? <gasps> he loves it. I think golden pumpkins are quite a loved gift. I think Harvey's probably one of our lowest, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Okay, we need to make a bit more effort with him. Sell off a few little things. And then let's head to the island. So we'll start an island west. And then hopefully now I should be able to trade all of my coconuts for golden ones. Almost certainly going straight back to Clint's after that as well. It's not raining today, which is kind of annoying, but we'll deal with all the flute blocks tomorrow. Hi. Thank you for those. We've got another three. I'll probably just take the boat back from here because we're reasonably near Clint's anyway. Oh no, everyone's going to get in my way. Maybe I can talk to everyone. Hey, the cutscene. Willow, come here, quick! My bracelet is gone. I know I had it on when I got here, but now it's gone and I can't find it anywhere. I'll never find another one like it. I'm really sorry. Maybe I'll just wash up on another shore. I can't bear to think of it at the bottom of the ocean. Sorry, great grandma. I lost your precious bracelet. Please forgive me. Poor Haley. Could she have dropped it nearby? Absolutely. Wait, can I forage whilst doing this? No, okay. <laughs> Let's just get the bracelet. There we go. I was curious. Here you go. Is that... You found it. Thank you so much, Willow. You're a lifesaver. Hayley, what were you doing behind Elliot's house? I suppose we'll never know. I won't forget what you did for me here. 
Well, not passing up a whole bunch of forageables on the beach. I mean, it's Saturday to be fair, so that'll be why there's so many. Hello, Ellie, I have a clam. You probably wouldn't like it inside my cabin. It's dark and full of spiders. Absolutely right, you will never catch me in there if you tell me there's spiders. Okay, guys, you remember your lines? Oh my god, how many cutscenes today? Yes. Ready? Action. Listen, I don't want to be on TV. I don't want there to be a witch in a commercial. Let's just, um, let's just skip past that. Willow just out here trying to live her life and maybe not be famous. Hello, Clint. I'm back with more coconuts. Mango sapling. Banana sapling. And taro root. Okay, well, we're gonna have to get some more. I'm pretty sure there's one day of the week that Sandy sells coconuts that I could buy, and I know they're expensive, but it's probably worth it to be able to get the golden ones. I notice we also haven't had any uh, thunderstorms or anything, so we can't start the missing bundle yet, but maybe I can at least prepare for it. So let's have a look what we've got at home. Also, I will go ahead and just check where we are with this rhubarb one day. Okay, so the next game day is when I'll be able to plant all that parsnip. Where am I going? The wrong way. I think what I'm probably going to have to do is start off like a little tree farm situation because there is no way we're going to get enough wood. I think I should have an absolute buttload of like tree seeds. Yeah, 151 pine trees. They're probably going to go ahead and plant them in the desert. Sandy's going to come outside one day and be like, what the heck has happened out here? Why have we suddenly turned into a pine forest? <laughs> no regrets. I feel like I've tried to do these trees neatly, but it is not looking that way. Mind you, I'm not planting it for aesthetics. I'm doing it for literally just trying to get an absolute buttload of wood. So it doesn't really matter. I probably need to come here at some point and do some tree fertilizer, but that needs fiber and I don't know if I want to spend fiber on that. I don't know. I realize I've left too wide of a gap here as well. I don't know. It's looking awful, but it's fine. <laughs> we don't come here often enough for it to matter anyway. Definitely used over 100 seeds so far though. Okay, on our last few little tree seeds here, and yep, that is the pretty much most of the lower half of the desert planted out with pine seeds, so hopefully we're going to get a good amount of wood at some point in the near future. I don't want to waste a prismatic child to try it, but I'm wondering if the photosynthesis uh, spell would actually affect the tree growth. Once I have a few more prismatic shards, maybe we'll test that out, but definitely not right now, I'm not wanting to waste one just yet. Right, let's refill our animal products. When the chest is looking messy like that, I try and prioritise ones where I'm able to basically clear out multiple slots. Just make sure we've got enough room to put more stuff in it if we need to. And then for once, Willow's actually going to get an early night. But also he made 43,000 gold, so happy with that. Today I'm praying that we get some rain on Ginger Island. I really want to get that flute puzzle, flute puzzle, oh my god. I really want to get that flute puzzle done. So I'm going to go ahead and check if we are raining over there. We've also got some strawberries going on and I need to get the queen of sauce as well, I just remembered. Complete breakfast. Alright, let's go ahead and harvest all these before we do anything. Oh, we've also got rhubarb to deal with too. I see that I've put parsnips in capital letters. I'm imagining that's because I haven't done them yet. Do I do it with parsnips though or do I do it with something else? No, I think I picked parsnips just in case that I didn't get enough of them. So I think I've got time for a second planting of parsnips if I was to use speed grow as well. Although saying that, I could just speed them with my spell, although it is an entire prismatic shard, I don't know. But hey, we know today's going to be a good money day. Trying to carefully not pick the blue jazz. And I think most of it I will go ahead and replace with rhubarb, but maybe maybe just the section up here we can do parsnips and then anything that's down this side of the little pond we can do as rhubarb. I think I need to go buy more rhubarb seeds, I don't think I have enough. I have just turned on animation cancelling. I feel like it's tradition at this point that I forget until after I start recording. I feel like the thought just came to me whilst I was zoned out trying to harvest all this rhubarb. Okay, we're all harvested. Gotta make sure I pet all of my animals. And then in here I want to put the regular quality strawberries, the regular quality rhubarb. And that's pretty much it. I've also got some mail going on that I didn't notice. We got the strange bun recipe from Shane. And Pierre wants a plate of sashimi. We can go ahead and help him with that, but first let's go ahead and sell our spare fruit. What fish do I want to use for this? Uh, I'll just use a chub, that'll do. And then I'm going to make sure I haven't got any important fish in my fridge, because that would kind of suck. I do not, we're all good, everything's fine. Uh, there's the kashimi. Looks like I've got 10 rhubarb seeds left, so I can take that off the amount that I need. How many do I actually need though? That is the question. So I need roughly 180 seeds. I'll probably buy like 200 just so I don't accidentally uh, miscalculate, but we can go ahead and teleport over there now I think. To the desert. Do I have anything for Sandy? She can have a salmon berry. Here you go. And then I said I wanted to buy like 200 rhubarb seeds, right? We got the goods. And then I'll stop by Pierre's to do the 
past Nipseed's swamp but first. Let's go ahead and pick up any coconuts that we can find. And then we can kill two birds with one stone at Pierre's shop. Hello, Pierre. First of all, this is for you. No, I don't want to eat it. That would have been so funny if I just ate it in front of him. It's about time. I was starting to get the shake. I wanted this fish so bad. Now that's good. Thanks, Willow. I wish I could go for a walk, but I can't leave the store unattended. You can totally leave it unattended. You can trust me. You can trust the city. It's fine. Right, so we want like, I'm going to get like three sprinklers worth because I can't remember how much space we have to fill. Maybe I just get another 25 seeds. They're not exactly expensive. Just in case. And now let's go ahead and get these planted. Obviously, there's a few spots that we need to reho and fill up, so I'll go ahead and water them and stuff. Let's do this. Not accidentally harvest the blue jazz, just be really careful. Okay, everything's fine. So I probably could have got away with 75 seeds easily, that's fine. Oh, I missed one. Do we think that's going to be enough to give me 25 though? I don't know. Maybe we do this sprinkler too. It just gives us a bit more of a sure chance. And then the rest, for money, is the rhubarb. I have way too many seeds, but it's fine. No, I just realised the time. I don't know why I thought of planting this. I could have planted the entire thing as parsnips or potatoes because I don't have time anymore. I think I'm definitely going to have to use a prismatic shard. Oh, man. Okay. Maybe it'll be a couple that I have to use. It's fine. This is where magic comes in. It saves me from these ridiculous mistakes that I make. <laughs> all right, let's plop all those seeds away. No, see if I've got any more prismatic shards. I have three. Okay. I might have to use like two. So what I'm probably going to do is do it once and then do it again. I mean, it might mean that all of our parsnips are then grown. I have missed one parsnip seed, but I can't bother to go back for it. So do it once. It now says 11 days. And then I'm going to go out and in again because I kind of want to see the plants change. I'm paranoid that it might not work. And now we see the seeds have changed and then we'll do it again. And now it says nine days, so we're going to have to use one more. Oh, we have got strawberries too, so I should probably go and harvest those. I probably could have got another two harvests of strawberries out of this. Just because obviously the next stage is the berries, so I wasted an entire harvest of strawberries without realising, but um, it's fine. Well, last prizzy. Let's do it one more time. Actually, let's go in and out like I said. And boom. It now says seven days. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. And then tomorrow we actually have the parsnips. What I'll then probably do is replace those with potatoes. I completely forgot to collect the reward for the sashimi, so we're going to head and do that. And then yet another harvest of strawberries. I will go ahead and check if the island is raining. I left the blue blocks on me. I don't know if that's because I thought it was going to be raining today. It's definitely not raining tomorrow, so it is worth a little check. Now, we should make an absolute buttload of money this time. Especially with the sheer amount of strawberries we've just shipped. <laughs> All right, let's head to the island. Yes, it's raining. Okay. I completely forgot about running over my crops, but it's fine. It's just a visual glitch. It's kind of doesn't show back up until after you quit out of the game again there's not really much i can do about that so i know the small ones are worth one this one's 11 and the trick with this that i didn't find out last time is like also counting the one that it's on let's give that a go this one's wrong there we go there's our walnuts we've got 14 of them well we didn't get 14 we have 14 she gave us i think five or is it three? I don't know. I'm mixing up all my numbers. <laughs> now before the day's over, I want to try and walk around and see if we can find any more coconuts. We need more golden ones. I completely forgot that I chopped down a lot of the trees out here, but never mind. I also didn't look if there are any artifact spots for the snake vertebrae either, so I'll have to check for that too. I think what I'm going to do is sleep on the island tonight and then hopefully I can check the walnut room tomorrow. I can't remember if I've actually opened it. Let's go check. I don't remember. First artifact spots. Do we have any? I don't think we even have a single one. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. I'm on 84 out of 100. Okay. I think I'm going to have to just spend some time in the volcano then. Let me sell some stuff from my inventory and maybe that's where we stay until we pass out because we can definitely get a fair few walnuts in there. Um, the saplings I am going to go ahead and plant. So if we go with one here and one here. Too close. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. I've literally got no idea how many walnuts we've got from the monster killing and mining in there. And also, I know that we can get it with the little, like, crate -y things. Hey, there's one. Another walnut from mining. And another. Getting quite a few, actually. I've already got three and we're only on the first floor. Let's see if we can get this guy to come out of the lava near us. There we go. I also need to start farming for dragon teeth as well. Speaking of dragon teeth, there's one down here. Also just got a journal scrap as well. I know we're missing a fair few of those. 
I don't really mind at what point that we get to in this volcano. I'm literally just doing it to try and get walnuts. The cinder shards are a nice bonus though. Another walnut from mining. I completely forgot I had this dwarf hammer on me and it's actually a fair amount better so I need to start using that until I have the infinity blade. And once we've got a minute let's go and have a look at this journal scrap that we've got. Oh there we go. I can go ahead and get this walnut from the corner of the beach now. What I actually need to do is put the hammer in my four slot because then I'll automatically select it when I go to use a weapon. <gasps> Prismatic shard that makes up earlier using the amount that we did. We have a fair few dragon teeth over here. Wait it's nearly it's nearly 2 a.m. I'm not gonna make it. All right never mind. As long as I can get one of them and then I'm happy. Uh, I'm so close. Okay, never mind. We, it's fine. We still got like one of them. I think I still come home with like two or three. There we go. 70,000 gold for all of that produce that we speed grew yesterday. And walnut wise, we went in with 14 and now we have 19. So I got five of them. Wait, there's a walnut up here that I completely forgot about. Okay, let's go solve that real quick. <laughs> it's a nice easy one as well. I can't believe I didn't notice that the entire time. Doing a quick check for artifact spots before I head back and I don't think there's even a single one. Never mind. I think what I'll do is I will go ahead and fix up the mailbox and the warp point here because it saves us using a teleport cord to get home each time. There's that and then if I go in and out the house again, let's zoom back in. We should be able to fix this up or is it 20? Oh, I need five more. Alright, never mind. We'll do that another time. Maybe I'll just take the boat home today like a normal person. We have got a new bulletin- no, not bulletin board, special request though. Um... Let's do the Gus's Famous Omelette one because that should be pretty easy to handle. I think we've got an auto grabber going on in the coop so I should just be able to pick up those eggs and walk straight over. Obviously I have to wait for him to open though so we'll wait a little bit for that. I think we should have some parsnips now to harvest so hopefully it means that we get the PS Prime produce. Let's go ahead and put the stuff away first because I've kind of got too much stuff on me. Wait I have eight ancient seeds? Did I get all of those from the volcano? <laughs> That's wild, what the heck? I didn't even notice. Well, I'll go ahead and plant those then. I think I've got some ancient fruit that I can pick up in here as well. Oh my god, there's loads of it. Obviously, any gold ones I keep for the missing bundle. Do I have any at all yet? I've got three. Okay, so I can sell one of the gold ones. I'll start by just turning the basic ones into seeds first and see how far we get because we are most of the way covered with the greenhouse now. I'll harvest my parsnips at the same time. I'm going to be gutted if we don't have 25. This isn't looking good. I might have to plant some more. We have about half the amount we need. I wonder if I should have eaten some sort of farming buff food first. I probably should have, shouldn't I? Although, oh, wait, we've done it. Oh, it must have, ah, uh, the green beans. They probably uh, contributed. It does seem that I didn't end up keeping behind enough. So I'm going to have to find seven gold quality bits of produce that I can shove in the box. There's another two gold parsnips there, so that's fine. And then we go with five gold corn. That should do it. All the basic parsnips I am going to go ahead and sell. Can't be bothered to turn them into stuff because I've got other stuff I want to process instead. Where is my axe? Do I Have I left that on Ginger Island? I think I might have. I did, okay. I just want to go and handle some of those trees that we've got going on on the farm because there's kind of a lot of them. This is kind of a bit much. I don't want to use clear debris because I kind of wanted to keep the tappers here so I'll just knock these down. I have 29 ancient seeds plus whatever is currently in the seed maker so let's go ahead and plant all these and then I can see how many more I need. So I need... 5, 10, I need 11 more ancient seeds. I will go ahead and process some of these too then. Okay, I made a few too many seeds, but that's okay, we can have spares. And now this is all full, so I'll go ahead and sell the rest of the ancient fruit that I've got. Not processing it because I want to do star fruit instead. Actually, whilst we're over this way, let's go ahead and pick up all of that oak resin. There's a lot of it in here. And then I want to go now and pick up in the coop any eggs. Hopefully we've got 24 of them, we don't, okay. Um, we have eight, although it says 11 here. I think I'm just going to go ahead and put 24 in his fridge and that'll be 24 of my worst ones. So those, those, all right, we've got all of our eggs. Let's go back into town. Wait, I forgot to sell the ancient fruit. <laughs> Sold. Oh, we got a cutscene. We found Pierre's secret stash. Wait, did I accidentally hit skip? Oh man, never mind. I didn't mean to. Uh, maybe it's because I right clicked instead. Oh well, let's just give him the prime produce. Thank you for the 2,500 gold. Hi Leah. And now the saloon's open so I can go and shove the eggs in the fridge. And then literally it's just a case of picking them up from the uh, auto grabber. So for the next couple of days I should have enough eggs, but I have to wait a couple of days. We have time. I just need to remember to do it. What's on this board today? The invasive crab species? Let's go help with that. Why not? 
And it's looking like the lava variant is the one that we're gonna have to fight. So in the lower mines of the floor, lower mines, of <laughs> lower floors in the mine. Words are hard. It's a good place to come and get some fiber as well. So maybe it's a good thing that we're in here. I mean, that's if we can even find any. Just going around my screen and hitting anything that could remotely be a rock crab. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a single one on this floor either. Unless it's like after floor 100. Oh no, there's one. Oh my god, this floor is infested, but that does mean we've got our second crab. Screw it, let's go ahead and fight everything. We might as well do it for the monster slayer goals. There we go, all defeated. Let's go see if we can find Demetrius now. So where is he currently? He's in his house. I don't think I'm going to be able to get in there. It's almost 8 o'clock already. Never mind, we'll do it tomorrow. I think at this point, yep, it's closed. Never mind, we'll do it tomorrow. I definitely also forgot to put something in these spots, so... Oh, I wonder if I just plant some fibre seeds. Do I have the fibre seed recipe yet? I do, okay. Mix seeds, sap and clay. I hope I have enough of those. I definitely have enough sap, who doesn't? It's the mix seeds I think I'm worried about. Alright, well I made a hundred seeds, so I think that's enough. <laughs> I think it's enough plus extra. This will hold the spots until the next season. And we can definitely do with the fibre as well. Again, being careful around the blue jazz. Well, I just realised all the weeds over here. And the rice is ready. I completely forgot that was even there. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to make another chest for flowers and stuff because I've kind of run out of room. Flowers are just a pain to store. I don't really have enough wood to make as many chests as I want, so we'll just have to roll with three for now. At least I've got space for like produce and things. So one, two, three. And I think the flowers are going to go in the top one up there. Seeds can stay in here for now. I'll know what it means. Our jam jars are ready, so I better go handle that. What kind of jelly are we going to make today? Probably rhubarb. Look at all that jelly. Yeah, 100% rhubarb. That's our most valuable. I always go with the most valuable thing first. I just find it easier money-wise, and then I suppose it just decreases as we run out of resources. Yeah, I definitely need to make sure I get some speed grow the next time it rolls around to Thursday. I want everything to have speed grow on it on this farm as well, because obviously summer is the prime time for filling everything with star fruit. Although I do need to do some recipe things as well, so it'll be some recipe items and then after that everything else will be star fruit. <laughs> Alright, let's go to bed before we pass out. But there should be yet another hopefully decent money day. I'm gonna sell the gold magma cap because it's kind of worth a lot. Probably should have kept it for the luau, but I think I can get another one at some point. Another pretty good money day. At this point I feel like I need to start saving my money for summer seeds. Oh, we got a Leah at the door. Hi Willow, beautiful day isn't it? I brought you a gift. Oh, we have wine ready. It's a sculpture I've been working on just for you. Thank you for the weird looking sculpture, Leah. I have wine to tend to. It's called How I Feel About Willow. I hope you like it. I mean, do you think I'm some sort of twisted mess? Don't I don't know how to feel about that. I will put it next to my bed though and ponder it. <laughs> What's in my mail today? Oh, we have the flower dance tomorrow too. Who am I going to ask? Oh my god, I haven't even thought about that. I mean, we have a lot of people that we're friends with. We've got options. I wonder if Kristoff's going to come. I don't think he will. Oh no, we ran out of star fruit. Um, okay, well I'll have to make wine out of something else then. Maybe I'll just do it out of rhubarb. Well, I think from this point I'm going to start saving my silver star fruit maybe every other time. I usually like to sell anything that's not um regular quality and just process the regular quality stuff, but I'm kind of low on supplies at the moment, so I need to save more than I think I do. I'll leave the rhubarb in here for now. That wine is going to go straight in the shipping bin. And I'm going to make sure I go and head up to the city today as well. Um, what am I going to give people? I have one gold star goat cheese, but that's kind of a risk. Some people like goat cheese, but I don't think everyone does. I need to take a emerald for Kristoff, frozen tear for Gwen, and I'll check the rainbow tree too, but let's go speak to Demetrius first. Is he even at home? Yes, he is. Okay. Oh, it's not even 9am yet. Okay, we'll just have to wait. Wait, Mari, do you like salmon berries? She's just going to put it over here. Not ideal. Never mind. There are a couple of trees to cut down here, so I will go and do that. Oh, wait, Demetrius is outside. Here you go. Hey, I can see you called the lava crab population a bit. They've been multiplying quicker than normal due to human activity in the caves, so I'm hoping our efforts to prevent them from threatening any other species. The local wildlife thanks you for what you did today, Willow. Enjoy your reward. Thank you very much. I will take that 360 gold. And now let's head to the city. But we will go the bus stop way. We'll walk. Hopefully some of the trees have grown this way as well. First things first, we've got an Iridium quality parsnip. We have a couple of cherries as well, so they'll make good gifts too. And we also have some flowers, but I don't know who likes which flowers, so that's kind of a risk. Not a huge amount of trees grown up yet, so I am going to hold off on knocking them all down until more of them are fully grown. I suppose I could clear out the quarry though. Oh my god, my inventory's full. 
didn't quite think that part through. I mean, some of this stuff will still be here on the way back. I kind of want the diamond, though. Maybe the mix seeds can go away. All right, we'll ignore the quarry. I have no space for any of that stuff. Maybe on the way back, whilst I've got rid of some more of the gifts and stuff. Let's see. I always go to Gwen first because usually she's still in bed at this point. There's Cal. Would you like some... You like goat cheese? He does like goat cheese. Okay, he likes any kind of cheese, it seems. There's Sadie, and she doesn't like goat cheese, so I'm going to give her... We'll give her a tulip instead. Do you like tulips? She enjoys a tulip. And then I'm going to check, because I think I've given Gwen a cherry before. I want to check if they're, like, a liked gift. Okay, they are. Okay, so I'm going to go with the cherry, because it's iridium quality, so it should give us a few more friendship points that way. Do I want to eat the cherry? I want to... Wait, she's not here. Uh... It's unlike her to be out at this hour. Okay, we're going on a bit of a hunt. Let's try the Jojo Mini first. Nobody. <gasps> There's Gwen. Where have you been? I come bearing gifts. Enjoy. Here's the secret. My friend loves potato. It would make a great gift. Wait, who? Maybe it's someone who lives with her. Let's see if Mr. Kristoff is around. <gasps> there he is. This is for you. You're actually quite good at networking, aren't you? As in, you know many of the people around here. I mean, I suppose I do. All right, we're coming up to six hearts with him. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> the city people just feel so much slower on the friendship, but I think that's because obviously I've had friendship from finishing the community center. I mean, for the people of actual Stardew Valley. That's what makes it feel a bit different. No buddy? Where the heck is buddy? I forgot to check any of the other apartments. I think he lives in 1B, doesn't he? Oh, he's at home. Hey, would you like some... Um, I don't know if he likes not like all flowers or just... Oh, wait, I can give him a cherry too. This is for you. And we're on 8 out of 10 for buddies. That's pretty good. I don't know why his friendship is so much easier to increase than everyone else's. I think he's just less fussy with a lot of gifts. And then we've got David. Have some goat cheese. Again, I haven't been able to find Selena, but she's whatever. We can live with not being great friends with her. Then I think from here I'm teleporting home because I just remembered about that rice I need to harvest. Where is my scythe? Have I left it on the island? Oh my god. Maybe I need to invest in some Junimo chests like ASAP. I've never bought one before, but I'm thinking it's going to become a necessity because I keep forgetting stuff. I'm noticing as well I've got starfruit done on spring 24, but I think I'm going to leave that till the 25th because, first of all, this needs to be fixed before I want to harvest anything, but also... Wait, do I not have the golden scythe yet? Hello? Uh, anyway, <laughs> I also don't want to miss the flower dance, so I would rather wait until I can have that sorted, but maybe I can check if I've got enough uh, starfruit seeds, so... Usually I just go ahead and buy an absolute buttload of the stuff. I have none. Okay, I'll have to go buy some. Sandy should still be open as well. But let's harvest that rice first before I forget. And I'm literally just going to sell all of it as is. Then let's go get some starfruit. Hi Sandy. Can I have, like, I don't know, 300 enough? We'll do 350 for now. because That's kind of most of my money. Maybe a little bit more. 450. There we go. That'll do. It leaves us a bit left over to do stuff with, but it's still quite a lot of starfruit. And then I think I'll go ahead and just leave those on me so I kind of remember for the next time. It just makes things a little bit easier. Whilst I'm over here, I will go ahead and check how many eggs are in this thing. There's only four. Okay, I'm just going to have to wait like probably two more days, I think. That's okay, though. Then with any spare time, I'm just going around and cutting down any rogue trees. Oh, it looks like our fish pond has another little request for us. What have we got here? Three Omnijudes. I can probably help you with that. I think that quest has been there for a while and I've literally just kept forgetting about it, so maybe we should just handle it. There's all these mahogany trees too, I completely forgot I even planted these. Oh my god, look at all those pine trees over there. Oh, I forgot about the paths, no! Oops. Hey, I haven't done that for a while, I'm kind of proud of myself for not doing that for a long time. And then with this stuff, I'm going to make sure I stand this side whilst I deforest it. Just so none of it ends up in the pond here. Hopefully I can still reach most of this wood. That should be alright. I mean, hey, another 266 wood, that is a good start. Metal-wise, I seem to be low on copper, so I'm going to spend a couple of in-game hours probably processing a bit more and prep some kegs. But it might be that copper mining is our next big resource gathering thing that we've got to do. I think I'm also going to start carrying cheese around with me as gifts. I just need like an easy option as I walk past people and I haven't really been having that. Alright, I think now's a good time to head to bed and get ready for the flower dance tomorrow. 158k. See, I didn't even have to worry about spending my money on those starfruit seeds. <laughs> I pretty much made the entire lot back. I'm trying to also get good at picking up this coffee every morning because I need to make a load of triple shot espressos and I obviously can't do that if I'm not picking up the coffee. I mean, later I'm hoping to get the hot java ring, but that's probably not going to be for a little bit yet. 
Well, I was hoping that some of the strawberries would have grown yet, but they have not. So now I just have to like wait for the flower dance. Maybe at some point I even invest some of my cash into buying some ores and coal and stuff from Clint, even though it does cost a lot. I just don't want to keep going coal farming like all the damn time. I'm pretty sure that's understandable, right? <laughs> Alright, who am I going to ask? That's the difficult question. I mean, I don't think anyone from the city attends this festival, so it's kind of a shame. Oh, let's handle this uh, request as well once and for all. I'm pretty sure I've left this there for so long. I also just marked fiber off of my list for now as well because by the time I harvest all these fiber seeds I think it's going to add a fair amount. And let's do the flower dance. Ah uh, yes, walking at normal people's speed at a festival. I think I also have to buy the tub of flowers recipe here. I don't think I had enough money last year so yep, there we go. Um, and I don't remember if I bought the red crow or not so I will just go ahead and grab that again. And then we'll say hi to everyone. Okay, I've spoken to everyone. Now let's have a look through here. There's definitely no city people. I'm wondering if it increases our friendship with people. Maybe we ask Sebastian. Let's go with him. Have I asked everyone? I mean spoken to everyone? Yeah, I definitely have. I was worried that I hadn't spoken to people at the side, but clearly I have, so let's ask. Okay, I look forward to it. Hey, We win. Let's go. Let's make a start. The outfit I'm wearing, I stick out like an absolute sore thumb, but what can we do? <laughs> and this is my current experience right now. The squirting still looks so awkward though. That was fun, it's time to go home. Right, moment of truth, do we already have this rare crow? It doesn't look like we do, so this was a good thing that I picked that up. And I think for now I'm just gonna slap it over this side. I know I don't really need to, it's already like well and truly covered over here, but it can look behind that tree. <laughs> All right, let's go to bed. I don't think I made that much money today, but we had a productive few days otherwise. <gasps> we got the missing bundle cutscene. There's the lightning. So we can go and explore that in the next episode. Today we've got a couple of things on our plate. I want to check out the missing bundle, but also we've got some star fruit to deal with, so I'll probably do that first. Just wanted to collect the coffee. I didn't want to open the jukebox. Let's put that away. Oh, and we got some strawberries too. Looking at the days we've got left, this is probably going to be our last one of the season, since we've got only three days left. But hey, I think we've had our fair share of strawberries this year, given um, all those prismatic shards we spent last time. And also just need to make sure we do some things to wrap up the season as well. I was just running down here to make sure nothing else was ready. And what have we got in our mailbox? We've got the pumpkin soup recipe from Robin. I definitely need to get some cookie done at some point, but today is probably not that day. Let's head straight over to the island. Let's deal with our star fruit. I think I've got some taro fruit ready. Yes, I do. We've got a lot of things ready going on here. Um, okay, so now that- oh no, I forgot the wee. I know I forgot something. Hmm. Well, at least we can get the first thing done with the frog. I realised I tried to prepare by coming with the seeds for the uh, the garlic and the melons, but then I forgot to do the wheat unless I planted it and just harvested it. I don't know. Probably not, right? I don't know. Hi, Froggy. Can you come and have a look at the melons, please? Hopefully you're enjoying those. You just want to see them. You don't want to bite them. Okay. Got your memories back. Can I have my walnuts, please? Thank you very much. And there we go. We've got 20, so now we can make the obelisk. Hi, birdie. These are for you. I would love a warp towel, please. I feel like I spend the most teleport calls going between here and the farm, so at least half of the issue is now solved. Right, let's go ahead and replant all of our star fruit. No, I picked up one of the garlic, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, I'll live. He's still got four other garlics to look at. <gasps> Yay, we're getting walnuts from harvesting! I don't know how many of those I've got so far, but I can't imagine it's all of them yet. I was trying to do the method where I walk along with the seeds, but because I've got the speed boost on, I think it's missing some of the squares, so I'm just going to go back to the old way of... Hey, another walnut doing this. I wonder if I've got... Have I got my speed grow here? There we go, another walnut. If I don't, I'm going to... Oh, no, I do. It's, it's fine. I realise I've obviously got these sprinklers down here, so I can fill all those out now as well. Assuming I have enough seeds, which I think I have more than enough. Four walnuts. Can we get one more? I've got all the taro root to harvest as well if I don't get it from the star fruit. I could probably do with picking up all the melons and stuff too. I don't really need those to have those kinds of crops on it anymore. There we go, fifth walnut. So we've got all of the ones from harvesting now, I think. I think it's only five. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe we'll find out from uh, harvesting more crops anyway. Right, before I forget, I'm going to put my speed grow in my hotbar there because I'm noticing there is definitely a few squares that I missed before. Let's fill out this whole sprinkler. I've got, I know I've got pineapple seeds here, but I don't really need this many of them at the moment. Actually, what I'm going to do is leave the tarot there, because if I end up with island ingredients and I get the tarot version, then I've already got some growing, because it's obviously only harvesting them. I don't have to worry about if I've planted them or not then. And yes, once again, I forgot to turn on animation cancelling. It's fixed now. Everything's fine. Get all that speed grow down first. I'm only interested in the speedy starfruit. 
and not forget to speed grow this entire sprinkler as well. If I use that spot, I probably should, right? I mean, it's only one more. I think we're all covered. Chipping off the gold ones. I'm gonna ship the blueberries and stuff. I'll keep the garlic for now. And some of this can just kind of live here. Let's go and check to see if we can open Mr. Key's room yet. I'm hoping we can now. I'm hoping that that kind of got us over the edge with the amount of walnuts. <gasps> go on, coconut. Thank you very much. <gasps> Yay! We're in. Well, 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 look who's made it to my secret walnut room. I'm truly impressed. Even though you only needed a fraction of the walnuts to gain full access to the island, you decided to push yourself further. Your desire to enter the secret door was so strong that you went above and beyond to get inside. That drive is what sets you apart, kid. You have a very special energy. That being said, you weren't under the impression that the challenge ended here, were you? No, ha ha ha. In fact, the challenge has just begun. I need them key gems. On your left, you'll find a board with some very interesting opportunities. These challenges, which I've designed just for you, will push you to your very limit. However, if you can successfully conquer my challenges, you'll earn an exclusive currency I call them key gems. Just don't put them in your mouth, kid. They're highly radioactive. I, I wasn't planning to anyway. You can use the machine on your right to trade these key gems for a rare and powerful reward. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? Yes, I have a feeling someone like you will enjoy this very much. I like a challenge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have important business to tend to. Like staring at your screen all day? Right, what have you got for us this week? Extended family? Absolutely not. Danger in the deep. Okay, I will... Oh no, we've only got four days to do it. We're doing it. <laughs> I've decided. We're doing it. But first, I am going to try and raid the entire island of its coconuts. See if we can get any more walnuts from these as well. There's one. Even if it is only one. And there's another. Because I got the note in the last episode and then just never got round to getting it. I see another coconut over here. Come on, give me a coconut. Preferably a golden one. Okay. That's a normal one. I'll take it. Are there any over here? Oh, there's one there. No golden one though. Let's see if we can get the walnut from over here. No. Either we've got it or we can't get it yet. That's fine. No problem. I'm going to have a look over here if there's a panning spot. Please, I'm hoping. Any panning spots over here? Any at all? I don't think so. I think I just heard one. There it is. Well, maybe today's not the day I get the lucky ring, but that's okay. Since I'm going to be spending probably the rest of the days in the mines, I'm probably going to make sure I head over to the city today. I can't miss a week of gifting. First, I'm going to drop off all this star fruit. I don't need to carry all this around. I see that my jelly's ready, but I'm going to deal with it when I get home, I think. I think all my star fruit is actually in the other shed, but that's okay. I'll figure it out when I get home. I'm trying to make sure I leave anything behind here I don't really need. And then any other gifts, I think I'm just going to forage on the way. Maybe I'll just pick up the daffodil. I just basically need something for Sadie, who doesn't like cheese. I mean, we've got a parsnip pen and a potato. And the nice thing about picking them up on my way as well is that they're always coming out as iridium quality because of my foraging skill. There's cow. Have some cheese. Enjoy. Hmm, I haven't given Emma a call in a while. It's hard to keep up with friends when I'm working so often. Who? Wait, what? Wait, is there another NPC with that name? That just really, like, threw me off. <laughs> I think I've gone the wrong way. Damn, it really did throw me off. This is the way. I was going the right way. What am I doing? <laughs> what? I'm so confused. There's Selena. We haven't seen her in a while. Do you like cheese? Enjoy. The elevator's been out of order for as long as I've been here, I think. My personal theory is that there never was an elevator. It's just a hole in the wall. <laughs> Let's have a look if... Oh, there's Buddy. Would you like some cheese? Enjoy. Do you think of me any differently than you did when we first met? Um, not really. I mean, you're the pharmacy dude. You are an old friend of mine, but I'm just re-getting to know you. There's Gwen. Gwen, would you like some cherries? Enjoy. <gasps> I'm just cooking want some. Thank you for the autumn's bounty, Gwen. That's very kind of you. Oh my god. Wait, have I just found a thing? I feel like I'm just getting unlimited food here. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that. I just got loads of dishes. That's so funny. I could probably just get as many as I want. Oh no, she's leaving now. I did another job application today. How was your day? Oh, is the nightclub not going very well? I just wanted to come and say hello and give you some cherries. Well, I know it's- oh, this is my own house. Of course I can't- wait, there's a bed in here now? Oh, it doesn't work. I can't move it. How long has this been a thing? Am I dumb? Well, I mean, things have changed. Someone put a bed in my apartment and a fireplace. That's kind of nice, but I can't sleep in the bed, which is big sad. Let's see if we can go find Sadie and David. I mean, I know where to find David, that's pretty obvious. Just praying Sadie's going to be at the Sanctuary Cafe. Hopefully she likes daffodils. All I know is she hates cheese. I don't think she's even here. Okay, well, this is for you. Oh, wait, that's Cal. <laughs> Oopsie. David's in the kitchen. I'm not mixing people up. I knew them before, I swear. <laughs> Enjoy. What are your hobbies? Um, My hobbies are 
Uh, um, uh, uh, damn, she's really trying to think of normal people hobbies. Uh, gardening, yes. That My, my hobby is gardening. What about you? Me? Uh, I don't really have any. Oh, does watching TV count? I mean, sure, it can. A lot of people are very much into their TV shows, like, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Well, semi-successful gifting, let's go home. So many monsters today. Wouldn't it be a shame if I... Smash them? <laughs> I love this hammer. I do want to try and get home before I pass out though, so maybe we just actually teleport. Because I do need to handle the jelly. Let's go into the shed. So if we do a bunch of strawberry jelly, I think I need to move the um, star fruit into the other shed. I think the wine stuff belongs in there. And of course, can't forget the one outside. And I think I'll keep the farmer's lunch. Do I keep the survival burger? I probably should, shouldn't I? I'll sell the autumn's bounty though, I don't need the extra defense when I'm foraging. Gwen cooked these for me. She's clearly been doing a lot of cooking. She did all of these in one go. Very impressive. Oh, I didn't find Kristoff. How could I forget Kristoff? Well, I'm not going to find him now. I can never find him at night. I'm just going to sell his emerald. And how much gold do we get today? Nearly a hundred grand. We need that. We need that for all the things. Especially with the new season around the corner. And it's Pierre's birthday today. We should probably handle that first. Ooh, and we've got Gus's famous omelette to sort out too. Um, I need to go check on the coop and see if I've got enough eggs yet. Thank you for the iron, Clint. Very kind. I will always take some iron. And for danger in the deep, I could probably do with bringing... I mean, it's a bad luck day, which is kind of not ideal, but I'll bring the spicy eel anyway. I'll also bring the energy tonics, because we're probably going to need them. I'm not going to staircase down there, that is the one thing. But I think between all the things in my hotbar, I've got enough food. I will leave my cinder shards here, because I don't want to lose them. I mean, I suppose even if I've got the eggs and stuff, I can't go into Gus's yet anyway. Actually, I think I've already donated them, haven't I? Haha, just enough. Thank you for the three grand. Who knows what I'm going to give Pierre for his birthday. Do I have any very obvious options? I mean, he likes cauliflower. I could do the look up anything on him. I think I have to do it up close. It doesn't seem to be working from this menu anyway. That's fine. Maybe I don't have look up anything installed on here. I know he likes sashimi, right? Maybe I could just do some sashimi. Um, do I have any trash fish? I use a ghost fish. Why not? Because I'm pretty sure that is a loved gift. But I think we can definitely make time for Mr. Pierre. Especially if I think, like... Would it max this friendship? I don't know. Well, well, there's one way to find out, isn't there? We have got an hour and a half to go though, so I wonder if I can give any gift out to anyone else that might be outside. Have some cheese. Try not to draw attention to the fact that I am opening all of the trash cans. Nobody perceive. You can have a daffodil. And now it's 9am, so I can go in. Oh, cutscene. Gus, I have just the thing for you. I'm all ears. It's a bundle of locally sourced organic heirloom veggies. These are hand-picked and sorted to ensure only the very finest quality and taste. This is a once-in-a-lifetime kind of offer. This sounds pretty good. I could use some quality veggies for the saloon. How much does it cost? Only... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I thought for a moment there I heard 25,000 gold. Uh, that's right. It really is a bargain, isn't it? Pierre, are you crazy? There's no way I could afford that. I'd have to sell the saloon. Off he goes. I overheard the price. That's outrageous. You should be ashamed. On his birthday as well. Wait, how about 10,000 gold then? No way! Yikes, Pierre. Massive yikes. It's a disaster, Willow. I thought this was a surefire business strategy. But it turns out no one is willing to buy vegetables at 10 times price markup, even if I put the little organic sticker on them. Don't be gross. You should be less greedy. Hey, I'm not forcing anyone to buy it. If they don't like the price, they can move on. Yeah, well now you're not going to make any profit. But I guess you have a point. If I make all my customers angry, then pretty soon I won't have any customers at all. By the way, Willow, you look like you could really use a veggie dinner tonight. What do you say? Do you want to buy these back for the low, low price of 2,501? Absolutely not. You can give them back for free, but you probably won't do that, but it is your birthday, so I won't be too mean. Have some sashimi. Oh, I thought it was a loved gift. Never mind. It's because he asked for it, that's why I thought that. Abigail, do you want a daffodil? Please don't eat it. You brought brain present? Thanks. Okay, she's not going to eat it. Everything is fine. <laughs> To the mines! If I see anyone along the way, I'll give them a daffodil. Probably not Linus, I don't think he likes these, does he? Robin can have one instead. Here you go. Alright, we have three days to get down to the bottom of these mines. Can we do it? I've got some bombs to help me. I don't know why I tried the elevator, that is not the way. And I'm gonna eat some spicy eel first. We've got six triple shots, hopefully that's enough to last us. Luckily this ham is pretty good. There's a boss stack slime. What have you dropped me, a pressure nozzle? I'll take that. That'll be good for some sprinklers. I think I've kind of used up all the space I can for sprinklers though at the moment, so maybe not, I don't know. All I know is that these are usually worth doing. An Iridium Band? I'll take that, even if I just end up selling it. Right, we're on level 5. 
Oh, ladder straight away. I'm going for it. <gasps> Prismatic shard. This is a very good luck day, even though it's not actually a good luck day. Maybe my luck is going to turn from here on out. Who knows? At the moment, I just need to focus on getting to the bottom. Straight to the end of this one for a freebie. Let's go. There's another freebie down there. Oh my god, I'm stuck on everything. Oh no, the squids. I hate these things. Well, I think my luck's run out because now I can't find a single ladder. There it is. That took nearly all of the rocks. Freebie, let's go. This is where I'm going to need to eat. Luckily, the, uh, the, the iridium quality salmon berries are actually pretty decent at healing. Oh no. This is why I hate the squids. I need to get off these squid floors ASAP. I'm going to end up hating some of the other ones a lot more though, aren't I? No! Well, at least we got down to 15 first. It's fine. We've got enough time in the day, I think, to eat some food and try again. Let's see what time we are. Oh, we're at the top of the mines. Everything's fine. What have we lost? Hopefully nothing important. Two items. Bug meats and all of my salmon berries. I'm going to buy those back. <laughs> I need my berries. That's okay though. I'll just eat some cheese and we'll be alright. Maybe a bit of cheese, a bit of energy tonic. And then I'll get my salmon berries back. No, I clicked the wrong thing. Okay, well, no salmon berries for us. <laughs> I can't believe I just bought back all those bug meats. No. I feel like a lot of people would reset the day at this point, but I'm not going to do that. I live with my mistakes. It's fine. Life goes on. I mean, it is a bad luck day, but I've only got a few days to do this, so I do need to be here. I very at least, I feel like I need to get to 40 today. Wow, come on, these things must be almost dead soon. I completely forgot I've also got the heal spell and the mining spell. We can use that to- oh no. Don't want to deal with the spiral floor, I'm so glad that was close by. Are we good for everything? Yes we are. I mean, I could also use the descend spell. I don't want to do that unless I really have to though. I want to see how far I can get myself. Freebie! Not going to skip out on all this fibre though. It does take two hits for me to get through these rocks, so that's a little unfortunate. I'm probably going to run out of mana very quickly. Let's do a bomb to save some mana real quick. <gasps> I just used the wrong spell and I'm down here now, okay. Well, it's midnight. I should be able to get to floor 40 today. There it is. There's a freebie. And here we go. Right, 45. Can we do it? We should be able to. Oh my god, it's so dark. I hate it. I just don't like the dark. I do hear those things though. No, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna go down there if I can help it. Maybe I have to. Yes, I do. Okay. A whole gold bar? I can't leave that behind. Well, I know I need a coal at some point, so this is one way to get a load of it. Two birds, one stone. 45 should be doable considering the ladder is right there. I don't think I'm going to get any like further elevator wise, so I'm probably just going to pass out at the top where no mishaps can happen. And there's the pass out. Hey, level 45, so we got like more than a third of the way in. I'm happy with that, I'll take it, even if I did die and accidentally retrieve my bug me and not my salmon berries, big sad. It's fine. It's also Emily's birthday today. I was going to go straight over, but I don't really want to miss a birthday, so we'll do that first. Oh my god, thank you for a fridge. Um gonna have to chuck it on the floor. I don't know how you fit that in my mailbox, but it's fine. I won't question it. I mean, at least we've got a prismatic shard to replace one of the mistake ones from last time. But we did get a mini shipping bin from Pierre, so I will take that. I'm probably gonna put it... I don't know where I'm gonna put it, actually. Thank you for the bug meat, Marlon. I didn't really want it. Linus found me again. He's probably like, what the hell is Willow doing? And we've also got a fried calamari from Linus, which is very kind. Maybe he felt sorry for me after everything yesterday. She says, immediately selling it. Pick up our last green beans. They can go away. I'm selling the bug meat because I don't want to look at it. <laughs> and the mini shipping bin, I'm going to go ahead and put like... I don't know where to put it. I kind of want to put it somewhere around here. I feel like it doesn't really save any time though. I don't know. Maybe up here? I don't know why I'd have it there, but it's a uh, decoration for now. <laughs> I was just about to try and put the fridge in my fridge. That's probably not a good idea. I do want to put the squid in there though. And the other fridge is going to have to go like down here. I'm trying to accumulate cups of coffee from the espresso machine so I can just make a bunch of triple shots. At the moment I can only make one. Let's give an aquamarine to Emily this time. Hopefully I can get into- wait, how are we even doing with her friendship? If I'm less than two hearts I'm gonna be upset, I'm not. Okay, we're on four and a half. Hopefully this will help. Unless... do I have any rabbit's feet? If I've got rabbit's feet I'll probably do that. They're only basic quality, okay, I'm gonna save them for something else then. If I had one that was better than basic quality I would have gone for it, but I don't, so. Um, ooh, I need to redo this star fruit as well. So nine days from the 25th is going to be the 6th of summer. There we go, my list now up to date. Apparently I wanted more pigs as well. Maybe we can handle that on our way back. Actually, no, we need to go straight up to the mines. I need to focus on that quest. Come on, 10 more minutes. Let me in. You can let me in 10 minutes early, surely. Oh, there we go. Oh, we've got this cutscene with Haley. I just can't get the jar open. Oh, it's you. Willow, right? Say, you're pretty strong, aren't you? Sure. 
Great, then you shouldn't have any problem opening this jar for me. And I've actually just decided I'm going to do it. See, I've got it open, but that, that look is me trying not to accidentally, you know, crush the jar in my hands. Hey, you did it. You're stronger than you look. A bit rude. Thanks. Happy birthday, Emily. Have an aquamarine. I like making my own clothes, but it's not easy to get cloth, I agree. And it's such a long trip to the city. Yes, it is. Well, back to the mines. At least I can take the minecart from here. Saves a little bit of time. I probably could have done that the day before as well. I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> I forget it's there. All right, let's try again. There's a spicy eel. There's a triple shot. We're going in on level 45 and I've already used my hammer thing. So that's not ideal. At least using the clear debris spell, I can smash down rocks. Oh no, I don't need. Really could do without the swarm right now. I can smash down rocks without leaving an area. So I don't have to aggro a load of monsters. This time I didn't find anything though. And hey, at least I get bits of wood in here actually thinking about it. <gasps> Purple mushroom, I need that. There's another one down there, I need it. Oh, I just used Descend again. I don't mean to do that. I keep meaning to like change my, uh, use the spell, use the speed up spell, but um, oh my God, I'm getting all my spells mixed up. Ah. I also completely forgot that you end up with a silly amount of void essence in here from the spiders. Hopefully I can avoid some of them. There's barely any rocks in here. Come on, give me a ladder. Oh, there it is. Let's go. I should have brought ginger, I forgot. That's okay, we're avoiding this one. Go, go, go. I need a minute to eat. I'll use an energy tonic this time. Just get me off these green levels. I don't like them. Take an emerald. And I should be able to make a fair amount more bombs now. All right, seven. I mean, that's something. Not that I have much chance to make use of them. I feel like I can't like even stop for a second to put one down. Maybe it's just these floors. Once I get out of these, I might be all right. This is more like it. This is a bit more manageable. Not that there was a ladder under any of them. All right, let's, uh, let's have the purple mushroom. Damn it, I got nausea. Oh, the ladder's up there. Um, okay. I think I need to wait out this nausea. Does this work? Oh no, I don't need to wait out because I can just use my spell to heal. Everything is fine. Oh no, has he reset that timer? He has. I need to just kill it so I can uh, just have a minute. There we go, even though it did reset the nausea again. But it's fine because we will heal. Floor 70, okay. I'm going to wait out this nausea. Do I wait it out or do I just go on? Am I going to regret this? Screw it. <gasps> Skulls. Okay, that's not ideal. I think I'm regretting this. I do have a first piece of radioactive ore though. Not that I can fit it in my inventory. Oh my god, sap. Sap can go away. See a freebie ladder over there. It's all fun and games until there's loads of skulls. Phew. All right, our nausea's over as well, so it should make things a little bit easier. Freebie ladder down there. I'm just going to ignore all these skulls. There's too many. I think I missed a diamond as well, but I can live without it right now. There's my ladder. Damn, I can always feel when my spell runs out. I just get extremely slow. There we go, made it to level 80. How far can we get? I think we've got some deluxe retaining soil there. I think I'm going to sacrifice the mahogany seeds for that. That can come in useful later on. Oh, me using the wrong spell. This is a very enemy heavy floor. No, I hate the darkness. All right, it's gone. I see the ladder. I'm running for it. Oh, don't want to miss all this gold ore. I think what I'm going to do is... What do I skip out on? Oh, I literally have a piece of trash. I've been carrying it around for a while. I need to stop doing that. I was going to say, can we make it to the bottom today? But absolutely not. There is no way. We'll get a good way down though, as long as I- okay, I'm at 90. Can we get to 100? Let's try. Using a lot of clear debris spell because I feel like I constantly have to be on the move. I see it. Let's go. This one I can just run to the end of. Ow. There is a boss slime and I kind of want to kill it. What do we get? Another Iridium Band. I will take it. Oh, I passed out. Okay. Well, floor 90. I'm happy. 30 more floors we can easily do in a day. I do need to make sure I take care of crops first today though, so hopefully there's no birthdays to throw us off track. We do have the Queen of Sauce also. What are we going to learn today? Lucky lunch. Awesome. I do need to see if I've got any other foods I can take down with me because I am low. I mean, I've got these algaes, but they're just not very good. All right. Hopefully our rhubarb should be ready today. If it's not, I'm going to cry. We're good. Everything's fine. And tomorrow I'll just have to till the soil again, but I'll probably have to wait until PS is open to do that. That's fine, though. Lots of rhubarb jelly to be made, and it should be wine day as well, I believe. Maybe it's not today. Maybe it's Monday. Oh, I just realized I've also got parsnips on here and that can go away now. <laughs> Debating waiting until Pierre's opens to get some parsnip. No, I don't need to do that because I can use my magic to get everything down. Um, what I'll do is I'll go to Pierre's today, I think, and swap out one of my spells. So what can I swap out? Um, I'll swap out photosynthesis for the till spell. What is in our mail today? We've got the red plate recipe and Harvey robbing us and a purple mushroom from the wizard. I could definitely do with that. Ooh, maybe I can see if I've got any more of those. First, I'm going to move my star fruit over to the other side. 
Actually, I don't need to go to PS, do I? I just need to go to Sandy and buy a load of starfruit seeds. Although, I do need to do some uh, ingredient crops, so maybe we handle that first before I fill the rest with starfruit. So, in my forageables chest, let's have a look. I only have one purple mushroom, which is a bit unfortunate. I could take chanterelles, though. I'll probably do that. I don't know why I'm taking my copper pan with me either. That can go away, too. I'm also going to use these cherry bombs, because why not? And then I think I said I wanted to wait for Pierre's for something, didn't I? But I don't remember what it was. Oh, I needed to change my spell. We'll do that. That's kind of important. Should be that by the time I get down there, he should be open anyway. And I also need to make a couple more triple shot espressos before I go up to the mines too. Okay, let's have a look. So, let's move this till spell. What can I... Can I unlearn points? Because I think I can change them as much as I want, right? So, um, is there anything I'm willing to turn down a little? I mean, not really. We'll just go with the silver till spell, that's fine. And then what did I come back here for again? I don't remember. I needed to do something back on the farm. Uh, okay, never mind. Let's just go. <laughs> Hello, Pam, don't mind me. Straight for the mines. Oh, I wanted to make some more triple shots, didn't I? Now I remember. That's the wrong stop. Even if I can only make, like, two triple shots, it's still more than I have. Yeah, I can only make two, but it's fine. Do I even have the recipe? No, I don't think I have the recipe. Oh, man. Okay, um... Never mind, we'll just do without. <laughs> At the very least, for now, I've got spicy eel. So, floor 90. Let's have our triple shot and then let's get going. Damn, this one can do with some bombs. Okay, luckily the first one got us a ladder. Let's go. Just try my best to run through everything and ignore them and find the ladder. There it is. Floor 100. I can't believe the very few radioactivals we've found this entire trip. Though saying that, I say very few ra radioactivals. We've literally found one, which is kind of not ideal. But it's okay, I'm not gonna die here. I'm gonna eat a mushroom and then we're gonna be calm and kill these things. Phew! I am gonna go get those crates over there though because in the harder mines you can get some fun stuff from them. Oh my god, that's a lot of enemies. I mean, nothing too crazy, but it's still something. We're officially also out of triple shots as well, so we are limited on the speed boost. I mean, we still have plus four overall, so it's still pretty good. Oh, there's the ladder. Oh, let's not die, let's not die. Strange buns to the rescue, even if I do have to eat all three. Damn, where is this ladder? There it is. One of the last rocks, of course it is. Oh no, I've got a staircase. I think I just got that out of a crate and I'm going to use it right now. <laughs> 10 more floors to go. We can do this. Hey, key gem. Our first one. Come on, two floors to go. Oh, freebie, one more to go. And our spicy eel's about to run out, so let's change that. Using cherry bombs, because why not? Watch there be a freebie right at the bottom of here. I can almost smell it. Well, there's no freebie. Oh, there we go. There's a ladder. 120. There's a note from Mr. Key. I've temporarily disabled this shrine. Come back tomorrow. Well, now we can have the harder mines whenever we want. Once I have the harder mines, I most of the time keep them on because I feel like, why not? You can get some really cool stuff from them. And you tend to get more monsters. So like for the, the little mushroom levels, you can get more coal. So I don't know. I think that's worth it. Do have one ancient seed. I don't really need it, I don't think. So I'm just going to craft it into a seed and leave it in my chest. And we do have some jelly to take care of once again. And now that we've got the rhubarb, I'll switch over to using rhubarb jelly. It is just worth that little bit more, I'm pretty sure. And now it's time for bed for the last day of spring. We've got nearly 37,000 gold for that, so very, very happy. We're starting the summer with a lot of money. Okay, first of all... <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> What's up with my mana bar? Hello? I mean, I know I have a lot of mana, but my... <laughs> that looks so funny. Is there anything I can do to fix that? Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Okay, well, we're just gonna... <laughs> have to leave with a huge mana bar. I wasn't expecting... Oh, it's the first of summer. Okay, that's what we're doing. Well, 500 gold will help us out for sure. And we've got to prep the farm for planting all the season's crops. So we're gonna go and check at Pierre's what we need for ingredients and such. Where is my scythe? There it is. We may or may not go and handle stuff from the missing battle today as well, maybe? We will see. But let's get this all cleared up. Hello, little void chicken. All of this fiber is very welcome. So I think what I wanted to do is I need to go to Pierre's, buy as many ingredients as I might need. And then after that, I think I want to obviously spend the rest of my money on starfruit. But I don't know how much of the farm we're going to be able to fill out. So I might have to make a little bit of a calculation as to how much we might be able to do. Uh, I think the first thing I want to check maybe is how much speed grow I might have. Let's have a look. I have three. Okay, that's not ideal. Never mind. Okay, maybe we might not be able to do all star fruit this season. That's fine. 
Maybe we just start off with all melons and then we'll do star fruit later, or maybe we'll just do a couple of sprinklers worth of star fruit. I did put the till spell on me in prep. Um, I need to get rid of this though. Where's my axe? Is my axe up here? Using clear debris for one single stick is kind of overkill and would destroy half my parts, so I don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and till everything that we can. It's pretty easy with this radius because when I use the till spell, it does about the radius of a sprinkler anyway. I don't think I'd want any bigger than that. And now it's time to sprint to Pierre's. I suppose the mana bar being bigger is kind of a better indication of how much we used because when the mana bar was tiny, you could kind of barely see really where you're at, but now it kind of makes a bit more sense. Hello, Pierre. I think what I want to do is like a sprinkler worth of each. The hops I need to do differently, so I want 10, 14. So I've got three rows on that sprinkler, so it's still a sprinkler's worth. Do I stay loyal to Pierre or do I go to Joja to buy the cheaper sunflower seeds? I might go buy the cheaper sunflower seeds. Let's do that. I feel bad, but it's kind of extortionate. We don't have Joja anymore. What am I talking about? <laughs> oh no. Sorry, Pierre. I just um forgot something. I definitely wasn't trying to go anywhere else to get these sunflower seeds. Not at all. So I'm trying to think if I just buy more melons for now. Although I do have I do have enough money. Maybe we'll just get the starfruit after because I think by the time I've planted everything, I'll still have time. I think it might just mean this year we don't get a triple harvest. I think I'll do the melons last. Should accumulate a good amount of blueberries. I do like blueberries, but also I kind of find them overrated because I feel like once you process them, they're not even worth that much. I don't know. Maybe I just got really put off by that blueberry wine disaster that I had in uh, the expanded playthrough. I don't know. But it's really put me off using blueberries. That's for sure. Now, I think sunflower honey is worth more than poppies, right? So I'll put that here. And the poppies will go on the one next to it. And then we've got spangles as well. Okay, the poppies will go somewhere else. That's fine. I'm actually not going to have that much room for star fruit thinking about it. I've also got to make sure I remember to water everything too. Oh no, I made a mistake. Oh well. Um, I'm just going to have to live with it. That looks so awkward. Oh well. So realistically, I've only got like two sprinklers worth of star fruit anyway. Maybe I can just shove some star fruit in between here. But let's head over to the desert and grab some. Oh no, I forgot the radishes. Okay, well... It's fine, once all the crops have grown once, the non regrowable ones anyway, there'll be a lot more room for more star fruit, so it's fine. Oh, it's also wine day. I completely forgot. Okay, radishes first. And then literally any other available space will be star fruit. And now we water. Gonna have to rain on that chicken. I am very sorry, chicken. Okay, let's set up more wine. I think pretty soon I want to be able to upgrade the house. I need to get some casks started, but I don't think I have anywhere near enough wood to really bother with that just yet. I don't know. Maybe we stockpile some stuff first so I don't just have a half-empty basement. Although, the money would still be nice, wouldn't it? I don't know. No, I think we can wait a little more on the house upgrade. Rhubarb wine I will just sell straight away. I think it's only the starfruit wine I'm really interested in keeping at the moment. I do have quite a lot of wood, though. I could make more kegs. It is wine day, after all. Okay, I managed 19 more kegs with the wood that I have, so let's use that. There's a goat in my way. Excuse me. I do also need to reorganise this uh, room a little. But hey, I'll always take an excuse for 19 more bottles of wine. Whilst we're looking at wine as well, I might as well harvest all of this oak resin. I am stockpiling a lot of it. Maybe the amount of trees that I've done over here is kind of overkill. <laughs> I'm sure one day I'll thank myself for having this much oak resin. <laughs> it is also a new week, so we do need to go check for a new key quest. So let's go head to the island. Please have something good. 50 loved gifts in a week. Or extended family. I don't know if I've got enough loved gifts. If I had a stockpile of rabbit's feet, then I'd probably do it, but I don't. So maybe we just accept extended family. Whether I can actually do it or not is another thing. What I really need to do is be able to enchant my fishing rod. Oh, and you needed wheat for over here too, I forgot. All right, well, I'll get wheat seeds from Pierre tomorrow. Speaking of, I wonder if I can buy anything from the shop yet over here. I think I do have some key gems. I have 51, okay. There are a couple of things I want to get. That is not where I do that. <laughs> I want Pierre's missing stock list, but first I want the key to the town. Pierre's missing stock list is 50? Okay, never mind. I'll handle that one another time, I guess. <laughs> How many walnuts do I have left, actually? I've only got 103. Okay, I've got quite a way to go. I bet you can guess what I'm doing right now, and if you guess turning on animation counselling, you're probably correct. I want to see if I- aha, there's one. I wanted to see if there are any more walnuts in these things. Well, you got two today. Snake vertebrae? Wait, have I- got that yet? Let's go check. I still don't think I've done the Pirate's Cove, so there's still those to go to. I have not. Okay. We just need one more of those. 
And we still need the skull from the coconuts, so that's gonna be some time. Oh, I think we got a Leo cutscene. Wait, did we never do this cutscene? I think I went so straight in with finding all the walnuts that we didn't do it. You bird friend? As he stands there just poking at me. Seem good. She asks if you're a bird friend. I told her yes. How did you end up here? Big storm, waves, lightning. Mother, father, swallowed by the sea. I... I washed up on shore. No, 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 that was just a dream, right? I was born here, just like all other bird friends, can't you tell? If you're a bird, how can you speak? Haha, <laughs> the bird backing him up. See, we speak, we speak. Hey, I remembered something. My name is Leo. I can't believe we hadn't been introduced to Leo yet. I need a worn-up tip plate. Oh, hidden in the pages of the journal. I think I've already got all the ones in the journal that I can find. Um, Yeah, I think I just haven't found them all. I've definitely done this one, and I've definitely done this one. We just haven't found the rest of the journal pages yet, but that's okay. Well, I think I'll sleep on the island today, see if we can hit another snake vertebrae tomorrow, maybe also some more muscle rock walnuts. I should probably put the path pieces down, shouldn't I? I mean, that's if I've been keeping track even, I don't know. Oh my god, 150- okay, I'm taking that coal with me, I need that. <laughs> Is there anything else here I might need? Oh, we've got 176 starfruit seeds here, and we've got a load of speed growth, so I could have speed growed the- starfruit on the farm but i actually wanted to see if i had any uh cinder shards here but i don't that's okay oh i also need to go check the bulletin board in town don't i that's definitely something we need to do i don't know how quick these rocks regenerate i guess not that fast because there's only one here today never mind i just realized as well i wasted an entire day that i could have been doing it cindered family i don't even think i'm level 10 fishing yet no i'm not i'm level 8 okay maybe i shouldn't have accepted that one we will just uh pretend we don't have a key quest right now Right, let's have a look. 100 pineapples or tropical fish. Let's do the tropical fish because I do need to work on my fishing level. I'm waiting for added ingredients to be the taro one. That's the one I kind of care about the most. Hello, Pierre. Nice to see you bright and early. I would like five wheat seeds, please. I know I don't need that many. I only needed one, but it's fine. I need to remove the beach water off of my list. That's done. Then we're coming home to come and collect my fishing rod. Oh, I need something to put on the end of it. Uh... Do I have any other good fishing tackle for this? I might just use the dress spinner, maybe that'll be enough. I feel like I'm too lazy to make them at the moment. Unless we use the quality one first. Maybe we'll do that. And whilst we're at it, we might as well grab ourselves a golden coconut as well. Ooh, actually, whilst we're on this side of town as well, actually, I'm going to go pop over to the abandoned Joja Mart so that we can put in just the few things that we have. <gasps> Dino egg, I can turn it into Dino Mayo. Unless we wait for the Dino Mayo. Unless I already have Dino Mayo? Oh, I've got dino eggs, I just never turn them into mayo for whatever reason. It is going to be three hours though, so do I just wait for that or do I do it another time? I don't know. I mean, at least I can pet the animals, I suppose, while I'm here and maybe I could set up some more animal products. At least be somewhat useful, you know? I think this truffle as well, I'm going to turn into truffle oil because I don't have any, I don't think. So it'd be good to have some on hand in case I need to make like a rain totem or something. And whilst I'm waiting, there's a few trees I can definitely chop down as well. There's our dino mayo, let's go to the Joja Mart. I think there are still a couple more things I need, but we'll get to those. Actually, can I? No. I was trying to see if I could see it from uh, my menu like you could with the actual community centre, but it doesn't seem like you can, so I'll just have to go check myself. Let's duck into this hole. Hello! Oh, we only need five out of these? Okay, so we'll do this, uh, this, and... Wait, I had a prismatic shard. What? I guess it's at home. Oh, we do need the aged wine. Okay, so maybe the aged wine is the one that we skip out on. I'm wondering if I already kept a caviar behind anywhere probably not right i mean the rhubarb jelly only has 22 hours so i can do that tomorrow and then it'll be ready in a few days and then we'll do the prismatic shard next time all i really need to do now is catch the void salmon i think wait unless i was just trying to see if i had one in a chest but i don't think i do because also it does have to be a good quality one and it's not all right let's grab the sturgeon row from down here and shove it in the chest in the shed so it's ready to go and now I think I'm ready to go fishing. Before we do that though, let's go ahead and plant our taro. And we've got to deal with our wheat as well. And it may be a waste, but I'm going to put speed grow on them anyway. One less day is still worth it to me. Alright, so I need five lionfish, five discus and five stingrays. Should we get the worst ones out of the way first? I think we should. No, actually we'll do them last because they're going to be the hardest. So we'll start with the lionfish over here. I wanted to see if there was a bubble spot anywhere. <gasps> there is. Oh joy, another snake skull. We got a tuna. It'd be a bonus if I can also catch uh, some flounder over here. I think we can catch some on Ginger Island. Just want to be able to make some more seafood pudding. There's one lime fish. Hey, flounder. Just what we were looking for. 
I'm quite far off finishing level 9, so it's going to take some time. I can't believe I'm in summer year 2 and I still haven't got level 10 fishing. I think it just goes to show how I feel about fishing. I reiterate how I feel about fishing. This fish is being a nightmare. Oh my god, please stay there. No, don't do that. Oh, it was a puffer fish. That's why it was being so difficult. Okay, that's fine. Very good bite rate today. Oh, wait, it's the bubble spot. Duh. I was wondering why I was having so much luck and be literally standing at a bubble spot. Caught a lot of fish though, and so far only one lionfish, which is kind of sucky. Like, don't get me wrong, the tuna are great, but not what I'm looking for. I mean, I suppose I should probably be keeping some of these four ingredients anyway as well. So many tuna. Ooh, there's treasure. I would quite like the treasure. What do we get? Just some bait. Okay, well, I suppose it's still free bait, right? Spot what is being pretty kind to me today, to be fair. Is this going to be another tuna? It was another tuna. Flanders I'm okay with because seafoam pudding. <laughs> Where are all the- oh, there we go. There's another lionfish. So have we got- I don't know how many we've got. I think it's two. I will check in a moment. I went to check and then I kind of accidentally cast my fishing line again. <gasps> There's another. Yeah, we're on three. Okay. Ew, glasses. Hey, I think we've got a five. Okay. Let's move on to the little pond over here. Should be able to catch our discus from here. I'm pretty sure this is the discus because they're kind of annoying. They move around a lot and I think this must be one of them, please? Yes, okay. I'm hoping we don't have that much variety of fish that we can catch in these little ponds and that they're all discus, I'm praying. The only thing I'm worried about is I'm pretty sure Stingray are significantly harder. I've only got one more discus to go though. I was hoping to try and have level 9 before the Stingray, but I don't think that's going to happen. Definitely not, we're only just over halfway. Especially if we keep getting trash. There we go, discus are done and what are we getting here? Bait and a geode, alright that'll do. Fishing tackle also worn out, so I will change to the other spinner that I've got. I'm way past as well. Let's see if we can sell some of this fish. So I'll sell the iridium. Oh no, I'm going to keep the flounders. I don't think I need to keep these, do I? I don't know. I mean, I'll keep them for now just in case. Oh, the pirates are here. Okay. Well, we'll also deal with this. I don't think I've done any of this yet. Let's do the darts game. No, I think the times three is the best way to go, right? And each time you get less darts... I'll do the bullseyes first because they kind of seem easier for me. Or I get three. Okay, fine. It's fine. This one's the warm up round anyway. There's a 60. Got 98 to go. All right, now I need to get 25. So we start with the 20 and then the five. There we go. We did it. 13 throws. Thank you for the warm up. Let's do it again. We have slightly less. Hey, 20 times three first time. Come on, I can do this. I'm getting better at this. She says, now I'm going to hit a 20 instead, but that's fine, I've got enough darts. 61 to go, and now just the one. Nice. We did it. I think we've got one more round. Thank you for the second golden walnut. One more, let's do it. Even less darts, okay, we can do this. Oh my god, the moving target causes so much anxiety. Oh, 20? Come on, I, that was on a 3. Oh no, I'm running low. Come on, we can get it in 3 more darts. No, that's not going to do it. It's fine, we're going to be fine. Phew! So now I need to do 41, so if I do up here, yeah, okay, fine, we'll just do two 20s in the exact number of darts. Oh no. No, okay, let's try again. <laughs> I've never lost this before. Okay, we're not going to do it. You lose. All right, better luck next time. Well, this will be the time. There'll be no next time after this. So far, so good. Maybe a little less good. Okay, come on, I can do it in two more darts. Maybe it'll be a bit more than that. <laughs> Okay, we've got just enough. As long as I don't mess up the one, we've got it. Thank you very much. Now, I don't think... Yeah, that's for old time's sake, so we don't have any more walnuts in here. We've got those three, and now I just need to catch all of the stingray. Can I still do that whilst there's people here? I don't know if it works still. We'll soon find out. Oh, it's fine. Oh, yes, the stingray are definitely more difficult. Oh, if you stay still like that, though, that's okay. I can live with that. No, don't start doing that. No, no, none of that. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to be here all night. Damn it. I forgot how hard they were. I should have brought some Dish of the Sea or something. Maybe I should have brought a trap bubble for this also. I'm pretty sure I have caught the Stingray once before, so I know I can do it. Come on, determined. All right, one down, five to go. I mean, four to go. We can do this. That one's built up my confidence a little more. Come on, I just need a really easy Stingray. Or four. <laughs> Come on, this is a good one. Please continue being okay. Yes. I would love to stop getting trash though, because I really wanted to get this quest done today, but I don't know if I'm going to do it at this time. I don't know. Come on, fish. Two more to- oh, super cucumber. Okay, well, I mean, that's cool at all, but I really need a stingray right now. I could be doing without that. <laughs> oh, what did I get? Oh, I got one of the frog statues. Awesome. We'll have to place that somewhere on the island farm. No, no, don't be difficult. Don't be that fish. We want calm. Calm is what we like. A bit calmer than that. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Chill, just chill. It's fine. 
There we go. Ooh, I'm almost out of energy. <laughs> I feel like it's been a while since that's happened. Uh, let's eat one of these mushrooms. In real life, I would never. I feel like this one smells more like a soupy cucumber, but I'm hoping not. Oh my god, why? Please? No! <laughs> oh my god, I suck at fishing. People be out here catching the legend in their first spring, and I'm just like standing here for the entire evening trying to catch stingray they're not fun to catch at all after this day i never want to do this again come on i can do this not the super cucumber no i need a stingray <laughs> unless they're not available anymore hang on oh i don't have look up anything on here no i'll have to google it myself in a second i think i suppose with the super cucumbers i have something for the luau though so that's a plus hey no i need one more okay can we do this today please tell me we can do this today i don't want to keep doing this tomorrow <laughs> No, not trash, please. Ah, uh, so much trash. Okay, this is time to take the pee now. There we go. Please be a stingray. You act kind of similar to a super cucumber, so I'm kind of concerned. We don't have much time. And I definitely don't have the energy, and I don't want to eat just to catch a fish. Come on, we've got this. We've got this. Yes! Oh my god, we did it. Let's go. Let's get out of here. In fact, I'm going to teleport back to the farm, because I obviously want to store some of these fish. Do I have any of these already as fish? I don't think I do. We'll use this one. So I want to save those, those. We'll save one of those. Save a few of those. And those. And those. And we'll sell the rest. And sleep time. And I think today's the day we get a fish tank in the mail, don't we? For all of our efforts yesterday. I'm, I'm really proud of myself. We did some fishing all in a single day. There it is. The deluxe fish tank. I'm going to go put that straight in my house. Put it opposite my bed. It's nice to watch some fish while we sleep. I don't really know what fish I want to put in here yet, so I'd love to hear some of your suggestions as to what you think might fit the vibe of our little house. All right, let's make this our city day. So I need to bring a bunch of gifts out to the city. Um, I think I'm going to leave those here. We'll go and check what's by the rainbow tree today. I think I can get a banana from there actually for the walnuts too. So I just need to remember not to give that to anyone. Whoa, look at all that fiber. We've got a radish, we can probably give that to someone, and we've got a bunch of fruit here, so we'll, we'll give those out today. Because all of these will be iridium quality, and on our way home we're going to chop down all these trees, because they have now grown. All that wood just waiting for me. And we're not leaving behind this mystic node. Damn it, no prismatic shard. Gutted. I will prioritise the trees though, because obviously we need the wood more. As tempting as it is to clear out the quarry. Let's see who's home today. There's Cal. Have... Wait, you don't like aquamarine, do you? But you might like... A peach? Enjoy. We are full friendship with him now, so we don't have to worry about his anymore. Is Gwen home? Yes, she is. Would you also like a peach? Enjoy. Whatever meat you're eating, make sure to cook it, because there's a lot of bacteria that thrive on meat. Very true. Gwen should be a chef. She shouldn't be working in a nightclub. At least I think. Selena is actually home. Selena, would you like an orange? Enjoy the orange. When you live in the city, you get to meet people from all walks of life. There are all sorts of people here, aren't there? And a peach for Sadie too. Just getting some food before you head off to work. What are you going to have? Can you have some? No, get your own food. Aw. Well, at least Gwen shares with me. God. Damn. And now hopefully Kristoff is here. I have an emerald. Here he is. Hello. Did you hear me coming? This is for you. I can't talk now. I'm busy. Oh, there we go. You know, I never asked my workers to do anything I wouldn't do myself. Are you sure about that? I'm not sure how true that is. Is that you trying to convince me somehow? Because I, I don't buy it. Ugh. Buddy chill at pharmacy, would you like a peach? Enjoy. It's nice out today, I wish I could find my sunscreen. You're in a pharmacy, surely they sell sunscreen. I mean, what do I know? I'm just here with my magic. Ah, uh, I thought I could beat that car, I can't run faster than cars. Wow, that car is tailgating. Chill. Now we just need to go find David. There he is, and I'm pretty sure he loves aquamarine. Yes, he does. Sometimes working at the sanctuary is stressful. It's all worth it, though. I feel like calling it stressful and also its name being the sanctuary is um interesting to say the least. Alright, let's chop down some trees. Is there anyone I can do around here without people noticing me? So we'll go into the next area. There's a train, but trees are more important. I do have quite a lot of room in my inventory. I probably could manage to clear out the quarry. I think the real issue is the mana though. I have already used half my mana. I probably should have brought my axe, shouldn't I? Maybe we'll leave the rest of the quarry things for now. We'll just focus on the trees, which is what we actually came here for. I do like what they've done with the colour of the mana bar, though, that it gets lighter the more mana you've used. Alright, I should have just like a stack of wood. Just a little bit more than a stack, actually. That, I think, is some pretty good going materials for wood we weren't even planning for today. And with that, what I'm going to do is make a load of preserves jars, because those are ready today. So, I want to make as many as I can. 
19 and then we run out of coal. Literally a never ending quest for coal. On the bright side, the shed is officially full, so we probably are due an upgrade now. So one of these I need to make my caviar and everything else is going to be rhubarb jelly. I think I need to go do a geode opening spree at some point as well, my goodness. And by at some point I would probably mean the next in-game day. So I am pretty far off for getting these minerals done. Mind you, do I bother opening all of them or do I just... I don't know, I don't know what to do. Maybe what we do actually is go and buy quite a lot of artifact trays from the desert. I'll start with 35 for now, I want to keep some Omni Geos behind just in case I need them for anything else. I seem to have misplaced my regular geodes. What the heck have I done with them? Have I put them in here? Oh, I have. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Where have they gone? Right, so let me look up of the minerals I need, what they come from. Okay, everything I need are from magma geodes, so I won't bother opening the rest of them right now. We'll just take the omni geodes, just in case. Spreading weeds will cause damage? Oh no. Oh well. It's Jazz's birthday today. What do we know about Jazz? Jazz fairy roses and plum pudding. Do I have any fairy roses? Oh, I do. Okay, let's use the gold star one. And then we'll check our mail. What the heck? Today is the first annual Joja Employee Appreciation Day. I would love for you to be an honorary guest. Please swing by when you have the chance to have attached 500 gold to cover the bus. <gasps> we have to see what that is. Oh, and we got our first option of getting a bouquet. I think that's because we became full friendship with Cal. We're not very interested in him, though. He's just an old friend. We've also got some hay from Marnie as well, so I'm going to slap that straight into the silo. I don't even know how much is in here. There's not very much, okay, so it's kind of a good thing we did that. <laughs> Let's see if we can go get Jazz her birthday present first. We've got the key to the town now, so we should be able to get into Marnie's even though it's early. Happy birthday! Enjoy! And we're 6 out of 10, so we're doing pretty good with her. Hello, Marnie! Oh, we're already full friendship with Marnie, I'm less interested now. And uh, maybe we say hello to Shane while we're at it. Hello! Where's the Joja Cola? Sorry, I could have brought some for you. That's my bad. Actually, no, I kind of sold it all. Never mind. We'll go and handle the geodes first because that doesn't really pass any time other than when I walk between the blacksmith and the museum. So we should be all right. And Clint's already at his desk. Let's see if we can complete the minerals first. There's one. Going to be giving Clint a good morning workout here. Oh, Jasper, I think we needed that too. Now it's just the Barrett and the Tiger's Eye. Definitely pleased with the right amount of coal that we're getting from this. Hey, there's the Tiger's Eye. Wow, 10 coal. I think it's just the barrier we need now. Are oh, we gonna get it? Damn it. Never mind. And now we'll do all the artifacts. <gasps> Look at that treasure chest. All right, let's go. Hello. We'll donate one of those. Ooh, reward. That's some decent progress. Oh wait, I need to collect the reward. Maybe I do that after. We'll do it after, if I remember. So first things first, I need to sell off anything we don't need. Problem that we can't sell the artifacts here. I'm just gonna have to go home and sell them at the shipping bin. How many have we got three treasure chests today? Okay, that's all of our artifact trees. Let's see if we can donate anything new. Oh, we actually have quite a few things. Another reward? We got a lot of rewards today. What have we got? Oh, magic rock candy, crystallarium, drum block, and a burnt offering. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to pop home. I don't know if I op open the Omni Geodes today or not. Let's have a look at how our tab is looking. So we've only got a few things to go. The yellow strange doll I think I need to go get from the desert, I think. And then we've got the fossilized skull, which I think comes from... You know, all the fossily things and stuff, I don't know. And then we've got this little broken swordy thing here, which I don't tend to have that much trouble finding. So hopefully we'll just happen upon it at some point. But hey, let's sell off everything we don't need. Do I keep this as a love gift? Maybe I do. Any other artifact can go though. And the third crystallarium is always welcome, but I'll wait until these are ready to put another one in there. I have this burnt offering, but I don't really have anywhere I want to put it. It can go in a chest for now. <laughs> And I think we're going to go run all the way up to the city again today, for the second time in this episode. We need to find out what Kristoff wants. Whilst we're out, I'm going to grab everything in this little section here. Iridium quality summer spangles are going to go a long way with our friendship with Caroline. Actually, where are we? Are we already full with her? No, not quite, but this should do it. And since we now have a lesser full inventory, we can actually bother clearing out the quarry over here today. We have been meaning to do it for a while. Just in case I need inventory slots, I am going to delete a couple of things. I don't know what this event is going to be. But hey, we're going to find out together in a second. <laughs> what is it? Whoa! Everything alright? Good. Good. Oh, you made it! I'm so glad you made it! I feel the odd one out, I'm not in a uniform. Come on, Willow, we can start the opening ceremony now. I'll take my place over at the front here. Oh, wait, I'm on stage. Hello? What am I doing over here? What? Attention all Jojo employees! I'd like to welcome you all to the first annual Jojo Employee Appreciation Day. When I was 19, I started up Jojo with the intent of creating a company to help people. Are you sure about that? 
Since then, the vision of the company has changed and my views and actions have shifted. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Money had corrupted me, corrupted my soul. Oh? But now, thanks to Willow, our honorary guest, I'm returning back to the idea to start Jojo with. Oh! And with that, I'd like to wish you all a happy Employee Appreciation Day. I bet everyone's really suspicious. Everyone had a great time playing games, socialising and having fun. It was amazing. Okay. Well, we're done for the day, apparently. <laughs> uh, I was going to go chat to Christoph and see if he had anything to say after that, but um, I guess we're not doing that now. Damn, that was um a long Employee Appreciation Day. I'm guessing by what's in my inventory that we might have... Did we go to the volcano? Why do I have all this stuff? Oh, it's because I was opening geodes, wasn't it? I remember now. <laughs> I was opening geodes, we went to the Employee Appreciation Day, and then somehow we ended up back at home. It's a little suspicious, really, isn't it? Gonna try not to think about that too much. <laughs> but I'm just having a quick look at the state of our crops at the moment. Uh, Hop's got seven days left. I've got some wheat ready. I might actually plant more wheat? I don't know. What am I going to put here in its place? I'm not entirely sure. Um, first of all, let me sort out my inventory because it's kind of a nightmare in here. I literally can't cope with having this much stuff on me. Wait, oh my god. Life elixir and purple mushroom restores health and mana. Have I only just found out this existed? I need to be starting to use that more often. Is there anything else in here that we haven't made yet as well? I think we've actually made one of everything. Oh, it might be the cloak of moonlight, so I need to make sure I keep a Celestine. I'm gonna write that in my uh, to-do list. Oop, singing stone. Oh, uh, I just wanna, I wanna open the cauldron. Oh, okay. <laughs> I haven't made, have I made this a more tentia before? I can't tell because usually I've got the advanced crafting information stuff on, but for some reason on here, it's not showing me the information. I think the only thing I haven't made really is the Cloak of Moonlight. So once we get the Celestine, we'll do that. I'm pretty sure I made all the other potions like as and when they came up. I think though for today, what might be quite nice is if we get this missing bundle done. Let me go check inside this shed. Okay, there's a bunch of animals in the door. Excuse me. No, please, please let me in, okay. Oh, we've got two days, three hours, so we should be able to finish that this episode, but what we can do, so we've got the prismatic shard, we've got the cav- uh, gonna have the caviar, and then it's just between the wine and the void salmon. So maybe we go catch the void salmon today, because I don't think I've caught one of those yet either. And I think I need to catch some anyway. You know, I'm pretty sure for the fishing collection. There's a lot of fish here that we haven't caught yet, we do need to get on that. Um, and I have finally installed the look up anything mod, so I should be able to tell what we need to do. So maybe we handle some of that too. I feel like I'm doing a lot of fishing recently just because Coral Island kind of made me fish more and some of that seems to be carrying over to Stardew somehow. <laughs> All right, let's start by fishing in this river. I know you can get the pike here and I also need to catch the Dorado, I think. So if we can get those handled, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a pike. Oh no, it's the Dorado. I'll take a Dorado. Maybe I'll go ahead and check the traveling merchant as well in case she's got any uh, fishing related food here that I'm too lazy to make. <laughs> There's our pike. And then I think those are done, so let's go check the merchant. Oh, we got the fish taco, but it is very expensive here. Maybe I don't buy that right now. All right, never mind. There's no one around, so I probably could teleport. Why can't I teleport? I don't have my teleport claws. I think I've put them away by accident. Uh, or I've run out. It's not like they're very expensive to make, so I'll probably just, you know, make some more. Yeah, I must have run out. 56 should do us for a good while. I'll teleport up to the railroad. Oh no, I'm in the wrong place. Um, oopsie. Railroad again. I'm down from there a little. <laughs> I was going to be stuck on that cliff. I suppose I could have gone via the wizards too, but I like going this way. Now let's catch us a void salmon. Let's see if I can do it without any food. If not, I'll just go home or maybe go to Willy's and buy some trout soup. I feel like any amount of fishing level always helps. I would like to stop catching algae though. Oh my god, please. Oh, a fish. This must be it. Please tell me this is it. I'm going to have to catch two today as well because I need one for the missing bundle. But also, I think... I can't remember if this is an expanded recipe. Hey, gold star. I can't remember if it's an expanded recipe, but also there's the Void Delight, which needs a Void Salmon. So I need to get another one, even if I just put it in a fish pond to breed, so I've got some spares also. This is it. This one's being a bit more difficult. Please don't. I feel like that first fish was way kinder to us. We can do this. I just got to not blink from now on. <laughs> Come on. Give me that fish. There we go. Two Void Salmon and both of them are gold. Now all we have to do is wait for the caviar. I'll pop it in this chest for now. But I feel like there's some stuff in here that doesn't belong, so I'm going to remove the statue and the torches and stuff. And then shove them in here. Nope, not in here. In here. And for now, the other void salmon's going to go in a chest. Right, Marnie hasn't closed yet, and I do want more pigs, so I think I'm going to go pop down to her shop. I've got more pigs on my list, so I think we can take care of that now we've got a little bit more money again. Hello, Marnie. I'd like a few pigs, please. I really wish I put the bulk animal uh, purchase mod on here. I'm going to stick with the name Socko. That's kind of funny. But I know we can afford five more. 
Snumby, Gillers, and then I think we've got one more. Can I look up anything from here? No, I can't. <laughs> poo poo? I'm not keeping that name. That's hilarious. Trilly, sure. And then let's purchase one more, I think. If it lets us. Gronly the pig. There we go. There's our. I think that's our five. Kind of nervous about the small amount of uh, grass there is left. I'm tempted to kind of put a fence along here because I know that when you put grass under fences, it doesn't like completely go away. So some of it can spread from under there and it'll be all right. So do I have any spare fences anywhere? I do. Probably could do with a few more though. Um, I'm not sure if I've got that much. Oh, I've got plenty of hardwood. I don't need a huge amount because it's not a huge amount of space. But now if I go ahead and stick these along here, do we get rid of this one? Maybe we get rid of this one. I need my axe, don't I? Damn it. I'll do that another time. And then to make more grass starters, I need some fiber. Oh, I've got fiber. I think what I'm also going to do is sort out this forage chest a little. I've got loads and loads of forage in here and I kind of don't need to keep all of it. So what I might do is make as many seeds as I can. Um, obviously keeping some forage behind because it's good to have some. And then we can make some tea saplings for a bit more money. Make some of that pig money back, you know. And then some of the gold star stuff can kind of just go away. We'll get some more in uh, the next season. I could also put these in the seed makers to make some more seeds that way too. So perhaps we'll do some of that. But first, let me sell off some of this excess forage. I feel like just some of my chests are getting too full with stuff we don't really need to keep anymore. Maybe it probably wasn't the smartest immediate use of our wood because I did want to make more cakes and stuff, but sometimes it's worth it to me. It's worth it to get a bit more money back. Right, that'll do there for now. And then let's get some more animal products going since I seem to have plenty. Are there any more fish I can maybe catch today? I probably need to set up some crab pot somewhere to deal with all these. Oh wait, Zuzu has a carp? We'll definitely go catch that at some point when we go to give all our gifts to the people. But for now, what I might do is go and handle the slime jack. Oh no, I just teleported to the island instead. That's embarrassing. I'm not turning animation cancelling on. It was already on. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, whilst I'm here, I might as well go and get a hint from the parrot about our walnuts. Oh, our wheat is also grown, so we can get these walnuts here too. Hello, froggy. We have the yellow tickling thing outside for you. Please do not tickle me. Thank goodness. <laughs> I will take my walnuts, thank you very much. And then one more time. We have the zesty ground fruit outside. You want to take a big bite and smell bombo bat. See, I'd, I'd be okay with you eating the garlic. Do not eat raw garlic. It is not worth it. <laughs> and there is our final set of walnuts from him. I did spot whilst we're in those cutscenes that there was a weed taking over some of our tarot, which is a bit sad. But it's fine. Okay, let's go and check the parrot now. We did get a good amount of walnuts today, though. Hello, parrot. Two encased in fire mountain gadgets, okay. Maybe we go and do that then. Where's Leo right now? He's up by the mountain anyway. I wonder if Leo likes uh, coral. Actually, we can look it up. Neutral gift, coral and mussel, here you go. Have some coral. I accept your gift. I mean, at least he looks happy with a neutral gift. And then let's see if we can get these final two walnuts from in here, although I kind of forgot to bring my watering can, but it's fine, because I should be able to spend the walnuts for a bridge here. Plus we can blink anyway, so it's fine. What are these things you call unreachable areas? I probably didn't even have to spend the walnuts on that, to be honest. <gasps> Journal scrap! What does it say? Oh, it's about the forge. Okay. Looks like I'm already needing to eat. Although saying that, I could just heal. There we go. Oh, we got a curiosity law. Nice. Whoa. Out of my way. Waiting for these little dragons to come out of here. One dragon's tooth. I'll take it. Ew, it's one of these weird mushroom floor things. I suppose I could just ignore them. Let's go. <laughs> So much easier to deal with the buttons when you can just blink over to them. Is there anything I need from here? I just wonder- Oh, pink bow! No, we don't need that. We live in witch hats. <laughs> it's 1am, so we're going to be passing out here today, and I'm okay with that. There's a walnut, so at least we got one today. We just need one more from in here. Oh, we're passed out. <laughs> I mean, hey, that means we got 11 walnuts today, so I'm happy with our progress. Even though we didn't expect to have to go there today. Sometimes you just got to make the most out of your mistakes, you know? Oh, and our star fruit's ready today, so that was really good timing. Um, I'm going to have to pop to the desert at some point, though. I wonder if I can go now or if she still doesn't open. Should we test it? I'm pretty sure we now have the key to the town. I don't know if this applies to the desert though, so let's see. It does not. Okay. In that case, what I will do is I'll teleport back to the island and we will go and harvest all of our star fruit and then we will replant it after. But at least now I can probably replace some of these with the pineapples. I'm going to keep the iridium magma caps for uh, the luau and the taro root we can start to plant here too. All right, let's go ahead and harvest all this. I'm leaving the wheat for now because I don't have my scythe. Do I have any speed grow here? I'm going to harvest that pineapple and get rid of it. I probably should check my mail as well. No, not eat the star fruit. You don't have any mail. Excuse me? I'm very confused. <laughs> what the heck just happened? What happened to this one? I feel like it hadn't got the speed grow in it. Maybe I should go put some on. Sorted. 
I'll leave that one until the entire next batch grows, I think. I don't know why I haven't put these three sprinklers down. We might as well make use of as much starfruit space as we can, right? And now we should be able to head back to the desert to buy our starfruit seeds. Hello, Sandy. I need a lot of these, please. 626 for now should be all right. Is there anything I can give Sandy whilst I'm here? Actually, let's have a look. Diamond and starfruit. I'm going to give you the diamond because I don't really want to give away any starfruit. Here you go. Plus we're on 8 out of 10 hearts with her now, so we're getting quite close. Back to the island again. I've used quite a lot of teleport cores today. Then I need my speed grow as well for the tiles at the bottom. Let's get that next batch going. I cannot wait to turn all of this into wine. I feel like I can never find a good pattern in trying to plant these. I'm just really like <laughs> haphazard with it. Sometimes I do miss one, but most of the time I check and I don't. I try my best anyway. I feel like sometimes even the speed makes it harder. Ooh, let's put that speed grow here first. There we go, all planted, and now I've got my water spell. I'm gonna take some of these starfruit seeds with me back home because I'm trying to think if I replace... Do I replace it though? Yeah, we could do that one sprinkler worth of starfruit where the wheat was, so let's go home and do that. And we've got a jelly ready too. Before I do anything, I'm gonna put away my wheat. Wheat? What am I talking about? My starfruit. That doesn't even go in here. <laughs> it goes in here. And on the next wine day, I'm gonna have to rearrange this room a little. All right, let's get rid of all of this and then carefully put down speed grow on this section and fill it with starfruit. Because I know I replaced a lot of things with melons here because I couldn't afford to have it all be starfruit. And that's okay. Got a bunch of hot peppers as well to add to our fridge. Let's have a look what's going on in our fridge at the moment, actually. I don't think I even have any starfruit in here. I'm going to put all the wheat in there, um, all of the basic hot peppers that I probably do, to be honest. And I've kept some of the silver style wheat. We will sell the gold. Oh, and I can finally add to this crystallarium situation. There we go. All right, let's do our next batch of jelly. What jelly are we going to make today? Looks like it's going to be a mix of rhubarb and strawberry. There we go. We're officially out of rhubarb. I'm going to end up actually putting some of the cheese and mayo in here just in case we need it for recipes. And then I probably should update my list. So starfruit is now going to be done on summer 15. I can remove more pigs off of our list as well. And I've got iridium sprinklers on my list. I could have sworn I had some, maybe not. That's okay. Maybe what we do now is we go and handle the slime jack and perhaps we also handle the uh, mutant carp. Have I caught the mutant carp yet? I don't think I have. I don't think I've fished at all in the sewers here. I'm gonna need another fishing tackle. Probably something that's gonna help us out here. I think I'm gonna have to make one. Do I have the trap bobber? I do, copper and sap. I'll make myself a couple of those. And of course we can't go to the sewer without giving Krobus a present. So I think I've got some spare horseradish. I do indeed. In fact, I'll bring like eight of them with me. Oh no, I can't bring a chest. I don't have any uh, wood. <laughs> All right, scrap that. We will just bring one. Maybe I also bring my axe. I probably should upgrade that. I'm so behind. <laughs> There's actually quite a lot of trees out here, so I'm probably going to cut these down. I think I've been waiting for these to grow back up for some time, and now they finally have. I mean, we're definitely in need of the wood. Hello, Probus. Have a horseradish. Is there anything in here we need right now? Not really. All right, let's do our fishing. So I'm going to handle the mutant carp first is it mutant carp? no the radioactive carp is the second version isn't it so we'll handle the mutant carp first because i want to make sure i've got the dish of the sea active for that i prefer to also have it for the slime jet but it's not the end of the world if i don't don't want more algae please <laughs> please with the algae well i asked for no algae and now i keep just getting trash that's always fun what would be hilarious is running out of bait i've only got 18 left so i'm really hoping if not i suppose i could just go into the mutant bug lair and get some more bait there <gasps> this is it we can do this maybe no please oh my god this fish is so annoying it could be worse it's definitely annoying <laughs> okay that wasn't so bad we did it that mutant carp is going in our uh fish tank i got some ideas actually in the comments so thank you for anyone who gave me ideas of what i could put in that fish tank but i think we had things like the midnight carp and i think void salmon or something i think all this also the zuzu carp might be a good shout and there we go slime jack that's another one off the list is there any fiber here that we can take care of? I am just going ahead and killing some of the bugs in here because we might as well get the, oh no. We might as well get the bug meat. I kind of need some bait and I'm sure I've got loads of bug meat at home, but you know, just whilst we're in here and we could probably get rid of the uh, infestation a little. All right, 65 bait will do me for some time. Well, let's get out of here. I'm gonna go the forest way home because I can knock down as many trees as I like on the way. And I think tomorrow we'll make our city day. I'm very aware it's getting late, but deforestation is more important than sleep apparently right now. All right, we've got 722, so happy with that. I will probably use it in like a second, but that's uh, irrelevant. <laughs> all right, into bed before we pass out and then we'll head to the city tomorrow. Really good money day from all that starfruit.
And of course, we also had the rhubarb jelly too. And ooh, queen of sauce today. We got the cup surprise. Shane has given us some pepper poppers. Literally just going to put that in a chest until I need it. <laughs> and then I'm actually finally starting to run out of animal products in here again. So it might be time to go clear out the auto grabbers. We've actually got some rabbits for you as well. We can use as gifts. So that's always fun. Um, I'm not going to put them in this chest though, I don't think. I'm going to put them somewhere else. I just don't know where. Let's check the barn also. There is so much milk in here. I think what I'm going to do is just sell off. Do I sell off this one? No, I shouldn't. I should not sell the small ones. I'm going to bring the rabbit's feet with me actually to the city and see if perhaps Kristoff might have a rabbit's foot as a loved gift. I mean, if not, I've always obviously got other options. And is there anyone here? Ooh, maybe we can give Buddy a rabbit's foot. We've also got Caroline, Linus. They're all close. I'm basically just trying to get as many friendships done as possible. We'll bring it with us. There's no harm. Also got a banana from under here. Ooh, that will get us for the walnuts, right? Because I don't think I've done that one yet. Might as well stop in and pick up all the forage in here on the way. Some of them can be used as gifts. Let's see who we can find. I mean, on a Sunday morning, I'm hoping most people are just kind of at home. <gasps> I think I just saw Selena. Come back! Wait, let's look up on you. She loves rabbit's feet, of course. She also likes quite a lot of the other stuff I've got on me, so maybe we give her a sweet pea because it's iridium quality and cheap. Here you go. And then I guess whilst I'm over here, we might as well go in and see Kristoff first. Since we just had to chase Selena down. Please be in your office. <gasps> yes, he's here. Okay, look up anything. Let's go. Okay, so he loves a lot of the... Oh, he loves frozen tears. I could have been using those the whole time instead of uh, emeralds. But what I wanted to do is see if there's anything we could put with a quality. And obviously the rabbit's foot is one of the only things on here. I mean, we've got the eel as well. Wait, he loves quartz. I could have been giving him quartz. That's good to know. Okay, well, you're going to have a rabbit's foot today. Or do I wait for the rabbit's foot for his birthday? When is his birthday? Summer 25. Okay, it's coming up. Do I give him this rabbit's foot now? I might give him... No, I'm going to give him the emerald today. Here you go. Enjoy. Everyone thinks I'm such a bad guy, but I'm not. I just want what's best for Jojo and for my staff, I suppose. It's the staff, I suppose, part, dude. I might just wait until we get a better quality... Uh, I might just wait till we get a better quality rabbit's foot, hopefully, maybe. I mean, we're a heart and a half to go until he's full. All right, let's find everyone else. Having the look of anything is really helpful and interesting because I did try to Google what people's... Uh, loved gifts were in this mod but i couldn't really find anything so this has been a huge help i'm thinking gwen should still be in bed wait there's cow right let's have a look at you we know he loves cheese he seems to like a lot of or love a lot of animal products so that's good he also loves pickles and juice too what the heck is ghostly wine i'm gonna have to google what that is but we're gonna stick to him loving the cheese here you go we are an eight out of eight with him so we don't think i'm gonna have to worry about giving him any gifts anymore and then for gwen we know she likes frozen tears i don't have any on me but she oh, what does she love she loves blackberries okay so when it gets to fall we should be able to give her a lot of these she loves void mayo too okay that's good to know we can probably start giving her those because it's got some quality on it but i think for now i'm just gonna give her a regular rabbit's foot here you go life can be strange can't it yeah completely agree with you and that's got her pretty close to being full now let's find the others there's buddy buddy of course loves rabbit's foot he loves ginger too he also loves wine and rice pudding. He doesn't have that many loved gifts. I think for now I'm going to give him one of the forageables. I have a fiddlehead. And that has got us to 9 out of 10. We're so close to completing this friendship. So I think now all I have is Sadie and David to go. <gasps> Sadie! She just walked straight past me. Hello. We knew she loved the fairy roses. Oh, she loves potatoes. Okay. Good to know. I think I've got some Iridium ones back from foraging them in the spring from uh, just next to the bus tunnel. Maybe for now we give her a radish. Here you go. You're hoping to hop onto a different airline soon so you can shake up your destinations a bit. Okay, that's interesting. Most travel companies don't go to many different places and each one has a different set of destinations. Oh, she's so upset. <laughs> You'll find another one soon. Last stop is Dave. Well, sorry, David. I don't know if he's a Dave. Now, uh, where is he? Is he upstairs still? Just ignoring all of his customers. Wait, is he even here? Wait, where is he? Hello? Did I walk past him somewhere? I don't think I did. Um, maybe he's run out to the store or something. I don't know why I checked the map as if there's going to be an answer on there. Well, it looks like David's not getting a gift today. Unless he's just outside and I didn't see him. Oh, he's there. What do you like? Okay, he loves travel cores. He knows about travel cores. We can't tell him that we've got them. He can't know that. He loves a lot of the minerals. We could just give him void essences because they're very easy. But I was, again, trying to look for anything that could have a quality attached to it. And I don't think, other than the rabbit's foot, there is anything. But now we'll just give him a goat's cheese. Where are you going? Come back. There you go. 
and then I want to have a look at the Zuzu carp and see if we can fish that from this specific spot, especially because there is a bubble spot here. Maybe we just kind of go for it and hope for the best. No, it went. <laughs> That's sad. Well, let's see. Is this going to be our Zuzu carp or is it a regular carp? There's the Zuzu carp. Okay, we've caught one now. How much are they worth? Oh my god, they're actually worth a decent amount of money. This isn't going to make me fish for them though. <laughs> I'm curious to put them in a fish pond and see what they do. Perhaps we do that. I'm going to run out and uh, get to an area where it can't be seen so I can teleport home. I should be good from here. And then what I want to do is pick up all of the sturgeons from here. Just spamming them sturgeons. That should be all of them. And then I'm going to empty the fish pond. And I'm going to shove the Zuzu carp in here because I'm curious as to what they give. Oh, never mind. I could have just looked this up. All right, never mind. I'll just put it in my fish tank. That also meant it got rid of its quality, but I'll live with it. <laughs> Everything is fine. Wait, it's invisible? That's disappointing. Oh, okay. Well, you're going to have to live in a chest. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of it right now. Right, so who do we say is close with friendship? We've got Buddy, who we've already dealt with today. Uh, there's Caroline and Linus. Maybe let's see if we can go and find Caroline and give her a rabbit's foot. Actually, I've got Iridium quality summer spangles. What am I doing? I can just give her one of these. Um, is... Yep, she's at the bus stop today, so you can have... Who's closer? Is it Linus or Pam? I think it's Linus. Okay, so you can have the regular quality one for today. And then let's have a look. Do you like goat's cheese? You do. That's for you. I feel like I'm looking these up just in case as well at the moment. Both of these guys like goat's cheese, so they'll have the last two goat's cheese. One for you and one for you. Sandy is in need of seaweed. We can help her out with that too. I feel like this is a good day to work on gifting. Ooh, yeah, it's not here. Where's Caroline right now? Caroline's on Ginger Island and I do need to go there anyway, so we will hop over there. I do want to go and see Linus first though. Here you go, Linus. This is an easier time of year for me. I don't have to worry about staying warm. Did you get too hot though? I couldn't cope. We're so close to having that one finished too. And then I'm going to go up to the train station so I can teleport without being seen. Please tell me everyone hasn't just let- Really? Wait, unless- No, I think they're just in here. So I'm going to wait for everyone to start piling out. I think that's going to be soon. Hello, Lewis. There we go. This is for you. No, I don't want to eat it. Here you go. Oh my god, I thought I gave it to Abigail then. I was going to get so upset. <laughs> I'm really trying to talk to Caroline here. Please move. And that's another friendship almost done as well now. And I don't think I've done this banana walnut situation. So here you go. Don't eat it. Please don't eat it. Wait, have I done it already? I think I've done it already. Okay, never mind. Is there anyone who loves bananas? No. All right, we'll just probably just give it as a gift to someone. <laughs> Wait, why? I, I wanted to go check the parrot. So why did I walk out of this section of the forest? Okay. Help man in tent. All right, we kind of knew that. Would you like a banana? Neutral. Okay. I'll go and remind myself where I am with the man in the tent. I think one of the things I'm waiting for is probably one snake vertebrae and I'm guessing the fossilized skull. I'm also waiting for the spine as well. Can I look that up? I can, but I can't see how I get it. I feel like I never have any issue getting this. Digging artifact spots on the southern beach or fishing in the river next to the dig site. Okay. Maybe we fish it up then. Let's see if there's any artifact spots first though. I don't think I saw any. If I did, I probably would have dug them by now. Yeah, there are none. Okay. Or actually, maybe we just go and take care of that last walnut in the volcano first, perhaps. Because I've only got one more to go now in here. Wait, I got two squares helmets from that? That's hilarious. And of course, picking up any dragon's teeth while we're here, I see a dino fossil. Or a dragon fossil. Or a... I don't even know. What would you call that thing? There is a name for it. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> this is a lot of enemies today. I'm kind of just ignoring them because I'm here for a specific thing. I am, however, going to check all the chests because I do want the chance at getting the hot java ring in here too, because that would help us out a lot also. Whoa, we got a sword. The dwarf sword. Not as good as the hammer, but I will take it. Now, where are these buttons? I didn't actually notice any. Um, ah, it was only the one. Okay. Oh no, there was two. We just already did it. No, I'm stuck in the wall. Okay. Everything's fine. I always panic when that happens. Get out the mushroom floor. There's one crazy thing in here. No walnut. I don't even know if you can get the walnuts from the ones in here. I do like to break them anyway, though. We've got a golden coconut here. That's good. Let's remove that piece of rubbish. Dwarf scrolls literally just being worth one gold. Got another couple of dragon's teeth here. Let's pick those up. There we go. There's the last walnut. I'm going to take the treasure from here first. What ring is that? I think that's a protection ring. Yes, it is. And then literally just teleport over all the buttons. I do think our main walnuts now need to come from the fossils and such. So we'll probably have to start focusing on that a little more. It was Gus's birthday today. We should probably handle that. Oh, weeds keep spawning on my island farm. It's very annoying. I mean, I'll take the fiber. Wait, oh, <laughs> I just had a heart attack. I was like, where did all my star fruit go? And I realized it's because I ran over it after I uh, teleported yesterday. 
All right, so first thing, let's see if we've got any artifact spots on the beach over here. Not a single one in sight, that's sad. I guess we're gonna have to go fish over here. I kind of want to do that with my pan though. I'm gonna go back to the farm and pick up the pan. Oh, it's wine day as well. Maybe we should deal with that first. I'm so glad I came back. All right, I officially have 10 dragon's teeth now, so that's gonna help towards us getting the island obelisk. Okay, so first things first, let's amend how this is. The middle is now gonna be up here, so I need to take everything out of this chest and move it. And these instead are gonna go here. Obviously, it's still gonna look a little bit funny for now, but over time we'll get it right. I think this one also needs to move as well. All right, let's get them filled. And I do wanna just check that the luau is on the 11th, okay. I did also think that maybe it was on the 8th, but obviously if it's Gus's birthday, it probably can't be a festival. <laughs> but yeah, double checking the calendar, definitely the 11th, thank goodness. I'm gonna sell half the wine and keep half. Oh, I forgot to bring one for outside. Starting to slowly stockpile the wine ready for when we upgrade our house and get a cellar. I think I'm still a little bit of time off of that yet. And then what did I want to do? I wanted my copper pan, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, let's bring those with me. I just want to keep all the coconuts and stuff. Um, have I got any more in here that I can bring? I don't think I have enough. I don't really want to use the iridium ones because I want them to go towards gifts and stuff. So we're probably ready now to teleport back to the desert. Let's see the island trader first and pick up one of our golden coconuts. And now we have three of them. And then we'll see if we can get the fossilized spine today. Maybe we should clear this out also. It is a load of free materials at the end of the day. <gasps> Another golden coconut. I will take that. I hear a panning sight. Lucky ring? Please? Damn it. I'll take some coal though. I mean, it's not a great luck day, so it's going to be very slim chance of us getting it on a neutral. But it's still better than no chance, so maybe. I don't know why I'm catching this fish. I mean, I suppose I could use the money, right? Oh, we got a tilapia. Have I ever caught one of those before? I don't know. I just want the spine. We got trash, but also a panning spot. We got the same thing again. I think it depends on where it is, right? Like if the panning spot keeps spawning there, it's always going to be the same thing. I am going to do it anyway though, because it gives us a good amount of coal. We're always in need of coal. It'll also be good of us to get our fishing level up anyway, to be fair. It feels weird catching tilapia here because it's a river. Unless they mean this part to get the fossilized spine. Surely not, right? Maybe though. One way to find out. I mean, so far it's just a load of trash. So many tilapia. Pretty sure I had a panning spot. Maybe I didn't. Okay, never mind. Okay, well things don't seem to be any different, so let's try over here. There we go, fossilized spine. We got it. Hello, I would like to drop something off. And now all we need is one more snake vertebrae and a skull. So from here, I'm going to teleport back to town. Um, let's go to the farm so we don't get caught. I didn't have a look at the crops today, did I? Uh, we've got poppies ready. I don't know if I want to pick them up yet. Oh, we've also got the radishes ready too. Maybe I'll start next time with that. I need to get rid of some stuff. So first, let's delete anything that's actual trash. I don't have the space otherwise to be able to open all of my geodes. Geodes? I mean like the golden coconuts. Hello. Smash these open for me, will ya? Yeah, there's the skull. And what are the other last two going to give us? We're getting quite a few pineapple seeds from this, so I can start to replace stuff with pineapple seeds. And of course we get two skulls. It's kind of a... I feel like the game's making fun of me a little bit. <laughs> and then what are we going to give to Gus? Let's go look up what he likes. Actually, you know what? Whilst I'm here and there's a bubble spot, let's just get over to fishing level 9 because we are so close. We are basically touching that bar. One or two more fish is going to do it. There it is. That was worth it. Level 9 fishing. Ooh, we got the famous omelette, which is funny. I always found this cutscene kind of funny because we're not actually in it, but we see everyone enjoying it and it's like, how? Well, folks, once again, we're gathered for a very special occasion. A rare visit from a very dear friend. My world famous giant omelette. Zesty bell pepper, juicy tomato, rich mushroom, ew, and tangy cheese, all in road and a blanket of rich, fluffy egg. Dig in, folks. I do love me some omelette. Willie, what do you think? Hmm. The mushrooms are a tad chewier than last year. Is that a good thing? I lad. <laughs> it's great, Gus, and it tastes even better because it's on the house. These eggs are so rich and yellow. Marnie, are these from your place? Nope. You can thank Willow over at Enchanted Farm. Take me magical eggs. Mmm, enchanted eggs. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Hello, Gus. What do you like? You like the sweet pea. I could give you... Ooh. I wonder if I've got any oranges at home. If not, he can have a golden pumpkin. Oh, I've just done the fishing glitch. Excuse me, Emily. <laughs> this is kind of a predicament. Hello? Oh, I just wanted to talk to Caroline. She just shut the door in my face. How rude. There we go. Now we're at 10 out of 10. I'm thinking I could probably handle the crimson fish at some point this season too. Probably not today though. We've done quite a lot of fishing as it is. <laughs> For me anyway. And being a Monday, let's go check if our ancient fruit is done. There's loads of it done. Saving some of the ancient fruit to use for future jelly, because at some point I am going to run out of stuff. Ah, oh, caviar. Yes, we can go and finish the missing bundle today. Um, So I'm going to sell any gold quality ones. I need to bring that. I need prismatic shard. I need the void 
salmon, and I'm going to bring the golden pumpkin for Mr. Gus. I'm going to do the bundle first. Oh my god, I'm so excited. All done. Look at the cute little Junimo. Funny, because the abandoned Jojo Mark is considerably smaller. All the others made it back, except me. Now I can go home too. Thank you, thank you. Bye, little Junimo. All the pretty stars. Something good will happen soon. I'm ready for that movie theatre. Now I've just got to give Gus a little birthday gift. Happy birthday. And where does that put us with him now? 8 out of 10. I'm very pleased with that. Do we have any recipes here that we need to buy? Oh yeah, we didn't have the triple shot recipe, did we? That's really funny. Now we do. <laughs> and now I'm removing the preserve shards from my list because obviously that place is now full. I want to see if we have enough stuff for more kegs. I probably think we do. So I need the wood. I need copper and iron. Have I run out of oak resin? No, I definitely have not run out of oak resin. We made another 21 kegs, and I think it was some sort of ore we were low on. I think it was the copper. So let's get some of that smelting this evening. See if we can go ahead and make a few more kegs. It is wine day after all. I probably won't put any other kegs in here, because obviously we've got 5 days and 21 hours for these ones. But after that, I think they'll be too much out of line. And then we might as well fill those with star fruit too. And I don't think I missed any. We're all good. I did use up most of my wood in that as well, so all that 700 wood is already gone. Right, let's set up our next batch of animal products. I think I want to use up the small milk first. And I'm once again pretty much out of copper ore, so I'm going to have to go get some more of that again at some point. You know what, let's also smelt some more iron. And then I think what we'll do is we'll finish off by completing this one fossil. Hello, Professor Snail. I have a skull for you. Here you go. You've outdone yourself, Willow. This is one of the most pristine specimens I've ever seen. Thank you. And would you look at that? With this donation, we got another full set piece completed. I got a little something for you behind the counter when you're ready for it. I will take my walnuts, please. Oh, we also get another banana sap thing. Let's go slap that on the farm. And then we'll go see how many walnuts we actually have left to get now. I can't imagine there's too many. So you are going to go here. There's also going to be new key quests too. So we've got extended family or 50 love gifts in a week. I'm never going to do that. So we'll do the extended family one. Maybe I'll just accept it for now. And now walnuts wise, we've got four left to go. And I think those four are actually the ones that are left from the last fossil we have to do. So really all we're waiting for is that one snake vertebrae and that is it. And then we've, I think we've got all the walnuts because do we get four from that or am I missing another one? I don't know. Well, we'll find out. And we're ending it off with having the Jojo Mart be fixed up into our movie theatre. I'm very excited about that. Should help us a lot with friendships. I wonder if we can take some people from the city over there. And then I completely forgot that we also got level 9 fishing, so now we can make our own sea foam pudding. Probably don't have enough ingredients for it, but it's all good. And then also being a wine day, it was a really good money day too. Because of all the star fruit, I feel like summer's always going to be a very productive season. <laughs> Today I'm really hoping I can get those last few walnuts, uh, but that's kind of going to rely on whether or not they show up in the artifact spots, or even if I get any artifact spots. Oh, I did not mean to harvest that tarot. <gasps> There's one. Please be a snake vertebrae. It was not a snake vertebrae. Well, what can we do? Trying to open that rock already reminded me that I didn't yet turn on animation cancelling. Where is my Windows Explorer? Hello? Also, looking what's in my journal, I've got the extended family quest. I still don't know if I want to do that or not. I don't know. I do have a trap bubble with me, but I don't know if I want to do it still. Um, I need to see if I can make some seafoam pudding. But I think to do that, I need to catch Midnight Carp, and I don't know if I can at the moment. I've also just got the cranberry sauce recipe from Gus, so that's pretty cool. And I will just go and check the parrot one last time, just in case that there are any other walnuts I've missed. Would you like a tarot root, little Leo? Enjoy. Ask the parrot. Hidden in the pages of the journal. Huh. So I've got one in the journal still. Oh, I've still got four journal pages I don't even have yet. Okay, that explains a lot. I'm wondering if what I might do then is go and head into the volcano for the day. I mean, I know it's a bad luck day, but obviously I've got a pretty good chance of trying to find journal pages in there. I'm pretty sure I just heard a panning spot as well. Probably not even worth me going to pan it because it's a bad luck day. I don't think there's any chance of me getting the lucky ring. No, didn't get it that time. That's okay. All right, let's see if we can get us another journal page. I already got one, so let's have a look. Oh, this is just about the weapon enchantments. Never mind, that was not very helpful. Also mining a few rocks here and there because I know you can get them that way. Hey, I just completed the slime once this day ago. Oh my god, there's a lot of slimes. That's not the one I was expecting today, but hey, I'll take it. Maybe the slime charmer ring might be a good shout for in here. What I'm hoping for in here as well is a hot java ring, but no, we got another ostrich egg, so we'll take that. Um, where am I going to put it? We'll replace it with the mussels. You know what? I might as well make the shortcut just so I've got it if I want it in the future. And let's see if we can find any more chests. There's none up there. Oh my god, these fire things annoy the heck out of me. The orange one's not so bad, it's the yellow ones. I just can't deal with them very well. 
I'm trying to also see if I can get enough dragon's teeth as well. I don't actually know if we've got the amount for the obelisk, but it'll be really nice not to have to keep taking the teleport cores. I don't even need to open the door. I can just teleport straight over here. The just cinder shards, I think it was. There's nothing saying inventory full, but I will just check. Yeah, I don't. There's definitely not anything else over here. All right. Well, we got one journal scrap, but it wasn't one that we really needed for any walnuts. So uh, we'll just have to try again another day. All right, head back to our home farm, see what's going on here. Oh, wow, we've got a lot of iron ready. It's a good thing I did come back as well because we've got a load of jelly to deal with too. Then I'm going to have to put this ostrich egg in a chest at the moment because I don't have the incubator. Um, Where am I going to put it? I mean, I suppose it can go in my animal products chest. I just got to remember not to like turn it into mayo or anything because that would kind of suck. Oh, we've also got all these flowers ready as well. Uh, Do I still have any starfruit seeds here or shall I go get some more? I do. Okay, let's replace all these with starfruit too. I will keep one sunflower around just to, you know, keep the honey. No, I forgot. Okay, never mind. I'll just grow another one. <laughs> All of our pretty spangles that we can use for gifts. Mind you, I don't know if there was any point in me growing these because out by the bus stop, I get flowers anyway, and those will come out as iridium quality. So maybe I shouldn't have bothered growing them. Oh, well, there's still time for starfruit. Probably could do with some deluxe speed grow though, because I might actually be able to get two starfruit harvests out of these. So maybe it's kind of worth us doing. Uh, Do I have my deluxe speed grow. If not, I'm going to have to go. Oh, I've got loads of the stuff. Okay. I should be able to get two more lots of star fruit out of these ones. So that'll be good. And then I think there's another batch down where the radishes are. I should probably pick those up so I can swap them out for star fruit too. Have I missed any? Yes, I have. I'm not going to have time to do the jelly at this rate. Uh, I'm going to put this on here anyway, just because then it's ready for when we do the next batch of star fruit. But I won't harvest it until the other stuff's done because I don't think I'll fit a third in. Or will I? Maybe I will. I'm glad I came back to deal with this now. And then we have the poppies. Okay, I think I've sorted out all the star fruit that I need to. And then now we will deal with the jelly. Make sure I save myself one to put in the jar outside and then we're good to go. I'll sort out what I'm keeping and what I'm selling in the morning. I should probably pick up that coffee as well. Don't want to waste that. All right, now we go to bed. <laughs> all right, today is Maru's birthday. I'm wondering if I've got any good quality strawberries anywhere. because We know she loves strawberries. I do. I have one gold star strawberry, so she can have my last one. So out of all these flowers, that's not the flower chest this one is, uh, I'll probably get rid of all the silver ones and those and those. Um, I'm going to keep the poppies for now. Maybe the basic ones can go too. There's not really a need to keep them and those basic poppies. The rest can stay because we're going to need some for the uh, ingredients and such. Just going to make sure we keep some on hand and stuff for gifts too. And what is in our mail today? We've got some fried calamari from Linus that'll make a gift for someone. And tomorrow we've got the luau. Do we have any crops ready today? Oh, we've got the red cabbage. Okay, so we can do another set of starfruit. I think we can fit another two starfruit harvests into that one as well. We've still got time because it should be 18 days if we do two lots of nine days. I am going to have to go and buy some more starfruit seeds because I'm almost out. Maybe that is something we go and handle today. And then obviously I've got wood on my list, but I don't know how many I've got. Okay, I've literally got 95. So maybe what I do today as well is go and buy some from Robins. I don't know if I should probably handle the starfruit first. Maybe we do that first and see what money we have left. So if we head over to the desert, first of all. Oh, we do have quite a lot of wood here. So maybe I leave it for now. I don't know. What I'll do is I'll wait one more day and then I'll come and destroy pretty much all of it. <laughs> all right, I've bought 500 starfruit seeds. It's used up like half my money. I don't really want to go beyond that. I've got an iridium quality coconut too. Let's just give that to Sandy whilst we're here. Oh, I didn't need to. Oh, no, I did need to do that. I was thinking I didn't need to, but Sandy isn't marriageable, so she does go up to 10 hearts. I didn't need to do that. <laughs> you must really like to see me, huh? I mean, sure. I, you sell. You're the only place that sells starfruit seeds. I kind of need to see you. <laughs> also, let's hop over to the island. I think I'm going to start checking this every day now to try and get those uh last fossil pieces. So like the snake vertebrae and such. Um, We'll just see if there are any around. It's definitely looking like a no today. Not a single artifact spot and I have no idea what the rules are for those spawning. So, oh, this might be one. Nope, I missed. Nope, wasn't it. Annoyingly, it could have been it. It's just that I accidentally hoed the wrong spot. So uh, the only thing I do know is it's based on something like the number of times you've hoed things or something, I think is how it works. So it could have been that I could have got it, but because I hoed that one, that might have changed it to me not getting one. So that's fun. Love that for me. All right, well, we're now stocked up on starfruit seeds. I've still got 200,000 gold. So hopefully I should have enough to be able to go and uh, buy a load more wood. Hopefully Maru's there. Yes, she is. Actually, where are we with our friendship? Oh, oh. Do we really have no friendship points with her? Oh my, okay, we've not even got a single heart. This is going to help us a lot. <laughs> we're now on four out of eight. There we go. That is a good amount of progress. Who else are we close to? We've got Linus and Pam almost there. 
Um, I might just go and give him a coconut and then I'll give Pam the fried calamari. I'm trying to aim to start finishing friendships because we keep getting close to them and then I just like forget, I feel like. Here you go. And there we go. We've full friendship with Linus. I'll now go and find Pam and give her the fried calamari. Unless of course she likes grapes because those are better quality and I just realised I went all the way up there to give Mero a gift and buy wood and I literally didn't buy the wood. So let's try that again. Oh, cutscene. Hello there. My dad and I are just testing some soil samples. Don't be shy, we could use a hand actually. Could you watch this beaker for me? I'm gonna grab the last batch of samples. I'll be right back. And now things are gonna get weird. Thanks for helping out, Willow. Maru's a good kid. She's my special little girl. I wouldn't want anything getting in the way of her bright future. You know what I mean? Just some food for thought. She has no idea. Hey, sorry about that. I hope you found something to talk about while I was gone. I was just telling Willow about the soil samples we're testing. And here is where I'm gonna say nothing, because I don't want to lose friendship points with Demetrius. Well, we'd better titrate this solution before it crystallises on us. Okay, here Willow, let me show you how to use the equipment. Doing some science. Alright, now we can actually buy wood maybe? <laughs> Whilst we're here, have some grapes. Right, wood is not cheap, so um, how much shall I buy? I've bought 700 for now, probably gonna burn through it. I think it was kinda worth it, and then we'll just go make use of it immediately. I'll go and see how we're doing space. Uh, ooh, wait, how much does it cost to upgrade the shed? I need to upgrade my jar shed, I know that. Let's go have a look. I can't remember if it's wood or hardwood I need, so let's uh, have a check. Big shed. 500 wood, 300 stone. Okay, I need the stone. Okay, I've actually, uh, I just remembered about fixing the mana bar. I got a comment saying I could do it in the mod options menu and I didn't update Smappy until recently, so um, I couldn't do it till now because the mod config menu was not working. Right, I was here for stone, weren't I? Do I actually have enough stone? I have way more than enough stone. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Forget I even asked. I think that mana bar is a lot more of a sensible size now, don't you think? <laughs> it shows that we have a lot of mana, but it's not taking up literally most of the length of the screen. Okay, hello Robin. Please upgrade my shed. Interesting that they look the same. There we go. You can't tell the difference between the shed and the big shed in this mod, but that's okay. They're still pretty. And how much wood do I have left? 150. That's not really that much to do anything with. But I can still make a few more kegs, so it may just be worth it. Especially if I'm going to the desert tomorrow to deforest the entire thing. We should be alright. It looks like I'm also in need of copper and iron. Oh no, I don't need iron. I've got loads of iron. I need copper though. So maybe we go and deal with that for the rest of the day. It is a bad luck day, but I think we'll be all right. But hey, I managed to make eight more kegs, so that's good. I've only got five wood now. We burned through all that wood very, very quickly. I'm trying to remember to pick up all of my oak resin as well. I haven't been remembering to do this very often. I do kind of have an overstock of oak resin though, so it's kind of not that important right now. Like we literally have 84 of this stuff. That's more than enough. All right, hopefully Pam's at the bus stop. I can give her this fried calamari. Does she like grapes better though? She likes grapes and sweet peas. Let's give her a sweet pea. Here you go. We've got 62 points until we are full on her friendship. Kind of funny, I've just realised these crab pots are here. I probably should be filling them up so we can make sure we catch the um, fish that come in those crab pots. I've completely forgotten about them, to be honest. And we'll set off one more batch of iron before we go up to the mines. I just realised I should probably also check the town bulletin board and see if there's anything on there. So I'll do that on my way up also. You know what? Evelyn can have my fried calamari. Enjoy. Oh, we do have something on here. What do we have? Juicy bugs or aquatic overpopulation? Let's do juicy bugs because we're going to go to the mines and farm copper anyway. So we'll be on the right level for it. I know I'm not going to get a huge amount of copper today because it is a bad luck day, but I'm still going to try. It's also a good time for me to get some fibre too. I think I do need to go and change my profession though because I noticed that I've got the gemologist profession and I think the minor one at this point is going to be way better for us. I used to be someone who always went with gemologist, but recently I have changed my ways. We need the metal a lot more than we need the money from the gems. We've got another Monster Slayer goal today. We've got the Duggies. That's awesome. Making some good progress. Today's going to be one of those days that we just kind of get as much as we get because it's a bad luck day, but also I'm going to have to come back tomorrow anyway to finish off the bug quest. Ooh, we have a swarm. Do I wait out the swarm or do I just go? I don't know how long the bugs are going to take. I'm just going to go to the next floor. Slashing through loads of grubs is much, much faster. And pass out. Looks like the slime fell asleep too. <laughs> well, at least we made back the money that we spent on the wood, pretty much. I'll take that as a win for the day. We've got a much better luck day today, so maybe we go back and try and get the rest of that copper that we were after. Got to empty my inventory first, though. Right, I think I'm literally just going to head straight back up there, but let's maybe get some copper smelting first. I probably could do with taking these with me, but I'm not going to. I don't even know why I didn't just bother with the minecarts there, I don't know. Sometimes it feels like it's faster just to walk. Alright, so I'm on 56 out of 100. I just realised I left all the bug meat at home, so I can't obviously uh, take it straight away from the mines, but that's fine. I can always go home and just get it. 
we have an infested flora. Are there any bugs on here? That'd be great. I don't think there are though. I think they're all slimes. Okay, good to know. I'm probably gonna avoid this floor from now on. Oh no, the luau, I completely forgot. Oh my goodness, okay. Right, that's, uh, that's that plan out the window. In that case, what am I gonna put in there? Let's just drop everything home that we've got first. I don't need to bring all of this stuff with me. I'm hoping I've got a magma cap. Um, I do, I've got an iridium quality magma cap. I'm pretty sure that gives us a very good response. All right, let's head down to the beach. We've slowed right down. Let's have a quick chat with everyone and then we'll chuck in our iridium quality magma cap that should hopefully guarantee us some success. Unless I'm remembering wrong, I'm really hoping I'm not. Say hi to our old friend, the wizard. The mad people are curious about your festivities. They become upset when you litter in the ocean. I agree. I become upset too when people litter into the ocean. Is there anything we need from the shop over here? I don't think there is. I don't really want to buy a star fruit for three grand. Okay, let's pop in our magma cap. Speak to Lewis and then we'll get it started. Let's see how we do with our soup today. Well folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you will put high quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret this visit to the valley. Well, governor, would you do us the honor of tasting the soup? Of course, I've been looking forward to this all year. It's all resting on one man's taste and he likes it. Oh my, that's the best soup I've ever tasted. He's literally vibrating. <laughs> You're right, it's delicious. Wonderful job, everyone. Now, who else wants a taste? The governor wasn't kidding. The soup was out of this world. Time to head home. That should have given us a decent boost of friendship, but I don't know if that takes effect today or not. It Yes, it does take effect today. Okay. I shall grab all of my jades and all of my copper, and then we shall head to bed. Maybe tomorrow we go and deal with the uh, city people as well. Actually, how far am I on the bugs quest? Shall I just go and pass out there again? Maybe I should do that. We'll go do that. We'll take the minecarts though. It is definitely quicker. I need to stop thinking that it's not. Oh my god, look at all that copper. Thank you very much for all of that. I'm definitely not regretting coming up here anymore. It does seem to be excessively dark today in here though. I've got to say. There's some bugs. I feel like we should be close now. Okay, we've got 15 to go. Can we get it tonight? No, we're probably going to have to come back in here tomorrow. I don't know, maybe. Any other grubs? Nope. This should do it. If this doesn't do it, I'll be surprised. Yes, we've got them all now. Okay, so tomorrow I just have to go hand them in. I should pass out in a second. There we go. Another 50 copper though, I'll take it. Wow, one gold. <laughs> Oh, I didn't realise I only sold Dwarf Scroll yesterday. Oh, we got an Ancient Seed as well. I don't think I can do anything with that anymore. I could probably find another place to put more Ancient Fruit, but I don't really want to. We have an entire greenhouse full. I think I'm satisfied. So today I want to bring my axe with me. Let's deal with all our crops first before we do anything. We got the recipe for Spicy Eel from George, Autumn's Bounty from Demetrius, and Linus bound us last night. Are there any crops ready down here? Oh, we've got the hops now. I can start making some Pale Ale very soon. I'm going to keep some hops though just in case for recipes because I don't remember what's needed for any of the cooking recipes. I almost never cook on this game. Okay, so city people, let's have a look. So if I'm finding Gwen on here, I can actually see what she loves. She loves blackberries. I've probably got some of those. She also loves void mayonnaise, but I don't have anything with a quality rating on it. Crystal loves literally any of the gemstones, so I can literally go and give him some amethyst because it's cheap. I think quite a lot of people like those, so maybe I'll just bring like a few of those with me. And then we know that Sadie loves fairy roses, but I think she's full on her friendship now. Uh, or is she? Maybe not. She's almost full. Okay, so hopefully today we get a bit closer. I thought I had more fairy roses than that, so maybe not. She does like amethyst though. Maybe we'll just give her amethyst. And then I'm going to bring some cheese with me for a couple of the people we know who love cheese. Forgot to pick up the blackberry for Gwen. I'll go and grab that in a second. I'm hoping we have some anyway. Uh, I do. Okay, I've got a gold star one. That should help a lot. I might as well drop some of this stuff home actually whilst I'm here. All right, let's try that again. I don't know why I always walk. I think it's because Pam's not there yet. That's fine though. All right, time to find everyone. This is the wrong little Joja shop. I stop in at the Joja shops first to see if Cal's there because obviously he works in one of them, but that was not the one. There he is. Have some cheese. How's Bubbles faring in the summer heat? It must be hard being furry during the warmer months. I think the fur also helps with uh, keeping the sun off, right? You got a cutscene with Cal. Please let me go on my leave. My mom's turning... 50 today. It'll break a heart if her own son can't be there for her birthday. I don't care about your mum in any way, shape or form. What I do care about are these shelves and their lack of stock. Now get to work. Rude. Hey Cal, are you okay? I'm sick of this dead end job. I hate Joja, okay? I said it. I hate Joja. Get back to work. I should not have this again. One more time and you're fired. I mean, at least it's not Kristoff doing this. <laughs> okay, boss. Yikes. No, you know what? I quit. You can't quit. We're short stuff. You think I care, Mr. Mr. Dreet? Did I read that right? <laughs> You've been nothing but awful to me in all the years I've worked here. But I... No, you can't hold me hostage anymore. Come on, Willow, let's go. 
He's out of there. What's he gonna do now? I wonder if he could go work for David. I say something to him. Oh, nothing new. Is he gonna go in there and work anyway? That's funny. Unless now he's... Is he just stopped there? No, he's going in. I thought he just stopped there because he just quit his job and now he's like, okay, well, where do I go now? There's Gwen. Have a Blackberry. Enjoy. Huh? Willow, this is for me? Wow, thank you so much. That was a nice reaction. How are your little four-legged friends doing? They're doing well, thank you. Anyone home? No one's here? What about on this one? There's a Sadie. Have a summer spangle. Enjoy. Just getting some food before I head off to work. Can you have some? No, get your own food. How rude. That is no way to host. I mean, I suppose I kind of just came in and announced it. <laughs> like, fair enough. <laughs> Alright, time to hunt for Kristoff. There he is. Have an amethyst. Now that we know that we don't have to be giving him the expensive emeralds. Him being gross about his employees again. Good to know we're getting kind of closer to full friendship. I feel like it's taken us so much time to like get close to him again. Uh, he still kind of grosses us out though, even if he did have the employee appreciation day. I suppose if he completely didn't care, he wouldn't have done that at all, but I'm wondering if it was mainly just to make them work harder again. It, maybe it was just a thing to like temporarily boost morale, who knows. Let's see if Dave is in the cafe. There he is behind the counter. Have some cheese. Enjoy. We're very low on his friendship, but to be fair, we didn't meet him for like a year. I never really came out here. Maybe this place is new. <laughs> kind of in the middle of nowhere at the end of the day. And then from here, let's teleport to the desert. So we want to go and chop down all of those trees. I know some of them aren't grown yet, but a lot of them are. So I'm just going to smack them all down anyway. Not going to lie, it's very satisfying. Look at all that wood. Oh no, there's going to be some unreachable stuff up there. Actually, no, there's not because I can just go ahead and do this and get every last piece, even if I can't walk up there. <laughs> That's so much fun, I can't. <laughs> There is no more fun way to farm wood. Grab all of that. <laughs> and then we just got a little bit to go. It's so satisfying. Sandy's probably in a shop like, what the heck is all that noise? Okay, so we got like a stack and a half of wood. There we go. And now I just need to replant the entire desert again. This is going to take me a minute. I know I'm missing some spots, but it's okay. I don't think we've got enough pine cones anyway. Wait, why are they going just literally not where I want them to? Hello? I've only got 30 tree seeds left, so I think what I'll do is once I've planted all of these, I'll go ahead and run over to our home, or, well, probably teleport home, and then I'll pick up more tree seeds, but also I need to get all that bug meat as well for Willy, so we'll go and hand that in too. We don't want to forget about that quest, after all that bug farming. Then I can return to the desert with more tree seeds. Put all of our wood away first, look at all that stuff, and then hopefully we've got some more. Do we have any more pine cones? Okay, we've got 57, that's something. And then I want to find 100 of my bug meat. We'll pop down to the beach. We'll hand that in. That just gets that quest out of the way then. And then we'll pop back to the desert. There we go. 3,000 gold. Thank you very much. I will be taking that. Do I have anything on me that she might like? Oh, she loves amethyst. How did I not think of uh, amethyst for Emily? Oopsie. And just want to check if there's anything fun forage-wise out here. I know that it's one of those days. I might as well take it, right? It's extra money. There's a few days in the summer where you get extra forage balls out here. This is one of those days. Probably the only day I'm going to remember to do it, let's be honest. Oh, we've got a little cutscene going on here. Marnie, we can't. If word got out, it could undermine my position of authority in the town. Poor Marnie. You understand, don't you? You care too much about your job, Lewis. There are other things in life, you know. But yes, I understand. I guess we'll have to keep us a secret. Willow, you overheard everything, didn't you? Yes, but I'll keep it a secret. Thank you, Willow. I won't forget this. It's okay, I have my secrets too. Why were you hiding there anyway? I don't know. Why was I in Lewis's back garden? And why am I going back into Lewis's back garden? I've never understood this. <laughs> well, back to the desert. There's no one around here, so I should be able to uh, teleport over there from here. Then we'll get more of these trees planted. I don't think I'm going to get as many trees out here as I did last time, but it's still something. Maybe I should have also brought like maple seeds or something. Or any of the tree seeds. I don't know why I'm just specifically choosing these ones. All right, that's the desert mostly replanted. And now we've got a bit of time that we can deal with the next batch of jelly. There's Robin working late. Um, probably going to need to start breaking into my cranberries now at this point. And yep, we are officially out of strawberries. Just do a quick bit of inventory tidy up before I head to bed. And then hopefully in the next episode, we should be able to get a good amount of star fruit. We still made a decent amount of money today. 37 grand I will take. I'm going to be honest, given it's been two weeks, I cannot for the life of me remember what we're doing. Although to be fair, let's be honest. Whenever I start an episode, I still don't remember what I'm doing. What I did just remember is I haven't turned on animation cancelling yet, so we're going to handle that nice and early. So I noticed it's a good luck day today, but also it's Alex's birthday. We're still in need of Celestine. We've got Starfruit coming up in two days' time. We definitely still need some more wood. And apparently we also need some more Iridium Sprinklers as well. 
I'm guessing I put these here because I need to handle the fishing tab. And what's in my mail? Oops. I think I just smashed the mail away. Well, <laughs> we tried, I guess. I feel like a day like today is screaming skull caverns, but do I need to go? Oh, I have some wood. I do have some wood. I do need to make more kegs. Okay, so what am I actually short on? Let's work this out. You know what? I don't entirely know why I haven't made more kegs. Although I probably could do with another house upgrade, right? Oh, that's some lightning. No, we don't need it. We don't need it right now. Let's make some more kegs. More kegs is always better. So we got another 32 out of that. How are we doing in the shed? Okay, we actually have loads of room for more kegs. Starting out with something super productive already. And now I need to find out what out of what I have I can give to Alex. So where is he on my friend list? He's actually really low, so this is going to be good. Do I have any rabbit's feet? Let's go have a look. I don't know why I'm walking at normal people's speed. I can speed around at whatever speed. I literally don't have any. Okay, never mind. I shall pet all the animals. <laughs> I guess the rabbits need some work before they're going to drop their feet for me. And it is beginning to look like we're getting quite low on grass. Ooh, there's some starfruit ready. Oh, I think I said I was going to wait for these, right? Until everything is ready. Although I could fit another starfruit harvest in if I was to harvest all those. We've also got some melons. Okay, let's deal with that. If I smelt some more bars and stuff, I might actually be able to get more kegs done. So we'll take care of that. What I really wanted to do is go and check at my cauldron what I need for the potion. Cat, please. I'm going to move the cauldron for now. Um, You can go here. Hopefully no one will come to visit me. For the love gift one, I need pomegranate, honey, and ruby, but I probably shouldn't give that to him because we can't have him knowing that we make this kind of stuff. I could pretend it's just a bottle of wine or something, I suppose. I suppose the other question is, do I have any spare pearls? I've got two. Okay, we'll give Alex one of them. I feel like his loved gifts are kind of annoying to deal with for the most part. Okay, where are my starfruit seeds? I've got 500 and something of them, so we should be good. But I'll harvest all the melons and I'll replace these with starfruit as well. I think what I'll do though is I won't bother putting speaker on these because they're going to be done just about for the end of the season, which is some quite nice timing. I completely forgot we only just upgraded this shed as well, so now I can start putting these jars. We're definitely going to need a lot more of them, which means more coal farming and stuff. Great. Alright, popping to put stuff in my fridge just to make sure we've got enough stuff for ingredients and such. I didn't realise I already put loads of hops in here. And then with the rest of the melons, I'm just going to sell them and the gold star fruit too. Now I've got enough stuff to make another 10 kegs, so we will go and shove that in the shed. And now we only need four left to fill out this shed, and then I'm going to find some other places to put them. Maybe we'll probably use the quarry, just because that's obviously a huge open space that we can use for stuff like that. All right, let's go find Alex. Happy birthday, Alex. I'm sorry it was raining on your birthday. You can't talk? Fair enough. Where does that now put us with this friendship? We're now at five and a bit hearts. I'll take it. It's an improvement. And because of that, we get a cutscene. That's a good boy, Dusty. You might be the only one around here who understands me. No one else has seen the kind of stuff you and I have. Okay, but Alex, why is your dog living outside in the rain in a cardboard box? Willow, did you overhear me talking? Also, why is he fenced off? Like, how do you even access this thing? Yes, I heard everything. I don't really like to talk about it, but I guess I'll explain. Have you ever wondered why I live with my grandparents? You see, my father wasn't a good guy. He... Well, he ruined everything for me and my mum. Half the time he was gone. The other half, he'd drink all night and tell me I'm worthless, that I'd never amount to anything. I think he resented me for being young. Bitter, because he wasted his youth doing nothing and got nowhere in life. Well, that's my take on it anyway. Who knows what was going on in his head. One day he left, and soon after that, my mum got sick and passed away. I had no choice but to move in with my grandparents. Alice's backstory is a sad one. You seem like someone I can trust. That's why I'm telling you this, Willow. I don't want any sympathy. If there's one good thing about my past, it's that it made me strong. Good for you, Alex. Now, let me show you what Dusty will do for a barbecued steak. <laughs> I love the animation of Dusty going a little bit crazy for it. Look at him sobering. I think he might like steak as much as I do. Bless him. I really wish it wasn't outside in a cardboard box in the rain, though. Okay, being a very good luck day, I think what I'm going to do for the rest of this day is head to the island. And oh, you've got another cutscene. I want to head to the island and try and pan for the lucky ring. Ahoy! This cutscene is so nasty. This bug meat you found is perfect. When I said fresh, I didn't expect it to still be wriggling. But <laughs> it's so disgusting. But I'm not complaining, the fish love it. Do I have to stand that close to it? As a way of saying thanks, I wanted to teach you an old fisherman's secret. My old puppy taught me this on a fishing trip many years ago. Learned how to craft quality bobber. Using that bobber will attract higher quality fish. That means more money in your pocket, lass. You're going to be surprised to catch me doing that much fishing. 
Let's see if we can get this done. Lucky ring. I definitely don't have it yet, do I? No, I don't. Okay. Just wanted to double check. I see a panic spot. Come on, give me something good. Damn it. I'm going to zoom out here as well. I know you can't, like, see me when I'm standing on the left side of the river, but I need to be able to see the entire length. Just clearing out any rocks here as well, because we might as well take things like the bone fragments and anything else that we find. Perhaps we check the mushroom cave too. It's literally empty. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Panning spot? Now, usually, for most people, this would be unreachable, but... Damn it, it went. I'm going to try it anyway. Damn it. <laughs> it's okay. We have the blink spell. That's so annoying. With my face being here, I'm literally right behind it. Okay. We'll hang out on this side until we actually see anything. I mean, I'm still level 9 fishing. I suppose I could fish here until the panning spot comes up. <gasps> Just as I say that. No! Okay. I see another. I suppose I'll just check back in with you if I get the ring. <laughs> you know, thinking about it, I probably should have brought, like, spicy eel or something with me as well for the extra luck buff. But it's fine. We'll just, we'll just try without it. I mean, I've definitely managed to get it without any uh, luck buffs before, but I'm not sure today's going to be that day. Come on, this is the one. I can feel it. Damn it. <laughs> Whilst I'm up here, I'll check on... Professor Snail. I think the only thing- oh, I just have a snake vertebrae. Okay. Let's go see if we can get that today. Not even a single artifact spot, so that goes out the window. Okay. Let's head to bed. I'm trying to make it before the 1am mark. Did hear a panning spot though? Where is it? Uh, it's fine. No. Bed. Ah, oh, damn it. 1am has hit. We have the Queen of Source today, so I need to make sure I make it back. Right, let's see if I can check my mail today without killing it. Ooh, we got a parsnip from Caroline, and that is it. Okay. We do, of course, have to remember to come back here tomorrow to harvest all this star fruit. To be fair, I could probably just do a few more quality sprinklers, although I kind of want to maybe fill this section up with Iridium ones too, I don't know. We can definitely fit at least one or two more here. I can't remember if we've done the bird puzzle yet, so I will grab the topaz and check it out. In fact, maybe we just go check on the bird, see what the bird has to say. I think it's just going to be the fossils. In fact, I'll do the checks once I've got that fossil. I think what I'll do is I'll go and handle all the gifting in the city today. First, I need to give money an iron bar, though I don't know if I have any spare. I think I kind of use them all. Ooh, I should probably take these so we can get more batteries. Inventory full, of course it is. Uh, oh, I do have some iron. Okay, we'll make sure to give some to Marnie. Ooh, just headed into Marnie's and we've got a Shane cutscene. Hi Shane, you look unusually happy today. You're right, I haven't felt this light since I was a kid. Let me guess, Gus had a clearance on canned beer? Good one. No, actually, I've been drinking sparkling water instead of beer and I feel great. You know, sometimes I forget that I really do have friends, people that care about me, and it's okay for me to rely on them, it doesn't make me weak. Hi Jazz, I've got something for you. These are real bunny jewel slippers. <laughs> but these are so expensive. How did you afford them? I wasn't expecting the screen to go black, I don't remember this happening when I first watched this cutscene. I've cut back on an expensive habit. I have a lot more spending money now. Well, there we go. Money, here's your iron bar. I don't know if I was already full friendship with her, but I'll take the gold anyway. And now I've got to run all the way back, get that coin of source, and then we'll head into the city. Now I'm trying to remember what we think everyone liked. I just remembered I got the mushroom cave, so that's not going to matter. We know that Kristoff loves topaz. David loves aquamarine. I'm pretty sure Gwen loves blackberries. Yes. We'll bring some cheese for a couple of the others. And then for Sadie, do I have a spare fairy rose? Do you know what? I think I'd rather give her a sunflower. What's today's recipe going to be? Maple bars. I could definitely do one of those in real life. All right, let's do the run to the city so we can see where the trees are at with their regrowing. And I think we're still kind of a little bit off. I mean, there are some. We might as well take what we can. And we've got an orange under the tree today. I will be taking that. Oh, we've got two of them. It's going to be good because I know that Gus loves oranges. I've recently learned a lot about quite a few people's loved gifts. It'd be nice to be able to put some of that into practice. <gasps> There's Sadie. Quick, chaser. This is for you. No, don't eat the sunflower. And do you know what? Maybe we go to the Sanctuary Cafe first today. We always leave David for last. I feel like this time, maybe he could be one of the first. Here he is. This is for you. The weekend is nice, isn't it? I have some time to plan meals for the Sanctuary. And you have time to... Uh, what do you have time to do on the weekends, Willow? Um, Good question. Run around and give out gifts, I suppose. What? I completely forgot about the cars hitting you. <laughs> Hopefully some people are still at home. I'm not sure they will be though by this time. I need to stop smashing stuff with a hammer. Hi Gwen. This is for you. No, don't eat it. This is for you. <laughs> Seems to enjoy it. Life can be strange, can't it? And we are now on eight hearts with her. So we're full friendship with Gwen. It's another one down. 
Buddy's at home and he can have some cheese. I forgot that we were full friendship with Buddy, so I didn't even need to give him the cheese, but it's okay. Uh, we've got Selena here. Would you like a summer spangle? Selena's one we're definitely kind of slacking with a little. And then I forgot to check the Jojo Mini for Cal. Is he here? No, he's not. I have no idea where he would be today. Did I even check for his apartment? I think he lives with Gwen though, right? So maybe not. Let's just see if we can find Kristoff. I know he's kind of harder to find on the weekends, if I remember. Please be here. Yes. Here's a topaz. We've got less than a heart to go. If I don't find Cal in the apartment, we're probably just going to have to give him a miss this week. I didn't actually look very hard, to be fair. Oh my god, get that hammer out of my hands. Well, I don't think he's home and I don't know where he is, so he's just going to have to go without a gift this week. And this time on my way home, I think I am actually going to bother to clear out the quarry, because we could probably do with the materials and stuff anyway. Got quite a few gems over at this one. I think more than anything, though, I was kind of looking for coal, so I'm a bit disappointed to only find three. Although we do have a mystic stone here, so let's break that open. Can't believe that out of all the rocks, we only got three coal. We tried, I suppose. We'll just have to go actual coal farming again one day. We do have wine to deal with, though, so let's deal with that before bed. Oh, some of them are still done in seven hours. Okay, we'll have to wait for the next game day then. I did almost forget about all these hops, though, so I'm glad I came down here to check. I'm going to leave this star fruit for the rest of the five days, though, because I don't think there's any point harvesting it just yet. And at this point, I'll probably just sell all my hops. And then we'll give Willow an early night tonight. Okay, the 15th of summer. I just got a mail from Ken asking for the star fruit. Speaking of star fruit, I've got to go head to Ginger Island and pick all of that up as well. Ooh, looks like we've got some ready here too. Uh, can I fit another thing in? Nine days would bring us to the 24th, so yes, it's definitely worth our while to do that. And then I just want to check if the rest of these kegs are now done. Yes, they are. Maybe we handle that first. I probably shouldn't have put a speed boost on for filling the kegs because they don't always work properly when you do that. But it's fine, we're going to have to live with our decision now. I might just have to run back and forth a few times. <laughs> there we go, we've got the wine on the go. And how much money are we going to make from this lot? It's 277 grand, that is pretty good. I don't know how much to save for a future basement, although I don't know if at this point it's worth even saving. I'll take half of it to sell. And now before we head to Ginger Island, let's deal with the crops on our own farm. Maybe I will do that little line of star fruit that was at the bottom earlier. Looks like we've got some jelly ready too, so I will deal with that once I've done this. I feel like it's like one thing after another today, and I'm here for it. Ooh, look at all the corn. I don't actually remember what I've got to put in my jars. Um... I'm going to go with the cranberries for now. I know I've got ancient fruit too, but I want to save that just in case I run out of star fruit. Which, speaking of, since it's wine day, I should probably go check on my star fruit crop too. Star fruit crop, I meant ancient fruit. Usually I like to pick my ancient fruit the same day as I deal with the wine. I feel like it's just a good habit to be in, you know? Good thing I did, because we've got half a greenhouse. It's looking like the rest of the ancient fruit crop is going to catch up as well for the next week, so that's exciting. And as usual, the nine gold ones will go in the shipping bin. Okay, I should be able to pop over to the island now. I see a panning spot and it's a good luck day. Give me something good. Damn it. Oh well, I guess star fruit time. <laughs> I'm definitely going to check for another key quest whilst I'm here too, but we will handle this first. I'm really praying I've got enough seeds. I kind of regret starting to do this with the speed boost though, because if I want to do it in the like rose method, I kind of walk too fast for it to catch up. Maybe I'll just do it the uh, the old way. I say the old way because it's the way that I used to. Where I harvest loads, then I plant loads. I feel like either way I'm liable to miss some somewhere, but hopefully I'll be able to check before I stop. Okay, looks like we had 100 seeds to spare, so I'm going to leave them here now. Although I kind of might need them on the other farm. Oh, I've got some here too. I'm going to bring them with me. Again, selling all the gold ones. We might as well get the money. And then let's see if we can find any artifact spots today. We really need the snake vertebrae. I heard a panning spot too, but I don't know where it is. <gasps> there it is. Please. Damn it. I'm happy at the moment it's kind of forcing me to pan stuff because at the end of the day I can always use the ores and sometimes you get coal and that's useful too. Uh, there's no dig spots today so we'll go just pick up a key quest hopefully. Danger in the deep or extended family. We're definitely going to do danger in the deep although not today because it's kind of too late in the day. Kind of a shame because it's a very good luck day but we will live. I am noticing that I'm not sure if I've got any cinder shards, so I think what I might actually do is pop up to the volcano for the rest of the day and see if we can farm us some more. Oh, I don't have any food though, that's kind of a problem. Um, I will try the mushroom cave again. I'm not sure there's going to be anything in there. Obviously, I'm going to need the cinder shards eventually to save up for combining rings and doing enchantments and stuff. There we go, we've got a few pieces of ginger at the very least, and anything in here? Okay, we're all good, everything's fine. 
We have been saved. I'll use the purple mushrooms last because those are kind of emergency food, although they should probably be in my hotbar, you know, just in case. To be fair, it's also a good chance for us to pick up loads of ores and such. And also, I'm seeing some dragon's teeth. Oh my god, there's three of them? Is that because it's a good luck day or is it just, like, literally by chance? I seem to have missed a button somewhere, but I can't see it. Um, is it further towards the start? No. Am I just- oh, there it is. I really am just bad at looking. Here we go. No way did that just go in the lava. No use farming for cinder shards if I'm just going to yeet them into the water. Or the lava, I should say. Anything good from here? Load of cinder shards I'll take. I mean, it's three. It's still something, though. Don't tell me on a good luck day I'm still only going to make it to, like, floor four. Not that it really matters. I'm not here to, like, get through the volcano, to be fair. I really just want to, um get more cinder shards. I mean, I've got 27. I might just call it a day there, simply because I don't want the pass out penalty. And I think what I will do is sleep on the island just to make sure that we get the potential of the dig spots tomorrow. Then I don't have to travel back again. Not that it would have been too difficult because I obviously have my blink spell, but still, we still want to make it easier for ourselves. Oh my god, 320,000 gold. That was a very good gold day. Oh, it's another good luck day. Maybe I should do the skull cavern invasion today. First though, I do want to handle doing these pineapple seeds, although I don't seem to have a scythe on me, so I can't do anything that requires that, but- oh, I've got three. That's fine. I think I have- well, I have four spots, but we're all good. Okay. No, I, don't, I wanted to see what the mail was, damn it. Never mind. We're definitely gonna have to pop home anyway. First, let's see if we can get that dig spot. Don't think there's one, like, at all. No. Okay, never mind. We'll have to try another day. Alright, first things first, put everything away that needs to go away. I know we're losing valuable hours, but I, I think we're still going to do it, because obviously, like, worst case scenario, we do have the descend spell. I don't want to resort to that if I don't have to, but we have the choice if we need it. And I'm going to bring some ginger just in case. I don't know if we need it for this, but that's safe than sorry, you know. We do have a magic rock candy as well to help us out. Just trying to rearrange my bar so I've got everything I need here. I don't need the blueberry though. Are we all good to go? I think we are. Do I have any other stuff for bombs though? That is the question. I will make a few more, but then thinking about it, I've also got the clear debris spell, so we might be all right. All right, take me to the desert. I'm loaded up on triple shots. Where am I going to put them? I think I'm going to put them in place of the spicy eel for now, because I don't think I'm going to need them for a while. And then let's get that magic rock candy on. And remembering this time it's actually up here. I've obviously been playing a lot of expanded, so I forget that Skull Caverns is at the top, usually. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So first things first, we need to zoom out, drink some coffee and get going. <laughs> Freebie. If I can get some of the goodies here, that'd be great. But if not, that's obviously not the main reason we're here, so it's okay. I think if there's one thing that's gonna make me like this hammer a little more is if I try and get Artful as an enchantment on it. I haven't really done that yet, so maybe that's the next thing we do with our prizzies. I did accept the quest, right? I'm doing the wrong one. <laughs> Oh well, well today's gonna be a Skull Cavern one anyway. It's fine. We have one less day to do these quests, but we will live. That's hilarious. I can't believe that. I can't believe I just mixed up Danger in the Deep with Skull Cavern Invasion. One of them obviously has Skull Caverns in the name. I don't know how I did that. Ooh, ho. Oh. I'll take a six level. <gasps> Treasure floor. Energy tonic. I'll take it, I suppose. I spy some crates over there and I cannot pass those up. No, wait, how did I just do that? I've just deleted some- what did I just delete? Oh, I think I just deleted Iridium Ore. That's annoying. At least I didn't have much of it yet. <gasps> what was that? <gasps> oh my god, the lucky ring! Oh my god, I got it. Oh my god, oh my god. Um, What am I going to change it to? We'll change it for the Iridium Bam for now. We can always uh move it back if it gets annoying. I suppose I don't really need the burglar ring in here. I mean, I do, but also I don't. We can cope without it. I can't believe I just got the lucky ring from a crate. Right, I need to start using bombs now because I'm nearly halfway through in mana and I want to wait to use it until I like really have to. Ooh, coal. We need all of that, thank you. Obviously some of the mana I also want to save to heal as well. Ew, spiral floor. Haven't got time for those. I seem to have majorly slowed down. Let's get another coffee in us and refresh our speedy spell. Alright, I can already see that it has way too many enemies here. Oh my god, get me out of here. Oh my god! That was an emergency descend. <laughs> that was way too many enemies. I could not cope. <gasps> Prismatic shard. I need to make room for it. Let's get rid of the sap. I know it's only four little pieces of wood, but every piece of wood counts, honestly. 
Anything fun in these crates? We got some genie shoes, which I'm not really too fussed about, so I won't bother with them. <gasps> We've got a couple of holes to choose from. We'll go with this one. Kind of being trapped in with some mummies anyway, and it gave me seven levels, so I'm pretty happy with that. Another prizzy. We've got a rabbit's foot here. Let's swap it for the door scroll. We don't be needing that. We got a treasure floor with two iridium bars. Oh, gosh. This is a struggle today. Um, I suppose I don't need another pair of dark boots, right? I'm also going to make an effort to try and kill every dino that I see as well, just to go towards the monster slayer goal. Because obviously when you're actually looking for them, they're hard to come by. <gasps> My magic rock candy ran out. Um, We're going to swap it for the spicy eel then. At least it gives us some luck. Floor 96, we've got a treasure floor. What do we get? 10 cauliflower seeds. I don't think I'm going to take those with me. Kind of naff. <laughs> Oh, well, at least we got the floor 100 guaranteed one. I'm going to skip this one because there are a lot of enemies in the way. Oh my god, that is a lot of serpents. Oh, we have a freebie here. I didn't even need to put the bomb down. We did want to check the iridium nodes, though. Our oh, floor 100 reward. We got a cherry sapling. I don't know how I feel about that, but I'll take it. Um, What am I going to swap? Probably the crab cakes. My guess is we've accumulated a decent amount of those by now. Whoa, that is a lot of dinos. Um, Maybe we should probably... We probably should bother with these, actually, yeah. Let's do it. Uh, do I want to take the eggs with me? I probably should. We can always just turn it into mayo, you know. There we go. That should have given us a decent amount of progress towards the Monster Slayer goal. And now it's midnight. We are almost there for the day. We're on our final hour. Final hour, we got a hole. Let's go. Uh, I should probably heal first, right? <laughs> it would be rough to die in the last hour, wouldn't it? Oh my god, I'm so low on uh, mana now. Let's get this last bit of iridium for the day. One more floor? Anything good? No. There we go. 2am. Well, we'll review our loot in the next episode. How much money did we make today? Not very much. 1,885. So in the last episode, we ended on Skull Caverns. And let's have a look what we got. So three prismatic shards I'm very happy with. A cherry sapling, a couple of iridium bars, quite a bit of ore. I've got my burglar ring on me because obviously we did get the lucky ring. That was the most important piece of loot that we got. I'm going to need to go and combine that at the forge, so maybe that's something that we handle today. And of course, it's Sam's birthday, and we do have a cactus fruit on us, so we will go and handle that. But first, I did want to pick up the coffee, but my inventory is full. Let's put everything away that we don't need. And as for that sapling, I think its best placed is probably going to be the greenhouse. As much as I like having outdoor fruit saplings, they make way better use when you can get them all year round. I'm glad I checked this chest now because I do have 109 cinder shards and that's what we're going to need to obviously uh, merge those rings. Is there anything in here I can move somewhere else though because I've got a bit too much going on in here. Can't forget to pick our tomatoes as well. I think at this point I've got enough for ingredients so I'll probably just sell them all although I will double check. Oh the animals are mad they run out of food. Wait why are they mad? There's literally grass here. They just not see it. Or did it rain yesterday? Uh, I think we're going to have to go get some hay. I might just go and buy some. Oh yeah, we've got 21 tomatoes. That is more than enough. Those will all go straight in the shipping bin. I just wanted to check if, if any of my chests have any hay. I'm not seeing any, so I'm thinking I'm going to have to just go buy some from Marnie's because I don't think I've got really any grass that I want to cut. I mean, I suppose there's this lot, but that can wait. Oh, we have a cutscene. Hello there, Jazz. Uncle Shane's in the barn. He said, uh, he said, he said to tell you he wants to show you something. Okay. Mysterious. Where are we going? Oh, it's the blue chickens. Oh, that's exciting. Hopefully I've got space for one. That should do it. It's the perfect home for you hens. We'll have the best eggs in the whole valley. Fresh and healthy with rich golden yolks, not like those pale, sickly Joja eggs. You know, Charlie, I was thinking, a guy like me is always teetering on the edge of despair. Know what I mean? But you and the other hens are going to keep me upright from now on. I know it. What's wrong? Too much pressure? Hey, Willow, so what do you think? My special blue hens, I've been raising them in secret for the last few months. How the hell did you turn them blue? I, well, I won't be living here forever and I wanted to pass on something to Jazz. I've been teaching her how to care for them. I want to feel like I'm not just a leech on the world. I want to contribute somehow, even in a small way like this. So now can we buy the blue chickens? I think it just like comes out as one of the chickens, but I'm going to go check. Actually, I can check this way, can't I? To see if I've got the space. Hopefully I can put one in there. Oh no, that's a brown chicken. I don't want a brown chicken. I want a blue chicken. Give me a blue one. I'm pretty sure I just have to keep rolling these, right, until it says blue. Or is it from tomorrow? <gasps> no, there we go. Blue chicken. Let's go. What am I going to call it? I think I've been doing these all as um, the random names. Puffy the blue chicken. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> okay, to Sam's. 
Wait, is Sam actually at home? Yes, he is. Okay. Hopefully I can get into his room. Yes, I can. Absolutely knock the door down. Happy birthday. Enjoy the cactus fruit. You saw a spider in your ceiling last night. You're sure they like the warmth? I literally can't stand spiders. I'm out of there. I just realized I forgot to change the date on my list for the star fruit. Have I actually dealt with the star fruit? Or did I forget? We'll go check. But I just wanted to run home so that I could teleport there without being seen. So over to Island West. We did. Okay, seven days from now is the 24th of summer. There we go. That's all fixed. Oh, and then we've got Danger in the Deep. I completely forgot I had that quest to do. I do want to do the rings first, though, because obviously getting those merged means more loot from the mines later. There we go. One lucky burglar ring. And then from here, I did want to go home, but I can't teleport from out here, I don't think. Or in here, I should say. Though technically, the summit is open to the sky, so I feel like it should work. All right, home we go. Oh, I forgot to buy the hay. I literally went there for hay and got distracted by blue chickens. Oh, no. Oh, another cutscene. Oh, Willow, you scared me. See that fruit up there? It looks delicious, doesn't it? But I can't reach it. Why is there just like one random fruit? <laughs> the most awkward pickup I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, got it. We're like nowhere near it. <laughs> what do you mean? You're stronger than you look. Hey, I can do anything. Here, try a piece. Oh, it's an apple? Try a piece eats the entire thing. <laughs> you know, I just realized something. Even if my art career is a flop, I'll always have a friend to catch me on the way down. Okay, Marnie, you better still be there. I need some hay. I'm literally just going to buy an entire stack, I think, so I've always got some on hand. There we go. And we'll shove this straight in the silo. The rest of it's going to go in the animal chest, and then I've always got access to it. Also, whilst we're handling danger in the deep, it might actually go up and sell some of the stuff. So we've got quite a few weapons here that we're not going to use. Also, I need to get rid of a little stick here before it starts ruining our paths. Then do I have any more in the other chest before I go up? I don't think I do. Okay, we've got them all. Completely almost forgot about the minecarts there. Mind you, I have got... Do I have any mountain totems? Yes, I do. We'll just use that. At least people know about those. They're not quite seen as, um, you know, the more secret type of magic. <laughs> Hello, Marlin. I don't need a new sword, but I want to sell you all of these ones that I'm never going to use. And then let's make use of this good luck day. Should I have taken spicy eel? Probably. Should I do that still? Probably. Let's go see if I've got any that I can take. Oh, I've got 15 of the stuff. Yeah, we might as well just take it all. To be fair, worst case scenario, I do have the Descend spell. I just, you know, like I say, even when I'm in school Caverns, I don't really like to rely on it. I like to actually uh, do the thing. I don't know why I just tried to use the elevator. That obviously doesn't work. And guess who forgot to turn on animation cancelling? Much better. I am going to bother with the crates here because a lot of the time they can actually have some really good stuff. Plus we've got our little mining spell to help us along. Of course, the ladders are right at the beginning. Ooh, there's a boss line there as well. We're going to take that on because they can have some very good loot here. We've got the Iridium Needle. Uh, I don't think I want to use that though. That, that wasn't quite what I was hoping for, but it's fine. <laughs> I just realised I never actually ate the spicy eel or anything. So we'll do that. We'll have a bit of triple shot. Get our speed spell back on. There we go. It should be much better now, I'm hoping. Not that it was going badly in the first place, but you know what I mean. Oh no, we're in the squid territory. These are the worst. Not so bad if you can just escape them, though. We're just going to hope from that for now on. Ah, oh, freebie. Leave me alone, squids. No, spiral floor. I'm going to skip the spiral floor, but I'll use the staircase to do it. Although, saying that, I wonder if there's any loot down here. Ah, oh, not a single piece. That's so disappointing. Do I have any healing food? No, but I have a spell. Okay, staircase time. <laughs> Get me out of there. Oh my god, infested floor. But there is a boss slime here, and I don't want to pass that up. Oh, there's a pressure nozzle. I want it. Have I got it? Okay. Um, I want to get out of here. Don't want to fight these things. Let's just descend. <laughs> I don't know if that skipped as many floors, actually. Mind you, I wasn't really paying attention. Into the dark floors. I hate these. Get me out of here. Hello, ladder. Is there a freebie over here? I'm suspicious at the amount of rocks I've broken without a ladder. There we go. I feel like this good luck day is doing me dirty a little, let's be honest. Oh my god, can I please? <laughs> okay, we've made it to... The green floors, which are a little scary, but hey, we can get loads of coal. That will also be good. All right, past floor 50. No, we did not just get nausea. At least I can heal using my spell, right? Although I am pretty much out of mana, so that's kind of a problem also. I'll be surprised if I make it to 55. Although maybe. Actually, you know what? Staircase. Damn it, no! 54, that's devastating. We'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> 3,000 gold though. I'll take it. Face out for the pass out penalty. 
All right, let's offload all this loot. No, I don't want the jukebox, I want the coffee. Oh, it's because my inventory is full. I keep forgetting. I'm not entirely sure what to do with this pressure nozzle right now. I don't particularly want need to- Oh, I've got another one as well. I don't particularly need it for anything. So it's just going to stay in the chest for now. But I think this is the day once I've dealt with all the crops, I'll go and handle the city people. It just means that the other days I can focus on doing the quest. We've got to get to the bottom of these mines. Ooh, we've got some star fruit ready. Uh, do I have enough seeds? I can't remember if I've recently bought some or not. But let's sell all this produce first. Hopefully they're not on the island. Not that it matters, I can just teleport there. I've got 278. We'll see if that's enough. And I think it's also just in time to be able to get one more harvest in. Yeah, so these should all be done on the 27th, which is perfect. Also had to try and take care then not to accidentally harvest the sunflower, because we want the sunflower honey. And that can probably stay there through fall as well. Although in fall I should probably swap it out for fairy rose, but what I'll do is I'll just grow the fairy rose like beneath it. And then we can have sunflower honey until the fairy rose is ready. I know it's not exactly much because I've only got two honey things, but it's fine. It's still better than nothing, right? Yeah, well it wasn't a huge amount of star fruit, but it's still something. Do also need to deal with all the jelly before we go. Um, for now I'm going to do the rhubarb and the cranberries just to use them up. And in case for whatever reason we run out of star fruit for wine, I do want to keep the ancient fruit for that. Just in case. There's that dealt with, and then let's get all our gifts for the city. I need to check the friendships because I can't actually remember who's full. So we don't need one for Buddy, we don't need one for Cal, uh, we don't need one for Gwen or Sadie. So I think it's literally just Kristoff, David and Selena, right? But I never find Selena. We can do our best. I mean, do I know if Selena loves anything in particular? We should probably check that. Uh, she loves ginger. Okay, that's a pretty easy one, actually. Um, she also loves wine and rice pudding. I don't really want to give her wine, but I might have the ginger. We'll bring her one of those. We'll bring David an aquamarine and a topaz for Kristoff. Hopefully, we'll find them out there. I might actually once again start with David first this time. Then I can just focus on searching around the city. Oh, where is he? He's at his fridge. This is for you. Enjoy it. Good morning, Willow. I'm up and ready to go. I'm cooking now, actually. Oh, I thought he was going to tell me what was cooking, but okay. He's just going to say the same thing again. Let's get out of here. First, we'll try the apartments again, although I feel like she's literally, like, never here. I'm definitely in the wrong one, though. Hmm. One day we'll work out her schedule. At least we can go and find Kristoff pretty easily. Usually, anyway. There he is, in his little office. Here you go, this is for you. Have you thought of opening a Jojo bank account? Um, no, I only deal in cash. You get a much more profit if you could take out a loan to purchase seeds at the start of the season. I don't need that. I'm all good. You don't know how well I'm doing. Mind you, you thought I was just a regular Jojo employee. We're so close to finishing his friendship, though. Now, can we find Selena? My bet is she's either going to be at the pharmacy or outside staring at a bird. Well, she's definitely not the bird, so we'll try the pharmacy. Huh. Okay. Or we just won't find her today. She is easily going to be the last person we need to fill the friendship with. I will just check the north just in case. I know I barely ever come up here, but I feel like that's because there's not really anyone ever up here. Yeah, she's definitely not inside the airport. But one more try at looking in the apartment, definitely not here. Um, I'll try the cafe and stuff again. But if not, we'll just have to give up for the week. If you happen to know Selena's schedule, please do let me know where I can find it in the description because um, I did try to look up the city people's schedules, but I couldn't really find anything. Mind you, she could also be out by the bridge. Let's try that because I don't really go there very often. Oh, we have a cutscene. That can't be true, can it? I just materialized from a bush, sure. <laughs> oh, Willow, I didn't notice you there. Oh, this? I was actually reading about the desert where the sand is red and monsters roam free. That sounds terrifying. And magic. There's magic too. Do you believe that, Willow? Um, monsters and magic? Yeah, yeah, I, I totally see that. That's the spirit. So many places to see, stories to find, adventures to pursue. Being free to see the world is just so fantastic. Oh, Gwen, there's so much you don't know. But I shouldn't be thinking about that. I need a job first. I really shouldn't be using the money I have left so irresponsibly, you know. What have you been using it for? Didn't you say you had a job at the nightclub? Oh, I was rambling. I'm sorry. But when I've got that all sorted out, you'll show me around, right? I hear Pelican Town is really great. It is a nice little town. Anyways, bye Willow. Oh, I guess... Oh no, she's leaving. I thought she was trying to chew me off. And now I'm over here. I don't actually know where I am. Uh, oh, there's the train station-y thing. 
let's look for this. This is the bridge I was looking for. Sometimes they're standing on here, but I guess not right now. I'm curious, is this the plot that I could buy? Buy this for 25,000 gold, let's do it. You know, in this soul mill, the papers will properly process tomorrow. Maybe a construction company can help you fix this place up soon. I think if I remember right now that I've just done that, I don't think that's been made yet, but hey, we own it for the future. If we had a bit of money, we could spare it, it's all fine. All right, let's get to a place where we can walk home and get to the mines. Although, do I have one more try at finding Selena whilst I'm out here? Her friendship is so far behind, I really need to sort it. I'll try the sanctuary one more time. She is definitely not here. We tried. All right, from here, I should be safe to warp home. Then we'll head back over to the mines. See if we can make a bit more progress. I think I got to like, I got to 54, didn't I? So um, we're almost halfway through. It is a bad luck day though, so this might not go very well. At least I have a piece of ginger on me if I come across a ghost now though. Where the heck is this ladder on this floor? Ah, there we go. I thought I'd got all the rocks and it just wasn't showing one. I know it's not really a thing, but it did make me panic. Man, I got the nausea. I'll only eat the ginger if I need need to heal. But for now, I'm just going to focus on ignoring all the monsters and trying to find a ladder. Why can't I eat? Oh, I've got nausea. I forgot. I also keep forgetting the fact that I can heal with a spell. Ah. What I am going to do, though, is skip the spiral floor. We all know how I feel about those. Oh, man. Do I want to deal with the infested floor, though? Not really. <laughs> we shall skip it. That's the situation that I will skip it, because I kind of forgot to bring food again, so... I'm having to rely on random floor mushrooms and uh, my healing spell, but I kind of want to use my mana on breaking all the rocks and stuff, so it's there for when I need it. I had to level up to get it. Tell you what, though, I will be glad to be off these floors. Oh, cherry bomb. I'll take that. I will always take some free rock destruction. Look at all that iron. Can't pass that up. If we get to floor 70 today, I'll be happy. Maybe we'll avoid the pass out for the day. Where the heck is this ladder, though? There we go. We made it. Okay, let's get home. What do we have now? I think it's like 50 floors to go, right? We can do this. We've got this by the end of the deadline. Uh, let's carry on from where we left off. Oh, hey Willow, I heard you bought that old sawmill in the Zuzu forest. Head down to my shop in the city and I can help you fix it up. Oh, we'll go see Bill. I completely forgot he was a thing. And he renovate the apartment. Okay, we need to do that too. We've got some more things to do in the city, but that's kind of going to distract us from the uh, quest that we have with uh, trying to get to the bottom of the mines again. Uh, I think we can manage it though. I think we'll be all right. Before we do anything though, I do want to handle Demetrius's birthday. Now, do I have any good quality strawberries? Because that would be a very easy one for us to go with. So there's some normal ones in here. But I don't have any good quality ones. Is there anything else that we know he loves? Nothing that we've got that we actually want to give away. Okay, he's just going to get basic strawberry. Oh, oops. Should have the key to the town so I can get in. Yes, I can. He's still asleep though. I mean, they are awake. Happy birthday. And then I'm out again. <laughs> That's so weird. All right, no one's around, so I'm just gonna go straight to the interchange by the city. Major shortcut. Now I need to remember where Bill's is. I think it's just a little bit further up from the pharmacy. Do you know what? It's nice and early. We might be able to find Selena as well, and she does like grapes. Let's see if we can catch her and make up for yesterday. There she is. Have some grapes. Oops, no, don't eat them. Every time. Oh my. There we go. <laughs> Got there eventually. All right, let's see if we can find Bill. I'm pretty sure he's over this way. Right at the end. Is it this one? Here we go. Oh, Bill has offered to help repair the sawmill, but you need a permit for it. Okay. Well, we didn't actually talk to him, so maybe, I don't know, that doesn't help. Okay, let's speak to him at the counter about my apartment. We can renovate it for 30,000 gold. Let's do that. I would talk to him, but I don't think he's actually, like, friendable, so there's no point. And then we'll go check out the permits as well, now that we know what that might be for. Obviously, the other day we didn't think they were added yet, but I didn't realise that not buying the sawmill was the issue. Okay, zoo zoo permits. Oh, journal updated. Visit Bill. Uh, back to Bill's again. So I guess we don't have to buy the permit? Oh no, we do. Construction permit, 15,000 gold. Okay, I think the journal just updated kind of prematurely there. Um, but we have the permit now. Um, back all the way down again. <laughs> I'm so glad we've got the speed boost because it probably would have been the afternoon by now. Journal updated again. So we'll speak to him. Is this about his apartment? I've already said renovate it, but I don't know if that's worked. Uh... Maybe I should just go and check them out. We'll go have a look. I don't know if it's going to be an overnight thing though, because we didn't get any dialogue, so maybe the dialogue just hadn't been added. I don't know. Let's see. I mean, it still looks the same. What's that? Uh, dare I even ask? Okay, I'm going to get out of here. Maybe they might do something with it overnight. I don't know. 
You know what I really should have done? I should have brought a mountain warp totem with me. That's fine though, I can just go from here. Um, go back to the farm first. I don't want anyone seeing that cloud. Put that away and then we'll grab our spicy eel and stuff. I think I will just bring the cherry bombs, you know, and maybe I'll bring like a couple of emergency staircases. Let's grab a totem and pop on over. Right, how far have we got to go? We've got about 50 floors. We can do this. Even if not today, it'll be tomorrow. Oh, freebie. Right off the bat. Good start. New day means new forgetting animation cancelling. <laughs> I realise as well I kind of forgot to eat the spicy eel and drink the coffee. Get those buffs going. I feel like my luck with the ladders was better on the really bad luck day. This is very strange. Okay, that's a little better. To be fair though, we did whiz through those first 10 floors, so maybe it'll be alright. Purple mushroom, I'll be taking that. Now that we have some healing food, I don't have to sacrifice the grapes. It's more that I can't remember if I kept any for Vincent. That's the first piece of radioactive ore I've seen all day. Oh my goodness. Um, you know what? This is too many enemies. I really should have saved that for the spiral floor, but it's fine. I can still make another staircase. I will get this crate though. 20 to go. We're over halfway. Oh, another invested floor? <gasps> Galaxy soul. Oh, that's exciting. We definitely do want the uh, infinity sword at some point. Oh no! Let's not die. I didn't mean to eat a spicy I meant to eat the purple mushroom. And I see... Oh no, I thought it was a freebie that was just the back of a void spirit. <laughs> That's embarrassing. It's midnight and I have three floors to go. I hope I can do this. I was really thinking that... No, we'd be fine, but... Uh, now we're relying on if the rest of this goes well. Come on, one more floor. I've got this. This is gonna be... It's gonna be fine. I was really hoping for a ladder there. <gasps> there it is! Oh my god, we did it. Yes. Key gem secured. Okay. Let's pop on home. Should be able to make it to bed without passing out. Nice. That leaves today to go check out the city again and see if anything's changed with the apartment and the sawmill. I think what I'll also do is take out all these trees on the way now that they've grown back. I think that's pretty much all of our trees. What do we get? We got almost a stack of wood, like three quarters of a stack. I'm pretty happy with that. There's definitely some more we can grab on the way back as well. So let's go head to the sawmill first. I suppose that's if I can even remember where it is. I think I went the wrong way. Here it is. So we go into this door. I guess it's not done yet. Okay, I'll go check the apartment. But it's not like I've got a cutscene or anything overnight, so I don't know. Let's have a look. And wait, huh? Does that mean I can now place furniture here? I mean, I haven't got anything I can make. I don't think. Wait, what if I? I'm just gonna make one path piece and see if it'll. I can play stuff now, I think. Okay, we're gonna have to get some furniture to put in here. Problem is, I'm not very good at furnishing stuff. I'm sad they took the bed out though. That could have been cool. And you know what, since we're on the way past, we might as well stop in and say hello to Kristoff. Not gonna give him anything, we've already given him our gifts of the week, but can't help saying hello, you know. Hello, have you checked out our seasonal produce? I think the creative team outdid themselves this season. Creative team? They create the goods? That sounds kind of questionable. <laughs> to be fair though, it was nice to hear him say something new. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can pick up some furniture from here. Got a bunch of chairs and dresses. I mean, I could get the dresser right, because that would be a good tester piece. They don't exactly cost much. I was really hoping to see a bed though. You know, in a furniture shop. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. Can we place it? I think we can place it. <gasps> the apartment is usable. Oh my god, that's exciting. Okay, I have to come and bring a bed. I'm also going to walk home as well because I'm pretty sure I remember there being another little property um, on our way up here. We'll do it by the bus because the bus is kind of closer. I do remember getting comments like right at the beginning of the series saying, hey, don't buy these things, they're not done yet. But it's been like, I think I started this nearly a year ago. Can I do anything with this? No? Okay, this really is abandoned. I'm sure they used to have a sign that was like, buy me for 10,000 gold unless I'm mistaking that for the sawmill. Never mind. Maybe we can use the rest of the today to sort out our new apartment, but I'm going to go home and put everything back first because I've got a load of stuff on me that I don't need to be taking. In fact, the only things I will bring are gifts that I need. So I need stuff for Selena and I need stuff for David and Kristoff. And that's about it now. I think we've got most of them covered. I will ship one of these peaches though because it seems I've not done that before. So that's for David, that's for Kristoff, and I can't remember what Selena loves. Ginger Magic Rock Candy Pearl. She doesn't love that much stuff. Um... Maybe we do bring her a bottle of wine. She can have a cranberry one, they're not exactly worth that much. <laughs> so what I maybe want to do is bring a couple of chests. And then Robin should be at home for me to buy the furniture catalogue. I know this isn't exactly the best use of our money right now, but I think it's worth it. We want our apartment to feel homely, you know? Hi Robin. Can I please have 
your furniture catalog there we go and then we'll stop over at pierre's as well hopefully we can get there in time no he's gonna be leaving do not move do not move no okay no wallpaper or flooring for us we can just get furniture down it's fine so close okay from here we'll teleport to the interchange again we will make use of that extra time off the cloud here before anyone sees us now let's get some furniture in our new old place the other neighbors must have thought like oh you know she, she's bought this apartment but she's never here and it's empty i wonder why <laughs> okay first things first we need a bed can we even get beds from this because if we can't i'm gonna be a little upset am i gonna have to go home uh i can't even get a bed because wait don't i have a bed at home i'm pretty sure i bought one to put in here and then i just never did because i couldn't we'll take the bus home yes there is a bed in here just a single but it's still a bed better than no bed all right back to the interchange that does cut out a fair amount of time when we do that and i've only got the evening to decorate better than not decorating at all i suppose or do i just put the bed down and the next time we decorate i think i'll do that because um at least then i'll still get to sleep in the city um i think i'm gonna put my bed like wait what is it just the bed we can't place i'm so confused so we can do everything except for place a bed but i want to sleep here and what am i gonna do like why would i furnish this as not an apartment unless this is where i keep all my magic stuff maybe that's what this will be is this kitchen functional in any way no it's not okay oh i'm so disappointed i really wanted to sleep here we'll leave that there though that's fine we'll just decorate it to be you know a little home for all our magic stuff because i don't see anyone visiting our apartment at any point oops i don't need to wait at the bus stop the bus is always just there for me well time for an early night i guess i can't believe that well that was mildly disappointing i was really hoping to get that apartment furnished today well i mean like furnished in a way that's like literally livable like you could sleep there and stuff but nope okay so with where we left off last time i wanted to be able to decorate the apartment to be a sort of like magic base away from home we kind of get a lot of visitors over at the house so we don't really want to take any chances i picked up a lot of items that we can use from within the house and then we'll use the furniture catalogue for the rest of it i'm hoping though that we might be able to change the floor and the walls and stuff but what i do know is that there's a update coming for this mod thanks to a comment that's going to give us some use of the sawmill in the apartment although to be fair i don't know if we just wait for that for that point um maybe we should we should probably wait because what if they update and then they make the changes that mean that we lose some of our stuff in there i kind of don't want to risk that happening so i'll put everything i want to take in a chest and we'll handle that another time oh we've got the queen of sauce today i've lost count of how many times i've come in and out of my house what have we got pink cake okay i did also just get a mail from lewis asking for the truffle oil i don't know if i already kept some behind i guess not okay well we can make some today and i think at this point what i'll do is i'll just leave everything until the last day other than like the corn and the hocks so like all of the star fruit that's left i'll harvest on the 28th I don't think there's much point in doing that right now. I'm not too fussed about making sure the sprinkler spots are held for next season because I do have the tilt and water spell. It's not like it's going to take me the entire day of like hoeing and watering and stuff. I'm not too worried. Let's get all of those sold off. I'm pretty sure I've got enough of all of these crops by now. And I'm not entirely sure why I've got a bottle of wine on me. I think I wanted to give it to someone. I kind of don't remember who it was though. I do really need at some point to be able to handle all these preserves jars though because all the space at the moment is kind of wasted and definitely need the money. Now I can see I've still got wood on my list. Oh, I've only got... Oh no, I don't. I have more than a stack. Wait, I am so confused. Okay, wood, stone, that's not stone. And how much coal do I have? 147. Okay, I'm not going to use all of it, but we can definitely make some more preserves jars here. Got another 13 there before running out of the amount of coal I wanted to use. We might just have to go coal farming one of these days again. Maybe we just go buy some from Clint, you know, I don't know. I will just put these in there for now though. I do need to move them all too. I probably should have done that first, but that's fine. I'll do that another time. I will still go and pick up the floor and wallpaper catalog though, just so I have it on hand. And then when we get around to decorating the apartment, I've already got it. Assuming it still works that way, then I think I should be safe enough to buy like some coal from Clint. Okay, I've gone with like 200 for now. I'm just like worried about spending my money it's so close to the end of a season, but it's definitely a start and it'll mean that we can still make more jelly. I do think though we're back to wood being the problem. Yeah. Okay, whilst I'm doing stuff on the farm as well, I usually like to use this time to smelt some copper because it's so quick to smelt. I do only have three bars at the moment and we're definitely going to need some more for kegs. I feel like I probably should have done this before I put stuff in the jars, but 
Do you know what? If it's a few hours late, it's fine. I'll just have to, like, remember that when the next batch is done. And I seem to have also missed one up there, too. Okay, I've just set some iron off instead because I want to pop to the desert and see how we're doing with all the trees here. And it's not very well. I might pop home then and get some tree fertilizer and get some of this going a little more. Okay, and whilst I'm here, I've got my truffle oil. I'll go take that to the mayor, but first let's make some tree fertilizer. Actually, do I already have some? I don't know why I thought for whatever reason that that's just something I accumulated. I definitely didn't. Okay, I will make a few more. Um, maybe a hundred. And then back to the desert. I say a hundred, we got 98. Close enough. There's one thing I have learnt though, it's putting fertilizer on trees in this game is kind of annoying. Like you can just do the like run along and hold right click method, but the noise when it's already fertilized is kind of annoying and I'm trying to avoid that. I feel like what I probably should have done is focused on the trees that were closest to growing, but or maybe I should have done the opposite of that and mainly focused on the seeds. Because obviously all these ones that are in the like small sapling kind of look can turn into a big tree randomly on any day. I felt like it would be easier if I just kind of do it um, a little bit more systematically so I've got all of this side fertilised. Okay, time to track down Lewis. Actually, I can just look on the map, can't I? Where is he? He's in his house. Just as well because I doubt he'd want me to be giving this to him in public. Here you go. Got the oil? Let me see. It's high quality. Very slick. Great. Thank you. Dialogue is so weird. I'll take the 750 gold though. Is there a reason I didn't pick this up? I think I just forgot about this board for the entire week. I'll just wait for the new quest tomorrow though. Something about the Adventure Guild board was calling me and I kind of wanted to know where I was with the monster eradication. I've only got nine more void spirits, two more rock crabs, and the rest of the stuff are on like Ginger Island and Skull Caverns. So do you know what I might just handle the two that I can do here today because they're so close to being done anyway. That'll be a good productive use of our evening. The only thing that can be annoying is when the rock crabs don't always show themselves. I feel like I have to go smack every rock that could be a rock crab. I have a feeling there's none in here though, I don't know. Could I have come up here with monster musk? Probably. Far too lazy to go back and get some now though. It would be rude though to pass up on all the gold that's here. Are uh, you a rock crab? Damn it. What about you? Oops, I missed. <laughs> You? Damn, where are they all? I'm not imagining- Oh, there's one. That is the one. Yes. Now I've just got a few void spirits to go in. I'm all good. For the ones that I can do here anyway. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that was it. <laughs> I miscounted. Let's try and make it to bed without passing out. To be fair with the minecarts, there probably wasn't really anything to worry about. <laughs> but hey, two goals in one night. I'm pretty happy with that. And not a bad amount of money either. Okay, let's get all this loot away. Ooh, we've got some tea leaves. I didn't notice these yesterday. Oh, no, wait. This is the week that you get them, right? I didn't miss any yesterday. I don't know why. There's times where I get confused about whether the start of the week in this game is Sunday or Monday. It's Monday for new quests, but I think it's Sunday for gifting, right? I think the best thing to do today is if we go to the city and deal with all of our gifting there. Oh, we've got the eggplant palm recipe. Oh, and it's wine day too. Okay, we'll do that before we go for sure. Thank you for the stone, George. I can always do with more stone. And for now, I feel like I should just keep the tea leaves. Like, I need to make tea at some point, but not right now. And do you know what? I think this ancient doll would be good for keeping for the apartment as well. So I'll put it in the chest for now. Maybe we can put it on a table or something. I feel like it's a perfect display piece. Ooh, we've got four more kegs to go. I wonder if I can make those before I do the wine. I think that might be worth it. Oh, I've only got 36 wood. Okay, that's why I don't. <laughs> that's why I can't do that yet. Well, never mind. Maybe next time. I mean, we did just put all that fertilizer on the trees, so we should be good after that. All right, that's the wine now dealt with, so we should get a decent amount of money tomorrow. Although, I did only save some, so maybe we save half for casks or something. But I think the way I do this, I can only fit like 120. I know you can technically fill a basement completely with casks because it stays like that for the entire two seasons, but I don't really like doing that. I like being able to walk between them whenever I want, so... Less casks is fine for me. Maybe today's the day we also deal with Kent's quest finally. Kent's been asking for a star fruit for some time, so um, we should probably clear that off our journal. Hopefully my gifting trip isn't too long as well because I've got only two gifts to give out anyway. Everyone else's friendship is full, so I don't really need to give them anything anymore. We've just got Selena and Kristoff left. <gasps> There's Kent. I almost missed him. Here you go. Here's your star fruit. And I will take that extra gold. Thank you. Whilst I'm here, I'm also going to pick up the bouquet because I have a feeling we're actually going to fill up that friendship when we give this gift and speak to Kristoff. At least I'm hoping so anyway. It's finally time. The only problem with having to split my recordings over multiple days is forgetting to do animation cancelling each and every time I start the game up. <laughs> oh, there's Selena. She's actually here. Here you go. This is for you. Wow, I've been looking all over for this. Thanks a bunch. You can just get wine at the store. I mean, I suppose it's different to like proper artisan wine made fresh at a farm, but you know. And now we find Kristoff. He's just on his way out. Here, quick, this is for you. And are we at eight hearts now? We are. 
I outsource a lot of work I used to do myself. Sometimes I want to do more, but there's just not enough time. Oh, I know the feeling, Kristoff. Um, I do have another gift for you. Would you like this bouquet? Hey! Officially dating Kristoff again. I'm kind of nervous, aren't you? I'm, I'm nervous too. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that like you were still in there somewhere. I mean, I mean, parts, parts of the old you were coming out, you know, in, in some of the old cutscenes, but for the most part, I think the memory wipe has changed you a lot. I just want to see if things can still be the same in any way. Something else I just thought about. I can't remember if we've actually got access yet to the casino. Um, where are my batteries? Do I even have any batteries left? I do. I've got 29. Okay, let's go see. So if I shove a battery pack in this thing here, your first task, bring rainbow shell to the platform, leave it in the box. Wait, I still have the battery. Oh, did I already do that? And then it just didn't... Was it supposed to go in my journal? No, it wasn't, was it? Or was I supposed to just remember? I'm not entirely sure what's happened. I'm so confused. Or is it because I've got a modded bus tunnel? Well, let's see if I've got a rainbow shell. Oh, I've got a few. We're all good. Okay. To the train station. Oh my god, if I could actually hoe this artifact spot, that'd be great. There we go. I've made such a mess. All that just for some clay. All right, there's the box. Put that in there. Now we've got the 10 beats inside the mare's fridge. I'm so confused. He's not taking my items. Have I already done this? Wait, why didn't I just check my wallet? I've got the club card. What? <laughs> okay, well, in that case, let's pop to the desert. I want to see if I've actually unlocked the dude here. No, I haven't. Would you like some grapes? Enjoy. Okay, let's get you out the way. Here's the club card. Oh, I never noticed before Sandy actually had a reaction to that. She just had a little, like, surprised emote situation. I would indeed like to buy some key coins. I recently used the slots for the first time on one of my streams and um, it got me to where I needed to be with getting that last rare crow very, very quickly. So I wanted to give it another go today and see if I can get a decent win out of it. Enough to get the rare crow and that's pretty much all I'm really worried about here. I've heard the casino can be quite a good money maker if you happen to get a jackpot. Or oh, there was also something about, I think, to get in the wood from the farm totems you can get here or something. I mean, I'm not sure about any of that. I'm just here for the rare crow. Hey, a decent win. Nearly halfway. We got the parsnips. All right, one more go, and then I think that's enough for today. We'll come back for another day. We got up to 4,000 though, that's something. You know what else we need to check? It's a new week, so we've got new special requests. We've got cave patrol for dust spirits or aquatic overpopulation. Do I have the geocrusher recipe yet? Have I done all the ones I need here? I do. I don't know if I just do it anyway. You know what, I'll accept it, because there's obviously no consequence to us doing it than just not getting the reward. One of the reasons I was running this way though is because I do need to go to the island to pick up a new key quest, but also I see that I've got iridium sprinklers on my list of things to do, and I don't remember if that is for the island or not. I guess it must be. <gasps> Gus is here! Recipe please! Oh my god. Finally. Okay, that was a real stroke of good luck there. I didn't even check. Oh my god, and he's just leaving now? That is the best thing that could have possibly happened today. So I needed more iridium sprinklers. I suppose I could fit more in here. It's going to have to wait till the next lot of star fruit though. Am I going to remember when it comes to that? Who knows? We can definitely cram in a good few more sprinklers here. Okay, I think for this week's key quest, we're going to go with Skull Cavern Invasion. I'm going to avoid fishing at all costs. How many gems do I have? I currently have 81. I haven't bought any of the recipes yet though, so I'm wondering if I should just take care of that. Um, or was I saving it for Galaxy Souls? I'll handle the shop another time. I was just checking through the shipment tab as well and I found something interesting that I hadn't seen before and couldn't figure out how to get and I actually had to look it up. So we'll go and check if we can get that shortly. I'm not going to say anything until we get there. Oh, let's put in a new batch of iron. It does need to be night time. This is kind of perfect timing. I think from here, let's save some time and teleport to the ghost town. That's where we want to be. So do I have to wait until this is night time? Oh, wait, what? Future update? Oh, well, I just found out to get to the desert. Okay. Just off the side of the ghost town, I didn't realise that. I just looked up the mod for uh, Walk to the Desert, and obviously the ghost town is actually part of this. In this ghost town, I'm supposed to be able to find a tavern here with one particular item. In my shipment tab, I've got something called ghost berries, which I haven't shipped yet, and I just googled how to get them. So apparently this is from a guy that works in the tavern in the ghost town. I see the tavern, but it says future update. So how do I get... The things that I need. What do I do? This is gonna like stop me from getting perfection. There is an unlocked building somewhere so I need to find out which one it is. It's not that one. It's definitely not that one. Wait is it this one? <gasps> it's here! What's going on? Oh my god. Are you a ghost? You look like you could be one of Lewis's ancestors. Are you looking for something? Or someone? Nobody here but me though. Yes I'm looking for you. You have something I need. Folks call me Pickled Pete. I can't remember why. <laughs> I hope we find out one day. <laughs> want to buy something while you're here? I've got... Well, there's not much left, but it's the best I've got. Tell me. I want to see. 
What have you got? An old coin. That's what we need them for. That makes so much sense. Okay, so I need 10 of these. It probably doesn't matter when you plant them. I think we, we will just get one. Maybe I should get one more. Oh, I accidentally just sold them to him. Can I have them back, please? Um, I think what I'll do is I'll plant them both from Ginger Island. I'm not sure if it's a regrowable crop or anything. So, um, I think it's best off that we plant them. Then I've got one to ship and one to turn into wine. Where am I going again? The island. I haven't got any real space, though, that I want to use for this. Oh, I do. I do. We don't need blueberries. <laughs> I suppose I could have picked up the ready wheat, but that would mean going home to get my scythe. And I'm too lazy for that. How long do they take? 13 days? Okay. We'll have to check them in 13 days. Oh, I'm so glad we managed to figure that out. But for now, I think it's bedtime. It's been a very busy day. Wow, 234 grand. From, must have been from all the wine. Yeah. Happy with that. Okay, so we have starfruit day tomorrow. But what do we do today? It is a decently good luck day, so I could go to Skull Caverns. I mean, I know it's not max luck, but I still find it fun. I completely forgot I accept Skull Cavern Invasion. Um, maybe we can give that a go then, because I need the key gems. I want the galaxy souls. That reminds me, I'm using a hammer at the moment, so animation cancelling is definitely a must. This is what I get for trying to record this episode over three separate real life days. <laughs> all right, I shall put all my stuff away. And then you know what? Do, did I already have the desert warp totem recipe? I don't. Okay, so I'm going to take 10 iridium bars with me and then I can trade for that finally. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. We definitely need of some more triple shots. Got spicy eel. Do I go for a magic rock candy today? Hmm. Do I even have magic rock candy? I don't know. But also, can I make more bombs? I'm just going to use all my iron at the moment, I think. I do have a magic rock candy. Okay, I might use that today. I think it might just make our life a little easier, you know? I was going to bring the ghost fish for food, but it's kind of terrible. And then I'm going to bring some of my coal with me just in case I do get to make more bombs. I could make some more cherry bombs. Do I have any mega bombs? I don't. Okay. Um, do I have the stuff for mega bombs? I have loads of gold ore, so that's not really a concern. Oh, I need void essence as well. I always forget the void essence with this. All right, 77 mega bombs will do us nicely. <laughs> in that case, I'm going to leave all my coal here. All right, don't need a warp totem because we can just teleport ourselves over there. And then I want as many triple shots as I can buy. There's another 10. Three more bombs, the recipe, and I think that's it for trading for today. Wait, is today the day that you can actually trade for magic rock candy? No, it's not. I think it's five a day. Well, I don't really want to do that right now. All right, let's jump on the magic rock candy, have ourselves a triple shot, and we should be super speedy. Let's do this. And first thing is a treasure floor, so I'm just going to skip that right away. Part of me wants to fight the serpents, and the other part of me is like, maybe I should just wait for a regular Skull Cavern stay because these ones kind of take excessively long. Ooh, let's go in the hole. Three levels. That's kind of terrible. It's also a good opportunity for me to pick up several ores as well. I need to rearrange my hotbar, though. I've got stuff kind of in a weird order, I feel like. I can't skip on these. We got a cranberry sauce, a chocolate cake. I should probably eat something or heal or something. Um, I just realized as well, I've been using my pickaxe and I've got a spell. What else are we going to get? We've got a couple more bombs and that is it. The cranberry sauce is kind of cool though. Does anyone we know love this? Nobody loves it. We do have a few people that love chocolate cake though, so that's going to be useful. I might end up using the... No, I won't use the cranberry sauce for food in here because it's got mining on it. I might end up having to throw that one away, but it's fine. <gasps> Treasure floor. Oh my god, level 11? White turban. I'm more of a witch hat kind of lady, but I mean, nice to have. Maybe I should get that mod that you can put hats on all the villagers. Ah! <gasps> Infested floor. How many dinos do we need? Let me get rid of these bugs first. Oh my god, there's so many. This is going to give us some good progress, even if they do take a fair amount more health. I feel like I wish before the end of that last one I checked on how many I killed. I probably could have counted them. Oh well, maybe next time. If I remember, I will I will count them. I realised as well, what major flaw of me animation cancelling? Oh, we got another one. Wait, okay, where are we on now? We need nine, so there's two. Sorry, one. I can't count. <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we need two more after this. Yes, what I was saying is that the thing with me animation cancelling is because I'm always like pressing the button for it, I don't remember to use the fun thing you can do with the hammer, which is to basically spam it like this. It's so much easier. I'll get better over time. Another treasure floor. We've got a slime egg. I don't see myself building a slime hutch. You know, I feel like a witch having a slime hutch would make sense, but I don't think I have anywhere to put it. Maybe we should look into that at some point. Oh, I will take some deluxe retaining soil. Um, I think I'm going to have to get rid of the cranberry sauce for that. <gasps> Free crystallarium. This is a decent treasure day. Oh my god, two in a row. Now, do I get rid of the turban? I think I will. I don't see myself ever using it, so it's kind of pointless me having it. Have I killed all the squid kit I need? Oh, it's not a thing? Okay. Oh no, it is. No, that's a health. Never mind. How long have it taken me till now today to pick up any iridium ore? Iridium ore? I think I'm in radioactive ore. I know I've seen a few nodes and just kind of left them alone, but I'm pretty sure earlier I maybe tried to mine one and my inventory was full. There's a dino down there. I need to eat first, though. I'm trying to save my mana just for breaking rocks at this point, I feel like. Unless I really, really need to heal. Now, I'm pretty sure that means we have one dino left. 
No, my magic rock candy's about to run out. Damn, we're gonna have to go back to plain old spicy eel. I mean, it will do. It's still better than nothing, right? <gasps> Treasure floor. Prismatic shard. I will take that. Where am I gonna put it? I guess I will substitute it for all the bones. I think at this point it might be smarter for me to start using bombs because I am kind of low on mana and we still got quite a fair amount of the day to go. That did not get me very far. Give me another treasure floor, another purple slime egg. I feel like I'm accumulating these at this point. There's one thing I do like about the treasure floors is the fact that it gives you a minute to just like calm down and heal up. Oh my god, we've got another one, a seed maker. Do I need another seed maker? I mean, I suppose it's better than some of the other stuff I've got going on here. We'll get rid of the quartz for it. Having to pick between loot is painful, not gonna lie. <gasps> There's one more dino down there. I think that's my last one. Yes, we did it. Okay, finally. I feel like that's the one I tend to have the most problem with. But we did it. See a slime with a key gem over there. Oh, let's let's not die. Oh, there's two of them. I didn't even notice. I will take three, three key gems. There's another dino somewhere up there, but I was about to go kill it out of habit. I don't know if I should, maybe I should bother. Oh, there's, yep, nope, it's fine. We're, we're gonna skip it. Floor 100. So we got our key gems. Oh, we got a cowboy hat. I feel like I should take it with me just because it's a cool cowboy hat. Not that I'm ever going to wear it, but still. Oh my god, let's not die. Get that energy tonic. There was no ladder up there, no. This is a lot of enemies. I think I'm just going to have to ladder this floor. Oh, that was kind of terrifying. Now yeah, it's just a case of seeing if we can get anything else good today. I'm kind of low on, like, healing food that isn't energy tonics, so... Oh my god. Um, um, don't panic. It's fine. Everything's fine. Slightly panicking. <laughs> Oh no! Okay, we're out of there. Everything's fine. No! I was trying to menu. It was lagging from, um, I don't know what. And, uh, I double- I double menued, so it- so it took me out the pause menu, and now I'm dead. It's fine, we made it over floor 100. I'm not too mad. Depends what I've lost, though. <laughs> These. Four items. I lost my travel pause. That's fine. I could just make some more. They're really not that expensive to make. That could have been worse, and it's 11.30 p.m., so we didn't exactly waste all that much time. Oh, we got a cutscene. I hate when I forget to zoom in after doing anything mind related because then all my cutscenes are tiny like this. <laughs> I guess you're wondering why I'm in the graveyard at this hour. Well, I'm here because it's the best place in town to find some privacy. And I'm all sweaty because I've been practicing my swordsmanship. Hey, what, you think I'm too weak to swing a blade? I never said that. Sorry, I guess I'm getting a little defensive. You see, I want to explore the mountain caves, but I know it's too dangerous to go in there unarmed. You've used a sword before, haven't you? Uh, yes, and it's exciting. See, you understand why I'm out here then. I've lived in the valley my whole life, but I've never really done anything memorable. I want to go on an adventure. Abigail? Dad? Wait, where's Pierre? I literally- oh, he's in a bush. What? How did- where did he come from? Did you been standing there the entire time? I've been looking all over for you. Mother wants you to come home and help with dinner. What are you doing in the graveyard anyway? This is no place for a young lady. How dare. Mind your own business. You think I should be at home cooking dinner because I'm a girl, don't you? You're really stuck in the past, Dad. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Willow. Honestly. Well, are you coming or not? So confused as to how he just like came out of that tree. Okay, my dad won't find us here. Can you believe my parents were ever young? They don't understand my perspective at all. I know, I know. They grew up in a different era with different values. It just ticks me off sometimes, okay? Thanks for hearing me out. Could you help me untangle my hair from this bush? I hope we weren't hiding in the same bush that we find Lewis and Marnie. I do have all jelly ready and stuff, but I think I'm going to wait for those till tomorrow because I don't want to pass out doing jam jars. Okay, to bed. Looks like it's Willie's birthday today. Where are we with his friendship? Wait, this guy's giftable? Oh my god, we have a whole other person. So he loves pale ale, pearl, wine, ghastly, ghastly wine, ghostly wine, and magic rock candy. Pale ale is something we can do quite easily. We could do the wine as well, but I think we've only got expensive wine. That's kind of annoying. Okay. Ooh, I'm interested to see how this friendship pans out. I feel like a witch being friends with a ghost is kind of cool. I mean, hey, who knows? Willow might be one of the only people who can see Pickle Pete. Alright, let's deal with all the jelly. I feel like I'm gonna run out of stuff to put in the jars, but that's fine. I know we're gonna solve it next season with the pumpkin. Literally had just enough ancient fruit to fill everything, so now this chest is completely empty. I really should have moved that room around whilst everything was ready, but that's fine. I will handle that another time. I suppose I could pickle some hot peppers or hot pepper jelly. Jellify it. I don't know what the word is. Pres preserve it, I suppose. <laughs> and we do have some blueberries coming out, so I will do some blueberry jelly maybe in a few days. I just have to remember not to sell them all. I have no idea if I have any starfruit seeds on the island. I've got 183 here. I'm going to take them with me because I don't need to replant them again over here. And that reminds me, I need to make some more teleport cores. 15 will probably do for now. Yeah, let's take all the pineapples. Those can come with us. I keep forgetting to bring my scythe though. Now, do I have any starfruit seeds? No, we're going to have to go to the desert. Okay, well, let's pop over and see Sandy real quick. Oh, it's so nice seeing the trees finally all growing up. We'll have to make sure in the next episode we come and clear all of this out. Should have brought Sandy a present. Um... Do you like pineapple? That's blueberries too. I've got silver pineapple. There you go. We're an 8 out of 10 heart, so we're getting somewhere with her. Right, starfruit seeds. I can't remember how many I need. 
I feel like 583 will probably do us for now. Then I shall teleport from inside the trees. The other thing I wanted to check is if I had another galaxy soul here. I know I've got one at home, but literally only one. So I need to buy two more, which I should be able to afford today, actually. Though I don't know if I have the cinder shards and I don't know where they are either. I never have a set place for keeping those. Like sometimes they stay on the island, sometimes they stay on the farm. I should probably make a home for them, really. I think maybe if I have any spare key gems as well, I might invest in some pressure nozzles. I don't know if I've got some at home, actually, thinking about it, and I can bring them over here. It would save me having to make more iridium sprinklers. And then I'll leave a reminder for myself as well to redo the sprinklers next time we do the star fruit. So I've already kind of half planted this and I need to start like fresh. Okay, all replanted. Get rid of that weed before it causes us any issues. And I've slowed right down. I didn't bother renewing my uh, haste spell whilst I was replanting. It was actually causing me more issues than it was uh, helping me. So I just let it expire for a while. The problem is when you go too fast, you kind of skip over spots. And that is a problem. Okay, let's check the key room. So before I forget, nine days from now is what? So we've got the fourth of four and i've added a reminder on the end of it to redo my sprinklers too so i need two more galaxy souls and then i can actually afford only how many pressure nozzles do i need i'm not entirely sure i haven't bought a single recipe either and i should probably be doing that too um but that i suppose that can come later so we'll go with another set of pressure nozzles and next time we come to replant our star fruit i will fix up those sprinklers and we can increase their radius a bit this means i need less of them okay so in the jelly shed i'm leaving all the uh peppers and the pineapples i'll leave these four blueberries in here as well and then all the star fruit is going in the wine shed i might even take some cranberry wine over to the ghost and i'm praying i've got some cinder shards over here oh i've got 89 i think i only need 60 so that's a win where's my last galaxy cell though i'm hoping it's in this chest there it is and where is my uh where's my galaxy sword is that the island too or is it in here oh it's here okay before i do anything though i do need to try and get willy a birthday gift i'm gonna go check in the uh coop i'm really hoping we've got some rabbit's feet in here wait there's no water pet here what, do i have another one i've got a silver rabbit's foot let's go with that that's still better than a basic quality any gift uh i guess i don't have another auto petter i've been getting so many of them across other saves at the moment that i kind of forget like which ones i have where <laughs> oh i might even switch hat is it time for a change no the hair clips through the top that's so annoying all right never mind maybe we'll go and get another hat from the uh hat rat oh no hat mouse <laughs> oh that just uh that just slipped out i did not mean to we call the hat mouse the hat rat. I know I'm pretty sure I said in a previous episode as well that I struggled to not call it the hat rat. I literally barely ever visit the hat mouse, so that would be why. <laughs> Look at me hiding in a bush here. It's funny, when you have the hat, you can actually see me. Hey, what do you think of doing? That's private property. Sam, uh, I'm sorry, sir. Youth these days, sometimes I wonder if this town isn't doomed. Out I pop from a bush. You saw what happened, Willow. What do you have to say about this? I'm staying out of this. Hey, at least I didn't make it worse for him, you know. I'll let this slide this time, but I don't want to see you doing this anymore. Got it? I never actually chose this option before. I used to say, like, there's nowhere else to ride, but I kind of wanted to know what the other options did. Yes, sir. Did you see that trick, though? That was rad. <laughs> hey, he's walked away now. He's not going to see you doing it. <laughs> I might even take the boat back today. I'm kind of over here already, so even though it costs a few gold, it's kind of worth it to me. Happy birthday, Willy. Now on 8 out of 10 hearts, so that's a good amount of progress. Then after that, I think I'm going to stop using the hammer. Oh, Gus is here. We've already got the recipe, that's fine. Um, I'm actually gonna buy a few pale ales because I'm pretty sure Pete loves this. Does he love mead too? No, but like 12. I know I could process it myself, but lazy and I'd rather be making star fruit wine. Okay, straight to the forge. Stick those in there. Probably should have brought a diamond or something or some other things to enchant it with too, but hey, we now have an infinity blade. So damage wise, what is it like? This Yeah, it is actually significantly better. So that gives me all the more reason to put the hammer back in the chest. I, I feel like I'm just too much of a liability with it. You know what? I'm also going to put on my list upgrading the house because I know I haven't done that in a while and I, oh, I actually didn't do it. I know I haven't done it in a while and I would like for some like some other rooms and I'd also like a basement as well for aged wine. I can't believe I haven't done that yet in the middle of my second year. There's just been too much other stuff going on. I'm gonna leave the pale ales in here and I will give him the wine this time just because I already had that on me anyway. I do not need to bring my cinder shards either. Oh no, I was gonna walk over there now, but it's daytime, so I can't even go yet. Oh uh, man. Okay, maybe we do go see the hat mouse. I feel like it's time for a change. Now, what have we currently got? It's the pink witch hat with flowers. I mean, it's clearly a black hat with a pink ribbon on it. Oh, with the cat is a kind of cute. Though I do like the blue one too. 
What kind of a flower do I have at the moment? So it's two little small flowers. So I'd want to go with something kind of different. I do really like the one with the three flowers on it. I also really like the ones with the cat ears. I'm going to get one with the cat ears. Are we going to try a couple on? So I think it's going to be one of these two. No, I'm not sure about the cat ears when they're actually on. I feel like this flower is the way to go. But I'll keep the cat ear one in the chest in case we ever want to use it again. Do you know what? From here, I could probably just teleport home. There's no one around. All right, let's walk over to the ghost town. I think by the time I get there, it'll be nice and dark and time for us to speak to Pete anyway. Can't believe I forgot to like actually meet him last time, but that's fine. It still means we're meeting our one gift a week. And actually, whilst I'm out here, I am going to go pick up all the forage too. There's a lot of iridium quality gifts here and that is too much to pass up. Okay, hopefully it's dark enough at this hour. Ooh, cactus fruit. I'll be taking that and that. And then I'm pretty sure it was this little building. Yes, it was. Hello, this is for you. For me, really? Oh, thank you so much. Oh my God, that's adorable. I will outlast this building. Once it falls, I'll still remain. Being disappointed. <laughs> like he's bored of existing in here. <laughs> I suppose there's nothing around for him to do, really. I suppose I'd go a bit stir crazy if I had to hang around in this ghost town and not be able to go anywhere else. That is a lot of ghosts. I couldn't resist slashing through all of them. I'm getting a decent amount of coal from this. I feel like I just want to like gather them all up and then find a... <laughs> I'll be taking all of that. I feel like I'm never going to need refined quartz ever again. I never need a huge amount of it anyway once I'm done with the quality sprinklers, but this is a good way to stockpile some. If only I knew this was here when I actually needed to make those sprinklers. Don't know why I'm running home when I can just teleport. I always do this. Put everything away except for our coconut that's going in that chest. And I think that means we're good for the day. Damn, I need some lighting in here. 108,000 gold, mostly from starfruit, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we also had the jelly as well. That helped a lot. But hey, another decently successful week. We've had this particular house upgrade for probably far too long. I think it's time that we get ourselves an upgrade. I need to turn my sound up a little bit on my headset. There we go. <gasps> Tea leaves as well. And it's Kristoff's birthday. We need to get him something. Um, I don't think he likes anything that has like a quality on it. I mean, he loves rabbit's feet. I wonder if I've got any rabbit's feet. He also loves eel, but I don't see myself catching any of those today. Got the fish stew recipe from Willy. I feel like a lot of cooking recipes I only really cook when I absolutely have to. Now, was that one of my first tea leaves? So I don't know if I've got any just like chilling somewhere. There we go, that'll do it. I suppose if we're going to the city to give Kristoff a gift, we can go ahead and give, uh, who else have we got left? I think it's just Selena, right? Oh, we've also got David. So Selena and David, they need gifts. We don't have a single rabbit's foot. Okay, never mind. In that case, he'll have to have some sort of um, gem, I think, because we know he loves those. Let's give him an emerald. I know we've been giving him topazes for a while because they're cheaper, but it is his birthday at the end of the day. I also need to bring an aquamarine for David. And what did we say that Selena loves? I don't actually remember. Ginger, pearl, prismatic shower, rabbit's foot, wine, magic rock candy, rice pudding. There's not a huge amount of variety there. I don't really want to give her the ginger. Or do I? I could give her ginger, I suppose. That's if I even have any. There we go. Just a shame that you can't get the uh, quality on the ginger, though. Also, what does pickle peat like? I kind of forgot about that. Um, He likes... We've got pale ale. We might have some pale ale at home. Oh yeah, we've got 12 cups of the stuff. I think we bought some recently, didn't we? Good that we've got it on hand. Check up here one last time. Oh, it's pretty empty because we did only just clear this out. But obviously in the next episode, it'll be a new season. So I just want to make sure we grab everything we can from this area before it goes away. I'm actually curious to know if Pickle Pete comes out in the daytime or not. So we will see. Oh no, he doesn't, does he? I think we found that out the last episode. That's fine. We'll just wait until later. I've just got the pale ale with me to remind me to do that later. So over to David first. There he is. He just materialized out of his little loft situation. That's for you. Just praying that Selene is in one of like maybe three spots. Not at home. Not at the store. Aha, she's staring at the bird. Here you go, have some ginger. That elevator's been out of order for as long as I've been here, I think. Oh, I think that you mean in the apartment, right? My personal theory is that there never was an elevator. That wouldn't surprise me. Like, why is it so slow? It seems like Kristoff is out. You have the opportunity to break into his vault. No, that would be betraying him. As tempting as that would be. Yes, Kristoff is a changed man. He's changing Joja for the better. Me rubbing him would only make his job harder. Wait, is he actually out though? Or is he here? No, he's here. He probably would have materialized if I did that. I'm kind of curious to see what would have happened if I did that. I couldn't, okay? It was mean. Happy birthday. It is his birthday as well. I don't want to be caught breaking in on his birthday. I think we're officially full friendship with him again. We are. 
And it's gonna thunderstorm tomorrow. Hmm. I smell a wedding incoming. I should probably harvest these tomatoes as well, because I kind of forgot before I left. Get ourselves some sunflower honey. And I really should take care of all this. Um, I'm actually just gonna do it with my axe, because I don't want to destroy the one with the uh, tapper on it. Ah, animation cancelling. One day I will remember you. There we go. I really need to get my tools upgraded again at some point. Because of the clear debris spell, I've just like not really bothered with the axe at all. Grab ourselves some corn as well. I'm leaving the star fruit until the last day, I think. Part of me is hoping that the speed Oh, I harvested one. No, I was kind of hoping the speed road stick around until next season, but I suppose we will find out then. I don't think it does actually. Thinking about it, no harm in trying to wait though. Oh, and it's also speed grow day, so I should probably go handle that too. And I can just teleport to the desert. I was about to go look for a warp totem then. I really don't need that. I mean, I could have also taken the bus thinking about it, but the trees. We can cut these all down now too. We'll do that. So I want to make sure to grow some beets. I think I don't know if I've done that yet for the shipping yes i have okay so i won't get any beets i just need to grab a load of deluxe speed grow i reckon 500 is enough for now and then let's knock this entire lot down oh man i've used all of my uh, mana up so i'm just gonna have to do the rest by hand to be fair all that magic gave us like two stacks of wood so i'm good i wonder if i can blink up to there actually I can i was kind of worried though when i got up there that i'd be stuck but it's fine we're fine everything's fine just make sure to take these last few with me and of course i should probably spend a bit of time replanting them as well because we do need the wood there'll always be a need for some wood i have a feeling i'm actually going to run out of seeds before i can replant about the amount that i had but that's fine okay all of those planted we've got about half the desert replanted and now i should be able to go and give pete a gift but i kind of accidentally put it back in the chest so we're gonna have to go grab it again before we go so we'll grab our pale ale and then i'm gonna teleport straight to the ghost town if i actually get the right spell here we are probably could have used the cloud all the way to the entrance but it's fine we can handle those ghosts this is oh no no don't drink it this is for you the land gasps in the heat okay then you know what we're actually gonna bother to kill all these because they do drop like coal and quartz and stuff and that's gonna be useful Plus, we could always do with the solar essence for uh, teleport cores. The old bit of fiber that we get is also nice. But hey, who am I to pass off 12 coal and 6 refined quartz? Not a huge amount, but it was very minimal effort. Not entirely sure where I'm running home when I could just uh, teleport. Actually, we should probably make more cores. Used a fair few of them today. There we go. I used up all the uh, solar essence that we got today, and that should do us nicely for a while. I'm also going to sell these 6 ghost fish, because that was kind of a bonus pocket change there. And hey, we made back some of our speed grew money with the truffles and stuff. Ooh, today's Leo's birthday. Day. we should definitely handle that one okay so a few things on the agenda today is lewis to tell us about the mermaid pendant which we're definitely going to be buying i think first thing we'll do is we'll head to the island and just deal with leo's birthday just want to see if one of these mango trees oh i've only got one mango tree never mind i wanted to know if i had some silver star mangoes i don't and that's fine here you go leo here's your birthday fruit and do you know what i'll have one as well and do you know what the good thing about being on the island is i've got the obelisk oh we've got a cutscene. i was gonna say we've got the obelisk to uh help us get home without using a travel core but let's deal with this first what are you doing willow uh pondering the big questions oh yeah leo ponders the big questions too like will i find more walnuts on the beach or in the volcano life complicated yes it is kid hello tell me about the place you come from your home oh um uh i i live on a farm farm so you're saying you grow your own walnuts you don't have to hunt for them wow i mean i don't grow walnuts but i grow other stuff i'm thinking willow is smart thank you are there other kids yes I know I'm not actually a bird willow. I'm like you. But I don't like thinking about it. Because I'm so alone. With my bird family, I feel like I belong. But I don't belong. I don't belong anywhere. Get you a home, kid. The way that Willie was just creeping by the trees over there. Poor lad. I say by the trees, he must have been in view. I wonder if there's some way to help. I think I'm actually going to save the blueberries I've just harvested, you know. Because, oh yeah, I was actually saving them for jelly. Because I was kind of running out of stuff. So the quality ones, those can go. I'm trying to decide if I bother checking the traveling merchant today. I know that she, like, nearly never has anything useful. But, I don't know, I'm just feeling a bit of a shopping trip. Yeah, nothing I particularly want to buy. What the heck is that painting, though? I kind of want it. <laughs> We need new things to add to our newly upgraded house later. In fact, I wonder if I have room for it now. I definitely don't have room. It can go in the chest. Okay, Robin should now be open so we can go and uh, ask for our house upgrade. I can't remember what you need for it, so I brought 500 with me and I hope that's enough. Or is it hardwood I need? No, if I need hardwood, that's going to be kind of annoying. I think I've got enough. 150 hardwood, of course it is. Of course it takes me to the moment I basically get to Robin's to realise that I've got the wrong stuff with me. Not so bad when you've got super speedy walking though. I wonder if other townies think I just absolutely sprint everywhere. And you know what? We might go check out that train and just get a few little bonus resources. Come on, please be a good train. I get the feeling this one's going to be a bit of a disappointment. Oh, maybe? 
Some stone! I mean, it's something. Is that it? We're just gonna get like seven stone from the entire train. Oh no. Is this one gonna give us anything? Geodes. I saw some leprechaun shoes fall out over there. We'll have to grab those when the train is passed. Does this one give anything? Another pair of leprechaun shoes. <laughs> okay, sure. Single geode. Oh, nope. More geodes. Definitely more geodes. Well, I'll take the shoes with me, even if I just go sell them. Let's deal with Robin first, though. Hi, Robin. Can you upgrade my house, please? Finish in around three days. I really need to start bringing coffee and stuff with me. I realize as well I don't have any regular food. I left that home or something. It's either that or I just go to Gus's and buy a load of salads. That might be what we do here. Because usually, obviously, I have like a supply of salmon berries or blackberries or something. But I'm kind of out completely. Uh, Yeah, we'll go do that. Today's a very spendy day, it seems. Oh, we've also got cave patrol to do for Clint. But I don't think we like have to have to do it. Because I'm pretty sure I already have the geocrusher. Yes, I do. I mean, it gives us an excuse to like have to go get more coal. But mm, maybe. I will think about it. Oh, we've got a cutscene with Willy. Ah, it's a good thing you turned up, miss. I've got a bit of a problem I could use a hand with. Oh, that cutscene. <laughs> uh, it'll be best if I just showed you. Take a deep breath now. Can you imagine just like walking into a shop at the sight of loads of escaped crabs? As you can see and smell. Your girls ran wild last night. My experiment needs a little work. Back at it again, Willy. They look fresh, all right. Did he call him over to help too? Aye, these are the finest, meatiest crabs you'll ever set your eyes on. They be a little too feisty though. I'll take the whole lot with a discount for the extra labor of course let's get to it i mean he technically didn't actually agree did he unless he invited him here for this purpose i don't know looks like we got them all bye my sweet ladies well don't tell willie but i'll be doing a special on crab cakes at the saloon for the next few days this he actually i've never actually investigated this but then i never buy crab cakes anyway so i wouldn't even know if they're cheaper but also wait what are we here for again oh we're here for the beach um gus is a saloon owner he literally sells food what does he think he's going to do with all these crabs one mermaid pendant please we've got that sorted maybe we do have to take another trip back to the city i don't know if we do it today though if we wait until it's like slightly better weather i don't know if the city ever rains actually thinking about it or if it matches the weather here or how that works but hey let's get some salads i think 100 will do us nicely for a while and do you know what i think we will do some coal farming today we're going to get a monster musk first probably should right it certainly wouldn't hurt to yeah we have plenty of stuff for monster musk in fact let's make like two of them there we go and then i'll keep the spare one in the chest ready for another time before we go in though i will go sell those spare shoes i probably should have like brought any other spare things i had with me but i don't actually know if i've got any oh item recovery service do i want any of this stuff back let's get the jades why not sold those shoes off let's get out of here okay coal farm farming time even though it's a bad luck day as well i am gonna pick up any iron i pass because it would kind of be rude and not to but we're halfway through our dust break so i will meet you on the other side when all these are done okay all done there actually didn't take that long at all we still got we still got several hours left in the day so i think i will just make use of the rest of this monster musk in fact let's go check something how long have i got seven minutes of it i'm gonna go look at the monster slayer board and just make sure that we haven't got anything left for the normal mines i know i'm checked this recently but i really can't remember let's have a look okay so the only things left i've got are not here they're just in skull caverns oh my god i've only done 35 mummies we definitely have to take care of that very soon so what i'm actually going to do is add this to my list so mummies what was it mummies serpents and magma sprites that way if i leave them on my list i'm gonna know which ones they are and i'm not gonna forget again if i've done them or not Back to cool farming. Okay, 12.40. I'm going to try and make it to bed before 1 a.m. Let's teleport home. I've got 158 coal, so that was a very successful coal farming session. Just made it to bed because of the blink. <laughs> Just didn't want to lose the energy for tomorrow, you know? All right, let's put all of our stuff away. Ooh, we've got some batteries as well. We've got some jelly to deal with, and then we need a trip to the city. But what's in my mail? we got the poi recipe, some more jades from Marlon. Ooh, Flint's given us some eggplant palm for helping him. I like the fact that you still get something in the mail. That's kind of fun. To be fair, though, I'm probably just going to sell it. Okay, so before I do the next batch of jelly, I am going to go ahead and move the jars that I'd forgotten to do before. And then it's going to kind of make a little bit more sense in here. Like, it's still going to look a little bit odd until we actually fill the entire thing out. But it's still better. We're going to end up with a bit of a mishmash this week. We've got some pineapple jelly going, but then also the rest is going to be blueberry. Oh, I didn't move these ones. I knew I'd forgotten something. There we go. I think that's a little bit better. It still looks half finished, but a bit less, I don't know, lopsided. <laughs> it just feels better to me, okay? Oh, I'm going to run out of blueberries. No. Okay, well, maybe there's not really any point us expanding the preserves jars just yet anyway then. If I don't have enough stuff to fill the jars with, then it's kind of pointless using the resources for now. Oh, I didn't even have one for the outside. 
I'm gonna stick a hot pepper in there just to have something. Actually, I can put the hot peppers in there. Still not enough to fill everything, but it's still better than having loads of empty jars. Is all of my star fruit done now? Oh, it is. Okay. And we have more hot peppers, so maybe we make some more hot pepper jelly. There we go. We've actually got full jars now, though. I'm not gonna add the rest of the hot peppers in. I'm just gonna sell the rest because I'm hoping in autumn we might be able to get more stuff to put in there. All right, yeah, let's pick up all this star fruit. I think I'm just gonna have to put new speed grow down next season anyway. Okay, so all of the silver and basic star fruit are gonna go in the chest and the rest are gonna be sold. Do you need to do a batch of pale ale at some point soon? I think it's time we take a trip to the city again. Ooh, there's jelly under here. Also slime to forage, that's weird. I've never seen that before. But hey, I'll take three free jars of jelly. I don't know how exactly they got there, but I suppose I could do magic, so I probably shouldn't be questioning things. <laughs> Stuff you better be in here somewhere. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to propose to him in front of all of his workers. I don't know why I keep putting it up. Uh, this is for you, Kristoff. He accepts. He'll set everything up and he'll have the ceremony in three days. I mean, as the CEO of Jojo, I'm expecting big things for this wedding. As long as you don't come to the wedding and just talk about your employees, I th that would kind of be a bit gross. Actually, you know what? Whilst we're here, Robin, do you like jelly? Actually, do I have ghost cheese? That's a good point. I have some basic goat cheese. Robin, you can have some goat cheese. A little on the job snack. All right, and you know what? It's the last couple of days of summer. Are there any summer fish that I've kind of missed out on? I know I haven't caught a lot of them. Could try for the crimson fish. Do I though? I don't know. I mean, a lot of these are crab pot stuff too, so I probably should take care of those. What is that? Oh, it's the glacier fish. <laughs> okay, maybe we do take care of the crimson fish today. Do I have stuff for sorting out the crimson fish? Um, I've got some bait. I'm gonna need some trap bobbers. Oh, I've got one. Do I have any seafoam pudding? I don't, but I make some seafoam pudding. I think I've only got one midnight carp and I don't want to use my only midnight carp. Um, maybe we just go with, I'm hoping I've got some dish of the sea instead. I see it. We do. Okay, let's do this. Wait, is it even available this time of day? Have I only got like an hour and something to catch it? Because if so, this might be a problem. We might just have to do it tomorrow. Oh no, there's no time on it. We're good. I don't even have master my fishing rods. So it's kind of going to make things a lot harder. But hey, we'll give it a try. Munch on this and get going. Oh my god, first hook. Can we do this first time as well? I'm hoping we can because I don't really want to waste uh, the dish of the sea or anything. There we go. We got it. Okay, that was surprising surprisingly easy. You know what? What we might do is actually head up to the mines and try and catch the mines fish. I know we haven't caught the lava eel and I might as well make use of this uh, dish of the sea. Let's see if we can get lucky here too. Okay, trash. That's not the best start. Not a single fish. It's literally just all trash. What is weird is being on another save, hooking up Joja Cola and not having to drink it immediately. It's actually quite nice. Something tells me our dish of the sea is going to run out before we even hook the thing. Is it because this is a bad luck day? I don't think it is. I didn't think that affected our ability to catch fish versus trash i don't know i thought it was just to do with the amount of treasure chests that showed but maybe i'm wrong oh my god please and this is why i picked this spot for the community cleanup quest as well because look how much trash we've accumulated oh my god stop wait can i even catch it what level am i is this that why Oh, I'm level 12. So that means I'm level nine, right? But that doesn't matter because I've got the fishing food on me. I mean, I'll check anyway. So the level shouldn't be an issue. It's just mine's 100. The only reason I noticed that is because I was still obviously getting XP for the trash. This is really upsetting. I'm gonna pass out up here at this rate. Oh, someone already come down here and caught them all? If I don't do it tonight, I'm gonna have to wait until the time where I actually have more fishing buffs again because I am not doing it without. <gasps> Maybe? Oh my God. Oh my God, this is it. We can't lose it now. After all that time, we cannot lose this. I need to check also if I've got the ice pit because I don't know if I do yet. So I only have like a minute of fishing buff left. I don't even know if it's worth it. Oh, we did it. Oh my God, all that trash. I got like 22 pieces of trash before I even got the damn thing. Okay, have we done the ice pit? Yes, we have. Okay, we don't have to worry about that. That's fine. Ew, I was worried we weren't gonna do it tonight. The Jojo Crows will go in the shipping bin and then let's get some sleep. Oh my God, almost 200K from all the jelly. I think it's because yeah, we did most of it ancient fruit jelly. Okay, last day of summer, let's do this. What is in the queen of sauce today? Roasted hazelnuts, okay. That's one for next season. Not gonna worry about cooking though until I think I've got all the recipes. That's usually how I like to do it. Jane sent us some pizza in the mail and we've got the moonlight jellies tonight. Hopefully I actually remember to go. Put all that trash away, there's so much of it. And then all the fish can go in here. Pizza, do I need to friend Shane anymore or is he already full? He's already full, okay. I'm just gonna sell the pizza then because I don't really need to keep it. Kind of a good luck day as well. Do we just like go to Skull Caverns? But that means that we're missing the moonlight jellies. I'm not gonna miss the moonlight jellies because I actually want to buy the seam foam pudding that's usually for sale there. What I will still do is go and trade in my jades for staircases because we do have a lot of jade. Actually, we'll just teleport over there. I was gonna take the bus, but then I realized what time it is. Pam is definitely not ready for seven in the morning. She's probably still hungover. Okay, give me all of the staircases I can afford, please. That's 
gonna make for a very good run one day. I also realized that these oat resins have been ready for a while, but the reason I haven't uh, harvested them yet is because I'm waiting to do them on wine day. I usually like to do them the same time that I do the wine. And hey, I didn't even look at our house. Wait, oh, it's because she takes the festival days off, so it's not actually finished yet. I was like, I don't hear Robin working. That means the house upgrade's done, except it wasn't. Grapes. Pick those. We're gonna need those for Vincent. We've got a lobster in here. I'm gonna pick that up just in case I need it for anything. Ooh, and a sturgeon as well. Like, I don't think I still- Ooh, how long is- Deluxe Bee Rose usually cheap. It's like 80, isn't it, from Sandy? I don't need to buy that right now then. But hey, no harm in having a couple of spare fish. What I think we might actually do today is go to Clint's and open any geodes we've got. How many do we have? We've got 96. Okay. It's in the normal geodes and the omni geodes, but I don't really want to use omni geodes on this right now. I'm looking for the Celestine for that potion because I don't think we've got it yet. Or made it i should say hi clint please open all of these geodes for me and please give me some celestine wait it definitely is normal geode celestine i did just google this but i'm starting to doubt myself i don't know why it is definitely the normal geode okay i don't know why something about celestine to me said um oh celestine i was gonna say something about the celestine to me said uh frozen geode but i'm not gonna argue with a wiki i mean clearly it worked <laughs> all right we got a potion to make um, I think my cauldron's in a chest still, so I'm gonna take it out for the moment just to make this one potion. And which one was it that needed Celestine? Cloak of Moonlight. Speed and impenetrability of darkness itself, lasting a full day. Okay, so it's for speed and defense, which could be good, but I mean, I suppose it lasts a full day, right? If it's definitely a drink and not a food, then it would be worth it. Wait, I forgot what we even need. I know it said bat wings. I don't remember the third ingredient. Void essence. Makes sense for the darkness thing. We might test it out one day. Actually, I could put this in a crystal area. I might do that. We're going to put all the materials in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go whack this in a crystallarium. I'm hoping that works anyway. Can I make another crystallarium? Isn't it like iridium, gold, and batteries or something? And stone. I'm just guessing, to be honest. Yes. We can make a couple more. That Celestine can hopefully go in there. Three days? Okay. That one takes a little bit longer, but that's okay. We'll live. Just trying to be smart about it, just in case that uh, we actually really like that potion and want to use it more. Definitely needing to smelt up some more Iridium though, because we are kind of low. And we've got so much ore. And then I'm wondering if we make it today like a general gifting day, because there's some friendships that are close to being done, and I don't want to also lose loads of points, and obviously everyone's kind of needs some sort of work on. Um, So, Vincent, got any strawberries? For Demetrius, I do. Grab some sort of flower for Sandy. Evelyn, Gus, and Pierre. Evelyn loves fairy roses. I think I've got a flower chest somewhere. I don't have many left though, so maybe I keep those. Oh, she loves diamonds. And I know also uh, Gus loves diamonds, so I can get a couple of those. Hopefully I've got enough. Oh, I've got 13. That's fine. Um, Who else loves diamonds? What about Pierre? Does he love diamonds? No, he doesn't. He loves fried calamari. Calamari? Do I have any fried calamari? <laughs> Well, I definitely don't have any of that, but I got out the crab cakes because I wanted to see if I need to add to Elliot's friendship. I definitely do. I'm going to have another check in the coop to see if I've got any rabbit's feet. Yeah, definitely not. Okay, never mind. That's fine. Everyone else might just have to get liked gifts then, but I don't know what to give out. I mean, I could give out a load of cheese, I suppose. Also, whilst I got the uh, animal chest open, I'm going to make some more animal products. I realized today that I haven't actually shipped dino mayo, so it's worth us definitely handling that. Robin loves goat cheese. That's a very easy one. Maybe we just take the goat cheese with us as like the everyone else gift. Lewis loves hot peppers, and that's a really easy one too. I keep forgetting about that. Abigail, we know, loves amethyst unless i've got any gold star pumpkins i do jody also loves diamonds and Haley loves coconuts so that's an easy one i should have some iridium ones yes i do do i have any leaks for george i have some I don't have that much fun stuff for like jazz but i do have a pink cake actually so maybe we'll go with that trying to make sure i hit like basically everyone today maybe not leo i'm not sure if i'll find him today and he also loves diamonds that's another diamond that we need not worrying about the city people right now harvey i can get coffee out of the kitchen Alex is annoying, so he's just going to get some goat's cheese. He mainly likes cooked dishes. Clint is easy. He likes gems as well. I'll give him a topaz. Leah loves goat cheese. We've got that for her too. Or we get a frozen tear for Sebastian. And then let's go grab a coffee from indoors. I know I've probably forgot someone, but we will review that later. All right, let's do this. See if I can get this all done before the moonlight jellies. That's for you. Oh, we've got a Sebastian cutscene. Let's have a go at the Solarian Chronicles. And this time, I think I'm going to go with uh, the healer role if i remember i picked the other two before and everyone always like oh i um i'll go healer them and i usually go with that role so let's pick the healer hopefully i slot in nicely 
Healer, huh? That's a very important role. I guess I'll pick the wizard then. Oh, he didn't seem too impressed by that. Maybe I should have picked the wizard. Cool, war is my favorite anyway. Let's begin. King has entrusted you and your companions with recovering the Salarian Star, a task which, if completed successfully, will ensure your place in the Hall of Legends as well as a sizable fortune of gold and silver. After a long month journeying across unforgiving lands, you step out onto a precipice to see your destination looming in the distance. There, beyond a moonlit plain, lies the Necromancer's Tower, where Dreadlord Tsar usurps the power of the stolen Solarian Star for his vile purposes. The tower lies before you. Do I go in the front, fortune favours the bold, or search for a back entrance? Let's go in the front, I usually go in the back. A skeleton guards the hallway before you, it looks dangerous. Uh, fight the skeleton. The skeleton lunges forward. Raise your shields, I'm a healer after all. You successfully block the attack. The skeleton stumbles backwards, giving you enough time to strike out and slay the foul creature. Heck yeah. You continue down the hallway, taking care not to step on the skeleton's remains. To your left, a hallway glows with a peculiar green light. To your right, a staircase leads up into the dark. Let's go with the hallway. You're in a room. On your left is a ladder. On your right, three prisoners are floating in a strange glowing capsule. They appear to be in the process of some kind of transformation. Could this be some sick experiment of the dreadlords? What do we do? Uh, let's destroy the capsules. After putting these poor souls to rest, you and your companions climb the ladder. See, I was hoping we'd actually rescue them, but that's that's fine. <laughs> You come to a door at the end of the hallway. The time has come to fade Dreadlord Zar. Let's do this. Intruders, how dare you trespass in my private chambers? Ah, so you come for the Salarian Star. Hehehe, <laughs> fools. You make a nice addition to my skeleton army. Dreadlord Zarth class Shadow Beam. You're able to dodge the spell, but your companions are gravely injured? Oh, it's because I'm a healer. Um, oh no. Heal, heal the wizard. Thanks, Willow. He's mad. Sebastian casts Pure Bolt. A beam of white light hits Zarth square in the face. The Dreadlord shrieks and crumbles into dust. You pick up the Solarian staff and hold it high. Order has been restored to the world. You freaking did it. Oh, A rating. That's my first time ever getting an A rating for this. Hey, not bad. It took me like three or four tries to be my first scenario. Dude, not bad. I got an A. What do you mean? Not bad. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later. I hope I don't lose friendship points with Sam for that. This is for you. 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 And you. And you. And you. This is for you. This is for you. Oh no. It says the festival's being set up and to come back later. I don't know if I just like hang around somewhere. Might just have to come back in the early evening. Well, we can go and handle Sandy first. This is for you. 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 And this is for you. We got them all done eventually. Okay, time to ship our dino mail. That's another thing wiped off the shipping. And then looking at what we've got left, we've got the ostrich egg, the beer, the mead. I think that's aged row, isn't it? Yes. Oh, I keep forgetting to put the row in the um, thingy my but that's fine. Uh, pine tar, that's quite an easy one. I can go and get some of that at any point. I've just done the mayo. I've not done a mango yet. I'm kind of surprised. I probably could just handle that now. I am surprised that I've not had any radioactive stuff left. So um, we'll have to check in the next game day. See if we got any key quests that can give us the radioactive ore. I actually am just going to go get a mango though and deal with that because I can't believe I've not done it yet. That's the desert. This is the wrong place. Whoopsie. <laughs> we wanted Island West. So literally just going to grab these off the tree and then shove straight in the shipping bin. And now I think once I've picked up these few truffles, by the time I head into town, it will be time for the moonlight jellies anyway. Oh, I forgot how slow I have to walk at festivals. All right, go pick up more of this stuff. I don't think I need to though, because I've got some at home. That's fine. I'm just going to make sure I talk to everyone I need to talk to and then make the show. Okay, it's time. I do wish with this thing that you could um, like have attended, but you know, maybe skip the cutscene at some point when you want to leave because I feel like, I mean, especially for me, I have to play my music off because of recording and such. So I kind of just sit there. It's some very forced relaxation. <laughs> the glow of summer is faded now and the moonlight jellies carry on towards the great unknown. Well, I just came for the seafood pudding, but hey, let's get in our last sleep of the summer. I have no idea why, but for some reason, uh, now that my house has expanded, I seem to have woken up in the kids room and I definitely didn't go to sleep here, so I don't really know why that happened. The bear block in my way though is an indication that I kind of need to rearrange some stuff, although I think to be fair, I was gonna say that's it, but then we've got this situation going on in the kitchen. I should probably sort that out. There we go, I think that's going to be looking a little bit better, or at least a bit more organised for now, and the fish tank too. There we go. We do have one more house upgrade that we've got to get done, but it's a new season today, so we have a load of planting and stuff to get done. Um, also, it seems to be winding. Oh my god, we've got so much to do. I do just want to go around and make sure I clear up any debris first, because I don't want them kind of interrupting any of my crops or anything. Ah, oh, the corn's ready as well. Well, that's ready to go. I'm not too worried about how long it's going to take to till stuff. Because obviously I've got the spell and also the watering too, that's going to be easy to take care of. 
So we've got a little bit of time to do that before we go over to Pierre's. And we're going to leave that sunflower here. We'll keep making sunflower honey until I can get a fairy rose growing there and then we'll transfer it into fairy rose honey. Wow, look at the outside of the house, I've just noticed. Oh my god, that's so cute. I love the little skeleton hanging out the window there, that's adorable. I think for the crops I'm going to just use my scythe because I'm worried that it's going to just pick up my paths and stuff if I misclick. Well, I know that will happen if I misclick. Better off just doing it by hand. It doesn't take very long and there's not exactly many crops to get rid of. When I'm just in time for Pierre's to open, I'm just going to check on my seeds in here to see if I've got any left over that I don't need to get. Well, I have a load of yam seeds that I can plant. Do I do the sunflowers as well? I suppose why not, right? I have got them, so I might as well. I'll just fill up this one sprinkler with them. The yams that I'm going to put over here, because I have got just less than a sprinkler's worth. I mean, I could have gone and bought um one more seed, but I am far too lazy for that. Even though I have to go to Pierre's anyway, that logic makes no sense, but you know what I mean. Hello, Pierre. Right, we've got a corn already. We don't need to worry about that. Um, We want one lot of eggplant, a lot of bok choy, one lot of cranberries. Uh, Do we do wheat? We'll do the wheat anyway. A lot of fairy roses, some amaranth. Um, The grapes we have to do a bit differently. I suppose I didn't really even need these anyway, did I? Because we've been able to forage these in summer, but it's too late now we've done them. Um, And then the artichoke seeds. We've got a sprinkler worth of them as well. And then the rest is going to just be pumpkins. Um, I'm going to get like 400 for now and then hopefully that should do us for later in the season as well. And whilst we're out as well, we'll go and get Robin to start our next house upgrade, our final house upgrade actually. And perhaps we'll get her to add the rooms as well. Hi hey Robin, can you please, oh wait that's the wrong thing, uh, make house renovations. So we're going to open the bedroom, we open, yeah we'll open it. And then we want to add the southern room and... We also want to add the corner room. Is that going to be a problem? No, we're good. We're good. Usually I have a painting in that corner and that obviously causes issues, but we're fine. And now, uh, it's just a straight 100,000 gold and no materials. So thank you for your help there, Robin. Do I have any gifts on me for her? No, I don't. Okay, that's not ideal. Oh, she likes salad. You can have a salad. Here you go. Uh, Demetrius as well. Do you like salads? You do like salads. <gasps> Yay! Full friendship. The beloved farmer. What about Maru? Do you like salads? Just now handing out salads to everyone, why not? Okay, let's get these crops down. So if we start with the eggplants, we'll do the cranberries at the top here because these are regrowable too. I'm going to do the fairy roses next to... Ooh, that's the thing. What we'll do is when these are grown up, I'm going to move the bee houses over to the other side. We will do the grapes over here as well. And then is anything else regrowable? I don't think it is. It's just uh, anything else now. So we'll start with the bok choys here. Oops, that's the scarecrow. Do our wheat on this one too. Do I have too many wheat seeds or... Nope, the goat was just in the way. <laughs> We've got some artichokes. No, I made a mistake with the amaranth. Oh well, I'll have to live. We live with our mistakes, it's fine. And then any other open space will be pumpkins. Which, to be fair, there isn't actually all that much open space left. Then we'll obviously start watering as well. Again, using the sprinklers as the midpoint is a lot easier to try and measure exactly how much to water. And then what I'll do here is I'll use these gaps of pumpkins as well, so we might as well not waste the space. These seeds will be kept for later. I've already got 42 corn, so I think I'm just going to sell what I've got left now. And that just leaves us dealing with the wine. Ooh, can I make four more kegs? Do I have the stuff? I have the wood. Do. Or is it the oak resin I'm missing? I mean, I know I've got a load of oak resin ready. I've got enough. Our shed is officially full. I am actually going to make the pale ale as well, so we'll do that and some starfruit wine. And even though the pale ale is a lot quicker to produce, I'm going to just leave it in here until the next wine day. Alright, that's all the kegs handled for the day. And I've saved enough wine so I don't have to worry about that for now. Maybe I need to start making casts in advance. Oh, actually, I can't do that. Can't do that until the house is actually uh, finished upgrading, so we'll wait for that for tomorrow. Hopefully I've got enough wood and hardwood to handle all that, actually. I think 200 hardwood will be alright. So I will just leave it, but we'll just take care of some other farm stuff for now. We do have a couple more uh, mahogany trees if we need to. And I think I'm going to keep that goat's cheese on me for gifts, actually, because they do make good gifts. Do you know what? I actually am going to collect this oak resin because there's probably going to come a day where we're going to need all of it. I did make a big old tree to have a farm for a reason at the end of the day. Also just remembered to go and actually harvest my ancient fruit as well because it is a uh, wine day. I usually like to do it on the same day that I deal with wine. 
Before I sell any of it though, I'm gonna have a look if I've got enough. Oh, I haven't actually got any. All right, in this case, I'm gonna keep it all because the next time the preserves jars are done, I can put them in there instead. Okay, is there any other debris that I might have missed earlier? Making sure none are hiding in the bushes down here because sometimes that can happen. There's definitely some over here. Do you know what? I've actually taken half my coal as well because I do want to see if I can make some more preserves jars. I'll just use one stack of each of the wooden stone though. So we made another 15. That's a decent amount. Let's see if uh, we're going to need many more. Some of the jelly's already starting to be ready, but I think I will still wait till the morning to handle it. I mean, hey, that's a significant amount added. We don't need too many more. Maybe I just go ahead and handle it. I don't know. We make a few more. I mean, it is extra money at the end of the day, right? Okay, well, I ended up actually making another seven. We are so almost there. I feel like my bed's currently in a weird place, but because the cat's sleeping on it, I can't actually move it. <laughs> Typical. All right, never mind. Nice, 430 grand. <gasps> oh, it's the wedding today. <laughs> Don't be forgetting when the wedding is. When Willow first arrived in Pelican Town, no one knew she'd fit in with our community. But from this day forward, Willow's gonna be as much a part of this town as any of us. It is my great honor on this day two of four to unite Willow and Kristoff in the bonds of marriage. Do you guys even know who Kristoff is? You guys have never met him as much a part of this town, marrying someone not even from here, what do you mean? Well, let's get right to it. Willow, Kristoff, as the mayor of Pelican Town and regional bearer of the matrimonial seal, I now pronounce you wife and husband. It sounds so weird saying it that way around, I don't know. You may kiss. Life is going to be different from now on, but the future looks bright. Back at our house at 6am. It's kind of standing in the fence, that's kind of awkward. The wedding was wonderful, wasn't it, dear? Well, we can't forget about the farm. Time to get to work. You would never. You would never farm. Can't hire employees here. This is not how it works. Oh, let's give Robin a goat's cheese while she's here. Actually, no. Do we? Yeah, we do. And also, it's Penny's birthday and we have to handle that too. Oh, we've already given her two gifts this week. Never mind then. All right. I'll keep my goat's cheese. With our preserve jars, we're going to make a load of ancient fruit jelly. And I remember in the last one, I did just kind of like put in a random mishmash of goods. But hey, it's still extra profit at the end of the day. I do need to check what Penny actually likes for her birthday. I know she loves diamonds. I know she doesn't like rabbit's feet. What I really wanted to see if there was anything I could give with a uh, quality rating and the sandfish seems to be one of them. I wonder if I've got any. I don't think I do. I need to make sure I save one thing for the outside jar so I am going to use this one. And we're officially out of ancient fruit. Okay, let's get everything sold that we don't want. Uh, do we keep the cheese? No, I won't keep the cheese. I probably am just going to give Penny a diamond and Kristoff can have an emerald. There you go. We've already got us up another extra heart so we've already got three to go. And whilst we're taking care of gifting, maybe we do go to the city and deal with the people there. I can't actually remember who I've got left. We've got Pete to deal with later at night. We've got Selena, David. I think it's just Selena and David. That should be easy enough. So Selena, we can get some wine in a minute. And David, have I got any more aquamarine? Yes, I do. I should have some cheap wine in here. I say cheap, but just like, you know, not starfruit wine. We can have some cranberry wine. That's what I can use all my mistake wines for. And I'll keep a pale ale on me as well to remember to go see Pete later. What I also want to do is, yep, I haven't actually caught the angler before. So maybe we go handle that today too, because it is now the season for it. Oh, we got a cutscene with Penny. Oh, uh, it's so dirty in here. Willow, um, sorry it's such a mess. I was about to clean up. You should not be doing this on your birthday, Penny. You'll help me? You really mean it? So I'll help you. On your birthday? I mean, other days too, but I mean, it's your birthday. Okay, you can get started over there. I'll clean the kitchen. Pam's come back. She must have forgotten something for work. What do you think you're doing? Stop it. I had everything just the way I like it. Mom, the house is a total mess. Willow and I were trying to tidy things up a bit. Are you at the saloon just now? You smell like beer. It's none of your damn business where I go. It is my business. I don't want you destroying yourself. You don't realise your choices have an effect on me? Stop being so selfish. Selfish? I put a roof over your head and clothes on your back and you call me selfish? You ungrateful little... Jeez. You better go. I'm sorry you had to see this kid. It is nasty in here. She was just trying to help. But I don't want you telling others to clean up my house. It's embarrassing, you understand? Yes, mother. The yikes of resorting to saying mother. Wait, I could have sworn- Oh yeah, she's here. I was like, Penny should be here, right? Here's a diamond. That should cheer you up. Farm looks really pretty right now. When did you go to my farm? Where are we with her friendship? Actually, I could just talk to her and find out, can't I? Oh, I've got another cutscene. Oh no, not this one. Willow, you came at a good time. Just about finished cooking a new recipe I invented. That was a very quick cooking session. <laughs> Let me just finish up real quick. Here, give that a little taste. 
you. Well? Hmm, that was delicious. You really mean it? Thank you. It's such a relief to hear that. I've been working so hard on this recipe and I'm really proud of it. I mean, maybe she just uses ingredients that I don't like. Hey, since you're the first person to try it, I'm going to name this one Chili de Willow. That was meant to be a chili? There were some interesting colours in there for a chili. So how about we watch a movie or something? Sure can. Okay, we're on 7 out of 8 hearts. That's actually good. It was probably helped by that cutscene just there. We are very close to finishing Penny's friendship. In fact, how close actually are we? Oh, we've only just entered that heart, but that's fine. Through the city. Oh my god, that's so much fibre. Might as well take it all with me. Actually, I think all the trees are regrown too, so maybe we do that on the way as well. Now I'm going to start keeping my old coins just in case, you know, we get something that we actually want in a pickled peach shop. Then we'll go and check the flower forage area at the moment. I probably shouldn't have bothered actually uh, planting fairy roses because we always get the iridium ones here anyway. Um, although I suppose the fairy rose honey would be nice, but I only really needed to sacrifice one single spot for that. You know what, whilst my inventory is, I was going to say it's relatively empty, but it's not. But it should be empty enough for me to clear out the quarries that are over here. Ooh, a beach totem. I'm going to sacrifice the slime for that. We don't need that. That's enough distraction, I think. Let's deal with our gifting. I don't know why I keep checking the map as if I'm going to be able to find anyone on it. First, find David behind his counter over here. I actually got some more aquamarine on the way and oh my god, I'm standing on the bar. <laughs> that's quite funny. Okay, I'm just going to run. Oh, I forgot to fish for the anglerfish, but that's fine. We've got other days to do it. We've got an entire season to do it. It's fine. Actually, is there anything I can collect from up here? I know I need uh, serpents and stuff, so maybe we can defeat some serpents in here, even though it's kind of a lot. At least this is one way to find some serpents without having to actually go to Skull Caverns. No rubies? Oh, I've got I need so much space. I need that fragment for something as well, probably. Do I get rid of the clay? Probably shouldn't, right? Oh no, what am I going to do? The sunflowers for now, I think. Maybe he knows something about this. I wonder if I have to bring that to him, actually. Alright, I am out of there. In fact, why don't I look up anything on it? Nothing. Okay. It could just be something that's not added yet, to be fair. Now let's see if we can find Selena. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to find her by that bird. Well, she's not here. Right, the pharmacy. She's definitely not here. I mean, maybe she was just at home. Definitely not here. Although, to be fair, I know that she sometimes goes up to the cafe. Did I walk past her earlier or something? Well, she's definitely not at the cafe. Maybe I just have to wait for her to shift from wherever she is at the moment. Trying out by the bridge to see if she's hanging around there, because sometimes people do. And that is if I can find the damn place. I always get lost in this area. Here's the building I bought that I can't use. There's Gwen, hello. Find anything interesting in the mines lately? I found that serpent fragment, I don't really know what to do with it. Oh my god, there she is! Was she there earlier? Surely not. I really hope not. If so, I kind of feel stupid. Here you go. Have some wine. Hey, I'd love to talk, but I have some research to do right now. On this pigeon? I mean, sure, okay. I will run then. Before we go and see Pete, I'm going to put away all my loot because there is a lot of it. And I think the Iridium quality yam I am just going to sell. That's some pretty good timing to go say hi to Pete. Hello. Have a pale ale. Oh, no, stop trying to drink the goods. We got some broken glasses. I found this made me think of you. You think I'm trash? He definitely thinks I'm trash. That's so rude. Can I take my pale ale back? Just taking my anger out on all of these ghosts out here. I'm going to die in a minute if I'm not careful. Salad to save the day. Hey look, Kristoff's home. Hello. You yeah, we just finished my chores. Now I can spend some time together. Tell me about your day. I just got uh, told I was trashed by a ghost. That is how my day went. Put these truffles in the shipping bin and then head to bed, I think. Oh, I need to move the sewing machine as well. Let's do that real quick because that kind of looks odd. There we go. We made a little money today. Not a huge amount, but also not a bad amount. And I didn't actually get a chance to look at Kristoff's room. It's like a mini office situation. I kind of like it. Where is he though? Okay, there's a torch in my hand now. Where did that come from? I just realized my cauldron's out. Oh no. Uh, Hopefully he just thinks it's decorative. Hi, I got up early and watered some of the crops for you. Makes your job a little easier today. Dude, there are sprinklers, what do you mean? Why are you lying for? Even if what you said was kind of questionable, I'm still going to give you a topaz. I'm just going to relax and inspect the farm today, okay? I mean, sure. Not spending much time at Joja anymore, interestingly. I mean, I know it's only been like a day and a bit, but still. Alright, let's go catch that fish. And you know what? Let's see if there are any other fish we need to handle as well for four. We haven't actually caught the sandfish before, so we should probably do that. 
Um, and to be fair, most of the fish that we've got left are actually crab pot fish, and I can't remember. I do actually have some. Hang on. Um, I'm gonna bring these and take them to the beach, I think. And maybe we end up buying some more as well. Do I have any bug meat to turn into bait? Yes, I do. 285 bait should last us a decent amount of time. Ooh, and I need to get the master enchant on the fishing rod as well, so maybe we do that too. I have enough for one attempt at the forge, so... All right, we'll go to the island. We'll try the forge. Maybe what we'll do is we'll go through the forge the entire way and see if we can get some more magnus sprites done because I know I need to slay quite a few of those. Go we'll do the forge first. No, we'll do it after because I might get enough cinder shards by the time I get to the end of it to make it more worth it. The blink spell, we don't even need our watering can because I see a chest already on the first floor. That's always a good sign. And it's golden coconut, okay. Could be better, could also be worse. Actually, it can't get much worse than just a golden coconut. And also, whilst we're here, I wonder if I can uh, see if I can get any more dragon's teeth because I am going to need them eventually. How much do I have? Oh, I've got 20. Okay, I don't even need to worry. Never mind. Scrap that. Of course, I'm eventually going to need them for the obelisks, but uh, I already have enough, so that's one less thing to worry about. Quite a few magma sprites on this one. How many do we actually need? Oh my god, we need like 100. We're going to have to spend quite a lot of time in here. Lots of volcano days coming up. I won't try and do too many in a row though because I feel like that would get boring real fast me just standing here waiting for those things to come at me. Maybe I should have come in here with some monster musk or something actually thinking about it but we'll do that next time. All right, I can hear Magnus sprites. Ah there it is. Before we kill it we're in 68 now so we've killed 15 of them. That is still progress. I will take the progress. And yeah next time I'll just have to remember to bring monster musk with me. Okay, we have made it to the forge. So we now have 63 cinder shards, which means we've got three attempts at being able to enchant our iridium rod. So what are we gonna get? I'm hoping we're gonna get the master first time. No, we got auto hook. That is not what we want. This one, efficient, damn it. Last one, please, third time's a charm, please. Thank goodness, okay. And we used literally three whole prismatic shards, but it's fine, we'll get more, it's fine. All right, let's get out of here. But that gives us enough time to go home and try and catch that uh, anglerfish. We can give Theo an emerald. Enjoy. Not sure what a small parrot boy is going to do with an emerald. Maybe it's just a shiny pretty thing. I don't know. <laughs> Mind you, what do most people do with them? Um, anyway, back to the farm. We got our first Celestine. Let's put another one in the chrysalarium. And then does the anglerfish have a certain time? No. Why does it say the fall is not right? I mean, we're definitely in fall, so I'm just going to go for it anyway. I'm sure it'll be fine. Here's the bridge. Let's try and get that angler. This ain't it, but I suppose we might as well just catch any other fish we get, right? Looking at this, I might just have to handle this next time because it, for some reason, doesn't think it's fall, and I'm kind of worried about that. I know it's kind of a rare thing to find, but I've had, like, several fish now, or several hooks at least, and none of them have been the angler. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it heard me calling. I didn't bother with any fishing food or anything for this because the angler is by far the easiest legendary fish. I mean, this is even easier than like the sturgeon and the octopus. But hey, we've got it now. And I can see I'm still getting fishing XP, so I do need to work on that. But that's another reason that we need to get our crab pots sorted out because that is a little bit of bonus fishing XP. Even if I can't go buy more crab pots, I don't really want to make them because I want to keep the iron for other stuff. But oh. I forgot about the special orders board. Uh, got tarot, 100 tarot roots. Have I done this before? And Lewis wants 100 amaranths. All right, first things first. Do I have the solar panel recipe? I don't think I do. So maybe we do handle the island ingredients one because that's very, very essential. And then for the beach, I'm just making sure I don't already have crab pot somewhere. I don't think I do. I'm going to put them like here. Get our first few down. And I just have to remember to actually come back and check them every once in a while. But now I'm not going to sell the fish. Um, I just need to check. What do I need this for? I think I only need one salmon for the salmon dinner. Just making sure that I don't need them for ingredients and stuff before I uh, decide to do anything with them. And I think the angler fish I'm going to go ahead and put in my house. And I will sell the small mouth bass because they're not really that useful. This though I will move. Where are I going to put it? Um, I guess we can go here. There we go. And now that I know that I've seen the uh, Celestine I can remove that from our list here. See, the list reminded me that I did at some point need speed grow. Do I still need speed grow? No, I don't. Okay, we're all good. We're all good on that. And actually, before going to bed, let's see if I've got mini taro root seeds here. 
I have some and then I'm gonna pop over to the island and see if I've already got some growing because what I like to do is exactly this so I've got these all ready to harvest oh my god the weeds are taking over and that reminds me tomorrow we do need to redo all the sprinklers here so let's go ahead and replant these taro seeds now and then it means that I've already taken care of some of this crop order and that's why I tend to like plant taro and leave them do I have any other seeds in here I've already got another 11 taro root so I might just ship those anyway I don't think I've got any more seeds. I do need to bring some sprinklers over here ready for tomorrow too. So if I ship all these, um, how many does it think we have harvested already? So we've got 61 out of 100 already. That is exactly why I do that this way. I'm going to put my sprinkler supplies on me so I remember. I've got my pressure nozzles here. And then sprinkler wise, I mean I might not even need any more sprinklers because I've already got quite a lot of them. Did I already have some or have I already used them all? Okay, well, it probably can't hurt to make a few more just in case. Now let's get some sleep. At least that forced me to make some money with the tarot yesterday. And now let's deal with our starfruit day. Oh, I need to give uh, Christoph his daily gift first. So let's go with a topaz again. There you go. Oh, I got some bread. Thank you for the bread. I've got to put it in the fridge because I'm probably going to need that for a recipe. And where are we now? We got another half a heart in the couple of days that we've had him around. And since we're going over to the island, I might as well get something for Leo. I think I've just given him a gift though, so I don't know. Actually, I can just check in here, can't I? Duh. Leo, we've only given him one gift. Okay. Um, I just wanted to see if I go in here, if I've got any duck feathers. I do. We have a silver one, so we'll use that. And I think I should head straight over to the island and start handling things over there. We will go find Leo first, because that's probably going to be the easiest thing. And whilst we're here as well, I am going to splash all this fibre because some of these give you tarot tubers and we definitely still need more for our quest. This is for you, Leo. Okay, and that's got us another four tarot tubers, so that's something. Not a huge amount, but still good. Right, let's get these planted. And then it's time to deal with our sprinklers, so I'm going to remove all the quality ones first. Oh my god, there's so much fibre I missed. Oops, I just pickaxed an entire star fruit. Wait, this star fruit's not done? Okay, we will do that next time then. How did I not even think to check this yesterday? Oh no. Well, that plan's gone out the window. In that case, first thing I want to do today is see if there's any artifact spots around here because we still need, I think it's the snake vertebrae. I probably will go double check that in a second, but we might as well check for the vertebrae first. I'll leave all the sprinklers and stuff here ready for the next time. And I'm certainly not noticing any artifact spots, so that kind of sucks. Hopefully next time. Do we have any good key quests? Nothing that I particularly wanted. I mean, I'll accept the Skull Cavern Invasion just in case. I don't even know how many key gems I've got. Nine. Okay, that's not really useful for anything. And looking at our perfection percentage just out of interest, we are very low, but that's because there's a lot of yes-nos that are not done. We'll get there one day. Probably a good time to mention, actually, in relation that this series won't be ending until we reach perfection, so plenty of content still to look forward to. Whilst I'm here, I might as well go and uh, pick up all of this stuff here. We're obviously going to need some more stuff for our preserves jars. I'm literally just going to put all of it straight in that chest. In fact, it might actually be a good idea one of these days because that should actually handle the mummies and the serpents pretty easily. What I'm doing right now is just popping down to the beach to check on our crab pots down here. We've got a few things. I think these are things I've already quote unquote caught, so not the most helpful, but it's still something actually. Let's check. I think it filled in the cockle, so there is that. So I just need to get the crab, the shrimp, the oyster, and the lobster. They are all sea things, so at least they're in the right place. I know that much. I probably should have bought more whilst I was down there, shouldn't I? Let's go take care of that, actually. Hi, Willie. Um, can I please take one trout soup? And then I will take another five crab pots, please. This should speed things up a little bit, at least. I think the rest of this day might be a good one to go and catch the desert fish. We'll even take the bus and give Pam something to do. All right, I'm actually gonna eat my trout soup for this because I do suck at fishing and I know the scorpion carp can be kind of annoying. Any good quality sandfish as well, I'm gonna keep to give to Penny as a gift, I think. Maybe I just go handle that today, actually. Oh, this is difficult. This might be our scorpion carp. If I can catch it in two fish, that is very easily handled. Yeah, there's, there's no way this is just a sandfish. It's being way too irritating. Stop it! Chill! Please! Oh my goodness. Oh, thank god. You know, I think I'm even going to put that scorpion carp in the fish tank. Do I have anything else I can put in there that might suit our vibe? I'll probably do a super cucumber, but I don't know. 
A midnight carp would look good in there. I'm just really sad about the Zuzu carp not working. Actually, the void salmon. That one's a good one. That's very much our vibe. Oh, we do have a midnight carp. Okay, that is going to go in there. Should I make a fish pond of it first, though? I probably should. Do we have any fish in here, even? No, it's empty. I'm going to empty this pond and then slap this one in there. And actually, whilst I'm down this end of the farm, I'm going to stop into Marnie's. Oh, maybe not. We're going to speak to Haley first, it seems. Oh, hi, Willow. The lighting is so nice right now. I had to come out and take some nature shots. I've been trying to connect with the outdoors a little more. I want to know what it's like being a farmer. It's a way of life I never really thought about. Well, until now. These cows are so cute. Hey, I have an idea. Let's take some pictures with these cows. You can show me how to approach one. I'll just set it to shoot on a timer. Let's do this. I freaking love these photos. Especially this one. <laughs> the cow's like, excuse me, do you mind? I'm not a horse. That was fun, Willow, and these photos are hilarious. You are so messed. That is nasty. I'm gonna go home and take a shower now. I'm hoping that's mud and not, you know, poop. Hi, Marnie. Can I please buy a load of hay? I'm gonna buy, like, a stack of the stuff so I don't have to worry about it for a while. Go ahead and dump some of it in there. Add 206, so it really was almost empty. And then it's gonna live- oh, I had loads of hay already. Oh well. <laughs> Whoopsie! Never mind. Sell all those truffles. And then do you know what? We might actually just go give this sandfish straight to Penny. Whilst it's pomegranate season, I need to make the most of this for Mr. Elliot. And also is Harvey at home? Yes, he is. We might as well bring him a cup of coffee. No, don't drink it. That's for you. Nutrition is important, so make sure and eat well. That hurt my brain. I don't know why. I think it was the end. Try to increase your vegetable intake. How does he know what I'm eating? I mean, it could have just been generic advice, but still. Us, ah, Penny. This is for you. Oh no, I've already given her two gifts this week. Okay, never mind. We'll do that another time then. Now, where is Elliot? I haven't got a clue, but I know that Leah's up this way, so I can give her a ghost cheese at least. Oh, there he is. Here you go. Oh dear, a tiny crab appears to have made his home in my shirt pocket. You now have a pet. You've been adopted by a crab. Did I just completely walk past Leah? I guess I did. Where is she? Oh, she's here. Here you go. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Enjoy the ghost cheese. One of these days, I'll have to make you a wild mushroom stir fry. Oh my god, please don't. <laughs> please do not make me anything with mushrooms in it. We've also got copper requests from Clint. Maybe we accept it for now because we could probably do with a friendship. We still need four entire hearts with him, so let's pop up to the mines. I'm also very much looking forward to Blackberry season two. Especially now that we are salmon berryless. Unless I put them somewhere. I think I lost them at some point though. That's why we ended up with all these salads. Okay. Popper time. Oh, slime. Small magnet ring. That's fine. I can just sell it. I'll always take the extra cash. All right, let's see how long it takes us to get all of this copper. If I can find a ladder, that would be wonderful. Okay, never mind. Let's just reset the floors. That's more like it. All right, we have our 40, so let's head out again. I'm gonna take the minecart straight into town. Where is Clint right now? He's not at home. He should be at the saloon, I believe. Yes, he is. I wanna see how much friendship that gives us, actually. Um, so... He's on, like, six and a half at the moment. Now we do this quest for him. <gasps> a big help. We've just done loads of quests. Okay. Hmm, it seems these ores don't have any rare gems inside. That's okay. It, were you just gonna try and steal from me? I'll take, I'll take the gold. Then, how much friendship did that give us with him, if any? I think it gave us, like, barely any, but I'll t I mean, I'll take it anyway. Or was that just me talking to him that gave the friendship points? Does that, does that one not give any points? I don't know. Unless it's just so minimal that it's not even noticeable. Okay, well, that was a very productive few days. Let's head to bed. How much gold do we make today? Oh, we made 13 grand. Okay, well, that was from our truffles, I believe. I have a few things on my mind today of what we want to achieve. Uh, but first, let's give Christoph a little gift. So uh, I want to get moving first, just a little bit faster. Oh, we have some mail. Let's check that first. I guess it's like a little thank you note from Haley and... Ooh, 2,500 gold from the mayor for helping everyone out with their quests. We've got some jelly ready to go. Do I even have enough stuff to refill though? I don't. I might just leave this for now until I've got enough stuff to refill the entire shed. It's also Elliot's birthday today. Do I have enough friendship with him to be able to enter his cabin? I do. Okay. Hopefully I've got a pomegranate somewhere because that would be ideal. There we go. We have one pomegranate. I was hoping for a better quality one, but that's fine. I know I've got the spell where I could change it, but lazy. That That is what I'll say. <laughs> I suppose it's worth it though for this kind of thing, isn't it? Maybe we should change it for that and then we can always just change the spell back whilst we're there. 
sneak past Pierre and Caroline and over to the altar. So, what we want to be doing, I think it's under, it's under life. No, it's not the buff button. What is it under? Still this thing that I don't know. I think I've got to unlock all the spells and stuff first, right? I wonder how I get that. So I am looking for the enchant spell and I'm going to put it in place of, where should I put it? I'll probably put it in place of till for now. So if I held this and then enchanted it, so silver, gold, iridium, okay. That's how we do it. I think I'll just leave that there for now because I only really need to till stuff like once, maybe twice per season. So I can always just change it then. There's probably also the chance of us getting an iridium quality pomegranate from the rainbow tree as well. But because I've already got one, we can just go for it. But cutscene first. Willow, come in. Welcome to my humble, well, shack. It is a bit of a shack, isn't it? This is my writing desk. It's where I spend most of my time. Like me with editing. <laughs> for as long as I can remember, I wanted to be a writer. Have I told you that? That's why I live out here by myself. I figured the lonely life by the sea would help me focus on my literary aspirations. Everyone back home said I was nuts. That I could never make it as a writer. Can you believe it? They said for every successful author, there's a thousand who fail miserably. Such pessimism, it's sickening. I completely agree. Because like, you know, for example, on that basis, I probably should have never started to make videos either. I can see it in your eyes. You believe in me, Willow. You've got that spark. Now that's inspiring. That's what I'm looking for. A question. What kind of books do you like, Willow? Oh, um, mm. <laughs> well, you see, don't really like, I mean, I don't really like to read, but what would Willow like? She'd probably like either mystery or romance. I'm going to go with mystery. Mystery, huh? It's definitely an exciting genre. I'll remember that. I wonder if those responses made any difference for friendship points. Well, enough talk about me. Hmm, you probably know a lot about plants, don't you? I do indeed. Would you mind taking a look at this rose here? I'm afraid it's not doing so well. I mean, it looks kind of okay to me, but at the same time, we could probably fix it with some magic, but we're not gonna do that, obviously. Happy birthday, have a pomegranate, and we're officially full. Okay, that was so worth bringing it up to iridium quality. I also have a comment to attend to over at the city, but I'm not gonna do that just yet, because I want to focus today on trying to get our tasks going. I don't think I've made any yet at all, now that we've got a basement and stuff, you know? When it comes to these things, the first thing I like to do is rearrange the casks that are already in here. Actually, can I use clear debris for this? No, you can't, damn it. Okay, never mind. Just have to pickaxe. Although, it would be faster if I had some animation cancelling. Right, this should be faster. Much faster. Just can't do without this anymore. And like I keep saying, I'm not like good at it, but it does make my life a bit quicker. Alright, so we've got 33 so far. I'm just going to shove them around the edge. I know that the ideal thing is to fill literally the entire basement with tasks, then just pick them all up later. But I do like the idea of being able to actually walk through them, so I'll stick to just doing that. There we go, we got the edge now, so we can probably fit like quite a few more in. How am I doing for like wood and hardwood and stuff? I'm doing pretty well. So let's just make like, I was gonna say make 50, but I've got enough for 49. We've run out of wood again. Okay, with all those down, we probably need like 20 something more, but it's a good start. I might have a tiny bit of wood that I can use. Oh, I've literally only got 95 more. Probably not worth it. I probably should save that. We also apparently have Skull Caverns Invasion to do as well, which I'll take care of at some point, but probably not today. More than likely, it'll end up being the last day of the week, and I've got this sandfish on me as well, so I should probably just go give it to Penny, really. Is she still at home? Yes, yeah, she is. And I'll even make it iridium quality. I know several people were talking about me using this particular spell in the comments, so here is my time to finally start using it. I've already given her two gifts this week. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. If I'm right as well, didn't I also have the star fruit to sort out or am I imagining that? Let's pop over to the island to find out because I'm pretty sure I miscalculated something and it still needed another day. If so, I've- oh, I'm in the river. Okay, we're all good. Everything's fine. Okay. Yes, we do need to redo our sprinklers today, so we'll do that. Although I do need to go home first and pick up a scythe. Do I need to do that though? No. We'll leave it for now. So if I go ahead and just harvest everything first, then we can redo everything after. So first things first, we're going to pick up all of the quality sprinklers. We're not going to be using these anymore. And then I also need to pick up these sprinklers as well. I've only got eight pressure nozzles, so we'll see what we can do. Um, if we add a pressure nozzle on this one, it will come out another one. So I need to move this out about two. So it'll be something like this. And now if I hold the sprinkler again, I can see the bigger radius. So yeah, that was about right. Then we want another one. Oh, no, not that spot. There's going to be a few mistakes here and there. And there's not much we can do about that. And now it should be easier to do the rest because I can pretty much just line them up with the sprinklers that we've already got down. Oh no, it's overlapping. I've done it wrong already. <laughs> oh dear. So it should be this one. 
Mistakes were made, but that's okay. As long as we learn from them. Annoyingly, this banana tree is kind of in the way, so I might actually knock this down. But I was going to say I don't have my axe on me, but that's not a problem because I can just use the clear debris spell. I wanted to be able to expand the amount of starfruit space we have, and this is one of the ways. Next one will be down here. And then I think what I'll do is I'm just going to place all the iridium sprinklers first, then I'll go and put the pressure nozzle on after. This one does go out into the side a bit, but that's fine. And I'm one pressure nozzle short, which is kind of annoying. Though I could also fit one more sprinkler here. Yeah, why not? I wanted to go check if I had enough key gems for another pressure nozzle, but I do have 20 walnuts, so could just spend those. Have I not got all the walnuts yet? Wait, do I have four more? Didn't I have this issue before? Hang on. Oh, help man in tent. I haven't I haven't finished the tent. That stupid snake vertebrate. I'm pretty sure that is what we're missing, right? You know what? I'm going to add it to my list because there's a number of times now that I've forgotten about this. Now we just want to get everything tilled and all watered up and replanted and stuff. However, we are kind of running out of time, but we'll figure it out. So using a sprinkler to figure out what I have to water for now because of UA Info Suite, it's a very easy way to be able to see the radiuses. You know what? I'm really regretting saying that I don't need the till spell anymore and I think I'm going to go and get it back. I'll be able to stay on this cloud until I get near town. Oh, and then we'll come off it for here. I don't think there's anyone wandering around, but better to be safe than sorry. Good evening, Pierre and Caroline. Don't mind me. Definitely nothing suspicious going on in here. Perfectly normal, just praying to Yoba. All right, no one's around, so I should be able to teleport over to the island from here. And this should make our life a lot easier. But we also need to come one line below. That is a little overkill though. That did make things a lot faster. Is there anything else I'm missing? Just probably the ones like in the middle. And then this one, which is a basic one. We are going to waste some speed grow this time, but I'm just going to have to live with it for now. God, it's getting late. Hoping I can do this all on time. I don't really want to miss another day of starfruit. Maybe it's just smarter if I sleep and carry this on in the morning. Yeah, I probably should. I don't think I'm going to get all the seeds down by the next day. Or by 2am, I should say. Alright, we shall sleep. If some of the spots go away, then they do. There's not really much I can do about that now. I mean, we made 77 grand just from all of those gold quality starfruit, which is good. And yeah, as expected, we did lose some. At least though today I can see with the dry spots where it doesn't reach because of the uh, sprinklers though, so that does help. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and remove some of the spots just to make it easier for myself. But to be fair, I do wish I decided on sleeping before I started putting down the speed grow. Alright, so I need to get rid of all these for now. I mean, I suppose I could just let them decay, right? There's no harm in leaving them there. I just need to be careful not to waste any starfruit seeds on those spots. We only have 279, I'm going to need way more than that. And it looks like Elliot's given a public reading this afternoon, so we may or may not go today, we will see. Let's go ahead and water all the spots that we know will be covered before we get the starfruit down, because it kind of makes it easier for me to track where I need to place it. There we go. Since tomorrow is a new gifting week, we will actually make a point of going to give gifts to anyone we need to gift, so... Let's pop on home. Oh, we got another mail. How do I keep missing these? Gus is wanting a lobster for some lobster bisque. We'll deal with that one day. Just might, might be a while. <laughs> Before we go see Sandy, I'll pick up a flower for her. We might as well give her a good gift. Here you go, Sandy. Enjoy the flower. Oh, we feel our friendship as well. Oh my god, that's a huge win. Nice. Okay. How many starfruit seeds can we buy? I bought a stack just so I don't have to worry about it, even though I've literally spent nearly half my gold, but I think it's worth it. Then from here, we can go straight back to the island. Obviously, the only other thing is I know that now that I've uh, filled up my farm, we do get more star fruit, but we still need the snake vertebrae, and it could be that I've technically covered over spots that could have been artifact spots, but I think the money is worth it in the end. We can just have a bit of patience with the snake spine. I'm going to check everywhere here, though, before I go, but I'll put away my star fruit seeds first because I know I'm going to forget to leave them. Okay, well, no snake spine for us today. So now that we've done our star fruit, our next star fruit should be on the 15th of fall. Add that to our list. And I've got upgrade houses a thing, but I know I'm fully upgraded now, so that's sorted out. And how long has our wine got? One day and ten hours. That's perfect, actually, because we've got some ghost berries done on, I think it's tomorrow. And once those are done, I need to make some of those into wine too. So uh, let's harvest anything else that we can from our farm today, because I need to make sure we're keeping some stuff behind from ingredients. Got the bok choys as well. I might wait for the bok choys until uh, the pumpkins are done. We'll leave them for now. Same with the wheat. 
Oh, look at all the mushrooms over here. I mean, I suppose it's Saturday, there is that. And I think I've decided that this little area here where all those stumps are, where my obelisks will eventually go because to be fair, I'm kind of running low on room around the farm. And since I don't particularly need the obelisks to get around as such, I've got my uh, travel cores and my spell. I don't have to worry too much about where exactly I place them and having them convenient or anything. Let's collect all these batteries because we've got another kind of stormy day today and I don't want to miss out on any. And I forgot to grab a wine for Selena and then I'll get an aquamarine for David and then we'll head up to the city. Just realised as well, I don't know how many hazelnuts I've got at home so I need to be making sure I pick those up because... It's always the worst thing finding out that you need to make roasted hazelnuts when you don't have any. And I think we'll just actually head straight up to the cafe and get that one done first again. I know I've been doing that a lot recently, but it's become habit now, I feel like. And there's something here I have to investigate. Give David the gift first. That's for you. You're so tired. I'm not surprised. I said I'm tired. Can you leave me up? Oh. He is. Okay. God. Whoa. Okay. So let me come out again. The comment I got was to go and check out the toilets. It's looking nasty in there, first of all, can I just say. But when I go inside it, I'm in the sewers. There's something to investigate here. I'm gonna like click on everything. That looks like a chest, but I can't open it. What about down here? <gasps> Hello? What the heck? There's Mr. Key. I'm gonna look at him in a second, but I wanted to look at everything else first. There's not really anything else to click on. Okay. Hi, Mr. Key. Excuse me? What are these? This is what I need that for. So first of all, before we go in there, the Infinity Blade is 80 to 100 damage. The Serpent Small Sword is 50 to 110 damage. It says plus zero speed, I don't really know what, like, why that's there if it doesn't do anything. We've got plus one defense, plus 20 crit chance, and plus 30 weight, so that's gonna yeet stuff. Then we've got the Keyblade, which can be z between zero or 150 damage, which I don't wanna try it. So it's gonna cost 500 grand, and it's very tempting to just spend all my money on it right now. <laughs> Serpent Small Sword, I think this is something we're actually gonna work towards. Maybe we end up getting both at some point just because it's cool. But I love that the Keyblade actually looks like uh, what he's wearing. That's absolutely awesome i don't actually know how many serpent fragments i've got so maybe we'll go to the other cave and kill some just so i can see how do i get back out again god how do i leave okay there we go <laughs> real good oh that is so cool thank you for showing me that i literally had no idea that was a thing so whilst we're here we're gonna go into that cave we're gonna slay some of those serpenty things and we will try and get at least one more fragment so we can see how many we're gonna need oh there we go there's a couple stuck on something i'm stuck on like a box oh god there's so many oh my god i'm gonna die no oh, she's you so much damage okay so i've got three of them from here but i've got 12 in total and i need 30 so we're gonna have to grind for these i completely forgot as well i've got my heal spell to help me out too and if we just attack the tail then we should be good oh no it's ended up over there though although i wonder if i can just teleport out of bounds to get it yes i can okay real good I'm just trying to see if this counts towards our eradication Oh, wait, that's dust sprite? Why does it come up as dust sprite? Okay, it doesn't. What does it? F1? No, it does. That says Royal Serpent. Okay, it does count. 218 of 250, so it is definitely worth us doing, even for the goal. Two birds of one stone and all that. It is going to take a fair amount of food to not die, though. Uh, I should probably go and find Sadie. No, you're not Sadie. I should probably go find Selena. I realised the purpose of me coming up here was to do gifting, and then I got distracted, as usual. But hey, we got another six, so that's definitely some progress, but maybe what we'll do is after we've found Selena and we've gone and given a gift to Pickle Pete, we'll go back and spend the rest of our day in that cave. Before going into the apartments this time, I'm going to go try it out by the birds and see if she's already there. So she's not at this bird, but be it this bird, she's not at that bird. Okay, we'll try back at the apartments. Oh, she's right here. Okay, um, have some wine. Wow, I've been looking all over for this. You lose a bottle of wine? Uh, fair enough, okay. And if we go from here and teleport over to the ghost town. Oh my god, there's so many ghosts today. Go and hand over this pale ale. Here you go. Change is in the air. Okay. Uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> then we'll teleport back to the interchange again so that we're closer. And then I've got a few in-game hours to try and slay more of those serpent things. And I think I'm going to eat this spicy eel to begin with because it does give me a bit of extra speed boost. Oh, I'm running into a barrier. And I don't know if the luck's going to affect anything for us, but it's worth a try, right? I don't know what this is too. Do I need to bring a prismatic shard here as well? Maybe we do one day. Okay, I have 13 fragments to go. I wonder if I'm going to have better luck looking in the bottom section. There's definitely stuff that spawns down here as well. Uh, I'll stick to the top. I feel like I can escape a lot easier from here, obviously, because the door. Oh god, it's 1am already. How? Time just disappeared on this day, I feel like. 
Oh, let's get the fragment before we lose out on that. And I do think it really is just a case of trying to kill as many monsters as you can so that more can spawn. We only need another seven. We might have to come back tomorrow. It might not be tomorrow. It might actually be uh, the Monday. And then, yep, okay, there's the parts out. So, we made some good progress. We didn't make much gold today, but I'm pretty happy with what we achieved. Oh my god, waking up zoomed all the way out really does go to show you how empty this house is. Let's just pretend we don't see that. <laughs> we'll do the queen of sauce, and we're gonna get the fruit salad recipe. No sign of Kristoff here today, so I wonder where he is. Maybe he's just hanging out outside, actually. There he is. Hello. Spent the morning repairing a few of the fences. Should be as good as new. Oh, appreciate it. Got a pass out bill, we've got a free cauliflower, which I'm probably just going to sell. And then it's kind of a good luck day today, and we really should do Skull Caverns, I feel like. So I'm grabbing all the bombs. I'm going to buy some more from the dwarf, I probably should. I've also already got 100 staircases, and I've got another 23 jade. This is going to be a good day. I also need the spicy eel, life elixir, triple shots. I'm going to go see what that potion is uh, requiring. I did say I wanted to try it out at some point. So it's plus one speed and three defense for Skull Caverns and it lasts all day. Okay, so I'll put the Celestine in here and we're going to bring this with us. So maybe we don't end up using the triple shots because I don't really need them now that I've got a drink for speed. I'm hoping it counts as a drink anyway. So put that away. We're going to bring the mushrooms actually because those are some good defense foods. And is there anything we can leave behind? Fishing rod definitely. Single blackberry. I can probably just drink the Co Cloak of Moonlight now. To be fair, I do have 78 mega bombs. I probably wait, have I not even unlocked the dwarf? Hello? Well, <laughs> whoops. Hi. I'm gonna come here and buy my first bombs from you. I can't believe we've not done that before. I think 108 should do for now though. Do we have anything in either of these chests to give? I mean, I could just sacrifice one of my jades. Here you go. I loved gift, it was worth it. I'm outside again and no one's around, so let's go head straight to the desert and get on with it. Let's pick up our extra. 22 staircases. I think we should be good. I'm going to put the staircases in my first slot though for safety. Got a couple of cactus fruit also to help us too if we need them because I know that this is going to be the more difficult one to do. I also don't need that many- oh god, slimes already. I also don't need that many bombs because I'm wondering if I can just uh, go ahead and staircase all the way down to 100 to begin with. Is that kind of boring though? I, I do like the fight and we probably should handle some of these serpents at least. I feel like also handling these serpents early is probably a good idea too because I know that they can get kind of strong as the floors go on. Oh, let's go. Skip some floors. Only four, but it'll do. To be fair, thinking about it, I'm probably not even going to stress that hard about trying to clear those serpents because I've got to kill the ones in that place anyway, so I might as well just focus on trying to get to 100 today and maybe seeing what kind of loot we can pick it up. Ah, uh, I haven't even eaten a spicy eel. What am I doing? No, I've only got normal people speed boost and I feel really slow. There we go. I was panicking too much to change spell bars. Spiral floors, they were a reliable staircase. I am not touching those. Probably we will just skip a few to be fair. Oh, freebie down there. Before jumping in that hole, I need to heal. There's one thing I've learned before jumping into those shafts. Obviously, they can take off quite a fair amount of your health and I know you can't die from them, but if you uh, obviously encounter a monster as soon as you land, that can be a bit of an issue. And yes, I found out the hard way. Skipping the prehistoric floor. We'll skip probably a few from here. Oh, crates. I know that it's possible to get some good stuff in the crates here, so I am bothering with those when I remember. And the good thing about the blink spell... Oh, there wasn't even any loot here. How sad. Yeah, the good thing about the blink spell is you can just teleport to the middle of a spiral floor to see if there's anything interesting. In that case, there was literally nothing, so... A bit of a waste of mana, but what can we do? Hey, there we go. I've killed the last serpent I need. And to be fair, I actually think that if I didn't have this uh, Cloak of Moonlight on, I probably would be dead by now because I've realised I've been taking a lot of damage, so the plus three defence really come in clutch. <gasps> Key gem! I want that. A few crates there, but there's also a few bats and stuff in the way, so... Oh, where do I do it? Screw it, let's go. Oh, we can do this. There wasn't even anything good in these crates to make it worth all that battle. Right, I need to get a move on because I really need to get to floor 100 and I do have plenty of staircases. I probably could just do that all the way. In fact, I probably should just do that all the way. <laughs> so if I see any key gem slimes, I will be going for those. Ooh, first treasure floor. Wait, I just realized we've got to floor 91 before we saw any treasure floors. Three rain totems, they're not even good. Damn it. I mean, I suppose sometimes we need them, but there are much better things we could have got. Oh, well. Oh, three radioactive ore. Oh my god, we have to take that. 
if we can survive. I think we made it. Okay. Let's save ourselves first and then we'll just place the ladder and get out of there. Two floors to go. I spy a freebie. And floor 100. There's our key gems. So, two iridium bars. Um, I mean, I'll take it. It's fine. Could could have had better. Also could have been much worse. Oh god. Nope. <laughs> but four quality sprinklers. Do I want to swap anything? Yeah, probably will. Just because they're worth more and I could probably just sell them if I wanted to. Is there anything good in the middle of this one? No, nothing. What is with the empty middle of the spiral floors? This is why I'm glad I got the blink spell. Because imagine running like part of the way only to realise... What's run out? Wait. The cloak of moonlight's run out. And it said it was meant to last all day. I suppose I can't really do anything about it now, but next time I do need to remember to bring a second one in, because it does seem that they do actually run out. But we know for next time. I probably should have just hovered over and looked at the time that it lasts. And now that we've done the floors, it's just a case of seeing what kind of goodies we can come home with at this point. Why is it always the floors with loads of crates that have so many monsters on them? Oh, that was so much to deal with. Okay, there's still more as well. Um, I need to eat. Let's not die. I also noticed that that slime also has a key gem inside and I don't want to miss out on that. Phew! We've got three key gems from that? That is a win. And again, nothing good from the crates. Actually, the deluxe fertilizer is pretty good. I'll take that single deluxe fertilizer. This isn't Megabomb territory. I don't know what is. There's so many crates, but there's also so many mummies. See how many we can take out of these in one go? Probably not many. Oh my god. Right. Inventory space is such an issue. I'm probably going to get rid of these red plates. Oh, we got out of there. Oh my god. Keep on almost dying. I need to be so much more careful. 1.50am and do you know what I'm sad about? I don't think we got a single prizzy today. Literally not one. At least we got a bunch of radioactive ore though and we managed to complete the key quest. So let's have a look at our loot. We got an extra squid ink which is whatever. And to be honest, the rest of it is kind of mediocre as well, to be fair. It was the key gems we were most interested in though, so we still got what we came for. Actually, how much iridium ore did we get? 153, I mean that's some. Not a huge amount, but it's some. Maybe we can get some of it smelting. Guess we just got our medical bill. Oh no, we haven't Marlin found us, I don't know how we got so deep that late at night, but you know, grateful either way. I'm going to collect the cranberries because obviously these will regrow, so stick all of the gold ones in there and then I need to keep some of them for cooking and then the rest of them I keep like 10 maybe 16 we'll keep 16 and the rest of them are gonna go in the jelly shed because get some stuff to process in there still not really enough to do anything with but we'll get there maybe I need to start keeping the corn and doing pickled corn I know a lot of people do that too when it's blackberry season I should probably take care of that too Okay, let's deal with our wine. Actually, no, before we go deal with the wine, I need to get my travel cores back. What have I done with them? Have I put them in this chest? No, they're here. I'm gonna go over to the island because I'm pretty sure we've got something ready. A very special crop. Where am I going? Island West. There we go. Before I do that, I'm just checking for any artifact spots anywhere. I'm not seeing any though, so disappointing. Ooh, and I need to see how many pressure nozzles I need. So one, two, three, four. What I came here for was the ghost berries. I've got two, so I've got one to ship and I've got one to put in a keg. Okay, Mr. Key's shop, what have you got? I need four pressure nozzles, so that's 20 key gems. And then with the rest of my key gems, let's go ahead and buy... We can get one recipe. Maybe we'll get the more expensive one to begin with. We'll start with the hyper speed grow and we're back down to eight. So, oh, it's Monday as well, so I can collect a new quest. 100 of each item, probably not going to do. Maybe we accept the extended family quest. I don't know if I'm going to manage it though. I'm so bad at fishing. I'm not even level 10 yet. Stick our pressure nozzles where they should be last one over here and then we will add to the star fruit on the next batch i'm not going to add any now you probably know how i do by now i just want everything done at the same time so we ship one of those ghost berries and then do some more star fruit wine assuming this is going to take the same amount of time yeah ghosty wine i'm thinking as well we do just go ahead and get started on our first batch of aged wine too i know we haven't completely filled out the basement and that is kind of the way i prefer to do it but i might as well not miss out on the money or do i just be patient and wait like probably a week in game and we should be able to get some more wood i'll leave it for now there we go we're all refilled and then i can go ahead and sell probably most of these i'm gonna keep some of the pale ales because i want them to befriend pickled peat with we'll keep like half of them and the other half and go in the shipping bin Actually, I should be able to harvest all of these ancient fruit and then I can refill my jelly jars. I should have enough stuff now. Okay, we will start with the ancient fruit jelly first. That is our most valuable item. And now I run out, we will swap it over to... I think I only need the cranberries, really. 
We haven't got that many jars to go. Perfect. Oh, the outside one too. Have I done the outside one yet? No, I haven't. Okay. This should be a very good money day. Right, I see I need a lobster here, but what I'm actually going to do before I give it to Gus, because I learnt the hard way in another Stardew series that I'm going to need this for cooking. Let's have a look what's going on in this fish pond. So we've got two midnight carp in here. Might actually swap it out for the lobster for now. Or do I just wait? I think I'm just going to wait. I'll wait until I've got enough uh, midnight carp to do a few but sea foam puddings and then eventually I'm going to make a lobster pond. Or I could just get another pond built. Is Robin even at her shop today? Yes, she is. And I don't have enough wood. I could just go buy the wood. I don't even need wood. I just need stone, seaweed and algae, right? So we should be fine. Yes, let's go. Let's go get another pond built. We'll make a lobster pond and then I don't have to worry about how many of those I need. Hello, Robin. Let's put this fish pond. I want to do it right next to it, but I can't fit it right now. So I'll have to do it over here. Come and destroy this tree and we'll move it another day, but I'll stick it here for now. It might not even fit, actually. I think it is just the tree that's in the way, but we'll see. Even though I've got salads, I do want to get myself some blackberries as well, because if I happen to lose them at any point, then I have a backup food source. I know another good place to forage for berries is obviously Cinderset Forest, so let's have a look what there is. I could have done the trick at the beginning of the day if I thought about it to uh, essentially like quit the game and restart it, and it for some reason basically doubles the amount of berries that appear on the bushes. As in like doubles the amount of bushes that have berries on them, but... I don't know, it just feels a bit um, cheaty for me, but then at the same time, I suppose it's no more cheaty than me using a chair skip for the secret woods. It's way too late in the day now, obviously, to even consider that, but if you didn't know that was a thing, now you do. I'm gonna get the special request board as well. Thunder bok choys or tiger trout. I don't think I wanna do either of these, to be fair. <laughs> I'm just gonna not. Having a look up at the train station for any berries, and I don't think there are any today, so. Oh, nope, there are some. End of the day with 71 berries. So how much are these compared to salads? So salads are 113 energy and 50 health. I'm not really too fussed about the energy. So I'm looking at the health. 50 health for those and 29 for blackberries. Okay, maybe it is significantly worse. I don't know why I always thought they were similar once they're iridium quality anyway. Now I know for sure salads are actually twice as good or almost twice as good. Looks like I also haven't shipped any radioactive or so I'm going to go and ship one of those now. A little unsatisfying because it could have meant that I would have perfectly filled all of the furnaces with a radioactive bar but what can you do it's worth it for the shipping completion anyway okay bedtime oh my god 528 grand we have a couple of things on the agenda today but first looks like we've got some mail so what is this Ooh, the wizard wants a ghost berry all right i'm gonna have to go and uh, grow another one then that's gonna be a while but we'll manage it's also blackberry season as well so i do need to make sure i'm getting as many of those as i can I suppose I have salads actually, I don't really need need them. They'd just be good to have. But before I go anywhere, I need to go and give Kristoff a gift. So uh, let's go with the topaz. Also, we're going to collect all the radioactive bars from here. Do I need to ship one? Yes, I do. You know, I feel like he's not actually gone back to the Joja HQ since uh, being here. I just pop in here to do a bit of work, hope that's okay. I promise when I married you that I'd devote all my time to our love, but I do still have to manage some things. Oh, okay, that'll be why. So he doesn't just basically live at work anymore, but still. Before we do anything, I'm going to go and pop over to the island and see if we can pick up a snake spine today? Maybe? Hopefully? I don't know. I mean, like, let's be honest, probably not, but we can try. Although, to be fair, I don't even see a single artifact spot, so that's not going to happen. No. So annoying. This is literally, like, the last thing we're waiting for. But hey, what can you do? In fact, I don't even think I ever went to double check if that was what was really needed. So maybe we should probably go handle that. Yes, it's definitely the snake spine. Just one single snake spine. Before I leave the island for the day though, I do want to go and give Leo a little gift because we've kind of been neglecting that a little bit. Here you go, have a mango. And where are we with now? Four hearts. I'll take four hearts. That's not too bad. Could be worse. And then let's pop back home. We can't go and see Pickled Pete until the evening, so we will wait for that. But maybe what we go and do is go and handle all the city gifts today since I really do have to go and get a berry. Or at least a berry seed, I mean. So, bottle of cheaper wine for Selena. An aquamarine for David. Let's grab these berries since we're here. Why not? And then I also want to make sure I'm going into that little cave to try and slay those serpents for the fragments. Actually, can I bring what I have with me? We need six more. Okay, let's see if we can get those today. First things first, let's check the apartments. Oh, there's Sadie. I just happened to obviously walk into her there. I don't actually remember which... It wasn't 1C. This is Sadie's apartment. I think it must be 1B. Well, there's Buddy. She's never home. She's always somewhere. I'll go check the birds again. <laughs> That seems to be a pretty reliable place to find her. If not, we do sometimes see her at the cafe, so we'll try there too. There's Gwen. 
Finding everybody except the person we actually need. She's not here. Okay. Maybe she'll come back in the evening. Oh, I forgot to bring a pail for Pete. That's fine. I can go home and get one in good time anyway. Okay, David, where are you? There you are. Here you go. Have you been in the cave in the cafe? I have indeed. I wish I had the guts to explore it. Apparently there's untold riches in there. Oh, there definitely are. Well, no Selena here, so we'll try the city one more time and then... Actually, no. Let's try and slay some of these serpents first. That'll pass some time before we go and try and find her again. I think I'm going to try and find her in the evening. I am armed with one single spicy eel for this. We just gotta hope one kind of spawns at some point. I suppose it gives me a chance to come and run around and pick up all the things that I might want to bring with me. Damn, where are they today? Is it worse at night, maybe? Oh, no, there's one. Hello, serpent. Five more to go. I think I might just have to do laps around the place until something spawns. I don't know if it's got anything to do with where I'm standing or if it's just completely random as to when and where stuff spawns. So far, though, we've only had a few bugs and then that one serpent and a ghost. I swear other times that I've done it, it's been way busier in here than that. I really want to know if this means something too. I wonder if I need to bring another prizzy in here. Damn, usually this place is like serpent central, but today I literally have only found one, which is weird. Maybe they know why I'm here and they're just like staying hiding because they know I'm just going to beat them up straight away. I wonder if I go out and in again, if it will refresh it in any way. No, maybe it's like a daily thing. Let's try downstairs. We'll try downstairs. I know that they can spawn here too. Oh, there's one. Well, that helped. We might as well clear out the entire cave down here whilst we're here. Well, I might have to come back for this another day because we're already past 7pm, so I know that Pete's around and I don't want to miss out on gifting him today or getting the berry that I needed, so we will head on out. We only need four more though, we still got two. Maybe we'll try and catch Selena another day then. Right, I've headed back home to drop off all the stuff that I picked up because I picked up lots of ores and gems and then I also need one pale ale. I'm pretty sure we also spotted an artifact spot as well over here, so I'm gonna go and dig that up real quick, just in case we get some of those old coins, but we haven't. It's only mixed seeds. That's fine. We tried. Hello, Pete. First of all, this is for you. And once again, he's calling me trash. We're gonna get two more eerie seeds, and then we will go and get them planted, because they do take some time to grow. Now, do these have speed grow on them? They don't. Okay, let's... uh. We'll put these down. I'm going to get some speaker on them as well because I do want them to be ready a little bit quicker. Plus we have plenty of the stuff anyway. There we go. And now we head to bed. We'll try again tomorrow. Plus before we go anyway, we've got to give Christoph his daily gift. Oh, he's walking through the bed. Okay, here you go. And now where are we with this friendship? We're just over 12 hearts, so maybe tomorrow we might end up with a star drop. I'm going to bring some more spicy ear with me as well. And we're just going to get straight over there and see if we can get that uh, thing sorted. But no one's here at the moment, so I might just teleport like to the interchange. Just gives us a bit more of a head start. There we go. First serpent already. Damn it. Can I reach that? That's fine. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We can always blink outside. It's not a problem. There's a lot more rocks in here today as well. Come on. I just need three more. I do have an unreachable uh, dust right out here. So let's handle that. There we go. Oh, this one's very speedy. What the heck? Two more. Come on. Let's try downstairs. All the stuff's respawned down here as well. I think I'm going to need to do like... A oh, Prizzy. Yes. I think I'm going to need to do a mass uh, gem sell-off sometime soon because I'm starting to accumulate loads of them from being in here. Oh, there we go. There's our three, I think. Okay, we have 31. We can get out of here. Do I have room in my inventory? Yes, I have plenty. And maybe we also just stop in and say hi to David on our way past before we go and um, use his bathroom. Hi, David. Good morning, Willow. I'm up and ready to go. I'm cooking now, actually. Can I have some? I guess not. A lot of people in the city don't want to share their cooking with me. Only Gwen. Hello, Mr. Key. One serpent small sword, please. Oh my god, it's scary looking at it. So what is my max damage on this? I mean, it's slightly better, but it could also be worse. I can add some gems to it in the forge, though, and that's what I think we will do. But first, I need to come out so I can go home. Just need to find somewhere we won't be seen. All right, we are home. I need to check on what's going on with the silo as well. I might need to go and buy some hay. Oh no, we're good. Oh yeah, that's right. We actually only recently bought hay, didn't we? And we didn't need to because we have over a stack. It's fine. I don't need to worry about hay. Now, do I have many cinder shards? No, basically none. That's fine. We'll go and get some more then. Though I am wondering if I should go pop in there with some monster musk on. I wonder if that's going to help us out in any way. Um, do we have any monster musk? I do have one. We'll use it. Oh, cutscene with Leo. <laughs> I love the fact that they just absolutely terrify the heck out of each other. Sorry, it's hard to remember to talk normally. You think I'm weird, don't you? I'm just going to squawk. You're getting pretty good at that. Sometimes I wonder how different my life would be if I'd never washed up on this island. Back home, I didn't really care about birds. I never thought to listen to what they might be saying. Though I guess that's normal for normal kids. I wonder what normal kids would have to say about me. 
Do you think I could ever be a normal kid again? Yeah, you could be a normal kid again. Hmm, I guess you're right. Though, living on this island has given me a lot of experiences normal kids would never have. This is very true, Leo. If it weren't for the parrots, who knows what would have happened to me. Oh, bless him. I'm happy I met them. I'll always consider them to be my family, even if that makes me a little strange. Animals can be family. Anyways, thanks for talking to me, Willow. Maybe someday you can be a part of our family too. Leo's so frickin' adorable. Here, let me teach you to say let's play in Parrot Talk. <laughs> the squawks are everything. And now... Oh, why am I up here? Hello? <laughs> Whoopsie. I guess I must have blinked over here. Right, let's use the monster musk. Now also, obviously, uh, 1.5 is out for mobile, so people who are on mobile can now enjoy it. Right, let's let's try out the sword first without even um, doing anything. Oh gosh, that is much crit chance. I'm gonna zoom all the way out to make my life a bit easier. I don't even need to be doing stuff out here. Wow. Oh, I'm almost dead. Um, Let's probably fix that. I completely forgot the fact that I was already kind of like, you know, partially damaged from being in that cave earlier. That do. I just need to swap these around. There we go. And then I need to find. Then I need to find any of the uh, the magnum sprites, but I'm not seeing any so far. I was hoping the monster musk would help me out here, but so far we've only got more slimes. Oh, there we go. Oh gosh, maybe eating them probably isn't the best idea. Um, let's use this to farm for stuff. She says using the wrong sword still. So obviously, if I want any hope of actually catching those cinder shards, I need them close to me. So maybe from now on, I run two swords. Oh, I need to swap them back in my hotbar, that's why. I'm used to having sword being number four in my hotbar. Plus I need to kill loads of magma sprites anyway for the monster slayer goal. So this was a good thing either way. Although I do realise now I didn't actually bring any uh, forge gems with me. But that's fine, I'll go back for them. Just focus on the cinder shards today. Wow, that's a lot. Um, am I going to regret this? Maybe I should eat some uh, salads first. All right, you know what? We're just going to brave it. We're going to teleport right in the middle of all of them. <laughs> We're just going to go for it. We can do this. Move away from the bomb real quick. We'll eat some salads again. There's so many. Let's try and draw the other two closer. There we go. Now we're on 93 out of 150. That We've got so many to go, my goodness. I have now run out of spicy eel, which is kind of a shame, but that's fine. We live. And apparently there's also a button on this floor that I've missed because I've been too distracted with the magma sprites. Oh, it's literally right in front of me. I'm hoping there's not more than one. There is definitely more than one. Maybe it's over here somewhere. Literally just blinking around the map until I find it. There, there it is. Got a mushroom floor that I'm just going to ignore. Then back to our uh, magma sprites. I'm trying to attract a few at once because it makes my life a little bit easier. Even though I've got more coming up and damaging me, it's just that they take ages to fly towards you. So if I can just try and hit some others while some of them are distracted, then I'm going to go for it. There's another one up there that I do want to try and kill. Oh no, I'm so slow. There we go. I'm here. Oh, it's gone completely off the screen. That's not ideal. Oh, well, we'll miss out on one. There's still a few more up there. And then are there any on this floor? Yes, there are. I also got a secret note as well. So let's have a read of that. This is to do with the mermaid puzzle and we've already done that. So I'm going to go check through the secret notes. I could just look up online, but I'd rather do it via the notes. So I don't want to look at the enchantments. There we go. The forging table. So topaz is for defense, emerald for speed. Jade is for crit strike power. I think we're going to put some jades on it. Jades and rubies. And then with the enchantments, what do we want to do? Probably want to do a uh, crusader because then we can kill mummies without having to blow them up. And that would make our life a lot easier. But I do only have one prizzy. Do we go for it anyway? Why not? Let's give it a go. I think that's the only thing we can do tonight. Come on, give me crusader. I don't have my prizzy with me. Never mind. <laughs> okay, we will we'll, we'll handle that tomorrow. I should hopefully though have more than enough of these things. So we want ru one ruby. Do we do two jade or do we do one jade? Hmm. Let's have a look at it again. So 20 crit chance. I don't know what the crit power is, so we'll do more crit power, I think. And then I'm going to bring all my prizzies with me, which is kind of a risk, but we should be all right. And off to bed we go. Oh, it's also Jodie's birthday today and I really should handle that. So what is her loved gift? Um, Trying to find... There we go. We're on eight hearts with her, so actually not too bad. Chocolate cake, diamond, golden pumpkin, pearl, rabbit's foot. I think we're going to go with the diamond because that's nice and easy. Not before we pick all of our crops, though. Pumpkins have still got three days, so I'm not going to touch anything that doesn't regrow for another three days. Is there anything down here? Just the corn. We'll pick up the corn. That's for you. I got up early and fed all the farm animals. Oh my god, thank you. That is actually very helpful. Things like this make work a little more pleasant. That's true. We've definitely got enough eggplants already. Uh, we've only got three grapes, so I might just go ahead and switch those out. If I put the silver ones in there, then we should have enough. And then in here are going all of those. And the rest is a case of waiting now, because we've got enough eggplants and corn. I'm just going to shove them all straight in the shipping bin. Okay, I should have key to the town, so I shouldn't have any issue getting in. Ooh, we have a cutscene. I think I know the one. 
Oh, hi, Willow. I was just about to have a snack. Here, let me get something for you. Please, Sam, anything but a raw egg. Probably better that it ended up on the floor anyway. <laughs> oh no, what a mess. What was that sound? This is absolutely terrible. What happened? Calm down, Jody. It's just an egg. Um, Sam handed me the snack and then I dropped it. I don't want to take the blame, but at the same time, I don't want to lose the friendship points. Yeah, that's what happened. Thanks for telling me the truth, Willow. It's not such a big deal. But why did you make it a big deal? I'm sorry about this, Mum. I'll clean it up. All that over a raw egg. Hello, Jody. Happy birthday. I did indeed remember your birthday, and now our friendship's full, so that's another one completed. So now I want to head straight over to Ginger Island. I'm going to grab these berries whilst I'm here. And I should be good to teleport because no one's around. Now, I didn't teleport straight to the volcano because I wanted to check if we've got any artifact spots today. I think I forgot to check yesterday. <gasps> There's one. Oh my god, is this it? No! I don't want another skull, I wanted the spine. Please tell me there's another artifact spot somewhere. I don't think there is. Well, that's mildly upsetting. Okay, well, better luck another day. <laughs> I'm hoping I should have enough of the Cinder Shards to be able to do the enchantments I want. We will soon find out though. We'll start by adding the things that we know add what we want. Um, So we'll start with the ruby. Oh yes, it's 10, so we should be all right. There we go, we've added a little bit more damage. It's gone up to 55 to 121, that's pretty good. And then the rest we want to do on crit power. So 15 for that, for the cost, and it doesn't show the crit power, but I know that it's got some. Um, There we go, we, we should be good. And now we do have enough for one round of enchantment, so let's just hope we get the Crusader first time. Did we get it? Haymaker? I don't want the Haymaker. Okay, we're going to have to get some more Cinder Shards. <laughs> of all the ones I really didn't want, it was the Haymaker. And I didn't bring any monster must today, so we're just going to have to go in with this as is. I've also only got three prismatic shards, so I've just really got to pray that we get it on one of the next two. To be fair, I probably should be staying in here anyway and trying to kill as many of these magma sprites as I can. Although we don't only need 26 now, so we are getting somewhere. We might even finish this today, depending on how lucky we get with the spawns. Whoops, I did not mean to blink four times. The good thing about blinking is I can just blink to attract some of them over. What's in this treasure chest? Oh, we got the soul sapper ring, which is completely, basically useless at this point. <laughs> like, who's even thinking of energy now? By the time you get to the volcano, it's not even an issue. Well, we definitely have enough cinder shards, but I am deciding to stay and slay these, even though I've got enough, just because we might as well work towards that goal. We've only got eight left to kill. Where are the rest of them on this floor? There's one. Come on, give me some on this floor. We've got two, that's something, I suppose. And what's in this chest? Another soul sapper ring, two in one day. After killing this one, we've only got like five more to go. And I think we've got the last two journal scraps today too, so we'll read them. Oh, we couldn't get that walnut until this point, so we'll go and grab that too. And then this is about combining rings. Okay, well that worked out. So, let's see if we can get the Crusader today. Please, I don't want to use up all of them. Bug killer? I didn't really want that. And what's the last one going to give us? Crusader, there we go. Just enough frizzies. <laughs> oh gosh, that was so lucky. And then obviously before we leave the island for the day, we might as well go get this walnut. So now... Truly, the last ones really are just from the snake spine. Right, let's put all of our loot away and then what I'm actually going to do is pop up to the Adventurers Guild shortly. I've got like an excess of rings and stuff now and we might as well sell them and get the money back. Right, there we go. I've got a few things. At least it's made some room. Hello, Marlon. Right, let's sell those all. We don't need any of these things. And then while we're here, I might as well clean... Oops. I might as well clean this little area out. There's plenty of wooden stuff here. We might as well take advantage there we go, that's another over 200 wood, I'll take it. There we go, that was a successful day, and then we can head to bed. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to run both swords at the same time. If I'm needing to kill stuff for loot, I'm going to use the Infinity Blade, and if I want to do anything else, I will use the Serpent Sword. Serpent Sword does do a fair amount more damage, but if I need the loot from them, I tend to kind of just yeet the enemies away, and then it becomes not worth it. What's in our mail today? 50 more wood from Robin, I will take that, thank you very much Robin. Um, I don't even remember what exactly she was building the other day, so that's fun. Was it another fish bond? I think it was, you know. What did I want the other fish bond for? I don't even remember. I think it was something ingredient related. <laughs> oh no. I'll figure it out one day, but today is not the day. Before I do anything, I want to give Kristoff his daily gift. Chilling in his little home office today. He's got that work from home life, hasn't he? <gasps> Star drop time! Heck yeah, there's not many to go now, I don't think. The taste reminds you of magic, of course it does. So I think what we're going to do today is perhaps try and work on the remaining uh, museum stuff, because that star drop does remind me that I need to do that. We've only got one single artifact trove, that's not ideal. We've got some Omni Geodes as well. Do we need many minerals, or is it just artifacts? We need one single mineral. So we'll probably just go ahead and open. I think the barrier actually comes from Magma Geodes, right? Yes, Magma Geodes are my best chance, so I'll take those with me. 
I'm hoping Clint's gonna be there because it's raining. But first I obviously need to pop to the desert to try and get those uh, artifact rows first. Come on Pam, drive faster. All right, I've got 31 of those. That should be all right. If we pop back to the farm, hopefully Clint should still be hanging around. Yes, he is. Okay. See if we can get our last artifacts. Oh, I should have got the, um, the strange doll, but that's okay. At least that one we know how to get and it's guaranteed. Oh my god, Pearl gone a mask and Pearl. That's a pretty lucky few in a row. Got another ancient seed that we can't really do anything with, but I'll keep it anyway. I'm gonna keep the strange doll. Oh, there we go. That's what we needed. So it was that and what else was it again? I don't even remember. I think it was a skull. It's the fossilized skull, which I probably have better chance at with the dig site, but I might as well just open all the troves that I've got, right? I've got a very weird few uh, artifacts. Like, there's not been much variety at all. That's so weird. Like, look how many duplicates I've got today. What the heck? This is so weird. Oh, there we go. We've had a couple of new things again. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'll take it for the inventory space. It has made my life a little bit easier there. Okay, I'll go donate what I've got and then I'll come back. Right, that one there. And then, wait, I thought we needed something else from here. No, not. Was it just the sword thing? Oh, it was the skull, wasn't it? I, did, I forgot that I don't actually have it yet. Maybe I should have done the minerals first because I can actually sell those to Clint. But that's fine. Let me check in the... Yeah, no, I can't sell those. Okay, that's fine. I'll just uh, live with my choices. <laughs> just gotta hope one of my first early ones are the barite. Nope, no luck. Okay, what I'll do is I will pop home, I'll sell the stuff, and then I'll come back. Hopefully, Clint will still be there. So we're getting rid of all of these things. Uh, I'm gonna only sell one of the pearls, just in case I want to keep it for anything else. Clint, I have returned with backpack space. Please give me a barite. <laughs> if I don't get it from these, I do have all these Omni Geodes with me. They obviously have a chance of getting it, but not as good as from a Magma Geode. I might as well use them up though. And at least with these, I can just sell straight to Clint again. I'm just glad that opening Geodes doesn't actually pass any time when you're in single player, because I probably would have wasted the entire day doing this. <gasps> there it is. Oh my God, yes. We've got all the minerals now, so now we just need to go to Ginger Island in the desert and hopefully we have them all. Donate in that. And then, is anyone out here? Nobody's here, we can teleport. This also gives us a chance to see if there's any artifact spots around and I might as well stay on the cloud for a bit of speed. I mean, there's Birdie, but isn't she a ghost? I don't think she's gonna tell anyone if she sees my magic. Okay, there's no artifact spots. What about here? Can we get the skull? I mean, I know you can get it. It's just whether I do get it. Can, is it in the artifact spots though? Oh, we've got more troves. That can help. What a load of other fossils, just not the skull. All right, never mind. Before I leave the island, I will just do one last check of the beach and see if we can get any uh, artifact spots down there. Because those might also have artifact troves, and if not, they could also have Omni Geodes, but I don't think there are any, no. Okay, never mind. Right, head to the desert first. We'll see if we can pick up that strange doll. We'll get more artifact troves, and then we'll head back to Clint's. Assuming he's still there, that is. Yes, he is. Okay, we're all good. I don't actually remember where this comes up. I got the secret note somewhere, but I'm too lazy to check. I think it's one of these. There it is. And we've got another four more artifact troves, so let's just hope we can get it now. Let's get the bus back. I just realized I don't actually have any space. Uh, can I sell anything? Yeah, I can sell a couple of things. You want to take the bone fragments? You can have the bone fragments. Oh, we got golden pumpkin. I mean, I'll take that. Come on, give me the skull. I'm sure you can get it from these anyway. Whether I actually do or not is another thing. No. Come on, last one. Damn it. Okay, well, we tried. For now, I'll just donate the one strange doll. And then that should just leave us with one single thing left. So if I check my collections now... In the artifacts, yeah, all we've got is this one skull. The prehistoric skull. I wonder if I've got one at home, actually, thinking about it. If it's just chilling in a chest somewhere. Although, it does say that I haven't found it. I don't know. Maybe I haven't. Although, I'd be surprised if I'm, like, in full year two and I still haven't found one of those. Christoph, are you nosing in my special magic chest? I wonder if he's put together what has happened. Who knows? What was I doing again? Oh, yeah, I wanted to see if I already had that artifact and it doesn't look like I do. I just wanted to be, like, 100% sure. I wonder if I've accidentally sold them at some point. Oh well, never mind. I've got, I mean, I've got loads of the vertebra. I wonder if I've just left them behind in the skull caverns one day. I'm gonna go ahead and buy all these squid because I know I'm eventually gonna need them to cook with. I don't know if I need the octopus for anything, but I'll buy it anyway. That was worth the uh, traveler merchant trip. I don't usually check it this late game anymore. And you know what? We might as well just get rid of all the trees here. I need to go and see how much wood I actually have, but I could probably check that from here, so. I own 433 wood. Yeah, I definitely need more. And the chances of people coming out in the rain for Cinder Sap is pretty minimal, so we should be fine to be using our magic out here with this. Sometimes I find it easier just to knock down all the trees first and then go back and pick up all the wood. We do be leaving some sap behind though, so we'll make sure we grab that. Maybe it's not better that I do that because I'm noticing I am actually leaving some behind on the floor. And I don't want to kind of be accidentally picking it up later. Okay, well that's the entirety of Cinder Sap done with 976 pieces of wood, so I'll take that. 
Um, there's a couple more trees down here which are now fully grown, but I think most of the wood's actually going to end up in the fish pond, which isn't ideal. Managed to salvage some. <laughs> Better than nothing. And it does make us have now a stack. Oh no, I just destroyed loads of parts by accident. It only takes a second to fix, so there we go. I think we're good. Wait, did I completely destroy some? Oh no. We'll make some more of these other wooden paths, just in case I have actually fully destroyed. I don't think I have, I think we're good. We're fine, everything's fine. And it was definitely a good thing I went and got the squid and the octopus, because I definitely haven't caught them yet. And I know it doesn't count towards the fishing achievement, but for the ingredients then, I've got them spare. And for, I think there's a quest from Willy, right? That he wants an octopus at some point, so that's now taken care of. Now, what was it that we're missing the wood for? Was it the preserve charge? Yes, it was, okay. Maybe we can make us some of those. And I managed to make another 19 with the amount of coal I had. I did want to keep some spare in case I smelt stuff later, but for now this is what I can make. We are so close to having this done though, I might just- wait. I just made the perfect amount of preserves, Chaz. <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. Didn't that happen to us with something else here? I'm sure I did that recently with something else, but just happened to make the perfect amount of something. But hey, that's exciting. We now have another full shed done. I'm not refilling the jars just yet because I want to start doing them when the wine's done because I don't have enough stuff to put in there. As soon as the pumpkins and stuff are ready, I won't have that issue anymore. But until then, I'm just waiting until the wine's also done to be able to refill those. I'm thinking with the rest of our day, we have one last shot at trying to find Selena. And I'm thinking at this hour, last time I saw her was out by one of the birds, so we'll try there. Oh, she's not at this bird. Try the one up here. Nope, she's not there. Okay, in that case, we'll try the apartments. And if she's not at the apartments, then she doesn't get some wine this week. Oh, she's right here. Here you go. She's been looking all over for this. How do you lose a bottle of wine? I hear there are some interesting caves in Stardew Valley full of neat artifacts. Yes, there are. You should come and visit sometime. But hey, we're on a good five hearts with her. That's a good amount of progress. But you know what? I think the amount of stuff we got done today deserves an early night. Actually, let's get the coffee first. Don't forget the coffee. Has he just been staring at that tree all day? The heck are you doing, Kristoff? Oh, well. <laughs> we'll just leave him to that. Oh, and we have the crop fairy as well, which is quite funny because I'm pretty sure in like one more day after this, all the crops would have been done anyway, but that's fine. <laughs> Even if they were done early, I'm probably not going to pick them up early just because I like stuff to be done all at the same time anyway. Oh, how funny. Thank you anyway, I guess, Crop Fairy. It was kind of you to visit. <laughs> Did we get very much money today? We got a decent amount from all those artifacts. It may just take a second for me to get my bearings again because I haven't recorded this in two weeks, so uh, the struggle to remember what I was doing is real. But it gives me a minute to harvest my crops anyway, and then, oh, I'll go and check on my pumpkins at the bottom as well. Are you done yet? Okay, some are done. I'm just gonna wait the one more day before I go and harvest everything, because we might as well. It's Abigail's birthday today, so we're definitely gonna give her a little bit of amethyst. Oh my god, I've got 34. I've got so many gems. Let's uh, sell some of these off. This is too many. I know I've also got a couple of quests to do, but I'm not exactly sure how far along they are with growing time, but give Kristoff a gift first. And I think we'll go find Abigail. Oh, I just realised I walked all the way down there to find out if my uh, pumpkins were done, and I've literally got some here. Here you go, Abigail. Present in bed. I think that's now her friendship full. I did just see a purple circle yes we're all good i feel like we're making some really good progress but i do need to work harder on like the dwarf because oops that's the wrong way the dwarf is always the one that i end up basically finishing last just because i've rarely passed by the area really like once i get to the point of the game that i actually want to speak to him and gift him stuff our jelly jars are also ready let me see if i've got enough stuff to put in them all we could probably manage especially with today's cranberries Ooh, actually i don't know if i'm gonna have enough stuff so let me put this in here first and then i'll get out the literal feet you blueberries that we have. I don't know why I was stressing about getting this shed filled out when I literally don't even have enough stuff to fill all the jars. Oh well. I am actually gonna go pop over and see the dwarf actually because I do want to go to the Adventurers Guild and just kind of see how far away we are from doing the Monster Slayer goals. I know exactly which monsters I have to go but I want to know how many of them I've got to go. Especially now that recently we've been making some progress. So mummies were not even halfway which is a bit of a yikes. Serpents is now done and then we've literally only got four more magma sprites so I'm just gonna mark that as done and just put mummies. I do think it would be silly not to just go get those magma sprites done though so let's go over to the island and we'll also check on our tarot too and see if there's any dig spots. Oh here we go. I don't think it's going to be enough but it's still something. Do I have any more to plant? I don't think I do right? Let's get that all shipped and then the hunt for the dig spot is on but I don't think there is one. There's definitely not one on the actual farm side and yeah no. Not one today either. Rip. 
Right, let's take care of those magma sprites. I might even find all of them on this floor here. Well, at least there's two. Oh, I just yeeted it. I completely forgot. Not back with the flying enemies is good, unless you actually want to kill them, then in which case you might struggle if you use the um the serpent sword. <laughs> Ooh, there's one. Oh, that's so annoying. This floor would have had all of them as well. Oh, well, that should be our last one over here. No, come back. Don't run away. I've also just realised I haven't got animation cancelling on. I need to fix that immediately. Or at least immediately after I finish that monster. There we go. Now, literally, we really do just only have the mummies. I don't really need anything else in here, so I am just going to leave. I'm not going to bother doing the entire volcano again. I am going to kill some other things, though, because... Can I get to the quarry by teleport? Let me have a look. Oh, you can't. Okay, Um, I'll just teleport back to the farm because there was no one there. I got a comment in my last video reminding me that you can't actually get the prehistoric skull in an artifact tree. So I think I can also get it at the dig site, but I do know it's got a small chance of dropping from the skulls in the quarry mine. So we're going to give that a go. A little bit concerned about... Oh, I was going to say the lack of skulls, but they're all over here. They're all having a party. Oh my god, there's so many. Maybe we get it today? <gasps> we got it. Oh my god. We also got a couple of other things, but they're whatever. I just wanted the skull. I feel like it'll be rude not to... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Have I <laughs> never picked up... Have I not come to the end of this before? Hello? We are 60 hours into this farm and I've only only just picked up the golden scythe. I can't believe that. That's hilarious. I feel like it's just one of those things, especially when kind of like juggling between save files, that you kind of forget what you haven't haven't done. Because what I normally do when I unlock the quarry is just go and get the thing straight away. But um, seems I didn't do it in this case. <laughs> I've also just realised the time, but I think I've got the key to the town, so I should still be able to donate that skull. Gunther's still chilling behind his desk at 8pm. Oh my god. What just happened to my voice? <laughs> Complete collection, come on. My face is in the way, so I'm gonna hide it for this moment. Let's get that star drop. Oh, I've also got another reward here, but there we go. Your mind is filled with thoughts of magic. I think there's a star drop two episodes in a row. I'm pretty happy with that. I think the only star drop I've got left now is the fishing one. So let's see where we are with that. Oh, we've got so many. I can't really do the eel till spring. Although technically I can, I just can't do it without magic bait. And when it's not raining, I need it to rain. That has reminded me though, I do need to go check on my crab pots. I do need to get some bait first though. So, oh, my inventory is full. Do you know what though? Given the time, I might actually go and check the crab pots in the morning. Actually, no, that wouldn't be smart. I can get an entire other day out of getting the crab pots if I can just be bothered to come down here and do this. Now, did that add to our fishing collection at all? I think it did. We just need a crab and a lobster now. And isn't this, this is the radioactive carp or whatever, right? Oh no, it's the glacier fish. What am I talking about? Oh, that's only a season away. We can do that then. The legend may wait till next spring, but I'm not entirely sure. It depends on how far we get by winter. And um, bedtime. Oh, this is actually a really good money day. Wait, what? Oh, ancient fruit jelly. I forgot that I made that. <laughs> like, I know I harvested a load of jelly yesterday. I just couldn't remember that it was ancient fruit jelly. Let's get our queen of sauce of the day. Blackberry cobbler. I've got a letter from Abigail here. One of these days you should come to my room after dark. Maybe around 8pm. I want to show you something. Okay, we'll have to try and remember to go. But first we've got a load of pumpkins to deal with. I don't know if I bought enough seeds the first time around, so I might have to go back to Pierre's today. Oh no, I've got plenty. It's fine. Let's get all this produce taken care of. I might even turn these grapes into grape jelly. I'm going to harvest all but one of the sunflowers because we still want sunflower honey and I don't think... Actually, no. What am I talking about? I can just move the bee houses. Oh, that's not quite what I wanted to do. I'm gonna put you both over here. Let's get some fairy rose honey. And of course the one time I don't actually want to replant sunflowers is the time I get so many seeds from them. I usually don't get very lucky with the seed drops. We only need a single fairy rose to make this honey farm work so I'm just gonna carefully harvest. There we go. Oh my inventory is full. Oh my god look at all the fairy roses. That is so annoying. I'm not gonna keep most of the fairy roses just because I've already got so many. Let's just get those sold off along with the sunflowers and probably no I'll keep the seeds if in case I want to use them next year. Oh and I need my scythe for the amaranth too oh no at least we've got a shiny new one to use okay chicken can you please like not stand there that would be grand oh my god no don't get in my way thank you very much you can stand on the one i've already done that's fine just don't stand on any like not planted spots a random but cool thought but it could have been cool if uh if there was a thing that like your chickens like rest on a tile that has seeds on it what if it kind of had the effect of basic fertilizer because i do know that chicken poop is a great fertilizer in real life okay there we go that's all of our pumpkins planted let's see what we've got for ingredients and such and then i can put the rest in the shed for pickles i'll keep a few more gold ones and silver ones we've already got 13 yams so i don't think i have to worry too much about those corn we're fine with we need one bok choy i'll keep like eight of them i always keep like way too many of stuff i feel like but better to be safe than sorry artichokes i know we need a fair few of we now have some amaranth i'm not gonna worry about grapes because I've already got some from foraging. And then we've got the wheat. Is that everything? I think that's everything ingredients wise from this particular batch. 
Now most of the stuff I'm gonna stick in here. Maybe I sell the gold pumpkins because they're worth a fair amount on their own. But everything else is going in here. All right, it's still daytime, so I'm gonna head to the beach using the minecarts to town and then walking there because I kind of don't want to get caught. <gasps> There's our lobster. Now literally the last thing we need from the crab bots is just the crab. Oh my God, look at all that fiber. I will be taking some of that. Or do I just take all of it because winter's around the corner? No, I can harvest it again closer to winter. I still can't remember what exactly we wanted the fish pond for, but um, we'll figure it out one day. I think today might also be the day that we go and find David and Selena and also give Pickled Pete his pale ale. I'm going to check first to see if we've got any rabbit's feet going on in here because if we've got something with a quality rating, no we do not, I'm just going to leave them there. That would have been better, even if it was a silver star one because obviously the gifts that I have been giving to David and Selena have only been basic quality, but that's fine. We will live. Now it looks like a lot of these trees are growing back as well, so I will probably come and chop these down on the way home. Oh yeah, look at them all. All that wood. I've started to make a habit of going to the Sanctuary Cafe first because there are some times that Selena is actually here, although that's not been for a while. I definitely don't see her here today, but we can sort out David at least. And he's now just less than two hearts to go. I will check by the apartments first. No, she's definitely not here because sometimes she just comes and stares at these motorbikes. She's not home either. Is she out staring at the birds again? Oh, Buddy just came out of the Jojo Mini. I wonder if she's in here. No. Oh, she's not staring at this bird. Is she at this one? Nope. Okay, maybe this is a day that we don't find Selena. She isn't still at the pharmacy, is she? Oh no, she's here. She's just outside the mall. There we go. Now we know another spot where she can be standing. I'm so behind on hers. Oh, I suppose I'm only one heart behind. Mantle bees? Where's mantle bees? Is it one of these? No, that's the pizza shop. I don't know. Maybe it's like across the road on the side that we can't actually see. Unless it's down here. Like it could be one of these and I just can't see it. Okay, let's make a stop at Pickled Pete's. I am going to go ahead and teleport there because no one is in this area. Hello. Another pale ale for you? Why did I come? To give you a pale ale? Just for a gift. Is that it? Is that all you have to say to me? When's his birthday actually? Winter 4th. Okay, that's coming up. That's good. We can make some progress. And then what I wanted to do before the day was over was chop down all that wood. But first, I feel like it's rude not to pick up all this fiber. There are so many monsters out tonight. Knock down all of this wood. Oh no, I just put it off the screen. That's so annoying. The amount of wood I've lost to the void is real. The thing with the magic spells, it still works a little bit like the axe does. So you have to stand the opposite side of the tree to where you want it to fall, just to make sure it doesn't actually fall where you don't want it, whether that be water or just like out into the void. I think I'm going to end up passing out out here, which is, uh, I'd say it's a shame, but I'm not really that fast. I kind of want the wood more than I care about going to bed. There's the pass out. Okay, I'll have to come back in the morning to get the last few bits. Should we have a baby willow? Oh, uh, yeah, you know, we probably should. 25 grand, let's do this. Got a little gift for Kristoff, there you go. Have you figured out what you're going to use for your grange display tomorrow? Oh, it's the fair tomorrow, I forgot. Uh, we can throw something together, we'll still get the win. So wood-wise, we now have over a stack and a half. I'm pretty happy with that. Look, our ghostly wine is done. That means all of the rest of our wine, I think, is also done. Let's refill on those real quick. And whilst we're using up our star fruit, I also know I have star fruit to harvest today. That's all of our kegs refilled. And how much is this wine? Oh, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I think we're gonna have to grow more of that stuff, you know. But I do have to ship this one just for obviously the shipping completion. Also, we've got the rest of our star fruit wine to go. I need to go see how long ghostberries take to grow. I can't actually remember off the top of my head because I don't think it's that long. And I think that might actually be more worth it than star fruit. I'm not gonna be able to check till tonight though. Do I wait? Maybe it's a good idea if I wait to see if I can get any more. I can also replant the starfruit seeds later if the ghostberries aren't worth it. But obviously Pete's not going to be there till after dark so we have a little bit of waiting to do. I'm pretty sure it's only something like eight days so it probably will be worth it. But yeah like I said let's just get this all harvested first. As usual we'll get the gold one sold off and we'll keep the rest for now. Oh I've got my scythe here so I can actually get rid of this wheat. It's been so long it's just been sat there. Oh I've missed an entire sprinkler of starfruit. I wonder if I also prep these ones as well ready for the next batch of whatever else we end up deciding to plant. And I might as well also get the speed grow down as well. I just realized I do have an actually ridiculous amount of starfruit seeds so I'm wondering if I use those up first before we swap over to the ghostberries because I feel like the amount of money starfruit seeds cost it would be a waste to not use them. Like 836 starfruit seeds it just kind of feels wrong. Oh I just planted one in the wrong spot I'm gonna get rid of it though. In fact just wanted to make sure some tiles weren't connecting so I don't make that mistake again. There we go we used probably about like 500 seeds there. And how far are we now with the island ingredients because obviously I shipped quite a lot I just need to ship four more and harvest another 15 so I should probably go and try and get some more taro root or at least the seeds the starters I could buy them but I don't really like to do that when I can just uh try and hoe it up from artifact spots which speaking of let's see if we can find any today anywhere on this side I really need that snake spine not a single artifact spot to be found the dig site's also a good place to check though and oh I can go and probably harvest all that fiber from the jungle too those often drop taro tubers too there's really not that much of it in here though I think I've been in here recently to do this all right in that case we'll go check at home actually is Leo outside before I teleport no he is not so our new batch of starfruit 
fruit is going to be done on the 24th of fall. And I am just going to sell this lot of wheat, I think. Oh, and I forgot to check about the tarot tubes. Let's see. I've got literally two. Okay, I'm not going to bother with that just yet then. Maybe I am going to have to go buy some more from the island trader. In fact, I should probably go and take care of that. I want to go see what they actually cost first. Oh, so it's two bone fragments. That's not bad at all. I have more than enough for the 15 that I need. That means I need 30 bone fragments. All right, let's get them all planted. I'm too lazy to like hoe new spots for this. So I'm just going to go with whatever's currently on the ground. Oh, there we go. All done. And then the last thing I want to do is pop over to the ghost town and see how much, or I mean, how long the ghost berry seeds take to grow. Oh, wait, why isn't he here? Hello? He... Did I miss him already? Surely not. It's only eight. Does he just not go there on Monday? Oh, hey. I definitely need to be getting the artifact spots here because the seeds cost old coins. And I can buy them, but obviously I'm not going to turn down any freebies. I think I only got two, though. Yeah, he's not here. Can I go behind there? Damn it. Come back later? Oh, okay. I'll have to check another day. All right. Well, we tried. All right. Let's do that fair. That was a good money day. We are well on our way to having all the obelisks. We've got some time before the fair, so I've got a bit of time to pick up the crops and such. Um, I am going to sell all this eggplant because we have plenty of it now. So, for the fair, I've got a couple of iridium quality flowers that I might take. Let's take an iridium fairy rose. We'll take an iridium bar. We want some variety in our stuff. I'll take a cactus fruit. Actually, do I have any magma caps? That's probably better. I don't. Okay, that's fine. We'll take a cactus fruit. I'm going to grab some of this star fruit wine and a star fruit, even if it is silver. The cook dishes. Let's take a seafoam pudding. So how many things do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got a purple mushroom there as well that I can take with me. And then we want some fish. What do I have in the way of fish? Do I have anything of particularly good? Good quality. I can use the mutant carp. Let's take that. We also want some animal products. If I've got anything iridium quality, that'd be great. Maybe also some gold cheese. Okay, we've got everything we need. And then whilst we're waiting, let's refill the jars. So I just want to move everything to my bottom row so I don't accidentally jar it. I know you can't jar everything from this set of items, but I just don't want to take any risks with the others. And then if we start with pineapples, through the grapes, kind of need most of it really. We'll just do a bit at a time and see how we go. It is definitely going to be a pain harvesting this next lot of preserved stuff because it's going to be so many different things. But hey, at least we actually have enough stuff to fill out the jars now. I also realized when I did the wine yesterday, I forgot to harvest the ancient fruit. Was it yesterday that I did the wine? I think it was. We will go take care of that too. There we go. Look at them all go. We're actually full. Now I've got a little bit of time before I have to be at the fair, so I will just go and grab that ancient fruit because I am going to forget if I don't do it now. Obviously, I don't usually keep the gold ones, but I think I will for this because we still are reasonably low on stuff. Now, I'm pretty sure I already have bought the star drug before, so let's have a look. Yes, we have. So I think I'll just aim for the rare crow, and I think to do that, all I'll have to do is literally just do my Grange display. I also just realized I completely forgot to sell any of my jelly, but I'll do that when I get home. Put it in my hot bar so I actually remember. We'll get Lewis on his way, and then I'll go and talk to everyone whilst he's doing the judging. I I'm ready for you to go. I can't actually remember who I need to speak to here, so I'm literally just going to talk to everyone. And by talk to, I just mean say hi and kind of pretend that I'm listening and then leave. Obviously, there are some like the wizard that I know I've got 10 hearts with, so I won't bother with them. And then let's check our results. A hey, 111. First with 111. That's a very satisfying number. Thank you for the thousand star tokens. I will actually remember to take my stuff this time. And I know it doesn't matter because it goes into the lost and found, but I literally have a legendary fish in there and I don't want to risk it. Because <laughs> if I leave that for the box, especially because today is the last day of an episode i'm probably gonna forget to ever bring it back sell all of our jelly and then i need to put everything away before i go to bed to be fair i probably could have checked if i already had the rare crow before i left but i can always just check now oh i do already have it that's so funny okay never mind we now have two of them before we go to bed i am actually gonna pop over to check the ghost town again he's not here again is it because it's a festival day or does he just not come on Mondays and Tuesdays? Is he doing a money? Oh, well, we'll have to try another day. Today I've got some plans, but um, I'm going to have to wait till nighttime to be able to make those happen. I think I'm pretty much decided. I mean, unless it takes an absurd amount of time, I kind of want to swap out my starfruit farm for a ghostberry one. There's 10 grand for each bottle of wine. That's pretty cool. But also, I feel like it would be nice to deviate from what I usually do. Midnight carp, I wanted three algae. That should be pretty easy to take care of. I think I want to build up like, I don't know, 10 of them and then fish them all up because I kind of want them for seafood puddings. Although maybe I should leave some in there in case I want some others in the future. Although thinking about it with the amount of fish we have left, I probably don't need that many of them. I don't know. Well, either way, I will feed them for now. Of course, we can't forget to give Kristoff his daily gift. We're now less than one heart away from full friendship. So uh, I'm excited about that because I'm not sure if maybe he has a 14 heart cutscene that we might be able to check out. And as much as I could probably look it up, I kind of want to find out by myself. Now, whilst we're waiting today, I think I want to try and figure out a place to put my obelisks because I still need to do that. And it's probably going to be somewhere down here because I haven't really used this space very much. Maybe it should be on this side. I think it should be here. I think having it closer would make more sense. And I 
would quite like to start with the island one, but I don't know if I've got all the stuff for it. So I think I need to like dragon teeth and stuff. And I don't know if I've got any here. Oh, I've got 20. We're fine. And I think the other thing I need is bananas. Do I have any bananas? I've got nine. I'm probably going to have to go to the island and see if there are any. Ooh, and I still need to go check for that stupid snake spine. Wait, where are my teleport cores? Have I run out? I could just make some more. I probably have used them all. Either that or I've put them somewhere and kind of forgotten. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me, but I think 50 would do us for a good while. There's our bananas. And I don't know if I need to clear these to like give more spots for artifacts, but I'm going to do it anyway because with a magic mod, it doesn't take long at all. Well, another day and no artifact spot. That's kind of a rip. Oh well, it will happen when it happens. I think the other thing I might need is iridium bars or something. So I'm going to take some with me. Obviously, oh, hang on. I could just do this. Island obelisk, banana dragon tooth and 10 iridium bars. Okay, we're off to see the wizard. Although not really, I just want to consult the podium. <laughs> Whoa, the golden clock in this mod is so cute. I can't wait to get that. That's even more motivation to work towards that Ghostberry Wine Empire. But first, we're going to get this uh, island obelisk built. I could technically go and buy another one, but I think I need to save some money for the, um, what they're called again? Ghostberries. <laughs> Now, do I do it so it kind of goes along? Yeah, I think I will, you know. So I'm going to start the first one here and then I kind of plan to have them maybe curve round. I don't know how well it's going to work, but we can only try. First obelisk down. Now, I don't want to use a crazy amount of wooden paths, but do I do it in stepping stones though? Hmm. You know what? No, maybe we use the crystal paths. Have I even bought the recipe? I guess not. Okay, well, I suppose we should go to Robin's then. Do I have any mountain warp totems? I have one. I'm going to use it. Only out of laziness. Warp totems are fine to use in this because obviously people know about those. They're an item that anyone can find, but better put it myself with magic. Not so much. What was I here for again? Recipe. So I probably should just go ahead and buy the rest of these. And whilst I'm here, I did learn recently that where I previously thought with the brazier recipes that you have to come back on separate days, you don't. You just have to go in and out of the shop every single time and you can do them all in the same day. Absolute game changer when I learned that fact because now I think I think this next one might be the last one. Yes. If I check the shop now, I haven't got any. And obviously the one I bought earlier was like the second one, I think it was. So now those are all taken care of. Question is, do I have any refined quartz? They're kind of not too bad to make, so I'm not that worried, but we will have a look. Oh, I've got 41. It's fine. Okay. I'm going to put the wood paths away then. I'm going to do the like stepping stone situation. I do this kind of crystal path. Hmm. I think it will look odd with that kind of crystal path. So I'll use the stepping stone like one, I think, and just surround the entire pond. Oh, I just, mistakes were made. Um, I don't know, maybe I end up using that many. Also, is this rare crow serving any purpose at all here? Literally not. Okay, well, I'm going to put it down here. We can have a little collection going at the bottom for the uh, disused ones. And then I want to say the next one wants to be like, yeah, there's one more there. Got another obelisk there. And then if I go like, yeah, so they're going to be in a sort of curvy kind of pattern, but I do still want a path around this entire pond. I still have 107 of these paths and I'll probably find a use for them at some point, but not right now. What I want to do right now is add some lighting to the area and I want them to match. So 10 wood, one coal, and five fiber. I make like four of them for now with something like this. I mean, I think it definitely helps, but obviously as we decorate and stuff over time, the air will improve. I'm never in a rush to like decorate all at once. Okay, it's getting dark, so now I can take some pale ale to pickle beet. A lot of forage around today. Make sure to grab all of that. Freebies over here too. Does this do anything again? I forgot. No, it doesn't. Okay. Wait, there's a Joja Cola out here. I'll take that. I don't know why I'm so excited about a Joja Cola. This isn't the uh, Joja Cola series. <laughs> there's two mystic nodes here. Oh, Prizzy. Yes, we've been needing those for a while. People just use using all of them up and I think most of the time I end up just using them and making stuff grow. I kind of forgot to bring any of my old coins with me as well so I'm gonna do a quick little lap of this area to see if there are any artifact spots that might give us some free ones. I mean, we're getting a lot of clay so far. Not much in the way of coins though. That's fine. I mean they're reasonably inexpensive. A couple of mountain totems as well or warp totems I should say. We've got a beach one as well. Ah that's a lot of ghosts. This is for you. I will outlast this building once it falls. I will still remain. Are you gonna still have your shop like just on the ground? Right so so it costs 200 to buy one seed and it doesn't tell me. I'm sure it's like eight days. You know what? Let's just screw it. We're going to buy a load. I know it takes 500 and something seeds to fill out the ginger island farm. So we'll go with that. Wait, why can't I buy any more? Weird. Am I limited as to how many I can buy? No, surely not. What? That was very strange. This is going to take a while. It's actually such a tedious process having to buy all the coins and then buy all the seeds. I know it's worth it though. Buy like a hundred at a time. Okay. I think it was just kind of going wrong when I was trying to control shift by them. I'll buy one more stack and then we'll call it done. Not one more stack. Stack. I mean like maybe I just go until I used up all my coins. Now we'll go for the full 999. Let's do it. And I think this will do it. There we go. Okay 999 C's. That'll do us for a little while. <laughs> And I think I might just teleport straight home. Actually, no, we're going to drop off at the island and leave the seeds there. I know I can't plant them yet, but at least they're there ready. How long have I got actually? Seven days. Oh, I can't even do them this episode. That's sad. Well, we're prepared either way. 
Let's sell that yucky Jojo Cola and what am I going to do with this Prizzy? I think I'm just going to shove it in a chest for now. Although I could fast forward the star fruit growth. But no, don't, don't waste it on that. Wouldn't be a waste though, would it? I don't know. Maybe I should wait until I've got more. I shouldn't use my only Prizzy on that. If I had several, it'd be fine, but I don't. So let's just go to bed. <laughs> Maybe today's the day we go head over to the city. The fish Linus. Cranberries to harvest too. They're going straight in the jam shed. And we got our first fairy rose honey. Is that our first fairy rose honey? I think it is. Do I have any cheap wine left for Selena? I have a crystal fruit wine. Okay, it's my last cheap wine. So hopefully, oh no, she's actually not that far along with the friendship. And I have to start giving her star fruit wine soon, which kind of sucks, but it's fine. I mean, I could in the next batch of wine make a few ones, but I don't know if I want to do that. I'm just going to teleport straight over to the interchange. It's been a while since I've tried to go first thing in the morning and usually I have the best luck finding people at that hour. Okay, let's see if she's home. Buddy's off to work. Is it 1A? No, that's Gwen's house. What am I talking about? I knew that. She's still in bed. Can I give this to you here? There you go. I never forgot to give Kristoff anything too. Okay, Hey, we're on nearly six hearts, so that's pretty good. Let's go and find David. He's still upstairs. He's got loads of customers and stuff. Yeah, he's just chilling in his room, letting the shop run itself. Here you go. You know anywhere that's good for exploring? Why? Oh, no reason. Just curious. I know lots of places. Stop pestering me about it. I only asked. All right. God. I didn't pest you. I just um told you I know lots of places. I, I, I won't bother next time. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do for the rest of this day actually is go to the desert and let's see if we can get those last mummies done. I probably could have done with bringing, I don't know, spicy eel or something, but I'm not that fussed. I'm here more for monsters than I am for uh, getting any loot. I mean, loot's a bonus, don't get me wrong. We all know I love me some loot, but it definitely isn't my reason for visiting. I mean, I could, this is one of those situations where I probably could make use of the descent spell, but I think I'd rather just try and get the ladders and stuff. <gasps> There's a mummy and I shouldn't need bombs. Yes, there we go. Oh my God, I absolutely yeeted that ghost. I don't actually know how many I need. There's no mummies on this floor, so the next time I come across, I'll try to remember to check first. There's one. So I need 50. Okay. See if we can do this today. Oh, come on. I don't want to deal with a freaking infestation. Oh, I'm almost dead. Let's solve that real quick. <laughs> Plenty of salads to heal us up. Oh, wow. They actually heal for a lot. I forgot how much they heal for. The serpent sword is honestly the best thing ever. If it's not yeeting them, it's critting them. Or both. Oh, no. I missed a load of mummies because I got distracted by the ladder. That's really annoying. Typical. <gasps> Treasure floor. Purple slime egg. Oh, I should probably build a slime hutch at some point. I feel like that would fit in well with what we've got going on. I don't know if I've got any room for it though. I'm sure we can make room. One lonely mummy on this floor to put out of its misery. Goodbye. I'm getting so much cloth. I say so much. I felt like I got a lot, but I've only got seven. Oh, I hate when my speed boost runs out in the middle of combat. Oh, we got a hole. Do I go in it? Yeah, why not? Oh, 15 levels. Okay, maybe that was worth it. I don't know if the mummy spawns change with the amount of floors though. I think this is one of the ones that doesn't. I'm absolutely blindly guessing though. I have no idea. I could probably next time I come out as well, leave my infinity sword at home. I don't think I need it anymore because it only really causes problems when I'm trying hard to fight flying enemies and to be honest at this point I'm not really bothered if I actually kill them or not. Where's the ladder on this floor? There it is. Like when I hit things like the mummies it doesn't really matter because eventually they'll reach a wall. Maybe I can have spicy eel because I just got one out of a serpent. I'm using some bombs here and there as well just to make sure I conserve some mana. Treasure floor! Sprinklers! Okay I don't really want them. <laughs> Probably gonna sell them when I get back. Oh I know what I forgot. I forgot to bring monster musk and I don't think I have the stuff for it either. No. Chances of me getting enough bat wings to make it worth it. Minimal. So I'm just gonna live with my decision. Oh my god, can I get to this mummy? Oh, I, I forgot I can kind of blink over there if I really wanted to, but I didn't want to use the mana on that. I'll probably eat something before I die. Salads do be coming in clutch. Oh my god, that's a lot of ghosts. Oh my god, I haven't had a floor with a mummy on it for way too long. I'm gonna check if there's any down here first before I leave the floor. These ones do sometimes have them. Nope, not a single one. No monster in sight. The lack of monster musk is starting to feel a bit like a mistake. And floor 100, what's our treasure? Roots platter? You know, take it. I'll swap it for the bone fragments. I don't really need them that much. I find the ladder on this floor. Okay, no ladder, but we'll take a hole. Where are all the mummies? I'm gonna have to like manually break some rocks on this floor, I think, because I'm low on mana. I don't want to be completely out of it if I need it. How far are we now? 84 out of 100. Okay, so we've made like really good progress, but I don't think we'll be making it today unless we come across another really lucky floor with them on it. Probably not gonna happen. Ooh, crates. Give me some good loot, maybe? Anything? Literally nothing. Okay, well... <laughs> Oh, there's a mega bomb. I could actually use that. Um, what am I going to swap it for? Probably the algae. I'm not going to use it just yet, though. I'll use it on another floor where I've got more rocks together. That is if I make it out of this floor, which at the rate we're going at the moment, I don't know if we will. Oh, of course, the next one's a spiral floor. Never mind. We got it. Oh, yeah, no, I'm skipping this one. Um, let's craft a staircase. 
Okay, 1 a.m. Can we get any more at all? No, I don't think we will. Yeah, I think we ended up finishing somewhere near 90, but hey, I mean, getting nearly all of them done, I'm pretty happy with. First things first, let's give Christoph a little gift from our trip yesterday. Here you go. Before we check on there, I'm just gonna put everything away. Got so much stuff to jump off. And we also have our jars to deal with. Three bad luck days in a row, which is kind of wild as well. It's raining, so I'm gonna pick up all the truffles that I can. I'm gonna leave my infinity blade in here. Is there anything in here I can remove because I've got so much stuff just kind of accumulated? Um, I mean, I could probably move the totem somewhere else. I think I've got an in another chest as well. It was this one. Not enough room. Awkward. Uh, what do I do with the strange doll and stuff? I don't really need them for anything. I need a place just to put random stuff. I mean, I suppose the overflow of those could go in here. And then, oop, totem. Now let's deal with our shed. So I want to be prioritizing ancient fruit jelly and pumpkins first. So I'll just put those on me to begin with. And then if we need any more stuff, I'll go back for the cranberries later. But this is going to be a bit of a pain because of the sheer amount of different stuff that we put in the jars last time. I'm going to have like piles of multiple multiple different types of things. I think we're actually gonna have just enough stuff. And I've just gotta go fill the one outside as well. There we go. And with five pumpkins to spare. <laughs> Oh my god. It's like I'm not even the city witch anymore. I'm more like the pickle witch at this point. Good lord. <laughs> it was better than putting nothing in the jars at all. Oh yeah, the mail. I completely forgot. Marlon found us last night and Linus has got some fried calamari for us. And also Pam wants a battery. We can help with that pretty easily. I should have quite a few of them, but let's sell all of this stuff. That's so funny. Now, where are my batteries? Are they in here? Yes, I've got plenty of batteries to go around. I'll probably just go give her one straight away. There she is. Here you go. Battery for you and 400 gold. I will take that. I'm pretty sure you get 500 for selling them. She is shortchanging us on that battery. I do want to go and give a quick check to the island for artifact spots again. I need to be doing this daily at the moment. Nope, once again, not a single artifact spot in sight, but my ghost berries are ready. They're worth so much money. Um, I'm probably going to sell, do I sell the gold star one? I probably should. It's just really very much worth it. And then I can go give the wizard the other one. Anything interesting at the traveling merchant today? No, but there wasn't, and I don't know why I even bother looking at this point because the only reason I really tend to buy stuff is either for a quick solution to shipping or for community center, and I need neither of those things. Here you go. How much is he gonna pay me for that? 500 gold? 500 gold for an over two grand fruit. Usually when, I mean, Pam being the exception with a battery, usually when villagers ask for stuff, they pay you more than it's worth. I wonder if, though, if that's gonna give me something else in the quest line or something. Is he gonna ask for something else or do something else? Or is it just another fetch quest? I don't know. We'll, we'll see over time. But do be having me curious. Now, I think what I'm gonna do for today as well is go back and try and handle the rest of those mummies. No one's around at the moment, so I can teleport straight to the desert. And we just have to hope that we find some and Good start, not a single monster in that floor. No, I forgot the monster mask again. I mean, I could go back for it, but I can't be bothered with that. Oh, wrong bar. <laughs> I always know I'm in the wrong one when I teleport loads of times. I think there's sometimes mummies on these floors, but it's kind of quiet. I mean, there was one slime, but I can't be bothered to go all the way over there for it. Is there any loot in the middle over here today? There is. Whether we get anything good or not? Probably not, let's be honest, but we can try. Ah, I've done it again. In that coal. I need coal and one single mummy. Oh yeah, we can see where we actually got to. 80 out of 100, so we need 12 today. I'm probably gonna lose count like very, very quickly, but we can do our best. Treasure floor, seed maker. I mean, that's also okay. I do actually really need an auto petter thinking about it. So, you know, I, I wouldn't be displeased if I found one. Oh, finally, more mummies. Even if it is only three, but it does mean we're gonna be in the 90s now. Oh, nope, there's four. Two more on this one. Oh, three more. Just need a couple more floors like this and we'll be good. <gasps> Prizzy, why has I got an itchy eye? <laughs> that timing. I can't believe it's also only just coming up to 6 p.m. and I'm already basically out of mana. That's kind of not ideal. I thought that I'd be able to be done with this like much earlier today because we had barely any mummies to go through, but looks like it's another full day in here, I think. I could make bombs, but I don't know if I want to. I know they're either only gonna appear or more likely to appear on certain types of floors and I'm just not really hitting them. Definitely isn't helping. Oh, heck no, am I dealing with this? No prehistoric floors for me. Mummies, how many have I got left? I need four more. If there are four on this floor, I'm gonna be very happy. I mean, I know I need, got half of that. There's a third down there. Come on, give me, no, I don't. I have one more mummy to kill. No. <laughs> God. And it's a bad luck day. Please don't tell me I've lost absolutely loads of stuff. I lost all my travel cores. Not really too bothered about the ores and stuff because I can. Quit. <gasps> no. Okay, I need to go get my sword back. <laughs> I just kind of zoned out and completely forgot about my health. Let's have a salad because that uh, red health bar is kind of a lot to look at. If I can make it to the adventurers guild before they close, I don't know. We will see. I should make it. It's fine. Uh, hi, Marlon. I please have my sword back. It's only worth fifteen hundred. I feel like all the parts on their own are worth way more than that. I'm gonna have to leave the prizzy behind because sword. I'm not grinding for thirty fragments again. That was just way too annoying. Cat, please move out the way. Thank you. <laughs> like in real life, you just step over them, but. 
you know, dino logic. 78 grand, I mean, that kind of makes up for it. I probably should have looked at the breakdown of what I got for all those pickles and stuff, but it's fine. I mean, we, we know it was kind of a absolute mess. Anything good in the mail? Ah, there's my sword. So something very good in the mail. And Pam found this in a drawer somewhere. Was she drunk when I gave her the battery? Did she not remember that she needed one yesterday? Unless she's returned in the favor, but I think she might have forgotten. Pick up these grapes. I'm going to put these in the jam shed. I probably should have done it with the batch I got at the beginning of the video, but I kind of forgot to be honest. I was about to say, yeah, first stop, we're going to go to the island, but obviously I lost all my travel cores, so I can just make some more. I mean, they're really cheap to make, to be honest. And I made too many, but that's fine. Maybe I should leave some of these in here just in case, you know. I think 15's a safe number. If I lose some, it's not the end of the world then. Better be an artifact spot today. Not one on this side of the farm. I mean, it probably doesn't help that I've covered the entire farm in starfruit, but, you know, need those profits. The uh, the snake spine will come up eventually, even if it does take a long time. It's just annoying that it's uh, the only thing I have left. Well, another day with no artifact spot but we do have some pineapples so I'm gonna grab all that and I think what I also want to take care of today is putting some paths on the island so it's not so um plain I think it needs some paths or something do I have the recipe for the weathered path I don't okay so let's go up to the dwarf we'll bring a gift as well and I'll go and buy it from there um amethyst we'll take an amethyst actually I need to give one to Chris give him an aquamarine I do wish he had a spouse garden though here you go and don't forget to talk to him just having a little rest doing good we are so close next time definitely 14 hearts oh Gus wants a lobster do I have one yet no I don't think I do because I wait do I I'm getting so confused <laughs> um not in there not one in there I didn't know if I just had one chilling in a chest. I've got two of them. Okay, well, we can go and give that to him. There we go. That does remind me I do need to go check my crab pots, though, so let's bring some bait. I'll just bring the lot because I can't actually remember how many crab pots I have. I think it's something like six or eight or something, but I don't remember. Oh, we'll go to the dwarf first. Do you has? Yes, weathered floor recipe. That's what I want to go for. And then I'm going to take the minecarts to town. Here you go, Gus, the lobster you asked for. Take care, friend. Give me that 500 gold, but also, do you like blackberries? No, but you like salads. Maybe I'll just give you a salad. Here you go. <gasps> we got full friendship as well. Win. Okay. Something new on the board over here. Um, 100 grapes by the end of the season. Too late for that. And I could fish for some albacore, but I don't want to. <laughs> to put it simply. Right, let's see what we actually needed. We literally just need the crab from the crab pot. So kind of a shame that none of these are a crab, but maybe next time. Okay, so what I'm going to start off with is just taking a load of wood with me and then we will figure out what else we want to do to it. So, Island West. I'm probably- Oh no, I just pickaxed the fruit. Okay, never mind. I'm probably not going to do taro root forever, so I'm not really too fussed if, like, once these are grown up I don't have to worry about them anymore. I think I'm only going to make the pass on this, like, too wide because I think that's all I really have room for. Kind of the only thing I've left myself room for. So we'll go with something like this and we'll just get pathing. Some of it I will have to finish once I have the taro root grow as well i'm just gonna have to wait a little to fill in some of the gaps but that's okay and of course over here i left myself absolutely no room but at least i've got this little side here i can path up and if i remember correctly you can actually path around the fruit just fine so i might just path all of this section in then what i'm thinking over here is i'm gonna move those chests up one i think that's literally just so i can put another path under here and then i'm gonna move them back there we go i think the area is looking a little better not gonna undo the entire lot now but it has kind of just occurred to me that i probably shouldn't have done this until i got that last artifact spot because I've kind of paved over a lot of spots where the worms could have spawned, but it's fine. I'll just have to hope it turns up on literally any other spot. <laughs> it's a start though. I do, however, want to use some of these crystal paths and I think I'm going to put them up here. I want a few leading to this cave and then I also want some leading to these stairs here. And my plan is to have like a fence along the back kind of bit just over here. So the path will come along just behind the shipping bin or even alongside the shipping bin is what I mean. And then we want a little bit off here and a little bit off here. The decision is now whether I want to go make the fences already, and I think I will. I am enjoying a little bit of decorating today. Is that a hardwood fence? Yes, we'll take that too. I just realised I've been using my teleport cores and I just built the obelisk. Why am I doing this? It's just habit. I'm not going to fence, so what I'm also planning to do is fence and fibre all down here, but for now, because obviously I need the artifact spot to pop up, I'm going to leave the rest of the spots open that can come open for it. So my plan is to have fences along here. I don't know if I want to leave that one spot open. No, I won't. I'll do that. I'm going to come back at some point and fill these in with like long grass. I think that'll look Cute. Maybe I also fence along here. Yeah. Though I do need to come back with some lighting as well because that's kind of a problem. Very, very dark. But I won't do that right now. I'll just fence along the bottom first and these bits I'll leave because again, obviously artifact spots can spawn. Um, although I do need a way out somewhere so maybe I add a gate at some point. But not right now. We don't need to worry about that right now. But hey, I think that's a good start. Well, I'm pretty happy with how that little day of decorating went. First thing I'm noticing today is I've still got iridium sprinklers on my list of things to do and I don't remember why because I think I've done everything I wanted to do in Ginger Island so I'm going to just mark that as done. Looks like we just got some corn to harvest. Ooh, there's a couple of mushrooms as well that I'm definitely going to pick up. There we go, we got them all. 
Today at some point we're definitely going to take on that last mummy. And I'm really excited for the last day because it means we get to swap out our star fruit for ghost berries. And I cannot wait. I've also just remembered that I never actually filled out the casks in here and I should probably do that because we've literally never made aged wine. Oh and also I see it's Robin's birthday as well and I'm forgetting the queen of sauce. There's a cat in the way of the TV. Excuse me. We are learning crab cakes. We're going to make sure we run up a gift to Robin but first I'm going to make some gold quality goat's cheese because we might as well get the extra friendship points for that. And of course we can't forget to give Kristoff a gift. We should now be full right? Yes we are. So now it's just kind of a case of waiting a few days to see if we get a 14 heart cutscene or anything. I'm not entirely sure if there is one. But whilst waiting for the goat's cheese, let's pop over to Ginger Island to see if we can... Why can't I teleport? Hello? Did I put my travel cords away? I did. Wait, where... Oh, they're in here. Have they been in there the whole time? Because I've never actually deliberately put them in there today. Oh well. I just realised as well I didn't actually need to use that. I keep forgetting that I've actually got the um, island obelisk now. So, <laughs> whoops. Try and find a way to be able to access the beach to check for the spots. Not a single one. Yeah, I'm kind of starting to regret having pathed over the entire farm on the other side because I feel like a lot of the possible spots have been covered up. Usually I just have trouble with the snake spine not turning up like from within an artifact spot, but I've never had this much trouble actually getting one to spawn at all. I do know that they can't spawn over here though, I'm pretty sure. Hang on. Are these tillable? No, they're not. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover these in long grass because that was kind of my plans for it anyway question is do i have the fiber for it oh i've got loads of fiber what am i talking about <laughs> oh i just used all the fiber i didn't mean to use all of it okay well I, now i do not have loads of fiber <laughs> and this time i'm actually going to use the obelisk i mean technically the teleport cores bring us closer but it's not by that much and especially when you've got a speed boost it's not a big deal i should have brought my axe as well because i want to get behind there and get some in there but i can't quite reach but i've always felt like adding long grass in places does kind of add a lot where you put it in an intentional spot and it's not just kind of littering an area there's our goat's cheese, so let's put this away. I think it should go in the seed box, because it kind of is like a seed in a way. And then we'll go and get Robin her birthday gift. Here you go, Robin. Happy birthday. And that's her friendship full as well, so that was very much worth it. I mean, birthdays are always worth it. I do leverage those now. How far have we got to go with a lot of the friendships? Like, Vincent's really close to being done. Evelyn's also close. Yeah, Willie. Well, everyone's pretty much... The only people who aren't are, like, maybe six or seven people at the bottom. The dwarf I really need to work on. Maybe what I'll do today is make this a gifting day. Do I have something that will go well with giving everyone? I mean, I need to give the pale ale to Pickle Pete anyway, so I'll bring one of those with me. Although I'm gonna wait for city day for that, actually. Although I do know most people like salads, but they like them and not love them. Do I have any rabbit's feet? I have one single rabbit's foot, and I don't know if I wanna use it on this, so maybe not. I'm gonna start doing the void eggs into void mayo, though, because they seem to have loads of them. I do seem to have loads of gems though, so maybe I just bring loads of amethysts around. Actually, no, I've got a ridiculous amount of rubies. I'm going to use those. <laughs> the only thing I am going to bring though is a coffee for Harvey because that's a very easy loved gift. So who have I got that needs tending to? I could bring a few diamonds as well because quite a few people do love diamonds. There we go. Here you go. Oh, we've got a cutscene with Alex. Oh, hi Willow. Wait, I've only just noticed that Alex's wall is literally covered in footballs. Look at all these books. I haven't read a single one. Just the thought of cracking one open makes me nervous. But you can't make a decent living in this world without a brain. I'm worthless. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I'm not going to give up. If I work hard, I can do anything. Exactly. Hey, maybe one day soon we'll have dinner and discuss philosophy. Isn't that what you smart people talk about? <laughs> I mean, personally, no, but you know. I mean, hey, I get it. I'm not much of a book person either. Oh, we've got another cutscene. I thought something went wrong there because I was literally just standing in the doorway for ages. Oh hey, I was just doing my daily strength training routine. Sorry I have no shirt on. Okay. Oh, uh, Willow, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. I started to realise that, well, that I've been really rude towards you in the past. You know, about going pro and all that. I guess I might not actually be cut out for professional sports. Maybe it was just a childish dream, you know? Anyway, I want to apologise to you for bragging and being annoying about it. I appreciate that you stayed friends with me through all that. You were just determined. Okay, we're done with the cutscenes, right. Diamond for Evelyn. I have nothing for you, George. I do, actually. Do I have anything that you actually like, though? I'll give you a ruby. Basically, for the people who I don't have, like, a loved gift for, they're probably going to get a ruby if they like rubies. Although most people do like rubies. Oh, I forgot to bring bait for this. Um, is there anything in there that to 
day I want to take with me. No, I'm literally just waiting for the crab, so I am going to leave it for now. Or actually, what I'm going to do is buy bait from Woolly Shop in a second. I have a ruby. Maybe I should have brought a frozen tear for Sebastian, but that's okay. And I'm literally only going to buy enough for how many pots we have as well. And this time I'm checking that they're actually all got bait in it. So like, if you see these two little diagonal lines in the middle of the crab pot, I don't know if you knew this and I only found this out recently. Um, that means there's actually bait in it and if it's just straight red like the edges are, then there's nothing inside. I can't believe I didn't know that for the longest time. This is for you. This is for you. Oh god, everyone's stuck inside each other. <laughs> oh no. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, Sam. Oh no, I didn't mean to give the di the- oh no, it's a ruby, it's fine. There we go, we got everyone here. And then we do the saloon. Hi, I'll take your order in a few moments, miss. Hello, Willow, what a pleasant surprise. I was just stopping in to relax after an eight hour writing session. Bartender, fetch me your finest ale and bring some wine for the lady. I feel like I've had this cutscene before. I mean, I know I've had it before in like other saves, but I feel like I've had it in this one. But also don't assume I like wine, I don't like wine. Now I'm gonna have to like drink it and pretend to like it. <laughs> There you go, sir. As long as it's definitely not red, I couldn't drink that at all. I couldn't even uh, bake that one. Wait, I propose a toast to our friendship. That's a great idea. Here's to us. Strong stuff. We've had like one sip of ale. Chill. I mean, hey, it affects everyone differently, right? So who have I not given a gift to yet? Shane. Shane's already got full friendship, so I won't worry about him. Probably need Leah. Let's do the goat's cheese, because it's gold. And then... Emily, are you full? No, you're not. Here you go. And now we're full with Emily. So we've got quite a few more done today. Is there anyone I've missed? Um, I mean, there's some people that have full friendship already, so I don't need to worry about them. Oh, I didn't get to jazz yet, so I'll do that. I could have sworn... Did I not give anything to Alex? Whoops. I think I got so distracted with the cutscenes that I forgot to actually give him anything. So here you go. And whilst I'm here, I didn't seem to talk to Evelyn earlier, so I'll make sure to do that. Talking is small friendship points, but... All of them are valuable. And then can't forget Jazz. Anyone else we forgot? Maru, Leo, and Dwarf and Krobus. Okay. I will go back and get some stuff for Krobus because we've got some void eggs at home. Or some horse radishes, let me see. Or have I got a chest down there already? I don't remember. I mean, I'll bring some if I've got some. And if I don't, then... Ooh, void eggs. I've got gold void eggs, but I would prefer to give iridium quality stuff. Oh, I've got 13 horseradish. I'll bring six of those with me. I'll bring the void eggs anyway. And I will go ahead and bring a chest as well. I'm gonna bring a couple because maybe I can put one with the dwarf too. I should probably try and get to Maru though before she goes to bed. I don't know if it's already too late though. But hey, we'll try. Oh no, she's still awake. Is there anything in particular? Oh, she loves diamonds, so here you go. Then from there, I want to go to the sewers, but I'm trying to see if there was like a quick way to do it. Maybe we do... Just the forest. Gets us significantly closer and there's no one out here to see us do this. A shadow person above ground? This is outrageous. You people were responsible for the death of my entire family. If you dwarves hadn't driven us from our ancestral home, we'd never had to resort to violence. I'm sorry about your family. Sorry isn't gonna cut it. Don't fight. Robus didn't do it. Let me at him, he's despicable. Come and get it, shrimpy. Rude. Hello, wizard. A little help here, please. Oh my god, he set them on fire. Silence, both of you. The elemental wars have long been finished. You have no reason to be fighting any longer. The two of you must make peace for the sake of the humans that live around you. Surely you can see that. Very well, I'll stay away from the sewer from now on. And I'm truly sorry about the past, Wolf. I have no personal gripe with you. Very good. I shall cast a seal of promise to finalise this agreement. What happens if they break it? Okay, yeah, I did not set up a chest yet, so I'm gonna put one here. I'm gonna put all of this stuff in here. Oh, I need to actually bring one with me. Hard to give a gift without the gift. Here you go. Leo will be asleep by now, so I'll sort him out tomorrow, but let's first deal with the dwarf. Here you go. I do already have some chests up here, so I'm probably just going to make use of these. If I shove one over here, it should be fine. I'm going to put some of my rubies in there and just leave them there. I'll also deal with the wine and the pickles tomorrow because I won't have time to refill all of them tonight. Now let's head to bed. Right, today's a really good luck day, so I wonder if we just do skull caverns instead. But I do have to still fill up all of my wine and stuff. I do still need to take care of that. That's the wine taken care of. And then I'm going to go and head in the greenhouse and pick all the... No, I'm not. There is no ancient fruit to pick. Okay, never mind. In that case, hopefully I've got some stuff I can put in here. I've got some, that's fine. And looks like I've got nowhere near enough stuff, so I'm going to make sure I get outside and put something in this jar here. What I really should have done is kept all of my corn and stuff from yesterday, because I would have then actually had enough, but it's okay. What can we do? But this should actually make for a very decent money day because of it. So let's chuck all of that in there. And then let's see what we've got for Skull Caverns. So we still have 62 staircases, so that's pretty good. Bring our bombs, our spicy eel. Do we want the spicy eel? Yeah, we'll bring the spicy eel. Um, and the triple shots too. Is there anything else I kind of need? Not really. Maybe the life elixirs just in case. 
And then this is where I'm actually leaving my travel cores because that's where I found them earlier. So let's do this. We'll take down that last mummy once and for all. Oh, there it is. Lucky right from the get go. There we go. I'm still going to carry on um, with Skull Caverns today because we might as well make the most of being here on a very good luck day. I kind of forgot to eat the spicy eel though. That would help, wouldn't it? Definitely getting very lucky with the ladders actually. Let's see if we can get anything from the middle over here. There's literally nothing. Awesome. Yeet. <laughs> It's just so funny throwing the flying enemies away. Does that mean there's a freebie somewhere? Because this is a suspicious amount of ladders. I mean, rocks to have broken to not get a ladder. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. What's going on today? The sheer amount of enemies. Wow, 15 levels? Okay, let's go. <gasps> Prizzy! Haven't had one of those for a while. Well, we got some last time, didn't we? But it'd been a while since then, and I think that's because I hadn't actually been down here in a long time. Gonna start using bombs, because we are, like, less than halfway with our mana. Don't want to lose all of it. Though, to be fair, I've kind of wasted some of it on using the wrong spell sometimes, so that's fun. Ooh, first treasure floor. Parsnip seeds? Okay, they're going in the bin. Those were not worth it. Let's jump down this hole. Eight levels. No, there was a hole over there. I missed it. Damn it. Okay, never mind. The amount of times I've done that where I spot something as soon as I go down a ladder, that's not ideal. Well, 100 treasure quality sprinklers. Oh, um, I mean, maybe I'll just sell them, but <laughs> damn, we've got terrible treasure today. Parsnip seeds and sprinklers. Another prizzy in a hole. Let's go. Where are we going? Five levels. I'll take it. I think before using my prizzies for anything, I'm gonna try and make sure all of my tools are enchanted the way I want them to be. And then after that, I might every now and again use them to speed up some of the ghostberry wine. Or at least the growing of the ghostberries, I mean. Nice way to fast track some money. I think I also want an area where I just have an absolute buttload of furnaces as well because I've been meaning to, like, mass smelt some iridium. But I just kind of haven't. I usually don't make more than like 10 furnaces on any save so I should probably get on that because I know that making iridium bars is a really good way of making loads of money. Actually have I got the correct profession for that? No okay I'm gonna need to change that at some point. I'm gonna add that to my list. I want to switch to I think it's blacksmith is what the profession is called. I don't remember. I've only just really started using that particular branch. This does mean though I have to start actually bothering to pick up the iridium. I mean I do anyway, but I don't go and comb through every floor for every single node. I probably should start doing that. Although is it more worth my while to just wait until I have a good cluster? I don't know. I think I've now got enough mana regen to be able to use it more, so I'm gonna start doing that for the last like hour of the day. Just kind of blast through what I can. It does mean I can clear floors pretty quickly. There we go, there's the pass out. Oh no, I left two iridium all behind. Oh well. I think I got plenty in the end. Or at least a good couple hundred, I'm hoping. I'll have a look in a second. But hey, 623,000 gold. Can't be mad at that. That's from all the pickles, the ancient fruit jelly, and the star fruit wine. We love a good wine day. I did, however, forget to go check for artifact spots yesterday. I think today is going to be the day that I make my city trip. Just putting everything away first because I've got so much stuff on me. Then let's also... Wait, did I just walk through... Maybe I'm just imagining that. I could have sworn I just literally almost walked through the grape trellis, but hey, we carry on. Got some more stuff for the jam shed, but obviously still not enough. Ooh, honey. I'll take some honey. Very rose honey is good money. I probably should have more than two bee houses, but I'm too lazy to make any more. So I'm sticking all these away. Oops, not the salads. I kind of want the salads. And then, oh no, I don't have any cheap wine for Selena, but I'm just going to have to start sacrificing my starfruit wine. I need to start remembering to maybe keep some more behind. Bring our pale elf pickled peat and then an aquamarine for David. I do also want to bring a mango to Leo as well, but I think I can just go and bring that from the actual Ginger Island farm. All right, please give me an artifact spot today and please let it be that stupid snake vertebrae. Man, the game just really doesn't want us to get it. <gasps> Wait, oh my God, please. This could be the moment. Damn it. We've been waiting like over a week for an artifact spot and the one that it is is just not it. Now I could do the thing where I reset days to try and get it, but I just feel wrong doing that. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. I mean, I get it if you're doing like a speed run or whatever, but I am not. So I'm not going to do that. Before I go to the city, I'm going to go ahead and give Leo a mango. Here you go. Then from here, I'm going to teleport to the interchange and just get straight into the city. Here you go, David, one aquamarine. And where are we with him now? We're only one heart away. We're getting so close. Let's see if Selena is home. She is not. I pretty much have no idea where she goes in the day, but we'll go and try some of the spots we now know of. There's a couple of birds that she stares at, and also now we know that she hangs out by the mall as well. Actually, whilst we're here, I'm going to go ahead and go into the Joja place because I want to see if we've got any new cutscenes with Kristoff. First up, we'll try his CEO office. 
And nope, I mean, this place is pretty much abandoned now because he literally doesn't seem to ever leave the house for any reason at all. All right, Selena's at neither of the birds that she usually stares at, so we'll go and try them all. And also we'll try the pharmacy too. She might be in there. She's not there. She's not here either. Okay, um, she just might not have to have some wine today. We might just have to come back a little later, but for now what I think I'm going to do is go and harvest a lot of the fibre from around the place because obviously I kind of accidentally used all of mine and I know that it grows in abundance around the city. All right, grabbed all the fibre from within the city, so let's now go ahead and do all the stuff that's kind of like on the road on the way home. Once it hits roughly evening time, which is I suppose kind of soon, we'll go ahead and go back to the city and see if we can catch Selena again. And I was going to say I'll try not to get it all because then it can kind of like spread, but it is almost winter, so as soon as it turns to winter, it will disappear. And knowing me, I'm going to forget in the next episode to come back and grab it anyway, and I don't think it's going to have expanded by much by that point. So I might as well just take the entire lot. I mean, hey, we got another hundred, so that's something. And I shall start heading back, because hopefully she's at least changed position by now. There she is, staring at the bird. I feel like I can rely on her to come and stare at a bird at some point in the day. But that now puts us at just over six hearts, so that's some good progress. By the time we actually make it to the ghost town, we should be in good time to give Pickle Pete his pale ale. Is he here today? Yes, he is. Thank goodness. Here you go. Give me some broken glasses again. Please stop calling me trash. How rude. Is there any more fibre around this place other than like the odd bit here or there? I guess it's only like one or two. There are a few artifact spots though and I'm going to take advantage of those. Not a single old coin though. Oh, no, we did get a couple. I am also slaying these ghosts as we go because sometimes they do drop fibre too. So I might as well take advantage of that also. And I'd usually teleport home, but I am walking today because we've got these little wilderness golems that I might as well also slay for the fibre. I wonder if the Adventurers Guild is still open actually. Maybe we should go and make our way up there tonight. <gasps> Look at all this fiver. I can't remember if it's 10 or 12 they close, but there's only one way to find out. I mean, there's definitely more than one way to find out, but this is the way I want to find out. Oh, we can get in. Last reward. Oh, so first we've got the phone number for the item recovery service. And oh, I didn't realize I had this much stuff. Whoops. Um, how do I, can I come back? Okay. As long as I can come back for the stuff, I was kind of nervous about that then. Anything I can sell to make some room, I suppose yes. And I'm going to bin off some of this other stuff that we just got because I don't really need it. And now I should be able to actually claim everything. There we go. I can't have been in here for a while then. So where have I been keeping my hats and stuff? I've been keeping them in here, but this chest is kind of full. So I might have to start also putting them in the one next to it. I mean, there's some room in here. That'll do. Ooh, and I'm wondering if I can get down to the sewers and change my profession. I guess we teleport to the forest and then fly on down. Okay, so let's reset our mining ability and then teleport back to the farm. So this time I'm going to choose miner and then I'm going to choose blacksmith. That way we should get more money if we choose to sell bars. Especially at this point where I don't have a need to get a ridiculous amount of gems. It was George's birthday today, we should definitely take care of that. So let's see if I've got any iridium quality leaks around. I've got 30 hay from Marnie, I'm going to go shove that straight in the silo. Hopefully I've um, not run out yet. Just want to keep on top of like refilling the silo. 213 pieces were added, so we were close to running out. It was a good thing I got that in the mail actually. Okay, yes, I do have a few leaks, so we'll go ahead and go give him one of those straight away. <gasps> There's all this fiber here too. I should probably take care of that because I'm going to forget and we kind of need all of it. I mean, in winter, I'm probably going to end up growing a load of fiber anyway, but I might as well take what's kind of already free and on the ground, you know? Considering it's all going to just disappear in a few days, it would kind of be a waste if I left it behind. Here you go, George. Happy birthday. And there we go. Full friendship. Gonna make sure to talk to the others whilst we're here for the slight extra friendship points. And then no one's around just yet, so I am just gonna go teleport straight to the island. Obviously, our first stop is looking for any artifact spots around. I'm gonna use the cloud to do this. Uh, nope, there are no artifact spots today. I am gonna go ahead and break the muscle rocks though, just in case ones can spawn under there. <gasps> no, some weeds grew. That's annoying. I mean, kind of, except I can just um, water it with magic anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. So I've still got 300 star fruit seeds. I feel like I should probably use them, but I do really want to swap to these eerie seeds, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> Obviously making sure to get some speed grow down on those spots as well. Okay, let's do this. Wait, why did those turn into water spots? Can these grow better next to water? That's pretty cool if so. Oh, they do grow better next to water. They only take six days when they're next to water. Okay, well, I'm not going to pick them up any earlier anyway. I'm just going to leave them as is. Okay, we're done. That took us a good while, but hey, it's going to be worth it. I'm also going to go ahead and harvest all this taro here because we don't really need that anymore. Wait, did I ever finish? Oh, island ingredients. Okay, well, that was what that was for. I thought I had already finished it, but whoops. 
a good thing I went and checked on this then, isn't it? Um, there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell all the gold ones again. Um, I had been saving them, but I feel like I've got enough now. And especially since we're switching over to a ghostberry wine, I might end up just selling all the star fruit anyway, or at least turning it into jam. So this stuff looks like it's gonna be ready in nine days. It does seem to grow faster next to the water, but I'm not really too like bothered about that. I kind of don't wanna pick just a few up. So we will call that done. And then what is nine days from now? So that's gonna be the fifth of winter. Ghostberries, winter five. There we go. We've also switched to the blacksmith and we sorted out the mummy. So our list is getting smaller and I'm not gonna bother pathing over these bits because if those are potential chances for more artifact spots, I might as well keep them around. And that's the same reason why I'm pickaxing all of these hoed spots too. Okay, let's go and stick our stuff away. I think I'm in the wrong, no, I'm in the right shed. So the crystal fruit I can probably remove for now. I don't really need it anymore. Maybe the crystal fruit I'm gonna turn into jelly instead. We'll stick it in here. And then I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to do to prepare for winter and I'm not sure what it was. I mean, I know what I'd usually do and stuff, but I've got all the hay I need. I don't have any grass to scythe because my animals have eaten literally all of it. Tidying up the trees and stuff, I'm probably not going to do until the winter comes because obviously they're still growing every now and again and I don't want to be chasing a moving target. I do have a tiny bit of grass here, but I might as well wait for that to fully grow out. Plus we only just refilled the silo anyway. What I did forget to do as well is I wanted to check the perfection tracker just to make sure the months to Slayer thing is definitely done. Once they say hero, yes, there we go. So we're 54%. Farmer level 24 out of 25. Have I still not finished the fishing level? Oh God. Maybe we should go take care of that. Uh, <laughs> let me find my fishing rod. Ooh, actually I need to go and refill those crab pots anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the fiberglass rod. I don't really know why I've kept it this long. <gasps> why did I just do that? I meant to bin something. What? 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 Oh no. Okay, well, I mean, at least I've got loads of essences, so it's not the end of the world, but I can't believe I just binned all of my travel cores. Why did I do that? Thanks, brain. Is there anything else in the fishing tab that I can worry about right now? I mean, not really. The glacier fish is gonna come in winter. The winter's the winter. The legend's gonna come in spring. The eel's also gonna come in spring and the crab is from the crab pot. So I think it's just a case of just kind of fishing in general. I mean, where am I with the level anyway? It looks like I'm less than a quarter of the way in, maybe like 20% into the level. So we've got kind of quite a way to go. So first things first, let's refill these pots. Kind of annoying that none of them still have a crab in it. But hey, I mean, technically we've got till spring for that. As soon as I hit level 10, I could technically go and get some magic bait and deal with it that way, but I don't know if I want to yet. I am adding another thing to my list and that's the furnace area that we were talking about earlier. I'm probably gonna do it at the quarry or something, just so we've got a place to smelt a whole load of bars. But for now, I'm just gonna literally chill and fish. I might even wait until I pass out, I'm not entirely sure. Although I could avoid the penalty just by teleporting home and because I was talking, I definitely just missed a fish. I think we'll just teleport home as soon as it hits like 1 a.m. It'll give me time to sort out and sell any fish I wanna sell as well. Okay, 1 a.m. Everyone should be in bed, so I don't think teleporting home is gonna be a problem. Let's see what we have to sell. So we got quite a few albacore and super cucumber. I'm probably gonna keep the iridium quality stuff. I'm gonna keep the sea cucumber for now as well because I don't know of how many of those I've got and I know I need them for cooking. Or I know I need at least one. Oh, I do have some super cucumber, so that's fine. I mean, I don't urgently need the small amount of money I would get anyway, so I'm not all that fussed. I'm gonna get this mayo in the shipping bin and then we'll head to bed. There we go, 159,000. We got quite a lot of money for that star fruit. So this was a very good money making episode. Ooh, we're starting off with the solar panel recipe in the mail. That is a win. And I think what we're gonna do is uh, go straight away to the island and see if we can knock out this damn snake spine. I don't know how many episodes we've been doing now where we've had to be looking for it, but I really hope it comes to an end soon. Well, we're not getting any artifact spots today. I've checked the entire farm both sides of the little river thing and nothing. Now I can see my jars already, but actually, you know what? I think what I'm gonna start doing is bringing some of the star fruit over because we do have over a stack and we can start making star fruit jelly. And actually, I just realized this is actually the last episode before winter comes. So I'm gonna have to think about what we need to do for winter prep. And really, I think that's literally just making sure I've got enough hay and such. I think I already do, but I will double check. There we go, there's all our jars full. Oh, no, I missed an entire row. And we should get a little bit of gold for all this stuff. I am just popping back to the island real quick because I can see in the corner I've got speed grow as a reminder and I don't remember if I've like got enough of the stuff or not. I do have 195, you know what? Yeah, we'll go and get some more just in case. Even though I've got some, I just want to make sure I've got like, you know, several hundred in case we need to make any changes somewhere or in prep for spring or whatever. So uh, how many do I want to buy? I mean, I've got enough money to just get like I'll get like 600 and then we'll have like 800 and something and all these trees I think I'm gonna wait till winter to cut down because I do have enough wood for now 
Ooh, but what I do want to maybe do today is start on that furnace area. So let's go have a look at the quarry because I think I'm going to put them all here. Let's clean this entire area up using our magic. Oh, I didn't realize I already had loads of speed grow here. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to remove it from my list for now just so um I don't have to <laughs> think about getting it and getting confused again. And then what was it I needed to make furnaces? It's stone and copper ore, right? Yeah, okay. At least I've got loads of both. I've got 600 copper ore and loads of stone. Okay, we don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to bring a couple of chests with me just to put the output while we're there. And I'm literally just going to make as many furnaces as I can. Oh, it's only 30. Okay, we're going to have to go get some copper then. Paths wise, what do I want to do? Do I have all the path recipes yet? Yes, I do. Okay. I think what I'd quite like to do is have a couple of the weathered paths. I say a couple, some weathered paths going up the middle. And then around the edge, I'm probably going to have the stone floor. So I'm going to have to get a lot of that. And I think I'm going to literally pave over the entire thing. Let's just start with that lot first. See how we do. Maybe what this will end up being is part furnace and part, uh, hello. What was I saying? Part furnace and part kegs. But first I just want to path over the actual path that is here because I don't think you can actually place items on those spots. Yeah, you can't pay place item. Oh no, you can. Wait, what? Why did I think you can't? I mean, I think it'd be cool to have it over the path anyway. And I probably went a bit overkill with the um, weathered paths, but that's fine. Maybe it should be too wide because it doesn't quite line up with the bridge, which is very not satisfying. And I forgot to put on animation cancelling. Of course I have. I think I'm going to leave the vertical ones actually uh, three wide just because I kind of want it going either side of the little track here. Actually, can I put anything on top of there? And yes, I can. Okay, like that. And maybe what we do is we put one of our chests in this little corner here and maybe the other one can go here. So let's cover over the rest. Okay, there's one half done. Yeah, maybe I'll path into the little quarry cave entrance as well. Something like that. All right, let's get the rest of this stone down. There we go. And it's kind of dark, so we really can't see the result very well. But um, it's a start. Maybe we start placing the furnaces down now. So I think I'll have the furnaces down. Should I have them down this side or should I have them up here? I think I'll have them up here. There we go. I mean, it looks really weird, but it's a start. I mean, maybe we probably could reorganize this a bit better, but I do kind of want to cram in as many as possible. <laughs> All right, it's already late, so let's head home. Okay, so I've just gone to put my paths away and this chest is kind of full. Um, I'm gonna have to get a dresser tomorrow. <laughs> it's kind of reminded that they exist in the last video. Looks like we've made 45,000 gold. Not bad for a load of random stuff. Ooh, I still haven't collected the gold from island ingredients. Whoops, <laughs> I'll be taking that. And looks like we've got our last, I think it's our last eggplant harvest. Yes, five days after this. So grab all the ones we can, as well as the grapes. And what's in our mail today? Oh, a bream from Demetrius. I'm probably gonna shove that straight in the shipping bin. And tomorrow we've got Spirit's Eve as well. I actually am gonna sell all the stuff today because obviously soon we're changing from starfruit wine to ghost brew wine. So I can use the berries for berries, the star fruit for uh, jelly instead. Wait, I do have loads of blackberries. Did I think I lost them? I thought I lost them, didn't I? Oh no. Oh well. Well, I've got them for when the salads run out. Actually, I should probably save the salads to score caverns or something, shouldn't I? Let's switch back into the blackberries. Okay, so whilst we're waiting for Robins to open, actually, let's go see if the traveling merchant has one. If she's got one, I'm probably just going to buy it from her instead of trekking all the way up to Robins. Please have one. No, it's just a stump seat. Okay, never mind. We tried. <laughs> I really need to think about something to put in this fish pond because it's kind of just redundant at the moment. So um, I've got midnight carp in one of them. What do I want to put in the other? I mean, I suppose I could do sturgeons for caviar, but I don't really harvest them enough. So I think it's more about fish that I want to like multiply. And it might actually be carp because I'm going to need some carp for like carp surprise and I can't be bothered to go catch more of them. So we'll just go shove them in there. Once I've got like five of them, then I will uh, remove them again. Let's do our daily snake spine check. There's no artifact spots on this part of the beach and what I'm also going to do is remove this one single piece of path because obviously that is another chance for the little worms to spawn and um, I was using it to keep track of I think the mussel walnuts but obviously I kind of forgot to put paths down after that so <laughs> it ended up being a bit pointless but it is a good way to track how many walnuts you've got from those sources. Okay well it's definitely not going to be today. Robin will definitely be open now so let's go pop up there. We'll grab ourselves... Which one do we want? What choices do we have? I... Wait, we've got the furniture catalogue, don't we? I think it's over at the city. I'm not going to buy one when I can actually get one for free. What I'll do whilst I'm up this way today is I will get some more copper because obviously we want more little furnaces for our furnace section. And I suppose this is a good chance for us to get some fibre as well. Whoops, wrong spell. 
Now to get copper I'm mostly going to cycle through floor 20 because it's a small floor you can see pretty much the entire thing as you come down the ladder. But if a ladder presents itself like this I will still go down it to see. I don't see myself getting that many more copper today because it isn't the best luck day so um, I'm not finding all that many nodes. I probably should have brought some spicy eel from home maybe but we'll make do with what we can get. My other option is obviously- oops wrong floor. Uh, my other option is obviously to just buy the copper from Clint's but I don't really want to do that. Kind of saving my money at this point for things like the obelisks and the golden clock so I don't really want to just spend it on uh, copper ore. Especially when I can with a little bit of effort just farm it myself. Oh my god this three set of nodes is probably one of the best clusters I've had all day so that's kind of saying how not amazing this day is going. I do have like 200 or so copper ore so I mean it, it's not that bad but it has been like solely focused on getting nothing but copper ore and I feel like if we were having better luck with the amount of nodes that were popping up we would have got so much more but it's fine. I mean especially considering this will probably only make like 10 furnaces. <laughs> what I probably should have done is brought spicy eel but we uh obviously can't go back in time now. I'm probably gonna stay here not quite till pass out but like close enough. Mind you it probably would have even gone faster still if I wasn't also farming most of the fibre. In fact we've got almost as much fibre as we have copper that's wild. Maybe it's because of the luck today that I'm getting more fibre I don't know. I'll stay in here till like one and then I will pop on home and I'll make this one our last round. Oh look we've got like five nodes on this one that's not bad. There we go so that means we are gonna end on 236 copper ore by the time we yep pick the other one up. Let's get to bed before we pass out. I did see the jades were ready but I don't want to risk uh forgetting to go to bed because that can happen in the few seconds. We had a little bit of gold from the random stuff we sold yesterday. And ooh, our pumpkins are ready, but first um, we'll put away all of our loot and stuff. What I will do is take the uh, copper straight out and turn it straight into furnaces to go put up either quarry. So we made 12, it's something. And I think what I'm gonna do at this point is turn these two crystallariums into jade because I do think I've got enough of the uh, celestine now, but we could always use more jade. Let's go ahead and grab all of our pumpkins. And then for the winter, I think what I'll do is I will probably cover these in fiber seeds. Just means that they need literally no maintenance or anything and I can just scythe them all on the first of spring and they'll be fine. Mind you, the next batch of pickles I can do as pumpkins now that I've got this many. But do I just use the star fruit anyway? No, I think I will use the pumpkins because then I've got a head start on it and not running out. Of course, any gold ones I will just sell. Looks so weird seeing the fields empty again. So we've got 45 gold ones, let's just shove those straight in there. Do I sell the silver ones as well? No, I'll keep them for now because I can always sell them later but I can't unsell them if I need them again. All right, let's shove those in there. I mean, I do have a fair amount of other stuff in here. I'm probably just gonna get rid of the grapes because I don't really need them and the blueberries. Then we've also got our last fairy rose honey as well. So let's go ahead and pick the fairy rose. I'm gonna keep the fairy rose for gifts just in case. The honey I can sell. All right, let's go up to the quarry. I'm gonna bring most of the coal and all of the iridium ore. There is a lot of forage on this bus stop today. Oh my God. I can't not grab it all, even if uh, the money from it is very minimal in comparison to what I'm trying to do, but every little helps, you know? So over to the quarry. Oh God, that does look awful, doesn't it? Do I just like, I'm wondering if I do just kind of make it line up. I think that would actually look better, even if I do like miss out on a few, but I feel like it's worth it to not look terrible. And maybe we actually put a fence behind here. So let's go home and grab some. I'm hoping 26 fences is enough for what I want. Mainly because I can't be bothered to go and get some more. Okay, well, I only needed six, so that's fine. <laughs> oh no, I need two more here as well. So let's pick those up, put those there. I'm also gonna fence off behind here as well. I think that makes sense. And I do think that looks quite a lot better. Like, like I don't mind the way it kind of curves around here just because like it's only basically one rock but where it was going in and out there it looked really awkward. So let's put down the rest of these furnaces. Oh that's so unsatisfying I've got one left. It'll have to do for now. And then let's get our iridium going. I don't think I've ever smelted anything on this scale before and we're gonna leave all our ore and coal here. I don't have that much coal actually. Like I've just used quite a lot of it. I am also gonna change the color of these chests because they do kind of blend in. So if I make them, I'll make them white. Do I make them white or should I make them another color? How does it, oh the yellow looks Horrible. I don't like that at all. I just kind of want them to stand out a bit but like not look weird. I think we'll go with the white. But there, it's a start. Now let's see how often I actually remember to come and uh, switch all the ores out. So I think what I also want to do today is go over to the city. We'll go deal with the gifts there. So I've grabbed some wine for Selena. We'll go get an aquamarine for David and a pale ale for pickled beet. And whilst I'm at the city, I'll go pick up a dresser from my furniture table. You know what? We're actually going to get the bus today. So whilst we're near it, let's stop off at the apartment first. <gasps> Selena, oh my god, I can actually find you. Here, have this. From six out of eight, we're getting there with her friendship. Let's have a look how close we are to the next heart because I kind of want to know. Um, she should be down here. Okay, we're not that far off. So, my apartment, my bit gold, um, 
tear pump. Wait, what did I do with the- did I leave the stuff here? Is it gone? Oh my god. Maybe it's at home. Uh, I'm praying. I, I, I could have sworn I definitely bought a furniture table and a catalog, didn't I? I'm really hoping they haven't vanished and I've just lost them in a chest somewhere. So we'll go home and find them in a bit. But let's go give out uh, the aquamarine to David first because we can always come back out later for the ghosty dude. There is David. Here you go. Talking to the governor. So Willow, are you friends with a Mr. Key? Ooh, he knows stuff. He saw his name in a book. Maybe he wants to adventure somewhere one day. All right, no one's around at the moment, so we'll teleport back to the farm and I'm going to panic chest. Panic chest? Panic check all my chests. Oh, actually, did we have enough hay? We've got over a stack, so I think we're good. Right, so where am I going to look for it? Are they in here? No, no. Wait, is it inside? I think I might have left all the decorating stuff together. Please be in here. Well, the catalog is, but the furniture one isn't. Have I left it in the house somewhere? No? Uh, wait, am I blind? No, it's definitely not in here. What about in the chest out here? It's not in there either. Um, hmm. That's awkward. I have lost a 200,000 gold furniture table in I don't know where. I don't know where I've put it. Uh, oh no. Okay, maybe I will just go and buy a dresser from uh, Robin for now. Although our house does need decorating, I'm just not very good with decorating houses. Do I just buy another table? No, I feel like I've worked so hard to save up all this gold, so I will just buy the dresser. I really hope she's got one for sale today. There we go, an oak one, that'll do. Oh my god, I can't believe I've lost that thing. How do you lose the furniture catalogue? This is me we're talking about, to be fair, I'm actually not all that surprised. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap the dresser like here and then we'll go and empty all of our rings and stuff in there. We have a lot of them and the hats. So we're grabbing all of these and the shirts and all of these overflowing rings. Why are there sprinklers in that chest also? Grab those, put them in there. Okay, shoving all of those inside here. There we go. And now we can pick these up as and when we want them. Oh my god, Zuzu University jersey. I forgot about that. Oh, I don't want to go to sleep just yet. Let's not miss out on Spirit's Eve. So now I should have loads of room, or at least some room. Well, there's loads of room in here, so I can actually go and move those paths over. So let's grab those, shove them in there. The animals are going in, so I am going to go ahead and pick up all the truffles. I can't wait to kind of clean all this stuff up. We'll have to figure out something to do with this little area here. I mean, I suppose I could just make it more crops, because I probably could fit a few more iridium sprinklers in, couldn't I? Might be worth it for the bit of extra cash. And then it's six o'clock now, so I will just go ahead and start walking out to the ghost town, see if we can pick up any goodies along the way. Maybe I'll clean out the little um, quarry areas over there too. Obviously not in the ghost town but just like in the road on the way. Oh there are bones under this tree? That's weird. I wonder if that's just a spirit's eve night thing. Ooh and let's pick up the last of the flowers up here too. And mushrooms. I forgot mushrooms can spawn here. I don't think spirit's eve starts till like 10 anyway so we've got a little bit of time. This is a good way to get some cold though. I do seem to be getting cold from some of these slimes so let's go ahead and start clearing all this out nice and easy. And we've got another section over here. So how much more copper did we get from that? We got another 66 so that's enough for another like three furnaces so definitely worth it. And then over to Pete. Here is your gift. Change is in the air. Yes, it is. Oh, I forgot about this little section here too. Take advantage of all of that. And I think from here, I'm just going to teleport straight back to the farm. There we go. Let's put all of our stuff away and then we'll get ready for the festival because by the time I get towards the bus stop, it should be just about ready to start. All right. First things first, friendship points. So who have we actually got to talk to here? Can't do dwarf. I don't think Lee will be here. So we've got Maru, Alex, Harvey, Kent, Jack. Do you know what? I'm just going to talk to everyone. I'm too lazy to try and figure out. Anything here that we need? I think I've already got the rare crow, but I'm gonna buy another one anyway. I feel like I'm just accumulating loads of rare crows just in case. It's always the worst thing when it's a festival rare crow that's the last one you need. <laughs> I feel this at every festival though, and it's so horrible having to walk at normal speed once you've been zooming around. I feel like I'm doing this maze at an absolute snail's pace. <laughs> okay, there's our golden pumpkin. Now we slowly make our way back through so we can go home. Okay, we made it finally. And the rare crow, what do I wanna do with it? Uh, I'm probably gonna go stick it with the collection of rare crows that don't have a home. Actually, no. I'm I'm gonna go put it up here you know ready for when we want to actually put some crops in this area so if i put it here it's gonna have the whole area covered we should be good and i can see that there's some jelly ready so i might as well swap that out too oh no i missed one we'll go ahead and use the pumpkins first use up all the cheap stuff before we get into the uh star fruit and such gives the time for the ghost berries to actually grow hopefully i can do this before the time runs out i probably should have waited till tomorrow to be fair i would say the speed boost helps me but it kind of doesn't because it uh it means that i missed quite a lot you know what i'll probably end up passing out in here let's be honest as long as we get what we can done and i see when i've missed up here there we go i think i've actually got them all this time maybe we'll find out in three days and i'm gonna go and try and go to bed with the oh no maybe not I'm sleeping out on the path <laughs> i was gonna just leave the pumpkins on me to try and see if i can make it to bed but nope we didn't i didn't even get to sell the jelly we'll sell it tomorrow 
Let's grab our last queen of sauce of the season. We've got the fiddlehead risotto. We're gonna have to do a mass cooking spree at some point. And we'll shove all the jelly in there, which is, oh my God, 295 grand. <gasps> and we got cranberries on the last day. That's quite nice. Thank you for the super meal, Kent. And Harvey billing me. Are you good, Christoph? Just like chilling like in the porch. Look at the line of animals. Hello. Have all the pets since you're all very close together and convenient. All right, the golden pumpkin, what do I do? done with the golden pumpkins in the past i think it's in one of these other chests isn't it i know i've seen them but i just don't remember where uh maybe it is on my crop chest do i still have one or is this no i, I do own three where are they what have i done with them you know if i press the stack button on every chest it'll eventually reach the one where it has the golden pumpkins in it <gasps> there they are oh there's one of them i don't know where the third one is Right, let's grab our last cranberries. I'm not going to turn these ones into jelly because soon it's going to be star fruit. Or do I keep them anyway just in case? Maybe I should. I'm going to check the fridge as well to see if I've been saving any. Oh yeah, we've got 16 of them. We'll make it 20 and then we'll get rid of the rest. I probably don't even need that many for cooking. I'll just keep the basic ones in the shed. Right, it's the last day of the season and I'm pretty sure everyone would have eaten as much grass as they would have wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and scythe all of it. I think there's still a few bits around that I might as well take advantage of. So we have this little section down here, a tiny bit down here, stuff that's in the fences, and then I think that's all of it. And how's our silo doing? 196, okay, we're good. What I quite like to do today is maybe make some more kegs to start the keg area over there because I do have some copper and iron bars that I can use. Was it now that I just need the wood? Oh, I've got less than a stack left. I've been burning through the wood again. So we'll make as many kegs as we can. We've got 29 of them. And what is it that I ran out of? It's actually the wood. So maybe we do go chop down the desert today. And I'm going to need some more iron and copper bars as well. Do you know what? I could go and smelt more iron. So we've got 10 of them going here and then I'll go and take the rest of the quarry. I'll leave some iron ore here because we might want it at some point and the oak resin can stay look at all those iridium bars that is a nice sight to see and then we're gonna do kegs down oops this side oh no i keep hitting the wrong tile right there we go so can we not oh there's a chest there so we won't put it there we go with like this uh maybe not i'm probably gonna have to fence some of this off again because of the awkward shape of the place so if i remove what i don't want to worry about something like that and then i will go and get the fences first actually all right let's fence off everything behind here first there we go and then we don't have to worry about things being uneven oh no i need to bring my axe um what if i no that's not gonna work damn it <laughs> this is going well what's annoying is i also made more fences when I already had the exact amount I needed before I even made any. Wait, is my axe only still copper? That's hilarious. I think it goes to show how much I use magic for pretty much everything. I've also just realized I've been slacking on the fishing as well. Not fishing, the refill in the crab pots. We are hoping for a crab. I'll deal with these kegs and stuff and then we'll go and check. So let's pick that up. It's so annoying that it also picks a path up, but what can we do? And then we'll shove all these kegs down here. Looking good so far. All right, I'm going to smelt some more iron over here and we will come back and check this before the end of the day again and these 42 iridium bars i am just going to go ahead and ship let's go get the extra 63,000 gold shove them in there chuck that in there stick that away and i think i'm going to smelt this copper up as well because we do need it for um the kegs do you know what i'm actually going to accept robin's resource rush because even though i've got to do it today i'm definitely going to get the amount from the desert i think damn it still no crab I've got time to probably buy a few more crab pots just to kind of speed this process up a little. Hi oh, Willie, can I have another like six crab pots? I know I could make them myself, but I uh, don't want to. Get them all filled with bait and stuff. I'll drop this stuff home and then we'll go to the desert. I'm hoping I'm going to get enough pine seeds from all the trees dropping. We'll have to pray. If not, I'll just turn them into maple seeds. It's fine. Oh, and our wine's ready. No, I think wine Monday was a thing, so I'll just keep that the same. Okay, let's go to the desert and then we'll just literally smash the heck out of everything. Oh my god, look at it all. <laughs> There's so much wood. Well, there we go. That's Robin's resource rush done. Thank you for the two and a half grand for stuff I needed anyway. That was very satisfying and very, very quick. I'm also going to teleport down here so we can grab all the wood and not waste any. Oh, and I missed this little area here. Oh no, it's all going to fall off the screen. Damn it. Well, we got most of it and I've got 97 tree seeds. So I'll plant all of these that I can and then I'll have to probably go back and get some other ones. This for me is definitely the worst part of tree farming is having to replant all the seeds after because it's so slow, at least for me. Maybe I'm just slow. One eternity later. Yep, run out of seeds. Let's go back and get some more. I am going to sell off a few stacks of sap because I have a stupid amount of the stuff. And then tree seeds wise, what have I got? Yeah, I think I'll just go and plant a load of maple seeds. I think 100 should be enough for the other half of the desert. All right, let's get as many of these down as I can. At the end of the day, I don't care what type of tree it is as long as it's made out of wood. There we go. I think we're all planted up here. Now, do I make use of this top bit? 
I don't think I want to because I don't want it obstructing me when I'm trying to like race into skull caverns. So let's just pop on home. Also want to grab our last travel because I don't know if it's going to disappear tomorrow. And that is another growing season done. We're going to be into winter again. That's wild. Let's get some sleep. During the night, you gave birth to a baby boy. Wait, I have a kid? I completely forgot about this. Oh no. Uh, um, what are we going to name him? You know what? For a little magic baby, we're going to name him Merlin. Look at all that money we made today. Starfruit jelly is very much worth it, especially when we're going to be taking over with ghostberry wine. So we are officially into winter and there's a few things I do want to check out today. Um, first of all, I got this comment, which I'm going to pop on the screen right now, where a couple of things we want to check out. So we've got a potential mana potion up at the Adventurers Guild and then another place to explore for a potentially a new spell. So we're going to give that a go. Um, so ghostberries are not done till winter five. That's fine. So I'll do another batch of starfruit wine, probably our last batch of starfruit wine, actually. That's the wine all done and then we've got Krobus's birthday do I have any either horseradishes or oh I do iridium quality ones we'll go with those I was going to say that those are obviously void eggs but I don't really want to do those at the moment if I've got the horseradishes to hand let's speed up and get going I'm thinking as well sometime this winter it's going to be very easy for us to be able to do the um rest of the obelisks and stuff so that'll be good another thing ticked off and then 10 million gold is what we have to work on after that that's going to be a lot of money but we'll figure it out hopefully the ghostberry wine is going to get us there a lot faster here you go Krobus. happy birthday and now we are full Krobus means bridge crosser in our language Ooh, that's adorable um anything else we need here not really and then let's go from here to the mines I probably should sell my wine first. Have we got anything on here that we want to do? 100 tarot roots. I don't really need to do another lot of uh, island ingredients, so I won't. I'm going to go back and ship my wine first because I feel weird carrying all this really expensive wine around. I, I suppose I could sell it directly to Pierre. Hey, Pierre, I need to take loads of your gold. Thank you so much. Enjoy trying to sell all that wine. And then apparently it's one of the mine's waters, so we're going to start with 20. Have I got the analyze thing on my... Oh no, I need to go get analyze back. Whoops. Oh, we've got a cutscene. <laughs> it's so weird watching that class in silence. I wonder why also Pam, Jody, and Leah came to this one. I mean, I know this is Harvey's cutscene, but I've never really thought about the fact that these three are never actually at these classes. Willow, you were watching me? How embarrassing. I didn't want anyone to know, least of all you. Why me? I'm just trying to stay healthy. As you get older, it requires more effort. I'm not in very good shape, though. I can hardly keep up with them. Aerobics classes are not to be underestimated. Look, don't tell everyone in town that I'm doing dance aerobics, okay? I won't tell. Thanks, Willow. I appreciate that. I've got secrets of my own, you see. So running over to the altar, and then what am I going to switch out? Uh, probably the till spell. I don't really need that right now. So how do I... Oh, it's down here. I've completely forgot how to do this because I haven't changed spells in a long time. And then we can try that again. Let's make sure I've got the right bar up. We'll start with the... 20th again um so it's not this one we'll try this one not that and then that leaves floor 100 it is blood mana what does that do we're gonna have to go look at that whilst i'm here i'm gonna pop into the adventurers guild and have a look at this mana potion so if i scroll right to the bottom i'm guessing i'm not seeing a mana potion unless it was a recipe and i've already got it hang on was it a cooking recipe i'll have to check back at home because i don't see anything here so i might have already got the recipe but first i want to run back to pierre's again see if we can get that spell going let's have a look so oh it's in the eldritch tab uh blood mana catalyst your life am i right in think because like what there's usually there's a description that comes with this so what i'm guessing this is it says catalyst your life so you can sacrifice your health for mana and then i suppose you could just eat after right i don't have any points though can i take them off something else probably want to take them off not that not that uh i suppose for now we can take it off the till spell and stuff so how do i get the point back there we go there's one point and then there's this point because i don't need to really water stuff whilst i'm out here go over here we'll learn those and swap that out over here so we'll have to give that a go but not right now because I don't have any mana to spend on anything. Hence, looking for some help with copper ores, we are going to do that because I'm probably going to need to go and farm for some at some point for more furnaces. But before I do anything else, let's do our daily check of Ginger Island just to see, obviously, if we've got that snake spine. I can be hopeful, but I'm not holding out. Oh my god, still nothing. I think this is like the worst case I've ever had of not being able to get this snake spine. It does make me very tempted to pull up all the paths, though. I don't know. Let me know. What do you think I should do? Should I move all the paths until we get this snake? spine some more spots for it potentially to spawn under right also going to go ahead and give leo a mango whilst we're here as well where do you go has he gone back to his little tree and oh, no he's gone back to the top of the island wait where it says he's around here unless he's on the other side hello he's not in the volcano is he 
I guess I'll find him another time. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for everyone to leave the locker rooms though because I do want to give out some gifts whilst we're here. Here you go. Oh no, they're all gonna pile on top of each other and it makes it so much harder. That's for you. Uh, that's for you. That's for you. And who are we missing? Sebastian. Bananas are neutral. I'm sad. Okay, well I think what I'm gonna do tomorrow is actually build those obelisks. So I need to remember what I actually need. I think we need 10 clams. We need 10 coral. We're gonna need a whole bunch of iridium bars as well so yeah i was hoping i had some spare i was worried that i didn't i think one of them needs coconuts there's obelisks needs 10 coconuts 10 cactus fruit okay two three four five six seven eight nine ten do i have any cactus fruit oh i've got 25 okay we're we're good everything's fine and then i think the earth obelisk needs earth crystals yes it does okay do we do that tomorrow or should we just go and do it now you know what i'm just gonna go do it now you actually what do these guys need you need two algae and you need, oh yeah, a limestone. I forgot that I hadn't done that yet. I might just not bother with a limestone one because I don't really need the midnight carp all that much. I mean, I need a few of them, but I don't need that many. So over to the wizard's book. Let's build those obelisks. So, wait, there's a Zuzu one. Oh my God, I need a fifth one. Oh, and it's only 10,000 gold. I could have done this so long ago. All right, well, we'll do the others for now and then I'll have to find a place for the fifth one because I kind of only set up for four. I didn't know there was another one. Okay, you know, I could probably fit it here. So we'll probably do that. It might look a bit odd, but we'll try. Um. This one's gonna go here because it's not the... Wait, which one is this one? Oh, it is the desert one. I wanted the desert one next to the island one, but that's fine. I'll just move it. So this one wants to go here and then we want to build the earth one. We'll do that there. I think I'm going to do the city one in the middle and then we want to do the water one. Right, let's see how weird this looks. Oh, that actually looks fine. Okay, that's fine. Um, Let's go home and get the stuff for the other one. Unless we do the other one in the morning, probably, because by the time I get back and gather materials, it's going to be late. I'm pretty sure at this point as well, I've got the prismatic shard I need for it too. What I will do actually is probably go down to the beach real quick and check on the crab pots come on still no crab how dare but we'll refill them ready for tomorrow it's funny because obviously playing on my other 100 day save as well um i'm pretty sure i woke up one day on that save and i literally had like maybe 10 crab pots and like five of them were crabs i don't know why i just can't get one on this one <laughs> i'm just gonna go ahead and sell everything from that the trash I'll keep for now in case I do want to recycle it. Let's be honest, it probably won't. And then what was it I needed? So one of the things I know I needed was a prismatic shard. I also need 300 stone and 10 hardwood. Okay, that's not too bad. There we go. We've got them all. I was kind of confused for a second about where all the money went then. And I forgot that we sold all the wine directly to Pierre, but I did just have a mini heart attack. But everything's fine. We got the money. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine if it just like ate all that wine money? I would have been very upset. Okay, on my way down to the wizards, I'm bringing the algae for the carp here. There you go. I might even just build two more fish ponds, even if I don't necessarily fill them, just to like fill up that space as well. Let's get that obelisk built. Oh, 100 hardwood. Whoops. <laughs> Let's try that again. I can teleport to the farm because obviously the wizard knows about our magic, but also, I mean, he wasn't there anyway. And then this time I'm gonna teleport to the forest because I don't think anyone else is gonna be out at this hour anyway. Got us there much quicker. Right, let's try that again. <laughs> we slap that here. I do actually really like the way that the five obelisks look together. Let's go have a look at them in person. There we go. I think what we do need to do though is move this up. So that needs to go there and I need to bring some more path over. Fix this up. I brought three, but I think I only actually need one. There we go. I think that's better. Gotta say I'm happy with that. Then I'm gonna put this path away and I I think we might actually use it to get to the city. The obelisk, I mean. Just making sure first I gather all of my gifts that I need. Um, ale, ale. And then also I do want to check as well on the quarry with the furnaces and stuff. I mean, I know that there's going to be stuff done there. Whether I've got more ore actually to smell, I don't know. Should I check if I've left any at home? I probably should, shouldn't I? I think I'll just take the gold ore with me for now. That's a good backup bar if I don't have enough iridium to smell. Oh, we had a load of iron. I think it was because I wanted to expand my kegs, wasn't it? <gasps> no, I forgot about all these kegs for the wine um you know i probably could get away with doing it because oh i don't have any coal um <laughs> okay we need to do that too i probably could get away with doing the wine then even if i just leave it a little bit later in the monday to do the next lot of wine i just need to remember that i've actually got kegs there that's hilarious i can't believe i didn't realize because usually the wine is done like a day earlier than i usually do it get those filled up asap and did i put stuff in the wrong chest oh i do have coal left okay well in that case i'm definitely smelting some more iridium because we've got so much of the stuff and what i'll do as well is i'm gonna bring those iron bars with me just to see if i can make some more uh kegs do i have enough copper i've only got 11 bars 
okay. Oh yes, that's right. We completely basically ran out, didn't we? Still, 11 more kegs is still quite a lot. Okay, let's pop back to the quarry. We'll put down these kegs and we're gonna fill them with more star fruit. What I might do, I'm gonna leave the star fruit up here. And the reason for that is because it's gonna force me to come over here to do it. Um, I'm also gonna leave the iron here. And then if we pop back home, we'll pop to the city. Ooh, okay. I didn't even see this before. Has this only just appeared? I've never seen this, but this is where we appear from this little, um, what do you even call it? Like warp stone thingamajig? I, <laughs> I don't know the word. Let's see if we can track down Selena first. All right, which is not at any of these spots. So we'll try the apartments and then we'll try the cafe. Okay, well, she's definitely not home. It is definitely a pain trying to figure out people's schedules here. Some people are easier than others. At least over here, we know we can find David. So have the gift. He must be so close to eight hearts now. Oh, he's so close. Just a couple of chats and that'll do it. I'm trying to track along with these uh, full friendships and such. Then we just need to find Selena. So I am going to go try out by the fieldy bit. Sometimes people hang out on the bridge and stuff. Well, she's definitely not out here today. There's no one around, to be honest. I am determined I will find her. Maybe by the time I find her as well, it will go dark for uh, giving Pickle Beat the Pale Ale. And we've got Buddy standing out in the road again. I mean, I know sometimes she's outside the mall. She's not inside it right now, is she? Mind you, I don't think I see anyone ever come in here. I mean, obviously there's all these people, but I mean like named NPCs. <gasps> Selena, there she is. Do I have the wine? Yes, I do. Here you go. Enjoy the wine. You still got research to do? Maybe she does hang out somewhere up the north side of town and I just don't notice. Say hi to Gwen on the way past. Oh, she doesn't feel like talking and pretend she doesn't. Oh, okay. Um, never mind, I guess. I'll just get the bus home. Ooh, and our pickles are done as well. Look at all these pickled pumpkins. Oh, it's dark in here. I really do need to get some lights. I'm trying to use up the cheaper stuff before. Like, I don't want to use up all the star fruit until I've gone through all this stuff. I also just realized I completely forgot to go get the ancient fruit as well yesterday. Should I do that now? I don't know if I should or not. No, I'll wait till next Monday. I know I'm missing out on some, but the thing is I try to do things in a routine and then I kind of forget what I was meant to be doing or there's like multiple steps now and I'm bound to forget some of the steps. Wow, we had the perfect amount of cranberries and pumpkins. <laughs> All right, let's shove those in the shipping bin. How much are they gonna be worth? 131 grand, I'll take that. And then we'll pop down to the beach. Come on, please give me a crab today. Really? <laughs> wow, look at these varied crab pot harvests. At least it's given us fishing XP, I suppose. I do also need at some point to try and tackle the glacier fish. I don't think I've caught that yet. We'll double check. No, I definitely still need to grab that. Okay. You know, I almost forgot to go see Pete. Let's go and deal with that real quick. It's because I don't have to pass on the way there anymore. In fact, I can probably just teleport straight to the ghost town. I mean, who's a ghost gonna tell about our magic anyway? Here you go. Please stop giving me trash. He gives me trash every time I come and visit him and I think it's very rude. Like literally, how dare. Time for some sleep. Wow, you look like you did a lot of work today. I did, a lot of running around. Oh, I didn't check Ginger Island. Can't forget. I really need to look up how often the artifact spots respawn or like how long they stay there because probably checking every day isn't actually necessary, but I'm just like worried and I want to get it like obviously as soon as possible. Please, come on. Why are all the worms hiding? Um, <laughs> bless you. <laughs> Another day, no artifact spot. Okay, now we can get some sleep. Maybe I go and check first thing tomorrow so I can't forget. 132 grand, let's take it. Oh, it is also a really good luck day. I don't know if I should maybe go into Skull Caverns instead. Actually, no, because I've got so much Iridium already to burn through. I really need to be focusing on getting some ores from the mines, I think. So maybe we'll make use of that in the good luck day. Do I have any monster musk? I don't, but I can definitely make some. Let's get another load of Iridium smelting. I do still have 45 coal, so that should be enough for a little more. And I'll probably, what I'll actually do is keep this particular batch of Iridium bars, just because I like used all the ones I had yesterday. We need some supply just in case. Or maybe I'll keep like 20 of them, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna need a huge amount anymore. So if we sell half of them, we'll keep 20, just less than half. And then also while we're at the mines, I do actually wanna go and give the dwarf a little gift as well. After saying I was gonna go to Ginger Island as well, first thing I completely forgot. So we'll go deal with that. Anything today? Nope, doesn't look like it. Teleporting or blinking around just because saves us a little bit of time. No such luck. Okay, well, never mind. So before we go, I do just want to have a quick look as well at the obelisks because, yeah, one of them's off center. I do need to bring them up a little bit. We go deal with that first. I don't think anyone's around in the forest today. I should be safe enough to just teleport on over and fly over on my cloud. The thing is, if I know they're uneven, it's gonna bother me. So this needs to come up one like that. And then I just need to path over a little bit here. So if we slap those here, that should be 
even much better. All right, now we can go to the mines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna alternate between going to the copper floors and to the, oh, damn it. This isn't my usual copper farming floor. I'm gonna alternate between going to the copper floors and to the dust sprite floors. I forgot how far this sword yeet stuff. I did still wanna try and kill the uh, skulls anyway, because obviously there is a chance for you to get the magic rock candy, even if it's a teeny tiny one. Although saying that, when I go to floor 41, sometimes there's copper notes here. I mean, not right now, that's fine. Do find a lot of iron though. I'm not having the best luck finding any dust sprites. That is the one thing I will say. I really need a load of coal, but I'm not really getting any. Oh my God, look at all that iron. <laughs> that was so much. A few dust sprites, not enough, but it's something. So now I've used a tiny bit of mana, let's actually test out this spell. So if I use that first one now, we should restore some mana and it, oh wow. So it restores barely any mana, but it does take a lot of health. Interesting, okay. Well, I mean, all I have to do is really eat to restore it. So not really a huge deal, but even at the top level, it doesn't restore all that much mana, I feel like. But it's good to know the spell. There we go, that's a bit more like it for dust sprites. Are there more on this floor? Yes, there are. Damn, did I take too long for Clint's quest? I think I did, whoops, okay. Never mind. I was thinking like I definitely definitely gathered enough copper but I didn't hear the little uh, noise it makes when you complete a quest or at least a quest step and uh, yeah it turns out it expired. It doesn't feel like it was two days ago. Oh I forgot this is the wrong floor and even though I do want to make more furnaces I think any copper I get today will be used on literally just smelting for more kegs because those also make me a lot more money. I suppose though realistically I do need to have a look at how many uh, ghostberry plants I have and then half it to see how many kegs I need because obviously I don't want to have less fruit than kegs because that would kind of be pointless. I'm pretty sure I use like 500 and something seeds though and I definitely don't have 200 and something kegs. I think it's like 117 so maybe I think if I maybe get myself to like maybe 200 or so kegs I should be good. I don't know. Maybe a few more than that. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud really at this point. Where are all the copper nodes? I'm having no trouble finding loads of iron and I know I'm not on the right floors right at the moment but I also need the coal. This is more like it. I've got quite a few more this time. Usually if a ladder presents itself, I will still go down it because there's still a chance for more nodes down there. <gasps> I forgot to give the dwarf the gift. Let's do that real quick. Here you go. We're still only on one heart. Oh no. Dwarf is easily going to be our last person to finish friending getting late now so I want to try and end the day on having about 100 coal and then I probably will start smelting another batch of iridium overnight and then we'll come and do the copper in the morning. Can I find like a single dust right though? I've just like done four resets of floor 40 and nothing. Okay that's more like it. <laughs> Sometimes all you gotta do is ask. Yep we're, we're all good everything is fine. Oh my goodness. Okay over to the quarry get all these smelted and then any bars from this we will also sell. I'll leave the copper up here as well for the morning. Let's head to bed. There we go, 97 grand from mainly Iridium bars. Oh, it's Pickle Pete's birthday today. Okay, we'll have to go over tonight and give him a gift. I'm thinking today it might be a good idea for us to attempt tackling the glacier fish. Let's see if I've got any seafoam pudding around to help me out. I do, I have one. But before we do that, I am gonna go ahead and check on the crab pots, of course. So let's go and use the obelisk. Please have crabs. Do I need to move them or something? I, <laughs> I've never had this much issue trying to get crabs. Oh my goodness. I just want one, only one. Maybe actually a couple because I need to cook with them too, but you know what I mean. I'm just gonna go ahead and chuck everything in the shipping bin, including the trash, because I can't be bothered to do it properly. And then we'll go and head out to the spot to fish. Let's get that legendary. So it should be over here. I'm wondering as well if we go and make some magic bait. We might be able to go and handle the legend today. How long does this last? Three minutes. Okay, well, we'll see how long this takes first. If I've got loads of time, I oh, that was immediate. <laughs> if I still got loads of time on my seafoam pudding, I may also attempt to handle the legend today. Because obviously if you use some magic bait, it doesn't matter the time of year or the weather. Definitely one of the worst behaved glacier fish I've ever dealt with. Not the worst, but certainly up there. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. It's so close. There it is. Okay. And no one's around. So I'm going to go ahead and pop back to the farm. I'm praying I already have the recipe for the magic bait because if not, we're going to lose a lot of time to this. Oh no, I don't. Okay. Maybe I just need to go buy some from Mr. Key. I should have time. Uh, we'll teleport over to the island west because I'm going to stay on my cloud until I get to his door. Ah, I'm stuck. There we go. And over here, we're going to buy, I think 20 should be enough. Maybe we get 40 just in case. Do I even have enough? Oh no, I've only got three. Okay. It's going to have to be enough. Let's just hope. And then we're gonna go back to the farm from here and we're gonna use the mountain obelisk. These are coming in clutch. See if we can get that legend fish. I think I can technically stand down there, but I don't wanna chance anything. See if we can get that magic bait, huh? See if we get the legend today. Completely misspoke. I did forget to check for artifact spots while I'm there, but I'm kind of battling with time here with the um, seafoam pudding.
pudding. Nice bonus sturgeon though, I'll take that. I've got one and a half minutes left, can I do this? I'm also gonna start trying to get rid of fish that aren't the one I need because I don't wanna waste any time on this seafood pudding. Oh no, my tackle wore out. Uh, <gasps> bubble spot. You can get them in bubble spots, can't you? I don't kind of, I kind of don't want to chance it, I don't know. No, I won't chance it. I mean, the bubble spot already disappeared anyway, so it was literally only there for like 10 seconds. Kind of regretting trying to catch that sturgeon and the largemouth bass because we could have had a few more casts, but that's okay. <gasps> there it is. Can we do it? Oh my God. <gasps> Please stay this well behaved. I'm appreciating. Oh, nope, nope. We can do this. And I've got treasure at stake as well now. I don't want to lose it. Please. No, come on, please. The concentration is real. <gasps> Yes. Oh my God, we got it. Ah, <gasps> nice. Well, oh my God, my heart. <laughs> That's all the legendary fish handled. So what have we got left actually for fishing now? So we've literally just got the eel and the crab left. So maybe at some point I will go over to the beach with uh, Magic Bay, but I don't think I'm gonna do that until I actually get crabs because until that point, there's kind of no point. I waste Magic Bay, especially to have to then just wait for crabs for ages. It's just not worth it. What I do now need to do is go and smelt some of the copper that we've got to try and turn into more kegs for next week. And I think this is about 40 something furnace as well we'll find out how many bars we end up with because that's how many coal I need okay so we've run out of copper but yeah it's 42 bars oh it's all done already I forget how quick copper is to smelt and I suppose we might as well get another batch of um ooh actually do we do iron let's see how many copper we get and uh, the amount of copper we get is the amount of iron I will then smelt so we've got 33 copper and 31 iron so I'll do two iron bars and then the rest will be iridium and we're out of coal once again all right, let's get all those sold off and then let's have a look where we are with other friendships. So we don't have all that many people left. I do want to go and get like Vincent and Evelyn done because they are so close. We've then got Pierre and Willie. Let's go see. What do we have for gifts? I'll go check in the coop to see if we've got any more rabbits for you. I feel like I do this every week, but it is always worth a little check. We have one single rabbit's foot. Okay, that's something. Bring some grapes for Vincent. Diamond for Willy. Fairy rose for Evelyn. I'll keep the rabbit's foot for someone. Mango for Leo. I think I'm going to give the rabbit's foot to Alex because he's annoying with his love gift. Do I have any strawberries though? I've only got two. What does Mary love? Do what else does she love? I think she loves bars as well, right? To be fair, I do have loads of batteries and miners treats. I could just give one of those. Flint's easy enough. Oh, I need to get another fairy rose as well for Jazz. Then I think I'm just gonna do diamonds for everyone else. So let's try and track everyone down. Looks like the guys are all on Ginger Island at the moment, which speaking of, I do need to go and check. So let's do that real quick. Right, I'm gonna give Leo his mango now. And then who do we have? We've got Sebastian. That's for you. That's for you. That's for you. I think that's it really. I know I didn't know Abigail was here, but I think I'm full friendship with her already. Yes, I am. And I cannot wait to start next episode with a field full of gooseberries. I've obviously got the water ones done, but I'm not gonna harvest those just yet. I don't think it's worth it. And whilst we're here as well, we will go and check out the key quests too, because I'm definitely low on the key gems. What have you got for us? 50 love gifts in a week or four prismatic shards. Oh, we'll do that, I think, because that'll be easier, I think. I'm hoping. I'm hoping I've got them already. Maybe I already have them. I'll probably handle that next episode though, because for now, I want to try and get all these gifts done. But let's start with Jazz. Pretty sure I did just see Kent go into his house. Oh, we've got a cutscene. Hi, Willow. I'm just making some popcorn. Ah, that sound. You should have known that sound would remind me of the war. I lost a lot of good friends in those bloody trenches. But dear, popcorn was always your favourite before you left. Things have changed. Well, if you don't tell her, she wouldn't have known. Willow, can you say something to him? I know you're hurting, but don't blame your wife. You're absolutely right, Willow. I'm sorry, honey. You couldn't have known the sound of popcorn would make me upset. It's okay, dear. The last thing I want to do is make you upset. I'll do my best to try and keep your spirits up from now on. So I'm going to give the rabbit's foot to Kent, I think, because we do have quite a ways to go with him being new and everything. Actually saying that, isn't he on like seven hearts now? Here he is. Okay, well, still worth it. Grape is for Vincent. We should be now full. Jodie, I think we're already full with. Yes, we are. That's for you. We'll give you the emerald. I just kind of got it from your trash, but you know, you don't need to know that. Fairy rose for Evelyn. We should hopefully be full after this. Oh my God, we must be close, right? So close. So now I think I just want to find Penny, Clint, Harvey, and Maru. I wanted to start with Penny first because I thought she would be here. Where is Penny? Oh, she's here. I have a diamond. I want to go see Maru before the house closes up. Actually, I've got the key to the town. What am I talking about? Here she is. One minus treat. Don't eat it. Please don't eat it. There we go. And I wanted to come to the saloon because I thought Clint... <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for Clint to go to the salute. Oh, there he is. I thought he would have been there by now. You were very slow today, Clint. Here you go. I mean, he's probably not, but you know. Oh my God. I went shopping last night and I picked up a starfruit wine on sale for only 2,250 gold. People are buying my starfruit wine. I didn't even know that was a dialogue option. That's pretty cool. And now let's go and handle Pete's birthday. No one's around here. So I think I'm just going to teleport straight to the ghost town. Hello. Happy birthday to you. Happy Friday. Wait, it's Thursday. It's not. <laughs> that did confuse me. 
Oh, who cares anyway? I mean, fair enough. So that's brought us out a huge amount. I want to know if there are any cutscenes with him or not. Looks like there's not so far. Maybe he'll start sending us mail, who knows? And then before we go to bed today, I do just want to go and check the beach real quick because I can't remember if I've already been to check the crab pots or not. And I think I might have, but I don't want to miss out on a day. We already have. Okay, never mind. Whoops. I'm starting to think as well, I might in the future move all my animal machines into the place where they come from because it's going to give me a bit more motivation to want to try and check these. I think at the moment part of the problem is that I'm taking the animal products out and putting them over here then taking them out of there and filling these so if I get more machines maybe we'll handle that next time so animal machines gives us another little bit of income have a diamond and go to bed so if we're selling 40 something bars a day or however many it is 42 bars a day we're gonna get 63,000 gold that is very much worth it first things first today let's check the mail the wizard's looking for an iridium bar we can help him out with that and also it's the fifth today and our ghost berries are ready so we need to go and handle that too um do we have enough oh the jellies also just come in so let's deal with that before we go not me getting distracted mid-sentence and we'll shove those straight in the shipping bin to give us a decent amount of money and then what was i doing again oh yes we wanted to go to ginger island so let's pop over and deal with our gro gross berries ghost berries i mean maybe they're gross i can't imagine what they could possibly taste like look at them all let's get our seeds at the ready as well and i suppose if we run out we should probably just use the rest of the start fruit seeds up because it would be a shame for them to go to waste but let's get switching Okay, that's everything replanted and I did actually run out of gooseberry seeds. So you can see we've got a couple of rows of star fruit to go. So let's go ahead and put those away. We're going to have to make a trip out to Pete tonight. And then before we do anything, obviously, as usual, I'm going to check for any artifact spots. And so far, I'm obviously not really seeing any. Not seeing a single one. I think what I'm going to have to do is, uh, obviously, in the last video, I asked in the comments what I should do about the path. And sadly, I think I'm going to have to rip all the paths up until we get that uh what's it called I forgot to put animation cancelling on. Yeah, sadly, I'm going to have to remove all the paths until we have got that snake spine because at the moment, I'm having no luck getting artifact spots like at all. This is the worst I've ever had it. I know the snake spine is like by far the most annoying one to get, but yeah, this is this is not great. <laughs> it feels like winters are for decorating and undecorating. I'm going to leave any paths on the grass bits because obviously the artifact spots on Ginger Island can't really spawn on the grass. So I'll leave those as is, but these are going to have to go. Although I don't know if they can spawn. I don't think they spawn on these ones either, right? So I can probably keep these ones in front of the house. It's just the ones like down the sides that I have to get rid of. I mean, at least then I've still increased the chances by like a lot. Maybe these side ones can stay too because uh, grass. I suppose I'm not really getting rid of that many, but it still does increase my chance chances of how many spots I can get. <gasps> no, I just pickaxed a berry. That's so annoying. Oops. Whoopsie. <laughs> I should probably put a seed there because I don't want to lose the speed grow either. I'll put star fruit there instead in a minute. And are there any down here that I should get rid of? Probably these, right? Yeah, 100%. Oh, I've done it again. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful, it's just hard. I think it's because I've also turned the tool hit location thing off. I should probably turn that back on. All right, I'm just gonna leave this little patch here because it's covered in grass anyway, so you can't get artifact spots there on Ginger Island, I don't think. I don't think those tiles are tillable. So I'm gonna leave the paths in here so then I can put them in whenever. And then let's go and head out to Pete. Oh, I forgot to put those seeds on. Let's get a couple of those down. So I want two star fruit for the two accidents I have. It's so like obvious where I've gone wrong. I feel the shame. I noticed as well I've got four prismatic shards to give to Mr. Key as well. I don't know if I have four. Let's go have a look. So our new batch of ghost berries is going to be done on the 14th. Let's put everything in our wine chest. Oh, I do have four. I have exactly four. Um, I mean, I don't want to spend every single one, but I do need the key gems. So we're just going to go for it. So let's dump those in and then let's have a look in here what I was missing. So literally all of the recipes. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> whoops that's fine i'll just buy the two for now and then what we need how many do we need left another 70 okay so from here i'm going to teleport straight to the ghost town we'll give pickle pete his gift and we will oh i forgot to bring <gasps> he's not here why how dare you not be here all right i'll have to go tomorrow yep okay I wonder which days he decides to just not come. I am grabbing all the artifact spots here. A lot of them are giving me winter forage now, but sometimes you do get those old coins and I need those to buy the uh, ghostberry seeds with. The other good things about artifact spots and these little wilderness golems are the mixies because I'm probably going to just cover my farm in fiber for the winter. And of course, grab everything from this little area as well. There wasn't all that much forage. I have just hoed a couple of artifact spots which literally had nothing in them. So that's a bit upsetting. But hey, the extra forage is nice. I know it's also late, but I am going to also pop down to the beach because I haven't refilled the crab pots today and I'm praying that there's a crab. Please be crabs. Oh my god, there are crabs. 
Yes. Okay. So what are we going to do uh, tomorrow? We're going to go and handle the eel. I'm hoping I can fish for that. And then that is the last fish I need for Master Angler. Hop on home and put everything away and get to bed before it gets too late and get some sleep. I am also going to take a second trip out to Ginger Island today. And the reason for that is because I'm wondering if I left my furniture catalog there. Because obviously in a previous episode, I said I lost it. And I did get a lovely comment. If I can find it, I'll put it on the screen to say, hey, did you check your Ginger Island house? So let's have a look. It is not here. I appreciate the suggestion though. I definitely thought it would have been here. Oh, that's sad. Okay, never mind. Let's just pop on home. And what we want to do today is grab that magic bait. I think I need to make some more of it actually. Uh, did I just buy, I did just buy the recipe for it, didn't I? Or did I? Or was that something else? Um, there. Bug meat and radioactive ore. I should have both of those. I have some. I'm hoping 30 magic bait should do the trick. If it's not, I'll just have to go buy some more. But let's go down to the beach. We'll see if we can catch this eel. And I'm just going to probably just leave the crab pots alone from now on because I don't really need them now. I just realized I'm not even level 10 fishing. So this is probably a good thing that I'm doing this. Whoops. Maybe I do refill the crab pots just to get the extra fishing XP. I can't believe it's been all this time and I'm not level 10 fishing. That's hilarious. I did forget to go check for artifact spots though on Ginger Island. So maybe we do that after this if I even remember. I still haven't looked up how often the artifact spots refresh. Oh my god the eel finally! <gasps> Master Angler there it is. Okay so we got Master Angler. Wait I was getting XP now I am- wait what? It says I'm level 10 fishing but like I'm still getting XP I'm very confused. The magic bar is kind of in the way. I wonder if I can turn that off for a minute so we can see what's going on. Hang on. So I've turned the mana bar off for a minute and the reason for that is I just want to see what it says that I'm at for fishing. Let's catch this fish and see what comes up because I'm very confused. Yeah, we, okay, we are level nine. Wait, why does it say, am I dumb? It says level 10, what? I mean, okay, sure. I need to also stop using the magic bait because uh, I don't want to waste it, but also I need to refill these crab pots again. I can't believe that. That's so confusing. Why does it mess up my levels? Uh, I mean, I suppose I should just fish until I get level 10 anyway, right? Oh, I ran out of room. I'm going to have to just go and put this in at Willy's. Um, I'll turn the mana back on shortly. Just Oh, he's not here. It's Saturday. I forgot. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, um, I'm just going to delete some trash then. I guess we've got to go home anyway to empty our inventory. No one's around, so I should be able to just teleport. And uh, let's sell off all the fish because I don't really need it for anything. Oh, I do need to keep the eel because I need eel for like recipes and such. But I think I'm going to put them in a uh, fish pond. Let's go have a look at the fish ponds down here and see how we're doing. Because I can't remember if I had a spare one or not. I know I had a fish pond that I couldn't remember what I wanted to do with. Oh, this has a quest. What do you need? Carp. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just going to get rid of all of those. I know I've got more than enough carp for a carp surprise now. We're gonna empty that pond and then we're gonna chuck the eel in it. Progress. And you still need a limestone and I don't have that for you so I, I can't help you. Let's also go check on the quarry. I know I said I wanted to do animal machines as well but I'm not gonna do them just yet. Or maybe I will. We'll do the quarry first. What's over here? We've got some iridium bars ready to go but I think I ran out of iridium ore. Oh I ran out of coal. Coal's the thing I'm out of. Okay. Well I'll collect all of these up for now anyway and probably just sell them. How many do I have in total? I've got 57 of them so I've got some at home anyway. I'm just gonna um, sell all these off. And then let's make ourselves some monster musk and get up to the mines. Let's get that on, it's nasty. See how much coal we can get in a day. Just the rate I burn through it is kind of wild. Hello, where are all the monsters? I feel like sometimes when I use monster musk, I'm kind of looking at it like, is it even working? Do I not smell bad enough? Oh, and I forgot to put my mana bar back on as well. So let me do that real quick. I have turned down the multiplier as well. So it's a tiny bit less big, although I don't see that it's that much different. That's more like it. And of course, we've got to take a quick break to give the dwarf a little gift. There you go. How's the gift chest looking? We've got 14 rubies in here. So we're pretty well stocked up. Back to coal farming. Uh, hello? Where are all the dust sprites? I've literally been like three or four resets without a single one. Not even on this floor either. I mean, <laughs> sometimes I feel like I do have better luck without the monster musk. I don't know if luck changes the amount of monsters that spawn, but um, I don't know if it was maybe a bad idea coming on a good luck day. Who knows? Maybe it's that I've driven them to near extinction. Where are they all? I need your coal. Oh my god, where- <laughs> Oh, there we go. There's a few. Still not a huge amount, but I'll take more than none. I mean, hey, it's over 100 coal. We probably can't complain. I just feel like it could have been so much better. I am going to stay till pass out though, because I don't want to waste a single second of this monster musk. Oh, that's more like it. A proper amount of dust sprouts. I haven't seen any for a while, but where I do see them as well, I have been making the effort to grab any copper because that is what we are short on for our furnaces as well. Oh, pass out time. 145 coal. It's actually not bad to be fair. Let's get that queen of swords before we do anything. Got the poppy seed muffin recipe and Kristoff can have one of my finds from yesterday. I do genuinely 
genuinely feel like he never goes to work now that he's come to live on the farm. He does have a home office though, so there is that. I just feel like I never see him ever go to his office. He is embracing that true work from home era. <gasps> There's the star drop from Willy. Yes. How many should we have left now? Is that all of them? You found a star drop. It's strange, but the taste reminds you of magic. Your maximum energy level has increased. We'll have to go and check on Ginger Island. We've also got a fish taco from Gus. Thank you very much. We've got loads of mail today. And also we've got the festival of ice tomorrow. Okay. Busy day tomorrow because it's also wine day. So let's first make our way over to Ginger Island, check on the star drops and also if there are any artifact spots. I mean, so far, still nothing. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not like it takes long to put a load of paths back down again. So I'm not too worried about the fact that I did have to remove some. But checking the perfection tracker. Yes, we do officially have all the star drops. Oh my God, <laughs> our completion percent. Nice. And obviously also it did do the fish court uh, increase as well. Wait, what have we not shipped yet? Hello. Oh, we haven't shipped a beer and we haven't done the ostrich egg. Oh, we've actually not shipped quite a few things. Well, we can take care of that very easily. Is that aged row? Yes, it is. Pine tar? How have we not done pine tar? That's wild. Okay, well, those are pretty easy to handle. Um, I'm gonna make a little list. So mead, beer, pine tar, aged row, caviar. What have I forgotten? I feel like I've forgotten something. I think it's just those for now. So let's pop on home. I just want to double check that I don't already have these things. I mean, I've got the midnight carp row. I can age that pretty easily, but I don't have any caviar. So I do need to switch out one of the fish ponds. All right, I got my fishing rod. Let's grab that. And this is the midnight carp. So I'm probably not going to need these again anyway, because I don't need uh, loads of seafood puddings now that I've caught all of the fish and we're going to put the sturgeon in there. Oops, I forgot to empty it first. There we go. Off you go. Produce me your eggs. I'm going to put all the row in the jar shed. And as for the animal machines, I do need to make more of them. So maybe we handle that today. So what is it we need for both of them? I know we need earth crystals, wood and copper. Wood, copper, stone, earth crystal. And then we need hardwood for the other one. How much hardwood do I have? 26. Okay, that is not ideal. All right, well, I guess I'll go to Ginger Island and get rid of all the mahogany trees. Pretty sure we got the ones up here too. We'll get rid of the slimes first. I don't want to be disturbed whilst I am putting down my trees. At least it'll be enough for a few more cheese machines then. There we go. We got enough for five more. Hop on home. And I do need to go and deliver the coal up at the uh, quarry as well. Whilst I'm here, I am going to remember to bring my old coins with me because we do need to go see Pete. Bring his pale ale too. Maybe we go to the city and handle those people also, which basically is just Selena, isn't it? Um, so let's grab her some wine. I'll pop over to the quarry first. Leave all of that here. Maybe we need to smelt some stuff. Let's do some more iron. Why not? And then want to go see the wizard. We have his staff of power quest, so he needs his iridium bar. Is there anything good at the traveling merchant today? Even stuff I can just use for shipping and no, no, there's not. Of course there isn't. I was kind of hoping to get the caviar from there and then I wouldn't have had to worry about that so much or even like the mead or the beer. The beer is easy enough. I could just go buy it from Gus. I'll probably just do that to be honest. There's that quest done. 5,000 gold. I will take that. Thank you very much. Then whilst I'm at home as well, I'm actually going to smelt some of that copper that I got from uh, yesterday because I did want to make more furnaces with it, but I can only make two and I'm going to need a load of copper bars for making all those animal machines as well. And whilst I'm at it, I'm going to pick up these uh, tappers from the trees that I had in the middle here because what I wanted to do as well is expand my little crop area into this bit as I have the space for probably a few more sprinklers. And also, or do I cover it in grass? Because I could probably cover it in grass for the animals. I'll probably do that instead. We'll clear all this up and then once we get to spring, I can cover this in grass because we did run out by fall. But having another source of it would probably be a good idea. And it does just look much tidier. And what I want to do with these tappers is go up to the backwards and slap them up there because we need pine tar. So I'm just going to put them over here and I'm going to need some pine tar to craft with anyway. And now popping over to Gus's just to buy a bit. He doesn't sell mead, does he? No, he does not. Okay, let's grab that and get out of here. Let's shit that beer and then I'm going to start making my way over to the city. In fact, no one's around. I'm going to teleport to the interchange. I feel like by the time I found Selena, it's going to be dark anyway. <laughs> there she is out by the mall. Here, have some wine. I tried to do all my grocery shopping at Mantlebees. Oh yeah, I remembered about that. Um, Where are we now? We are seven hearts and 116 points away. So maybe an episode or two more and we'll be full friendship with Selena. We do have a fair amount to go with the rest of the villagers though, I feel like. I mean, it's mainly like the few at the bottom, but now I just need to get out to the ghost town. What I'm actually going to do is take the bus home because no one's around here and then now I can teleport out there. Please be here. He's not here. Where are you, dude? Uh, okay. I'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> Once again, clearing out all the artifact spots before I go for all of their mixies and old coins and stuff. I think I've got them all. All right home time. I guess I did also forget yesterday to go and check as well so it is partly my fault and I think I'm gonna let Willow have an early night. Let's get some sleep. 
So, new week, new wine day. First, before I even do the wine, because I know I'm going to forget, I'm going to go and harvest all of the ancient fruit, because I kind of forgot last week. Grab all this from the greenhouse. This is going to be for jelly. And you know what? I actually am going to bother to harvest all of these oak resins, because it is, at the end of the day, extra money. I know I've got plenty for kegs and stuff, but I might as well not let the money go to waste, you know? Like, it's not a huge amount, but it's also more than none, you know? So let's get some ancient fruit jelly going. And it's also a Monday, so a new week means new key quests. There we go. There's all of our jelly jars refilled. I'm going to get them in the shipping bin first along with the oak resin just to clear out my inventory a little. Gives me a little bit more room. Not that I need loads of it. I just get confused when there's too many different things in there. And then gooseberry time. I'm putting all of them on me for now because I do also need to fill up the kegs in the quarry too. Oh no, the festival of ice. <gasps> Okay, we'll have to make sure we do that too. Or do I even bother with it this year? I don't even think I need anything from there, but um, I don't want to run out of time. We'll see how we do once we've filled all of the kegs. And it looks like the whole like walk into it and hold right click method isn't working so well with these ghost sprays, so that's kind of annoying, but I think the extra money is going to be worth it. So I'll put the extra effort in of having to actually move my mouse. <laughs> that actually sounds really bad when I say it out loud, doesn't it? There we go, there's all the shed done and now over to the quarry. I'm not going to sell until I come back. Yeah, we should still have enough time to make the Festival of Ice. Oh, these still have six hours to go. Okay, I'll do these afterwards then. So, um, yeah, we'll do them when I come back. I should be fine. I don't even know if I want to do the fishing contest, but I do want to get all the friendship points with everyone. So I'm just going to literally, I think, talk to everyone, probably by the rec row just in case, and then leave. Although I think I did buy the rec row recently already. There's no harm in getting it though. I mean, I know it can come up in the uh, traveling merchant. That's probably where I already got it from. What kind of snowman? Let's go classic one. And he seems to be the happiest with that answer. I don't know if it actually affects any friendship points or anything. Actually, you know what? Let's do the fishing contest. We'll get ourselves the rare crow first and then we'll do it. It's an extra thousand gold at the end of the day. I do wish it gave you fishing XP though. That could have been cool. Is everyone ready? I am always ready. I am born ready. Not for fishing, I suppose. I always hate the fact that these two always get a fish right at the beginning. Like how? Now, I'm pretty sure I need five twins. So as long as I can make sure I hook one more, I'm going to be good. I feel like I don't think I've ever got any more than five though. I may have got six like on one or two occasions, but I don't think really I ever get more than five. Let me know in the comments your record for the Festival of Ice, how many fish you've got. Come on, can we get one more? Probably not actually given the amount of time left by the time I reel it in. Oh, maybe we might actually get this. Do you dare? Yeah, come on, we can get a sixth today. There we go. Definitely securing that win. Now for the winner of this year's ice fishing competition, Willow with six big slimy fish. Of course, here's my prize. Thank you for the, oh, it's 2000 gold. I thought it was 1000. I think I'm thinking of the egg festival. That should now mean our quarry wine is actually ready to go now. So let's try and get that done before we pass out. There it is. There we go. We've got 170 bottles of wine now. So we'll have to compare what we get this time to next time and see how much more money we get. So what I'm going to do is put some of the ghost berries here and take the star fruit with me because that is now going to go towards our jelly because I was going to run out. I was worried about that, but we've actually kept some star fruit or quite a lot of star fruit. So we should be all right. Let's not forget to ship any of that. And we'll put everything back where it belongs. No idea what I'm going to do with this rare crow because I feel like my entire farm is covered way more than I need it to be. I'm probably just going to shove it in a chest. Ooh, and then I wonder if I've got time to quickly make it over to the ghost town because obviously we still haven't seen Pete today. He's still not here. Where is he? Okay. He's not been around for a while. I wonder what's happened. Is Pete okay? Oh well, next time we'll have to handle that. But let's get some sleep. Good old money. Oh my god, 800 grand. Look at all that from the starfruit jelly as well. Starfruit jelly is definitely worth it. Now I was going to say I can't fully remember what we were doing. I can see at the top we do have a to-do list so that has been very helpful. I'm very glad that's there. Looks like we've got David's birthday today so we should definitely handle that and um I also got a comment in the last video I'm pretty sure telling me that Pickle Pete leaves at like 10 so I keep on just like missing him. Now I know. <laughs> so thank you for that. I'll make sure I actually hit him on time today. Do I have any more old coins at home? That is the question. Do I only have 24 or are these just the 24 I've just picked up? I think those are all the old coins I have. That's fine. Okay. So maybe we make today the day that we go to the city anyway. I'm just going to grab a bottle of wine for Selena. So did I say this already? We're going to go handle the city today nice and early because we've got David's birthday. I've got a bottle of wine for Selena. Obviously Pickle Pete we can't do till later. I don't know why I'm not just teleporting. Um, Bear with me. Use that old teleport function. Uh, We'll just go to the interchange as usual. And let's be honest, I'm probably going to give the birthday boy a very rude awakening. It is early o'clock. Very early o'clock. At least for me, because I'm not really much of a morning person, but I mean, to be fair, 
but I have recently been getting up earlier and it's felt weird. Here you go, happy birthday. That should be it now. Yeah, there we go, eight out of eight. And then after that, I think I just literally need to have Selena and Pete and then I'm good. Wait, is Selena already full? Surely not. Oh no, Pierre, Evelyn. Oh no, I do have other people. All right, well, we'll work on that also. Oh, we've got several, okay. No worries. We'll just make sure we do a big old gifting spree today then. I just realized I've left the city without finding Selena. Surely she'll still be home at this hour, you would hope. Oh, she's right there, I just walked straight past her. <laughs> Here you go. Enjoy the wine. You've always got research to do. She never wants to talk to me. I mean, that's fine. I don't really want to talk to her either, but <laughs> I sort of have to, you know. Well, I was never that close with her even before. So let's pop on back home and then let's figure out some gifts for everyone else. So I'm going to just check my gift log. I haven't actually done really any gifting this week. So I'll gather everything up real quick. All right, this will do for now. I'll come back if I need anything else. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, I was just on my way to find Jazz. And I got this cutscene. Oh, well, though, it's perfect timing that you showed up. I brought the children on a little field trip to the countryside. You know all about life in the country, right? So I was thinking, could you be my guest speaker today? Uh, sure. Great, just let me call the children over. Jazz, Vincent, may I have your attention, please? I don't know why my accent came out like that. <laughs> I have a very special guest here to talk to you today, our very own local farmer, Willow. She has first-hand experience living in the countryside, so she knows all about the valley's natural resources. Can anyone tell me what a natural resource is? Jazz? A natural resource is a material source of wealth that occurs in a natural state and has economic value. Very good, that's worth two star points, Jazz. Yes! Okay, now let's give Willow our full attention. Country life is all about farming or country life is all about gathering from the wild. I'll say gathering from the wild because like, it is also farming, but it's kind of both. This valley is chock full of precious minerals. Yes, Vincent? Farmer Willow, is it true that goblins live deep in the caves and that they like to kidnap little girls for their dinner? What? <laughs> Hello? Vincent, you're scaring Jazz. Let's not talk about monsters. I've never seen this version of the dialogue before. I usually say it's about farming. Then I get asked about piggies. I'm kind of glad that I picked this response. <laughs> Wait, is Penny mad at me? Well, that's probably enough for today. You two run along and play. Oh no, have I lost friendship points with her? I hope not. I've just... I'm pretty sure I just got it to eight, didn't I? It's a lot of work to take care of these kids, but I don't really mind. I enjoy seeing them learn and hopefully I can help them grow up to be good people. Would you ever want to be a parent, Willow? Um, I haven't really thought about it. Oh no? Well, I guess that makes sense. You're busy with other things right now. I just didn't want to annoy her and say like, no. Well, I'm glad you showed up, Willow. I think the kids had a great time. Sounds like a good result to me. All right, now to find Jazz because I have a fairy rose for her. And I think she's out with her jump rope. Jump rope, skipping rope. I feel like skipping rope is such a weird word for it because you don't skip, you jump. And it's like different variations of jumping. I've never understood that. I'd rather call it a jump rope. And it's quicker. I don't know why I just went on a tangent about what jump ropes are called, but there you go. <laughs> Enjoy jazz. And uh, who's next? So I need to rearrange my hotbar because I've got not just gifts in here and it's confusing me. Um, There we go. So there I can see I've got like, I can't remember who the rabbit's foot's for. I've got Leo there. Probably the rabbit's foot is for Pierre. Maybe Alex. I need to get Alex something. He's just so annoying with his love gifts. The diamond is going to be for Maru and Willy. Let's go to Willy next, actually. Maybe we pop over to the island whilst we're at it. Here you go. Get on that boat. Wait, it's a destination ginger island. Is there meant to be another destination? I know I didn't install any new mods, so something's changed somewhere. And I also feel like a lot of the time when I'm this close to the end of a playthrough, I don't tend to update my mods too much because I don't want to like break anything right at the end of a playthrough. And I know you can back it up and just like go back, but that's also a pain. Like obviously we're getting reasonably close to perfection at this point. I did also get a comment in the last video saying that maybe we should tear up all the paths until I've got this stupid snake spine. It is really annoying that that is my last one. I have never had this much trouble with it before. So um, I'll probably do that tomorrow in game. I'm still gonna try and look for any artifact spots today just to see if there are any. It's like I said before, I know that I don't have to check every single day, but I just want the damn snake spine. I'm gonna go check the key quest as well because I don't know if I need any more. Do I need any more key gems? Uh, do I have all the recipes? I need two of the recipes. I have three key gems. Okay, right, we're gonna do keys hungry challenge then. Hopefully we'll get a good enough luck day before then to do it. If not, I usually just wait till Sunday if I don't have any good luck days in between. So now I've just got Harvey, Sebastian, and who's the other diamond for? Maru. Here you go. And we're full friendship with Sebastian now, so that's good. And I'll have a look in a minute who I've missed, and I'm pretty sure it's Alex, so I might just have to give him a light gift. Ooh, hello. This is for you. Oh, and I still didn't go to the dwarf, even though I've just been up to the mines. What was I here for again? This isn't Harvey's. <laughs> oh no. Right, let's try again. Unless he's in the saloon. He's not in the saloon. Okay. Here you go. 
do you like either of these fruits? You like pale ale. Okay, you don't like bananas and mangoes. That's wild to me. And here you go. I think that is all of the gifting, at least from here, done. So if we head to the bus stop now and then go straight over to Pete. We're not missing him again. It's not happening. Oh, I left. No, I didn't. Okay. I thought I left my old coins at home. That would have been sad. Any more free ones out here? We got a couple. <gasps> free ice cream on the ground. I'll have to give that to someone and just not tell them it's from the floor. See if there's any line around the ghost town, but let's get rid of all of these ghosts first. Well, no more free old coins. That's fine. We tried our luck. Right, please be there. Yes, he is. Okay. I, I guess I just cut it close as well, getting distracted by everything outside. Please stop giving me trap. I really do not like the fact that he keeps giving me trash. Okay. I'm just going to buy like a few stacks of these coins. I'm going for a full stack of seeds. <laughs> I've been trying not to talk whilst I use my mouse. You can hear how aggressively I'm clicking. <laughs> Okay, I will take a thousand and one eerie seeds. That's very unsatisfying, but it is what it is. We've got the seeds we need. <laughs> and from here, I'm just going to teleport home. Actually, I'm going to teleport to Island West and put them straight into my chest. Did I not leave my seeds here? Oh no, I ran out, didn't I? I completely forgot that even happened. All right, well, we'll put those away and then I'll probably sleep on the island today so I can handle the paths in the morning. Um, let's just sell anything we don't really need right now. I know there's more efficient things to do with some of this stuff, but lazy. And get some sleep. Oh, it's a really good luck day today, so I should probably do skull caverns then. Let's just, uh, pop on home. Let's have a look what I'm gonna need. We'll bring some staircases. I'm gonna bring the spicy eel and stuff with me anyway, because once the hungry challenge is up, I do need to be able to eat again after that. I do wish I had some magic rock candy, but there's not really much I can do about that. I'll leave my teleport cores here. Here's where I don't ever remember again that they're in there and freak out. I don't know how many times I've done that in this series where I'm just like, oh, I've left my teleport call somewhere and I can't remember. What's in my mail? A lobster bisque recipe from Willy. Now, I also need some bombs. There we go. We've got plenty of the stuff. Now, I should be ready to go. That is definitely my challenge, isn't it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I get some of the, um, like mining related key quests mix up. So like, I just have to check at the last second. Okay. So no. Okay. What if I leave? I meant to eat this first. Right, we'll, we'll do that first. So we're drinking the triple shot, we're eating the spicy eel, and then we're gonna go in. And what I'm gonna do is remove all the food from my hot bar so I can't make the mistake of accidentally doing it and like forgetting. So we should be all right. So I'm just gonna check, it does say one. We're all good. <laughs> I thought I like messed it up immediately. That would have not been good. And obviously any iridium we get today is an absolute must. I completely forgot I can just use magic to break my way through. So we're gonna do that. Of course, until I run out of mana that is. I completely forgot as well that I've got a crusader on my sword. Oh my God, my memory is terrible. Terrible. Ah, I've already got, I've lost half my health already, which is not ideal. I suppose I could always heal with my spell. I wonder if that counts. I mean, you'd hope not, right? Because I'm not actually eating. I kind of don't want to risk it though. Oh, Crystallarium, I'll have that. Skipping these infested floors immediately. What I probably need to do at some point is maybe switch out the enchantment on my sword to vampiric instead. It just gives me a chance of like a little bit more extra heal just sometimes. Although to be fair, it's not like I plan to do this key quest a ton. We'll just see what happens. I'm definitely making some effort to go for some of these um, healy slimes though, because you know, I might as well get the hearts back. Prevent a few mishaps here and there. Oh my God, my health is so low. This, I've got to be careful. Oh, first treasure floor. Huh, life elixirs. That's a bit ironic because I literally can't use them. It's fine. Everything is fine. I still have mostly enough staircases to get me through a lot of the floors. I just try to avoid using them unless I like really need them. Ruby! Okay, this is where things are getting dicey because I have nearly no health from jumping down a hole. However, I should just be able to ah, staircase the entire way. Sometimes I won't. I don't always want to waste them. I'll just uh, use them if I think I'm going to die immediately. And I know you can't die from jumping down these holes so it's all good oh straight to a treasure floor i love them i will always take some meridian bars oh my god give me a spot oh my god i was panicking as long as there's no monsters in here we are good if it's safe enough i do tend to try and grab the iridium because i do need it for money not gonna lie though this health bar is giving me anxiety ah oh my god <sighs> and again i need to like okay take a breather i've got i've got a minute <laughs> Good grief. We can do this. A prizzy. I'll have a prizzy. Three floors to go. We can do this. Come on. We're so close. There we go. We made it. We're all good. Everything's fine. I need to heal up ASAP. And all we got is a white turban. I do not need another hat. Right. Let's have one of those life elixirs. Fix ourselves up a bit. And now um, what I can also do is put my other food back in my hot bar. So I want my berries. I want my spicy eel and also my triple shots as well. Let's have another one of them. Oh, is that a coffee? And most of what I'm doing now is literally just looking for iridium. <gasps> 
another treasure floor. It's been a while since I had one of these. Um, we will get rid of the sap. Not really sure if I need a seed maker at this point, but it's fine. I was just grateful to see one at all. It's been a while. Not the prehistoric floor. Absolutely not. Decent amount of iridium on this floor. I will take it all. Oh my goodness. Right, floor 180 and we've got 626 iridium. I think that's the most iridium I've ever got in a day. I can't be mad about that. Did I get anything I can give to Kristoff? Here you go, have a topaz. It was light as you found us last night. We've got some jelly to deal with today. Let's go put everything away real quick. Oh, I can set up my new crystallarium as well because the jade is ready. What have I done with all my prizzies? I guess maybe I put, did I put them in here? No, I don't. Have I run out? I think these are my only prizzies. Okay. I keep forgetting whether I have some or not on this save file. <laughs> so you are going to go here, stick another jade in there with those. There we go. And then what jelly are we going for? Ancient fruit jelly. I think I only harvest those on wine days, which is tomorrow. So I wonder if I just have to wait. Oh no, I'm going for star fruit jelly now because I've got all the um, ghost berry wine. So I should be good. Right. So I've got a bit of ancient fruit, star fruit jelly and cranberry jelly. Should net us a decent profit tonight. And then in my awesome chest let's have a look i'm gonna take out some of the iron and stuff i'm definitely gonna take a lot of the coal i'll we'll take some of the copper as well because i am gonna need it for i kind of want to add more furnaces but i also want more kegs i don't know i haven't decided let's just pop up to the quarry i probably should feel these out really shouldn't i all right let's pop on home we'll do a few more uh furnaces i think i'll prioritize those and once that area is filled then i can focus on kegs they do still have quite a lot of kegs so i am literally just going to use all of the copper i have and where's my stone there it is we made another seven that's something. Progress is progress. So we get these all down. Whoops. And then we better get all this iridium smelting. And at least I know for sure I'm not actually that low on coal. I do have some bars here. So maybe we go and make another 31 kegs. I think wine. Oh, it's not quite done for a few days. But you know what? We can try. Let's go have a look. Can we do it? 31 kegs? Yes, we can. And... I do just want to check real quick if I've got a dresser in here because I've got a hat on me that I don't want to wear. There we go. So I need to finish this line of kegs and then how do I want to do it next? I think I just want to first of all follow along the bottom here, get the edges filled out and then we'll add more rows. I'm going to leave this back bit like this just because I feel like it's going to look weird. I mean, I might eventually put a fence behind there like I have with some of the other uneven bits, but that'll do for now. So I guess the next thing I should really do is farm for some copper, but it's not a very good luck day. So I don't know if it's even worth it today. I'll bring some spicy eel with me and see if that will help us out. I mean, I know I could technically just go buy it from Clint, but I don't particularly want to do that. I do have a load of rubies though, so maybe we'll go trade those. Let's go get a load more spicy eel. I don't really have a need for this many rubies. There we go. 73 other stuff. That should do us nicely. But before we do go up to the mines, I am just grabbing my teleport cores because I feel naked without them. There they are. Need the option to be mobile, you know? Might as well give the dwarf a quick little gift whilst I'm up here. There we go. Obviously being the lowest friendship that we've got. And then we're doing some copper. I think 20 is actually the better floor for this because it's smaller. I suppose while we're here we might as well grab all of the fibre too. Any mix seeds I get today as well. I don't know if I've already planted any of this kind of stuff on the farm yet for winter but I do want to do some fibre seeds because it's good to just have an absolute load of the stuff especially in winter when you're not occupied by other crops. It will also hold the sprinkler spots, but I do actually have time for like a couple of rounds. I don't know if I'm going to have enough seeds for a couple of rounds though, so maybe we just do it once and be patient and wait till spring. Oh my god, our first actually good cluster of the day. I will take all of that. I mean, realistically, it's only going to let me make a hand for more furnaces, but it's still going to be worth it. I've also just realised I have been spending today slashing through the fibre by hand, and that's what I have a spell for. It's not just for rocks, it's also for, well, any debris, and fibre is also debris. Oh dear. Thanks, brain. I feel like it always records stuff at the most inconvenient time, like when I've already been doing this the entire game day. But it's fine. I guess it's better than not realising at all, right? Right, you know what? I think I'm gonna actually just teleport home. So let's go ahead and do that. I was gonna pass out, but I might as well save the thousand gold. I'm trying to make 10 million and every penny counts. And then tomorrow we'll review how many furnaces we can make with the couple of hundred copper I got, which isn't bad for a bad that day. 233,000 gold that night. I will take it from all of that jelly. Okay. Okay, so with the 241 copper, we can make another 12 furnaces. I'll take it. It's actually not too bad. So let's go take those straight up to the quarry. Oh, I will go see if there's anything at the traveling merchant as well. And also I need to check on my fish ponds, don't I? Oh, the sturgeons want a diamond. Let's handle that before I even go down there because I don't want to uh, forget. Enjoy, there you go. Is there anything even in this pond? I don't think there is. I still haven't done aged row. Have I just like not kept any fish row to age? Because I don't remember seeing any in here, although I didn't really look. Oh no, we've got some. Okay, it's fine. I just need to actually remember 
to put it in one of the jars. So let's go check the traveling merchant. And from there, I'm looking for the mead, the beer, and the caviar. If I don't have to make my own caviar, then I'll be happy. And the mead and beer, because I tend to forget when I'm focused on nothing but wine. And I got neither. Wait, I can just go buy a beer from Gus's. What were we talking about? I'll just do that at some point. Have I already done that? I feel like I, why do I feel like I've already done that? That'd be because I have, okay. I need to remove the beer from the list then. Okay, I cannot remove the beer from the list and I'm too lazy to type the entire thing out again. It's annoying, you can only like delete stuff. You can't select like where you want in the text and then like backspace from there. You have to like go all the way back and delete it or it's so annoying. Like don't get me wrong, this to-do list mod is useful. I wouldn't be without it, but <laughs> there is something like I'd, I'd quite like to be able to edit my list, you know? <gasps> Look at all the iridium, yes. Okay, well we can set off another even bigger batch in a minute, something like, this. There we go. Actually, that's kind of perfect. So let's go get more iridium done. Do we do the iron first? We should probably do the iron first. I can always come back later today and do the iridium. Those 49 bars are going straight in the shipping bin when I get home. I can remove furnace area off my list though because I have finished that now. And then what I'd quite like to do today is also make sure I tie up any other gifts for the gifting week. Actually no, because we do start tomorrow on a new gifting week. I was going to also do some more gifting today, but I don't think that matters now because the next game day is the last day of the gifting week. So as long as I remember to do it the first day of the next episode, then we should be good. We'll also have the ghost berries next time and the star fruit. That's very exciting. Oh, I forgot to tear up all these paths. We'll do that today for sure. I do like to get rid of the muscle rocks too, even though I don't need them because that's obviously another spot that an artifact spot can spawn. Definitely no luck today. So let's get rid of all of these paths. I don't think they can spawn along here though. So I don't know. Like can, like this is all grass and stuff. I know I got rid of some of it. Maybe I just get rid of, wait, did I already get rid of? I already got rid of the paths over the spots they can spawn. Okay, I'm just gonna not stress about it from now. Where did I get this one piece from? Hello? There maybe? Yeah, I think all the diggle spots are exposed real good. Did I just completely forget that I did something? And just to like also triple check as well, my furniture catalog definitely isn't in here. And I'm gonna check one very last time over over at the city because I have had someone recently comment where like some people have just started binging the series which also thank you very much if you have been enjoying it so far but obviously when you watch all the episodes in a row you see things happen a lot earlier or like uh, a lot fresher in your mind than me recording this once a week like sometimes it's months between I've last seen an item so oh let's just teleport straight to the interchange first and then um we'll go have a look again but I could have sworn I've checked the apartment so I don't know <gasps> oh no I think Cal just saw me on my cloud he, he didn't say he didn't say anything it's all good you'll just have to we'll just pretend you didn't see it oh no hi Gwen I found a calcium carbonate cluster on the internet that looks just like fried chicken this actually made me really hungry I really want to buy it but where would I put it put it in the fridge so you can like give it to someone as a snack that you don't like where was I going again oh yeah my own apartment I could have sworn this apartment had a bed in it once upon a time it's gone I didn't put the bed there I remember there being a bed and then trying to sleep in it and it wouldn't work that isn't just inside my head it, uh, I do remember that, don't I? Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna spend a minute chopping down all of, oh, I've got the wrong set of spells on. All of these trees over here, just because I'm gonna need them for even more kegs and stuff. Like realistically, I need the iron and stuff more than I need the wood at the moment, but wouldn't do me any harm to just like have it on hand, you know? Maybe we'll also clear out the little quarries on the way down. I think that'll do the trick. And any copper I get today, I am gonna obviously put towards kegs from now on because we filled our furnace area. Definitely using a fair amount of this wood to the water, but that's fine. And I will live without it. I think that's enough of that for one day. So let's clear out these little areas. We'll get a little bit more ore from around here. Not a huge amount, mind, but it's still like more than none. Okay, well, that's 11 more bars, so that's 11 more kegs. Get them smelted up ASAP. Oh, I ran out of coal. Well, I haven't run out. I just ran out of what I already picked up. All right, and with those copper done, we'll do another batch of iridium. And then I'm going to add to my list to plant some fiber because I need to remember to do that at some point. Diber. Oops. There we go. My goodness, at some point, I definitely do need to remember maybe the upcoming Sunday to go and try my jays because 111 of them is kind of a lot. So looking at the perfection track of what have I got left? I still am not level 10 fishing. Oops. Okay. So we need to handle that. Um, We've already looked at the shipping before. The crafting and the cooking is kind of a problem. So maybe we tackle that very soon. And as usual, we need to just keep keeping our eye out for that stupid artifact spot with that stupid snake spine and eventually we'll get it. But oh, it's such a pain because I feel like the rest of it, I can just like sequentially bash out and just get done. But when it comes to something that I'm like, walking around looking for and hoping that it turns up. There's literally nothing I can do about it. I know there's the 
method of resetting when you see an artifact spot, but I don't really like doing that, especially because half the time it's not the first thing in the day that I remember to do. So by the time I get around to checking the artifact spots, I've already kind of like gone around everywhere and done some stuff. I don't want to have to redo it all. But yeah, that is going to do us for today. We made 76,000 gold, mostly from those Iridium bars. Very happy with that. And yeah, quite a lot of stuff on our list to do for next time. Right, tomorrow we have the ghost berries to do, but today we're going to go and do our pretty much almost daily check for this damn snake spine. We've also got a challenge from Willy to catch a link odd. We should probably accept that because we haven't got level 10 fishing yet. So um, probably a good idea. <gasps> There's actually some worms. Oh my God, please. <gasps> uh, okay, let's go. Is that our first or our second? I can't remember. Oh my God. Oh my God. Have we got it? <laughs> please, 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 please. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Finally! Ah, now this is a truly fascinating piece of natural history, thank you! And would you look at that, with this donation we've got another full set piece completed. Oh my god! <laughs> I've got a little something waiting for you behind the counter when you're ready for it! <laughs> oh my god, we've done it, we've done it, we've done it. Uh... <laughs> wow, look how far we've cut- we? I did all the work! I still would've got this collection completed even if you were still stuck in that game. Okay, there we go. The collection looks fantastic and it's all thanks to you, Willow. Fair enough, fair enough. Here, as a way of saying thanks, I wanna teach you something. We got the ostrich incubator. I can finally get that egg done. This device will allow you to raise ostriches back home. Just place the incubator in the barn, place an ostrich egg inside it and wait. Getting your hands on an ostrich egg is a different story though. I'll leave that up to you. Huh, well, now the real work begins. I'll be studying these bones for years to come. Oh well, Willow. Oh, well indeed, I'll probably never speak to you ever again. Oh my god, what a start. That's amazing. Well in that case, what I can probably do today is slap down all of those paths again. Actually, what is the recipe for the ostrich incubator? Because I'm gonna obviously have to make that. 50 bone shards, 50 hardwood, and 20 cinder shards. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all the bone shards from the dig site first because I don't remember if I've got many back home. And, oh, I don't have animation cancelling on. Bear with. Okay, that's the soundtrack. <laughs> I can also remove it from my list as well. That feels amazing, not gonna lie. And then I'm also just gonna sell off any of the like fossily bits because I don't really need them anymore. I know I could put them through the uh, bone crusher thing, but um, I don't want to. Oh no, are my cinder shards here or are they at the island? Um, oh, I've got enough, okay. And then some hardwood, let's make that right now. And then where did I put my ostrich egg? <gasps> Wait, I've got two of them. I could just ship one. I think I'm just gonna ship one. I'm gonna hatch one and ship one. Let's go into the barn. Um, ooh, okay, I need to feed my animals. Whoops. So I'll stick that in there and then we'll go get some hay. I think I've got like loads of it anyway. Let's shove this straight in the shipping bin. And I think all my hay is in one of these. Oh no, wait, it's, it'll be in this one. There we go, loads of the stuff. Now I was gonna try and think about where I wanna put my animal machines. I don't really know where I wanna put them. Like, do I just build another shed? I could probably build another shed. But am I going to be bothered to like go inside a shed and deal with it? I mean, I should, right? I should. I can't remember exactly what I need for a shed, so I'm just going to bring a load of wood and stone up to Robin's. Oh, pine tar. I need that too. Hello, Robin. Can you build me a shed, please? Let's find the shed. There it is. And then I'm going to put it down here. Right, let's get that pine tar straight in the shipping bin. And then did I handle beer yet? I think I did, didn't I? Yeah, I just need to make sure I get some mead going at some point. Do I have any honey around? I'll have some somewhere, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and keep a jar on me just to remind me that I need to put it in the keg. Um, when are they next done? One day, five hours. Okay, so tomorrow I can put a thing of mead on. Now, I wanted to get a few more iridium sprinklers down here. I don't know if I've actually got any spare or if I have to make any more. Yeah, I have to make some. Okay. Isn't it like, what was it again? Iridium, gold, and batteries. Okay. So I'll make three of them. That's just like a complete blind guess as to how many I need. I could even do them with the uh, pressure nozzle. No, it's fine. I'll do it without. Well, that's annoying. Maybe I should do it with the pressure nozzles. Unless I do two with the pressure nozzles because it will kind of fit the area better, right? Maybe I'll just do it like this and put a path around them all. I think that'll probably be better. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. And this obviously has to go somewhere else. I think I'm going to shove it down here instead. I should probably make one for this side too, shouldn't I? There we go. Much better. And now what is it that I need for making a load of fibre seeds? Oh, I've got 178 mix seeds, so it's probably not that. It's probably the clay. But even then, the clay's fine. Okay, I might be all right. Um, I don't even know how many I actually need, so... I've made like 500 for now. It might actually be more than that. We'll start with the 500 and then see how we go. <gasps> nope, we're not doing that today because I just remembered me saying that, hey, if we go and deal with gifts 
today, the first day of the episode, then I'm going to catch the end of the gifting week and I almost forgot about that. So who do we have left to gift? We've got Pierre, Willie, Lewis, Jazz, Kent. We have a lot of people. Pickled Pete as well. All right. All right. Let's just run and get as many of these gifts out as possible. There's Harvey. Where's my coffee? There you go. Enjoy. Here you go. Oh, I've already given Jazz two gifts this week, so I'll just talk to her. He... Oh, I've already done two for the dwarf as well. I guess I'll just leave these topazes here. And then I ran out of gems. I kind of left them all up the dwarf, so I need to go and get another one for Clint. I think I'm just going to go retrieve it from the dwarf, because the dwarf's got enough up there. I forgot about Leo as well, but I imagine he's asleep by now, and I need to get to Pete before he closes. I can probably teleport from here straight to the ghost town, to be honest. And here you go. What year is it again? <laughs> You sure that doesn't sound right? I guess he doesn't really care about the concept of time, really. Three hearts to go. Less than three hearts to go. We're almost there. Okie dokie, let's get some sleep. Oh, it's also Harvey's birthday today, so we can go and handle his birthday real quick. And we have Sam at our door. Hi, Willow. Guess what? My band is playing a show tonight in Zuzu City. Meet me at the bus stop around four this afternoon to leave for the show. You better be there. All right, fine. God. I'll be there. We've got some sashimi from Linus. And we've got the travelling market ma but the winter night the night market the night market <laughs> words are hard so in theory this should actually fill up harvey's friendship all the way there we go and i seem to have a cutscene. Ooh, hello hello is anyone out there this is dr h at 52 north 43.5 east seeking area response anyone out there copy dr h on the ground this is blackbird five of five azuzu anything to report <laughs> someone's there uh i mean Standard ground report, wind at 3 clicks, 36 degrees north of west, ground temperature at 42 crags, humidity 53%, Dr. H out! Oh my god, the panic. The panic. I would panic too. Yikes, my pulse is soaring. Willow, ask Harvey's why he's all flustered. Oh, well, you see, I was just on my radio here and I made contact with a real pilot. As a matter of fact, we can probably see him flying overhead right now. Quick, get over here. Sir, you're taking up the entire window. Look, there's our plane. It's one of those little planes. <laughs> I hate flying. <laughs> As a kid, my dream was always to be a pilot, but with my bad eyesight and a crippling fear of heights, that dream started to fade away. It's okay, don't be sad. I've grown to accept my station in life. Not everyone can achieve their dreams. That's just the way the world is. Hey, let me show you my model aeroplanes. I just finished the new TR Starbird Deluxe set. As long as you don't make me flying that thing, we're all good. <laughs> Alright, before we pop off to Ginger Island, I am going to go and turn over all of these. So, I need to do Age Drew and Caviar. Do I have any Sturgeon Row anywhere? Let me go check. I can't remember if I've even got a sturgeon in this pond down here. I do have one. Okay, so we just don't have any row yet. That's fine. I'll still get the aged row going. And then we can get another batch of starfruit jelly going. And these jades being done in the crystallariums reminded me that it's Sunday and I need to go trade, oh my god, 118 jades. That is a lot of staircases. Let's go handle that real quick before I can forget that too. Because I know I'm not going to forget about the ghost berries. We should have a very good skull cabins run at some point with all of them. All right, I'm praying that my ghostberry seeds are already on the island. I'm hoping I've also left all the paths there as well, because I feel like that would be a good time to fix all the paths up now that we've got the snake vertebrae. Which is funny, because it didn't even spawn on the spot that I needed it. Okay, we have left all of our paths here. Perfect. Um, we still have some starfruit seeds left, and I feel like... I mean, I suppose I can save them for summer. Uh, nah, it's fine. Okay, let's just go for it. Okay, we're all good. Now, I think uh, it was the right move actually letting my speed boost expire because it did make it a lot easier to stop missing tiles. So I'm just going to sell off all the pineapple and the blueberries and stuff and all the starfruit I'm going to keep for jelly and such. And now I can repath the place. And then what I quite like to do with the rest of it is probably just add some long grass in these areas because I kind of also like how that looks. Oh, we have a few wines already done, so let me just get one of these meads going. I think all the wines are going to start uh, arriving soon, but I like to do my wine on a Monday, so I am just going to wait for that. I just wanted to get the mead going for now. Okay, so I've taken all of my fibre with me, and then we're going to make some grass starters. I'm not going to make a huge amount to begin with, just because I know that they don't really spread here, so I need to put as many down as the tiles are. And they do take a lot of fibre to make, so I don't want to make too many if I don't need to. But basically all the dirt bits I do want to cover with grass. There we go. Is there a gap here? No, we're good. Okay. I'm happy with that. I can't believe I basically just burned through like 700 fibre though. Oh, I already had loads of grass stuff. Damn it. <laughs> oh no. Well, never mind. Part of me is also wondering if I even bother keeping these trees around because I don't really make use of them all that much. 
I might just chop them down and turn them into more sprinkler space. Because we can definitely get another two more here. So if we put one here and one like here, I know it doesn't quite line up like it goes into this a little bit, but that's fine. And then I need to move this little torchy thing here. I'll put it with the bee houses. Then we have a little bit more crop space. I'm gonna go check at the quarry what the copper situation is looking like. Oh, look at all those iridium bars. Okay, I have like basically none. So what I might do tonight is I'll ship all of these uh, iridium bars. And then it's probably a good idea to go farm some more copper so that we can make some more kegs because that is what I'm low on at the moment. All right, hopefully our copper floor isn't infested or anything today. Thank goodness for that. And I suppose I might as well grab all this fiber whilst I'm here too after all the fiber we just spent. And also before I forget, I need to edit this. So nine days from now would be the 23rd of winter. That'll be our next batch of ghost berries. Oh no, I just realized I needed copper for the mayo machines too. That's so annoying. Okay, well, I mean, it's even more reason for us to be down here farming this. Okay, well, 114 copper, that's still like a really good amount. I'm happy with that. Just for a little evening of copper farming and then we'll go and smelt them first thing in the morning because it should mean that I can make quite a few more kegs for wine day. I'm also gonna take most of my copper and iron bars with me just so I might be able to make them on the spot there. And we'll bring any wood and oak resin as well. Whilst I'm waiting for those, I might as well get started on the next batch of wine. And I completely forgot how quick copper is actually to smelt. So let's see how many more kegs we can get out of this. It'll probably be to do with either the number of copper bars or it'll be the wood that's the roadblock. So 38, okay, it was definitely the wood, which easily fixable. There we go, that's all of our new kegs. That did have quite a few more. And I'm definitely gonna need to get some more coal soon too. There's our mead as well, that's perfect. And then let's get our gooseberries going, or at least our second batch of wine, I mean. All right, how much of this have we got? Oh my God, it's like 1.8 million. I'm curious to know if we can age this. Did I check this already? I can't remember. Okay, you can't actually age this stuff, that's good to know. <laughs> Let's just shove it all straight in the shipping bin then, and the mead as well, because obviously we need to ship that. So really all we've got here is the aged root and caviar, so I am going to edit this. So now I know, and then do we handle the fibre planting today? Actually, first I need to go harvest all of my ancient fruit. Then as well as the star fruit jelly, we've also got the ancient fruit jelly. Then since I've used up all of the... And since I've used up all of the wood, what would probably be a good idea today is for me to go around and chop down all the trees that aren't on my farm. Oh no, I'm gonna need my axe because Pam's there. I'll probably do this bit in the evening just so, you know, I don't get seen using the clear debris spell. <laughs> the forest is nice and grown back, but oops, not for long. Okay, so the whole forest hasn't grown back, but a lot of it has. So I'm just gonna take advantage of whatever there is. Okay, 600 wood from Cinder Sap is pretty good. I'm gonna go check the backwards and the train station as well. I mean, there's one tree I can chop down, the other two have tappers on them, so I'm gonna ignore those. And then we've got a couple up here as well. Now we do also have the night market today and I am gonna be checking it just for the caviar, I think, because obviously the traveling merchant does go there every day for the market. Look at that perfect timing. We literally entered right when it opened. Please have caviar. She does not have caviar. We're gonna use this to get home. And then hopefully Pam has left the area. Oh no, I completely forgot about the concert. Okay, we'll handle that first. <laughs> Hi Willow, thanks for coming. Well, our gear's loaded already. Looks like everything's set. All right, everyone, let's get in the bus. I'm starting to get really nervous. You can do it, Sam. Okay, here we are. Wish me luck. Hi, everyone. We're from Pelican Town. Uh, and we're called the Alf Alphas. <laughs> what a name. Here we go. Oh, I forgot I play with the music off. So, um, yeah. <laughs> also, what the heck is Maru doing? Oh my goodness. Woo, that was great. I, I, I mean, sure. This guy's still going. Good job, it's a new Honky Tonk classic. I really enjoyed that bass part. Thanks everyone. But you should really be clapping for Willow. Without her help, we'd never have decided what kind of music to make in the first place. So you're like an honorary member of the band then? I mean, I guess. Oh, and don't forget to pick up one of the demo cassettes on the way out, only 10 gold. That went well, thanks again for coming with us. Well, I mean, Pam's definitely left the area now after that. <laughs> Let's just grab these trees. Now, before we go to bed, I'm hoping I've got a Lincod just somewhere in the chest so I don't have to catch like another one because they are really annoying to catch. Can you move out the way, please? Thank you. <gasps> yes, I've got one. Okay, we'll go and give this one to Willy. I know I still need to get level 10 fishing, but I can do that without having to like worry about if I'm catching a Lincod or not. And we have a Clint cutscene. Hello, Willow. Care to join me? Um, I mean, if I have to. Let me just go ahead and tell you what's on my mind. Oh, he's angry. I have terrible luck with women, Willow. I'm a nice guy if you get to know me, I swear. Ugh, I hate when- Oh my god, don't. Do not. You're nasty. You're a girl, Willow. What advice can you give me? Um, hmm. Just act natural, be yourself. I mean, you'll get the right woman for you, but 
Probably not Emily. <laughs> That's the problem, I do act natural, but I never have any success. It's hard for me to say act nat- I mean, usually my advice would be act natural, but like, pl please, please be less creepy, I wish that was an option. Hi Clint, what can I get for you tonight? Oh no. Uh, I mean, I'll have the big and cheesy with extra sauce, please. Hi Willow. Uh, th thanks Emily for taking my order. Emily, I was wondering. Yes Clint? Never mind. Well, that's not gonna get you anywhere. Hi Shane, here's your beverage. Thanks Emily. So, how's your shift coming along? It's fine, thanks for asking, Shane. Do you have any new chicken stories for me? That's how you make conversation. <laughs> Not that I'm any expert on making conversation, but <laughs> I'm doomed. Okay, Willie, here is your link card. Let's get that extra 550 gold. And is there anything on the board today? Do we do the squid one? I don't really like doing them though. Uh, no, we're not gonna do it, we don't need it. I'd rather just like fish and sort of relax and not have to worry about which fish I'm catching. But for tonight, Willow's gonna have an early night. Ooh, we got some sort of achievement. Look at that 1.8 mil. Nice. I wonder if it's the 10 million achievement. I don't know, we'll find out in a minute. Yes, it is. What's in our mail today? Sam with a thank you note. And then today's the day I'm gonna prep all the sprinklers, I think. Oh no, I've done... What have I done? Um, let's fix up all my signs real quick. I've just messed them all up. I wish you could like lock the signs so that you can't do that by accident because it's kind of annoying. All right, I don't have the till spell on me so I am just gonna go ahead and use my actual hoe because I don't think there's a crazy amount of stuff to hoe. Actually, can I even hoe this? Oh, okay. Well, I probably shouldn't have got rid of those trees then because I can't even till those spots. That's kind of annoying. Oh well, what can we do? I noticed as well, that Robin's not here anymore, so I guess our shed's done. So maybe we'll go and ask her for the upgrade as well. I like to get them done all in one go. And then I can start getting the shed situated once the upgrade is done. You know, with all the machines and stuff. Oh, right, this isn't tillable either. Okay, well that was kind of... Oh man, okay, well never mind. Maybe I should put my shed up here then. Maybe that's what I'll do. Okay, let's put down some of these paths back. Because what I'm going to do is I'll rip these middle ones up and maybe this will be a space for like two more sheds so if I put a thing down the middle like this gonna need a few more of them oh no Robin's not gonna be there damn it has she already left <gasps> can I get up there real quick before she leaves for the exercise class I think I'm not gonna make it I might have to do this next time we can try <gasps> she's here wait what no exercise class today I mean I'm not complaining because it means I can get my upgrade done oh I need stone okay whoops Right, there's no one out here, so I should just be able to teleport home. And then I'm going to use my mountain obelisk to get up there, because I kind of forgot I had it. I'm just worried she's going to suddenly leave her counter. Okay, let's get the big shed done. Actually, we'll move it first. I think that'll be the easiest way. So if we pick you up, and we're going to put you over here. So I guess I need to make this path behind a little wider, just to, you know, make sure that nothing spawns behind it. So we'll just do that. And then I can make another shed here as well. So... Let's do that upgrade, like that. And now we can get back to our planting. Um, let's put away these sprinklers first though. I do need to make some extra paths actually and do the line behind it. So let's take care of that real quick. It's actually, no, it's not two, it's just one. So I need one, two, three, four. I only need four more paths. We'll just use just enough because I don't want to waste any wood at this point. Oh, it was five, not four, I can't count. There we go. And now we've got a little spot ready for another shed. So we're all till down here, let's get these seeds in the ground so that they're ready for spring. For more crop space as well, what would probably also be a good idea if I move these fish ponds somewhere else because there's plenty of non-tillable space that I can put these, like for example up where I just removed the sprinklers where the trees were. So maybe I'll put them there instead. Ooh, have I got too many spots here? I think I have. And then that way I can fit in another few sprinklers down there. And I can actually ask the wizard to go move these as well. I will go and plant the seeds when I get back. I also need to scythe off some of those dead crops as well. Assuming that I've got enough fibre seeds, I think I do. But best to be safe than sorry. So if we move both of you up here... Can I fit two in? Oh, I can only fit one. That's mildly annoying. Um, in that case, I'm going to put them... Can I put them here? No, I can't put them there either. Oh no. Um, unless I just do one in each spot. Like, I know it doesn't really match up, but... I don't think it matters too much. I usually like to keep stuff together, but I think in this case, maximizing the crop space is probably the smartest move. Eventually what I'll do is I'll move it to the center of this little area, and then I'll put like another different type of paving around it. Let's pop on home, and then I'm gonna grab one of my rare crows from down here, since I have two of them. 
and we'll shove one in this little gap and one like down here maybe over here yeah we'll put it over here somewhere I definitely can't till and before I just set up the final sprinklers I do just want to pop over to the witch's hut real quick because I did get a comment on the last video saying that in one of the earlier videos I talked about inspecting the wait do I even have the inspect spell no I don't okay we'll go to PS first then but Basically at the witch's hut there's those three shrine things and I want to give those a go with analysing them because I don't think I've done that before. So I'm going to replace the blood mana one because I don't really like using it anyway. And there's no one around here so I'm wondering if I can teleport straight over there. I don't think I can. We'll just teleport to the backwards, that'll be still a lot quicker. Alright, we'll try the witch's hut in general first, nothing there. And then what about these? Did these give us any spells? They actually don't, okay. Well, I mean, it was definitely worth a try, so appreciate the comment. And it was something I said myself that I wanted to try it anyway, so let's head back home. And then I want to get out a few more sprinklers ready for... There we go, we added another four here, and I think, I think it might actually be worth our while to add a fifth up here, just because there's actually quite a lot of tillable space in this little zone. Like, why not, you know? It feels so weird to have run out of energy. I haven't done that in a long time. I probably should have just gone and put the till spell on since I was down at the altar, but it's fine. And I definitely have more than enough seeds to replace those dead crops down there, so I will do that real quick. And before I go to bed tonight, I noticed that my jelly's done, so we are going to handle that too. Yay, the age row as well, so now really all we have is the caviar. When it comes to the jelly, I'm going to prioritise the ancient fruit first, just so we don't burn through all of the star fruit, and plus... We do need a use for the ancient fruit that we're growing in the greenhouse, so I think it makes sense to use those first before I use the star fruit. And we had literally the perfect amount of fruit on us, so that's a major win. Let's get all of this shipped and then get to bed before we pass out. Oh my god, what a day, we made so much gold. And we got down the ostrich incubator because we finally finished all the fossils and such. I'm so happy with our progress, honestly. There's one big thing I want to tackle today and that is the cooking. Ooh. What do you want, Oon? Why am I not walking fast? Uh, the eels want a geode. I'm not going to give them that just because I don't need any more than three eels anyway. Do we still have a sturgeon in here? Yeah, we do. Okay. I think I'm pretty much just waiting for the sturgeon to lay some eggs. And then we can go ahead and get that caviar. Let me put these fiber seeds away. I don't need those anymore. And then I'm literally just going to go get straight on with the cooking. So... Um, we're gonna go with whatever we've got in here at the moment, just because it's gonna make us some room. Or maybe not, maybe I should just go and get all the other thingy-bobs in here. I don't think I've got that many ingredients, or like, not that much variety of stuff. I know I don't really need this many of a lot of the things, so I'm gonna remove some of them. Just because it's like, taking up a lot of space. I don't think hops are even needed for, uh, cooking or anything, so I'm just gonna take those out too. What about in this fridge? We've just got red cabbages, okay. I'm gonna go put these crops away and then I'm gonna go through my crop chests and see what we have or what we are missing. I've got some of the fruit and veg and stuff out of the chests and then I'm gonna need also some eggs and stuff. I will properly clean out those uh, grabbers later but I don't want to do that right now so we'll just go with a decently sized pile of each. And hopefully I've got the rest of the ingredients. I might have to go to Pierre's and like pick up some uh, like flour and sugar and stuff like that. Probably I should do that first, right? So I did pick out a few things from my chest that I know aren't in the fridge. We're just going to shove those all in and then I will go to Pierre's right now. Because I really do think I don't have any like flour and stuff. Oh, I forgot he's not at his counter yet. Um, all right, well, we'll just kind of... I was going to say we'll hang out there for an hour, but you know what? I think I'm just going to check all the bins. Get some bonus things. That should kill like an hour. And do we have anything good here? Um, we slay a load of skeletons. I'm going to accept it just because we probably should. I don't know how many bone fragments I have and if I still need more for crafting, so probably be a good idea to do that. We may or may not do it. I suppose the extra six grand will be nice as well because we are going to obviously aim for the golden clock too. Not obviously in this episode, but... You know, in general. That should bring us just in time for Pierre to get to his counter. There he is. So I'm gonna buy 50 of each. I know that's probably overkill. Maybe 25 rice. I don't think I need quite as many. I think that should be good. Okay, let's go. And whilst I'm on a bin check, I can't not do the two that are down here. And they didn't give me anything good. Okay, never mind. Oh, that was close. If I was like one second later, Vincent would have caught me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I also need mayo and cheese and stuff. So I'm gonna bring those into maybe a truffle. That should be good. And then the last thing I wanna check for is fish and just pick up the fish that I know are gonna be part of it. Um, however, do I just wait for that until the end? Because what I don't want is for a specific fish to be used when it's crafting a recipe for any fish. So we'll do that, we'll do that last. But let's go through and cook all of these. 
And then we'll go back through afterwards and pick up any ingredients. Ooh, we've got the cook. <laughs> See, this is how little of the cooking I've done. And I feel like I should put all these in a chest just in case I need them for something, but I don't know if I want to. And if I've cooked something before, I'll make sure to not cook it because I don't want to waste any ingredients, but I know a lot of it I haven't actually covered before. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. I just sashimied my midnight carp. Oh man, okay, I'll have to catch another one if I don't have any more. There's the sous chef achievement. I'm hoping I've got more. I think I had a whole pond full, so I should have some, right? I'm praying. What am I gonna do with all this food? Should I just sell it all? Uh, I should keep it. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I've still got one more spot in my inventory. Where did that go? Pumpkin pie, there we go. Right, well, first of all, we'll go in here and we'll put anything in here that I already have. The tortilla I need to keep, I know that much. And some of this I'm just gonna shove in here. I'm gonna then make another chest. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I think, I guess I'm gonna put it in the kitchen. I needed to come out here for some forage. So I know I need some hazelnuts. Uh, we need some winter root, some snow yams, coconuts, horseradish, dandelion, leek ginger definitely cave carrots i think that's it plums plum pudding yeah there we go i'm gonna shove this chest down here and we're just gonna put any cooked dishes in here that we don't want to reuse i think oh no that's cauliflower cheese i thought that was an omelet not the daffodils why did i bring daffodils i meant to bring something else i think it was leeks all right we'll go outside and switch that out i think that was a misclick whoopsie oh it might have been the dandelion actually i think i only need one of each but that's all right oh no i did bring okay never mind whatever <laughs> so salad definitely haven't done that yet oh no wait what i could have sworn i just did the vegetable stew wait what did i use up all my beets already oh no i'm gonna have to go get some more beets hang on a minute i could have sworn oh i've got more beets it's fine <laughs> everything is fine this is gonna be a lot of running backwards and forth between the kitchen and my chests for sure hold up i have done these things <laughs> oh I know my problem. Advanced crafting information, there we go. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, I, I knew I did it. Okay, that just confused the heck out of me. That's so funny. Oopsie. And yeah, for sure, anything else that involves fish, now I'm gonna do last. Come on, mushroom and morel. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need some mushrooms, aren't I? There we go. I did cook a few more bread because I think I need them for other recipes as well. Oh, I'm also gonna need the algae and the seaweed. So we'll go grab those. And then what I might do is just bring like, I was gonna bring some like rubbish fish, like these mussels, we've got so many of them and they can be used for the generic fish recipes. Now, where was I? Oh, I don't have any kale. Do I not have any kale? Okay, I'll have to check for that. There's a recipe I still, oh no, there are several recipes I don't you know yet. Okay, well, never mind. I'll just cook what I can for now. At least then we've made like a decent stuff. Wait, I've never made a triple shot. Hello? That's not like me at all. And we've also got the magic elixir as well. Um, Life elixir and purple mushroom. I've got loads of those. Okay, well, we made a good start on it. I just need to go through and see what I'm missing. Maybe the triple shot will keep on me in case I want to. Actually, I'll go put it in my skull cavern's chest. That would make a lot more sense. So we also wanted a life elixir and then we wanted some fiddleheads. Please tell me I've got some kale. I don't have any kale. I'm gonna have to grow some kale. I also need apples. And then we're gonna do my three eel recipes just because they're easy. Like some of the fish ones I can definitely handle. I don't know if I've got enough for like cut up surprise and stuff. So I'm gonna have to catch more of those. Large mouth bass I've definitely got. Got sea cucumber. The rainbow trout for trout soup. Bream. Do I not have any sunfish? Hello? Oh, I do have midnight carp. Okay. We can handle that one pretty easily. I've got the squid too. I also need the clams. I think I need oysters. I also need a snail, shrimp. Let's do those. So I'm going to do the magic elixir first just because it's easy. I'm going to shove that in the magic chest. I think that would make the most sense. There's the squid. There's the fried eel. The spicy eel. Um, Crispy bass. Tuna. I forgot the tuna. I hope I have tuna. Oh, thank goodness. I just need to put a salmon in the fridge for the salmon dinner. So I'm gonna add kale to my list because I know I need that. So, oh, Christoph, don't get in my way. I'm gonna do the seafoam pudding now just to prevent any mishaps there. Fiddlehead risotto. Oh, I need crabs as well. Crayfish and periwinkle, okay. Oh, also lobster and sardines. There's the periwinkle, crayfish, crab. Do I have two sardines? I don't have any sardine. Hello? Do I not have a single sardine? Okay. Oh no, I need another periwinkle, okay. Do I put a periwinkle in a pond? No, it, it's very quick to get them from the crab pots. Now, what was that third thing I needed with the eel? I know there was like a third recipe, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. All right, there's the trout soup, tom car soup. Oh, the shrimp cocktail I can't do yet. You needed it for those. Oh yeah, the fish stew. There we go. That's another one that I needed fish for. So I guess maybe it's some of the recipes that I don't have yet. Oh yeah, the lobster. I forgot about that too. I'm pretty sure there's some ingredients in my fridges that I don't really need anymore. Oh, let's do the crab cake those then what was i missing the tortilla oh and a blue jazz should have a blue jazz the lobster bisque and then what else am i missing oh yeah the chowder i think oh 
Cranberry candy, have I not? Oh yeah, that's because I needed the apple. I forgot about that. Okay, so anything else for the most part? Oh, maple syrup. I either don't have the ingredients for or I don't have the recipe yet. So I really do need to work on those friendships. I kind of forget that that is part of getting the recipes at times. But I think we've handled what we can at least. For now, I'm just going to shove everything in a chest. Um, I think the only things I haven't been able to do anything else dish-wise, I'm just going to shove in my magic chest. I think the only things I can't do are... I can't remember what I was going to say. Nope, haven't got a clue. Well, I know I don't need the red mushroom and stuff for that, so I'm just going to put these things in there instead. I do need to go over to Ginger Island and get a couple of things from there. I'm pretty sure I've got some taro and some pineapple in the chests over there, so we'll go and grab those. Wait, do I have neither? Did I just sell them all? Unless I've got some at home. Pineapple and taro, please tell me I've got some. If not, I'm going to have to plant some more. Okay, never mind. Um, back home we go. <laughs> so surprised that I didn't keep pineapple and stuff behind. I should have a load of taro seeds. There we go. Go and plug those in the ground. Plug those in? What? <laughs> what am I saying? Oh, I forgot to bring a duck feather for Leo. Whoops. Um, I do have pineapples. Okay, those are done in four days. So I've added those to my list. And I'm going to put them on this side because I can. Stick a little row of these here. There we go. And in a week, we can get those done too, which is fine. I think it's going to take me a bit of time to get the rest of them anyway. Now, I notice I've still got plant fiber on my list. Have I not finished that? Is that, is that why I kept the seeds on my inventory? I mean, probably, let's be honest. Why is that one missing one? Are we out of the range of Recro? No. Did I just miss one? I guess I must have. Whoopsie. All right, well, that's that resolved i guess um no this one doesn't have okay i'm just gonna wait until that grows no i think i finished planting all the fiber but we're good okay let's remove that from the list this is a great if you can keep up with them but for me it's a struggle <laughs> the night market oh actually let's go see the night market because i might find already pre-done any of these things over there well not the pineapple and the taro but some of the other things like maybe the carp the sardine heroin cool i think i can get those all there Pretty sure I can get the kale there. I'll have to buy the kale seeds tomorrow though at this point because I kind of left it too late. We'll give it a go though. Actually, I have an idea. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go get a fishing tackle. I'm sure I've got some somewhere. If not, I can craft one. And then we're going to go fish in the submarine because I still haven't hit level 10 fishing. I just completely smacked my mic. Oh, I definitely had enough bone fragments. Okay, so I might not bother with that quest for Clint because... I it's gonna take up an entire sort of like day or evening or whatever and it's just not worth it to me. So fishing tackle, do I have any at all? Nothing that I want to particularly use. So let's have a look in our crafting recipes and I think I'd probably want to go for the dressed spinner or the quality bobber. What does the quality bobber need? Because it'll make it much better. Mu Wait, do I even have it yet? Oh, I do. Oh my god. I wish I had a heart attack. Five solar essence, one copper bar and 20 sap. I'll make like two of them and then we'll head down to the beach. We'll use our obelisk. For a little shortcut do a quick check of our traveling merchant friend here got the squid which is funny because i didn't need that but that's fine all right nothing good today wait i just realized this is actually the last day of the night market whoopsie and have we got everyone already here to 10 hearts i'm gonna speak to everyone anyway just in case okay so alex hasn't yet i'm not gonna waste any of my gifting opportunities here because i don't want to get the painting i should get the painting i don't want to miss an opportunity that should have been a loved gift or at least a liked one not a neutral one all right sir take me down to the depths of the ocean let's go should be able to get level 10 tonight pretty easily i'm hoping or we? i don't actually know how far into the xp bar we are we'll find out in a second oh we actually are quite close okay Damn it. <laughs> when you get like part of a treasure chest. Oh well. I got a perfect catch. It was worth it for the perfect. <gasps> pearl? I'll take a pearl. I'm trying to debate between selling and gifting. I think I'll gift it just because it's a loved gift for most people. Maybe I'll use the golden pumpkin for that too. I have no real reason to be saving that at this point. I think I'll literally stay here and Dolly pass out at this point. I also make the most of our last day of submarine fishing. Or our only day this year because I kind of forgot about it before. Mind you, for the fishing XP, what I probably should have done is handled that eel fish pond request and then fished them up because just handling the request also gives you xp and i kind of missed out on that i must make sure i set up the crab pots as well i don't even know where my crab pots are did i leave them i have a feeling they're on the beach that's fine i can retrieve them tomorrow because this is the last day of the night market i think i am curious to know if you get double fish from wild bait if it gives you double the xp but any one way to find out i mean i could google it but i don't want to do that <laughs> you might as well try and i know that it doesn't give you double fish every single time but there's other chance and I also think the bite rate is slightly better on the wild bait, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, you got two of them. I don't know if that was double though. I think it actually might have been double XP. I think this should be our last piece of bait. And out of all of those, we only got one double catch. But hey, it's still a bit of extra XP. I think that's going to end up being our last fish. Yep, there it is. I feel 
Yeah, we caught a decent amount. Oh, we've got our secret friend for the Feast of the Winter Star. We have Robin. That's nice and easy. I don't know if we've got any peaches or anything. If not, I'll just go for one of the other, you know, universal loved gifts. I'm pretty sure I'm already at 10 hearts with Robin anyway, so I could have got a better roll, but it's fine. I'm going to sell off all of the fish that we got yesterday because I have no real need to keep them. I might as well also put this painting up in our house somewhere. We'll put it in the kids' room. Why not? Put it in Merlin's room. And it is Thursday today, so what I'm going to do is bring three of my prismatic shards over to the desert and we're going to go and get a magic rock candy. This means that if we want to do skull caverns or anything in the future that we've got it ready. And then today, whilst we're on a bit of a fishing kick i think what we're gonna do is go and handle the carp and the sardine so before i do that i need to check if i can even catch the sardine in this and yes i can okay i can just do it at the beach and do i already have crab pots here no i don't okay i'm gonna move all of my crab pots over there i don't know why i'm going this way when i've got a perfectly good obelisk to use grabbing anything that's also on the beach as a tiny bit of extra cash so I'm going to pick up all of these pots. I think I have to do it with an empty spot in my inventory, right? Yeah. So obviously, the more we have, the more chance we have of getting that periwinkle. There is a bubble spot there. Do I just take advantage of that? I probably should, right? Because I do need the sardine. We might as well. I just need two of you. Just two. Maybe I should have saved my wild bait for this. I mean, I do have other wild bait at home, but I'm not going to go back and get it at this point because my bet is by the time I come back, the bubble spot will disappear. Hello? Can we get a bite? Oh my god, you are kidding me. Bubbles were just disappeared. How rude. And it wasn't even a sardine. Are we on the right time of day? What time do they go away? Okay, they go away at seven. So I should probably just hang out here and see if I can get some. We don't have a huge amount of space in our inventory. So I am just going to get rid of anything that's trash. And I'm actually going to fish on one of the lower difficulty areas. Just because I want to reduce the different types of fish that we can get. Ooh, my fishing tackle wore out. How dare it. Good thing we got another one. Hey, we got a level 10 fishing. So maybe I shouldn't have sold my fish yet. Oh well. To be honest, I'm Probably go with the pirate profession anyway. Well, give me a sardine, please. Pretty much catching like every other fish except for the one I need. I'm handling the kale last because the kale. Up. Oh, oh, a kale. I should go and deal with that. Uh, do that first. No, carp only takes. I'm getting my words mixed up. Carp does not grow. Kale grows, but it only takes a couple of days. And especially if I put some speed grow down, it will take even less time. And I still have to wait a week for the taro anyway. Well, I suppose I could have put speed grow on that too. It's fine. We have time. <gasps> There's one. I need one more. Come on, one more sardine. This has got to be it. Please be a sardine. Yes, okay. Thank goodness. Do we have space for our carp? Yes, we do. We're going to go and handle that also. And the best place I tend to find for fishing for those is actually the sewers. Because you can't really get much other fish in here other than obviously the legendary that we've already caught. And then I'm pretty sure the carp is the only other one. I know you get a lot of trash in here, but still. Well, there we go. There's one. I just need four of them. There we go. I think that is our fourth carp. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. Okay, let's go cook these things. And actually, I'll go to Pierre's on my way past, grab some kale seeds because he should be able to sell them now in winter because I'm pretty sure I got his stock list. Like, I'm pretty sure I got that a long time ago. Me your finest kale... Wait, do I not have the... Okay, well, hang on a minute. Hold up. I don't have the missing stock list. Hello? That's so confusing. I feel like that's like one of the first things I tend to get. Okay, well, first things first. I'm going to go and cook the two things that I need from here. So the cup surprise. Where is it? There it is. And then we've got the hash browns and then the dish of the sea. So that's the two fish dishes taken care of. And all the other fish I'm just going to sell. I don't really have any reason to keep those now. And then I need to set all my crab pots up. So I am going to do them just here. And actually, no. I forgot I've got a bigger um pond over here this will be better for it and get them all loaded up with bait of course one of these will be definitely a periwinkle tomorrow it can't not be surely like i refuse to believe one of those will be a periwinkle okay let's go over to ginger island we'll go and look at the situation with the stock list i don't know if i've got enough key gems for it i can't actually remember how much it costs also make sure to talk to everyone here oh my god i just pickaxed one on my tarot i didn't mean to do that okay well whatever we still have enough growing and i should have some speed grow i probably will wax them on there 50 50 gems for the stock list oh okay well we're gonna do the hungry challenge because that's nice and easy i am not fishing for those extra fun legendary fish because i don't know why i said extra fun they're not fun to me <laughs> will 100% be doing the hungry challenge because once I've got that I can get the missing stock list. So I think I might try and handle that one of the next couple of days. I'm praying for a very good luck day. If not, I wonder how many staircases I've got. I've probably got more than enough to just kind of blast through it with staircases anyway. And then whichever of the two days coming up aren't gonna be a good luck day that's when i will go and handle the gifting now do i have any bombs oh i have i have quite a lot actually that's fine 
Yeah, I've got more than enough staircases, so I can definitely handle that pretty easily. And then what I wanted to also do is just clear out all of my auto grabbers because I have a lot going on in here. And I'm very aware that I still haven't done the animal machine, but that's what that shed's for. So we'll get there eventually. The eggs that I'm going to stick in the mayo machines are the ones that are kind of like odd little lonely ones because they take up extra space in the chest. What about in here? What about milk wise? Do I have anything that can go in? Yeah, go with those. Actually, I should have some more small ones coming up in this barn here. I always like to prioritize the little odds and ends and I don't have enough room. So that's kind of unfortunate. I'm going to just shove it in this crop chest here, I think, because I've got just enough space. Just kind of have to remember that they're there though. And then, wait, is this done now? It's done. Okay, so maybe I can start to create those machines. Although I don't think I have enough wood, right? I think the cheese only needs, oh no, it does need regular wood too. Um, I'm also short on copper as well. So I'm going to go check up by the quarry. We'll have a look what the situation is up in there. And then I might have to go farm for loads of copper. I literally have like no copper. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. I mean, I know it's not a good luck day, so I'm not going to get a huge amount, but I'm sure I'm still going to get more than none, you know. Look, see, there's a huge cluster there, even on a bad luck day. And another one. Okay, well, this is why I don't always listen to the luck. All right, you know what? 160 copper is actually very much not bad for a completely unplanned copper farming day. I'm going to pick up anything on this floor, uh, maybe the next one. If I see a ladder, I go. But what I'm going to do, see if I can make it over to the quarry in time. And I want to start smelting some gold as well, because I'm pretty sure, don't I need gold for the cheese machines? No, I don't. All right, never mind. I'm imagining that. Okay, well, um, in that case, I'm going to go back to the farm. <laughs> we're going to go and try and head to bed before we pass out. And we made it. So we're going to go with the pirate profession here just because I don't see myself fishing very much. And if I do need to fish at any point, I'd rather have them more chance for trade. Having them be worth more is all well and good. But if I'm barely selling them, it's just not worth it. Ooh, Gus is asking for a coconut. We can help him with that pretty easily. I'm going to shove everything in the chest back here first. And then we're going to go bring all of our pop up to the quarry and smelt it all. I probably could have got a round of smelting in last night, but I thought I might as well not get the pass out penalty. I've only got seven earth crystals as well, so that's kind of not ideal. Jade's going to be done in 13 hours, so I might just wait for that. Once the jade's done, then I'm going to swap them out for earth crystals because then we can get more of them. I did pick up any earth crystals I could find yesterday, but I only found like one. So <laughs> it wasn't really the most successful in that sense. Let's get our next round of cheese and stuff done. And we've also got the traveling merchant today. So let's go ahead and check her out and see if she's got any kale for us, or at least kale seeds. And it is kind of a good luck day, so maybe today we should go to Skull Caverns because doing the copper smelting only takes literally 20 minutes in game and that's, you know, fine. Um, Yeah, no such luck, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and teleport back to the farm and then we're gonna go set up for Skull Caverns. And there's our periwinkle as well, I'm just gonna leave them as is. So uh, we'll leave all those here. We're gonna bring our staircases, our bombs, our salads, magic rock candy and all that stuff. And I'm gonna leave behind my travel cores and my hoe, I don't need that either. I do need some more triple shots though. Let's bring some diamonds. I'm sure I've got some for the desert trader. Wait, I don't, do I need to bring? Yeah, no, I'm still gonna bring it because once the challenge is over, then I can actually use my food and stuff again. So there's another 14 triple shots. And then do I need anything else from here? I don't think so. And then what I like to do with these challenges is put all of my food and stuff in my second bar just to stop me accidentally eating it because that would suck. And then I'm literally just gonna, for the most part, probably staircase my way most of the way down unless I see a whole bunch of iridium, in which case I'm obviously gonna go for that because, you know, the um the extra iridium will be good. I'm gonna set up my hot bar the way that I like it also. There we go. And straight, oh, diamond. Not missing out on that. And that gives us a hole straight away. I'll take it. Only four levels, but it's still something, isn't it? And yeah, it's usually the first 30 or so floors that end up being uh, staircased. Obviously, if I see freebies like this, I'm going to go for them. Hello? Can I go? Okay. <laughs> and even though looking at menus and stuff is not very pleasing on the eyes, um, pause buffering does give you a few extra seconds. So I do tend to go for that where I can. And we're definitely skipping the slime floor. Probably should have picked up that jade, but that's okay. I am also going to go for the coal bags too, because I am kind of low on coal. <gasps> Another treasure floor. What have we got? Another turban. That's two of those today already. My only two treasure floors and they're both white turbans. Lovely. And even if I see iridium nodes, if it's just a single node on its own, unless it's like this close, then I'll get it. But unless it's a cluster, I'm not going to bother going for it. I might as well wait until the later floors where you get more of them. Another treasure floor. What have we got? Some omni geodes. Probably not going to use them for anything at this point. <gasps> We've got a shark. Let's go. Seven levels. Another one. How many is this one going to give us? Five? I'll take a five. Ooh, we've got like a couple here, so let's go with those. One of them was a crab, but that's okay. And another treasure floor. 
Got some pumpkin soup. They're great because they have a luck buff, but they don't have a speed on them. So that does make me sad. Now the treasure floor. Oh my God, an auto petter. That's a win. I think I needed a second one as well. So very pleased about that. Come on, give me a shaft. No shaft. Okay. Coal bag. Let's go. Might as well get the iridium close by. The little bombable one. I'll take three nodes. I don't know if it's going to reach that one up there. Oh, it did. Okay. We're all good. And we got a ladder from it. <gasps> I left one ore behind. No. Oh, well. Sometimes I am accidentally pausing like before I step down the ladder. I'm trying not to do that, but that's fine. Freebie, let's go. Oh, get that serpent away from me. And we got one more shaft. That should get us all the way down. There we go. Now we have enough for the stock list. Ooh, and I've got a dark cowboy hut too. I'm only a witch hat person, but that's fine. So now we can actually eat again. So I'm going to put all of my food back into my hot bar just so that I've got the option of it. And I'm putting my iridium in my hot bar because I like to track how many I get. If you look at the time as well, floor 101, we're not even on midday yet. Now I can just kind of like chill and focus a little bit more on getting ores and stuff. That's kind of what I care about a bit more. Not quite as fast. Ooh, Prizzy. Um, about like treasure and stuff today. I just want the ores. And of course, as usual, I forget that I've got my clear debris spell in here. Ooh, what are we getting? 15 cherry bombs. Okay, not the best, but I'll take it. Wait, is this a crab or a... Yeah. I thought it was unusual to see an iridium node on a treasure floor. It was too good to be true. My magic rock candy ran out. That's not good. And what else has run out? I think my triple shot. Can't be being slow. I am still staircasing every now and again because sometimes I find floors without really any iridium on. Like this one, I probably should have just staircased past, but I kind of wanted the coal. And I'm still going to do it anyway. Oh my god, 13 levels from this one one? One one? One hole? Oh my god, what is happening to my words today? I've switched over from using my spells for the most part now to bombs just because I'm kind of low on mana and I don't want to have like no mana. I know I could bring that thing that I cooked, but I kind of thought that I even had it if I'm being honest. If I can be 800 Iridium ore today, that is going to be a personal record and I'm going to be very pleased with myself. That's a lot of Iridium. Finished last hour. Oh, prehistoric floor. We don't want that. Last hour, I can probably just get away with using my spell just because we don't have much time in the day left. Oh my god, three shafts? And I know I missed some iridium there. It's just going to take me longer to walk to those nodes than it would be for me to just go to another floor and get those ones instead. <gasps> another treasure floor. Haven't had one of those in a while. Oh my god. Can the cherry bombs just like not? I don't, I don't really need them. I've been using them up just to kind of use them up, but I don't need them. <laughs> Okay, this floor has a lot on it. No, I passed out. Okay, well, at least I've managed to catch a few more. I was so close. Oh, 865. I'm really pleased with that. That's a lot of iridium. Might as well give one of our gems to Kristoff here and then put everything away that we don't need. Um, so I'm going to bring all the copper ore with me. I'll bring some of the gold as well because I think gold for something. And the pumpkin suits I think I'm going to just sell. But let's have a look in our barn and stuff. If No, we don't have an auto better in here. Okay, so that's... Perfect. I'm gonna slap it down here. And we might as well, I suppose, pet everyone whilst we're in here. And how long have we got on this? Two days. Two more days. So next episode, we should have an ostrich. We have an auto petter in here. Oh, okay. I didn't have a single one. All right. Well, we need another one at some point. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that because I don't really have any reason. To and we have jelly ready today, so we should probably deal with that too. But first, let me put away all of my Skull Caverns items. And our mail's probably just about a pass out. Yes, it is. And ooh, we've also got our jades done. So let me get the earth crystals out. I'm going to go ahead and pick them all up first because then that way you get the jade that's inside it back. Whoops. And if I place them back down again, I can let the earth crystals in and not lose the jades that are inside. So I guess for today, maybe we focus on the milk, I mean, cheese machines, but I don't even have enough wood for it anyway. We can get everything else ready though. All right, so jelly time. So really, is it just the caviar that I've got left? Hang on, I think it is. Yes, okay. So I really am just waiting on some sturgeon roe. Should we go and check that pond first just in case? Damn it, okay. I was hoping they'd produce me, you know, one row at least, but that's fine. And then one for the outside. There we go, okay. This should give us a good amount of money tonight. Another good luck day as well. I probably should have gone to Skull Caverns instead today, but there was every chance that it wouldn't have been a good luck day today. Gonna get a good couple of hundred thousand from that. Ooh, let's bring our stuff back that we need. So the teleport cores and our hoe, and then up to the quarry. And then we'll do our gifting because it is the last day of the gifting week too. So we can't be missing out on that. So first thing I want to handle is one round of copper since they only take a few minutes to smell anyway. Go see that didn't take long at all. Might as well get all of it smelted. At some point, I'm going to have to go coal farming again. And then I might as well start on the iridium as well. Just because it's going to take all day anyway. So by the time I return back here, it doesn't matter if it's like 10 minutes off. And yeah, coal is definitely an issue. We will put that on our list because... 
We are very low on coal. And I am going to change this just to caviar. There's all of our copper. I'm going to bring that with me along with the iron. And I'm going to leave everything else here. I'm going to pop to the bus stop. We're going to collect gifts for everyone and just leave them in our inventory. And I will just go ahead and leave all the bars in here for now. We will deal with those maybe at the end of the day. Oh yeah, Robin also likes goat's cheese, doesn't she? I can always go with that too. Who do we have left to gift? Right, I'm going to bring... The golden pumpkins that we have along with the pearls as well because there's not really any reason for me to keep those around at this point. They're going to be better used as gifts and these two will be used for people who we don't have anything particularly loved for. I don't think I've got any rabbit's feet at all or any duck feathers for that matter so that's kind of a shame. That's fine. I'll just have to give Leo a mango. I do need to bring a coconut to Gus so let me find my coconuts. I think all my coconuts are actually indoors. And we also want to go and get that stock list, so we'll go and do that first, just so I remember to have it with me, because it's a gift but not a gift, like it doesn't count as a gift, but I still have to give it to Pierre, and I have to go to Pierre anyway. That was a lot of words. So, give me that stock list. I'm gonna teleport straight home from here just to, you know, get a bit of time back, and then go through our chest. So, Lewis is easy, hot pepper. What is my hot peppers? Or where are I should say there we go um Kent likes roasted hazelnuts I think I've got some of those somewhere I'm pretty sure I just made some no not uh, roasted hazelnuts the fiddlehead risotto there we go we'll give that to him because I know that that's a love gift for him fairy rose for jazz Clint is easy I can just give him a gem I should probably carry around some of those I don't like batteries yes although she also loves diamonds and that's a nice easy one so I'll bring a few of those with me bring a few topazes with us and then the pale elf pickle peat I do have the complete breakfast to Alex now as well, so I will bring those. I think I'm not actually going to need too many of the, like, pearls and stuff. Actually, wait, what was it that Pierre liked again? Because I'm pretty sure I have one of the dishes for him. Oh, also, oh no, Harvey's fine. Fried calamari, I definitely did just make that. So let's go do Leo first, because I ended up forgetting about him last time until he's already gone to bed. Here you go, Leo. Enjoy the mango. You're sad today? Well, I was hoping the mango would cheer you up. I'm not really having much fun. I'm having to run around town all day. I know I've brought like way too many gifts with me. I just don't want to be like caught short and have to like go home again over and over again. Or rather have too many than not enough, you know. Farmer Willow, I have a missing stock list for you. And also, I also have a fried calamari for you. And that's another friendship full. Whilst we're here, we're going to go pick up those kale seeds. So I'm going to bring like five of those. I don't think I need that many, but better to be safe than sorry. I'm going to go up to the top to deal with Alex and... Oh, she's at the community centre. Okay, we'll go over there. Here she is. I have a diamond. Jazz is also up by the playground, so I probably should have handled that whilst I was over there, but that's fine. I'll just walk over now. See, the good thing about running around at this speed is there are a lot less consequences to my directional mistakes. And where is Kent? Is he at home? Just behind their house. Get him that fiddlehead risotto. <gasps> here he is. Here you go. Whilst I'm here, I'll give Gus his coconut. That's for you. We'll take the gold from that. Then, got Lewis, who is probably at home. Yes, he is. And then I think I've just got Wharf and Pickled Pete left, right? Oh, Selena. But yeah, I need to go see Selena too. We'll go to the Dwarf first. Go home, we'll get a bottle of wine for Selena, and then we'll go to Pickled Pete. Dwarf is going to be our problem child. Oh, I just bought a cherry bomb. How many times have people done this? I know people do this all the time. All right, no one's here, so let's teleport to the interchange, just so I'm a lot closer to the city. And now we go on the hunt. I'm hoping this will be the last time I actually need to do this with Selena because she is very close to eight hearts now and this should be it. Right, she's not at this bird. You at this bird? No. You are no, she might be at the cafe. She might also be at home. Wait, let me check the pharmacy. Check her home first, then we will go to the cafe. Well, she definitely wasn't home. Also the Joja Mini, I didn't go in there either. And then I might have to go and see Pickled Pete before I end up finding her because I don't want to miss out on him for the day literally not here okay right i'm gonna teleport to the ghost town the guy behind the shop counter can mind his business i don't think he's gonna say anything to anyone he doesn't even sell the things at his store okay now we can go back again to the town i mean the city come on she's got to be around somewhere i mean she's got to go home eventually right would think so maybe maybe i try her home again if she's asleep i'm gonna be very upset definitely not uh, buddy's walking like through the wall okay oh wait do they live in 1a no did i go in the wrong apartment this entire time I swear sometimes the city people just kind of disappear into the void. I'm determined to not lose out on this for this week. Not up here, is she? I don't think there's anywhere up here that she hangs out. She could also be in the club. It is Saturday night. But I just feel like she wouldn't go there. I could be wrong. It's worth a try. We, like, never come in here. There's Sandy. 
Hanging out in the bathroom? No, she's definitely not here. All right, we will do one more try at her house or apartment. And then I'm gonna have to give up on her for this week. That's so annoying because I was so close to getting uh, to eight hearts. I could just wait out here until late o'clock. Something I might actually end up doing, waiting outside this place, because surely she's got to come home at some point, right? I'm gonna wait here until like 1.30. And in the meantime, did I get everyone else? <gasps> Clint, oh no. All right, that, uh, do I bother though? Yeah, you know what we will. And the reason for that is just because, first of all, I can try and go back to the city again really late. But second of all, well, he's not here yet. So he must still be in the saloon. There he is. Yeah, we're not missing out on Clint. Definitely not. Here you go. But even though we don't really like him, no point missing out. All right, let's teleport from here because no one can see us back to the interchange again for the third time today. I'm gonna try one last time to see if she's at home. All right, Sadie's only just going home, so that's a good sign. Yes, city people stay up really late. Um, well, I guess we're not gonna see her tonight. Definitely not around. Never mind, we tried. Can I make it to bed before passing out though? That is the question. I'm also putting those kale seeds on the first row of my hot pot because I'm gonna forget if I don't. All right, well... <laughs> We did our best. I can't believe that. First of all, we made a very good amount of money today. 250 grand, I will take. And yeah, I can't believe that. Like, we spent so long trying to look for Selena. It's looking like today the first thing we have on our agenda is getting those damn kale seeds planted. We've also got the Queen of Sauce today, so I guess I'm missing some recipes. Whoops, that's the fortune teller. I know the spirits are happy today, I see it from UI Info Suite. Bruschetta. Okay, we'll go with that. I guess that's another reason I'm missing some recipes too. Do I need to give you anything? Not really. I'm just going to talk just to make sure we keep up those friendship points. And looks like we've got some earth crystals. That's a win. I think I can harvest these a couple of times a day, right? Can I stop getting the chests? I just want the earth crystals. I'm going to bring a few more topazes with me because obviously we do have to handle some gifts as well. Now, where can I plant these kale? I think I'm going to plant them in the greenhouse. Do I have any speed grow? I should do, surely. Yeah, I've got a whole stack. I'll just shove an extra thing down here. And then I forgot to turn on animation cancelling. There we go. And speed grow it. And I probably should water it too. But can I? Am I not allowed to water in here? <gasps> I have to be outside. No. Okay, I'm just going to leave them. It's only going to be four days. I think five. Maybe I should water. I probably should water them. It is a new gifting week too. So it is important that we do attend to those gifts. Because I know we still have quite a ways to go on some of the people. However, being a really good luck day, I probably should hit up score caverns, right? I think we should do that. So I'm going to put all my gifts away in this chest for now. Uh, what else do I need? Need to ship some of this stuff and I'm gonna grab staircases. Oh, it's a Sunday, so we can trade for some more. Our bombs, our spicy eel, and our salads. Do I need anything else? I don't think so. Do I have my triple shots? Oh no. Where are they? Are they? Th yep, I, I forgot something. Obviously. All right, over to the desert. So let's grab some more of these. And then let's switch stuff around our hot bar a little just so they make more sense, at least for me. Um, Those can stay on the end. There we go. I like to be arranged in a very specific order. <laughs> get our coffee on. Can't not start a day with a nice cup of coffee. And then we get to it. So I'm gonna start with, should I just staircase past these floors? I probably should, right? I will grab the jade though. All right, what's our floor 100 treasure gonna be? Just some Omni Geodes, okay. <laughs> Yay. Oh well, we carry on. See how much more already we can get. Okay, just about to pass out. So I guess we're ending on like almost to 400 already or more. Come on, let me get whatever's on the floor. Yeah, there we go. 387, that's pretty good. And three prismatic shards. I'm pretty happy with that. Good thing that it was yesterday that was the good luck day because today is wine day. I do want to put everything away first though real quick. So um, we will do that. We've got another purple mushroom from the wizard. I'm probably just going to ship it because it's a basic one. And then we're going to sell off the artifact and the sapling we got yesterday. There we go. Some more earth crystals too. We'll always take those. And then I am going to do a quick check of the coop just to see if we've got any like rabbit's feet or anything. Probably should pet everyone whilst I'm in here, right? Yeah. No feet. Okay, never mind. I need to be petting my rabbits more often I think actually where are they oh yeah that'll be why they have like no friendship <laughs> whoops I'm pretty sure they do lose some friendship in the winter as well so that's not helpful I'm also wondering if I should also refill the crab pots because where's my fishing rod there that is another little income source and I'm gonna go put the shellfish straight in the fridge I think because I'm pretty sure I've already handled oh that's full that is also full uh is this full it is not full okay I'm gonna put the periwinkles in here I'll put like one of the crayfish in here I know I don't need snails anymore so I am just gonna sell the rest not a huge amount of money but it's still something you know all right wine time I still need to do caviar actually do I have any sturgeon row yet come on sturgeons please lay some eggs still oh okay never mind I just wanted to make sure I had the caviar handled but I guess we're not doing that today all right that's the shed all done and now let's head over to to the quarry although before I do that let's set off another round of animal products I'm also going to take with me the mini shipping bin because it has no business really being up here I feel like it would do better up at the quarry where I deal with all the wine in the bars so I think it made more sense to be up there hopefully I have a little spot that I can put it in hmm, where can I put the shipping bin I can put it here I'm gonna put it here 
I'm also going to try my best as well when I ship off the wine not to look at the amount that we get from all of it because I like seeing it on the sleep screen, you know, when it totals up everything you earn for the day. Quite nice when you see the surprise money kind of roll up like that. Okay, I think we're all full and then we've got to do a load of bars. Please tell me I haven't completely run out of coal. I've got six left. Ooh, that's not ideal. All right, I think our next big job will be coal farming, but today I do want to go handle the gifting. So let's shove both of these things in the shipping bin and then we'll get our gifts out again. So just doing a quick check of who we do have to get get to. Lewis, Kent, Jazz. Okay, those are kind of easy. I should hopefully have another hot pepper around for Lewis. Me checking all the wrong chests. There we go. I've got stuff for Clint. I've got the wine for Selena. We will find her. Ale for Pete. I haven't got something amazing for Alex, so I'll give him one of the um, universal gifts. We've got a diamond for Maru. Leo, I can go and get a mango from the island, but I'll bring one with me anyway, just in case. Maybe we'll go handle Leo first. I am just going ahead and checking this mango tree just to see if we get any better quality ones. No, we don't. Never mind. And it is a Monday, so maybe I should check the key shop. Why not? Not the shop, I mean the quests. I don't even know if I need anything from here. I mean, I've done the missing stock list recently, so I don't need that anymore. Have I got all the crafting recipes? I think I do. Oh no, I've got two more to go. Okay, so I still need 70 key gems. Danger in the deep, we'll do that. Gives me another chance to farm for more mining things, and hopefully I should get some coal out of the like foresty levels. What would have been the frozen levels that are changed? I think you know what I mean. Here you go. Oh. I don't want to eat the mango. Here you go. And then I'm going to teleport here back to the farm. And we can go and handle all the town people. So if we start the top first. Have I done with Sebastian yet? Yes. Okay. So there's not actually that many people. All right. Once I finished with the gifting today, I am going to mark it down on a list. Because I'm getting really confused as to who needs gifts still. And it's kind of a pain scrolling through that friendship list constantly. Oh, Mara's in town. Damn it. <laughs> Maybe we'll go see the dwarf first then. Here you go, dwarf. Such low friendship. We'll get there eventually. And then I might as well take the cart to town, actually. We'll start with Clint. Oh, yes. Free piece of coal. I'll take that. Hi, Clint. Have a topaz. Anything good in here today? <gasps> yes, we're going to do the dust sprite one, 100%. There's Mo. Have a diamond. She just gave me a green app. Wait, or did I get that from a bit? I don't know. I don't remember. I should probably try and catch Jazz before she goes to sleep or whatever. You here? Yes, she is. Here you go. Have a fairy rose. <gasps> and she's full. Okay, so we have another one down. I'm checking their home. Oh, yep. Kent's literally just come home. Hello. Um gonna give you a pearl enjoy it there's mr lewis here have a hot pepper and that's another one full there's alex we're gonna give him a does he like both the golden pumpkins and the pearls yes he does we'll give him the pearl and he's also full so we're getting some really good progress we can also help with clint's copper request as well because i think that also helps with friendship and then have i missed anyone so i literally just have selena and pickle pete now so if i walk over here i'm going to teleport to the ghost town and then from there we'll pop to the city i am picking up any forage and stuff for the extra pocket chain pete hello does he not come in till eight? I'll wait till eight. It is now eight. <laughs> that took long. There he is. Have some ale. You're so thirsty. I've just given you ale. <laughs> Drink that. Where does it go though if you're a ghost? I don't know. Like, how does that work? And then from here, we're going to teleport to the interchange and see if we can track down Selena today. Please be home or something. We'll try all the birds as usual. No luck with the birds. Am I not finding her again today? She just like got lost in the void somewhere. She's not at the spot of the mall. I'm determined to find her. I mean, to be fair, I'm pretty sure just this one love gift will do it. A loved gift and a quick chat. I'll check the sanctuary as well shortly. I will do one more check of the apartment now that I'm coming past it again. No luck at her home. I feel like Selena is one of the harder ones to find. That's why she's kind of the last of everyone to get the max friendship. I mean, there's Gwen. She's pretty like, well, I, I used to think she was hard to find, but she's actually not that hard to find. We'll try the Joja energy. Nope, not in here. All right, over to the cafe. I'm pretty sure I have seen her here once or twice. Is she here? There's Buddy, but no Selena. How annoying. All right, we'll have to try again tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not going to put Selena on my list for the friendships that I need to work on simply because she's already so close to being full that once I give her this one gift and speak to her, like she's she's going to be fine. In fact, I think it's even the gift. I don't even think I need to speak to her. Well, I'm calling this one a night. We tried. So let's make our friendship list real quick before we go to sleep. So we have Kent, Clint. I won't bother with... Uh, sh I should. Kent, Clint, Selena, Mara, Leo, Dwarf. I think I will put her on there. So, so we start with the bottom. Dwarf, Leo, E, Clint, Selena. Who else was there again? Kent. I'm just gonna do that for now. Um, did I miss anyone? Maru. I miss Maru. There we go. All right, let's get some sleep. Oh my god, two and a half million. That that is gonna make so much difference towards our golden clock. I'm so excited. So today we've got the 
What have we got today? We've got to go deal with the ghost berries before we do anything. Checking once again for caviar. I just realized I checked on a keg day and that doesn't make any sense. <gasps> Sturgeon row. Oh my God. And we've got jelly to deal with. So this is perfect. There we go. There's the caviar on its way. And then the next batch of star fruit jelly. That's also going to be another really good money day. Oh my God. Look at us at 7 million. Today I might even sell off any gold quality ghost berries too. We'll do the whole every other time thing like I used to do. I mean, I used to sell all of the gold ones, but I feel like at the time that we're trying to gather quite a few ghost berries. I should probably save some so this time I'll sell off all the gold ones and then the time after that we will keep them probably. Well I'll see how much we have left afterwards. So if I've got enough then I might as well still sell the gold ones for the little bit of extra money. It would be no use them just sitting in a chest. Maybe what we'll actually do today is try and handle Selena early once I've dealt with this set of animal goods. I forgot to harvest the ancient fruit yesterday as well. Whoops. All right next time. Never mind it's fine. Everything's fine. So let's just go and do that before we do anything. Over to the interchange and hopefully we can find her today please tell me we can find her whoops get off the cloud <gasps> she's right there oh my god yes here you go please be full oh she is full that's right she's at eight hearts isn't she oh my god where are you yes we can now remove you from the list so i am going to remove kent we'll just um put maru on there oh not in capitals and then we'll go and talk to kent at some point maybe i just handle that now too i think i've got plenty of time to deal with the ghost berry so it's fine i'd rather get the friendships out of the way for the week please be home where are you kent he's just outside whoops well i have to do is talk to him. I don't even have to give him anything. I could give him a blackberry, I suppose. We'll just try talking to him first. Here you go. Yep, we're full. All good. Pop to Clint's next. That's for you. Here you go, dwarf. We've also got Clint's birthday coming up as well, so that's gonna help. We'll sort out Maru whilst we're up here, or is she at Harvey's? She's at Harvey's. Okay, we'll go to town. I'm so sick of preparing these samples. Well, <laughs> We're only gonna scare the living daylights out of her. Whoopsie. The whole sample is ruined. Harvey's gonna kill me. Is he, is he gonna come come in and, and, and see what's happening? Just tell him it was an accident. It's fine. Accidents happen. You're right. I should just tell him the truth. At least he's not like rushing in. He's just calmly like walking. What happened? I heard something break. I accidentally dropped one of the samples. I'm so sorry. Thanks for telling me the truth, Maru. Don't worry about the sample. We'll just get another one. Thanks for being patient with me, Dr. Harvey. These things happen, it's fine. Of course, you've been a big help around here. I don't know what I'd do without you. Willow, you look a little pale. Are you feeling okay? Wait, I'm so confused. What was the whole pale comment? I don't understand. Well, this is for you. And then I'll be on my way. Excuse me, George. And the last person we have to deal with is Leo. So we'll go and handle that too. I just need to go grab a mango, but I'll do that from the farm. Actually, we have to go over there anyway. So it kind of works out really well. Um, I'm going to put away my gifts and stuff because I don't really need to carry these three around for the week anymore. And we're going to get rid of seeds and such from my inventory. Are these almost done? 10 minutes. Yeah, we might as well get another batch in. All right, let's go deal with our ghost berries. So first I'm going to grab the mango just so I remember. I've got it on me. Where are all my ghost berry seeds? There they are. I'm praying I've got enough. If not, I have got star fruit seeds to cover the rest. I'm gonna have to buy another load from him soon. And by soon, I mean like probably today. I was only like just over a row short for these seeds. So that's fine. The rest can be filled with star fruit. It is definitely good that I kept these behind because now I can just fill in any empty spots with that and I don't have to wait till the nighttime to fix it. There we go. The field is all filled. So I'm gonna ship off the gold. Oh my God, that's so much money. It's almost 500 grand just from selling the gold berries as they are. And then I'm gonna get out the paths as well because I did miss an entire section to path down here. Whoops, I forgot to sell those pineapples. So let's just fill this in. I think I had don't have enough so i might have to cut down some trees uh we'll go over here there we go we're officially all pathed over again so let's sell off the pineapples i'm gonna go ahead and give leo his mango and then i'm gonna go and chop down the rest of the trees on the island because we do need the wood we might as well grab it all whilst we're over here here you go leo so I'm gonna now teleport back over to Island West. And let's get all these trees chopped. The ones I am gonna leave are over this side of the island because I kind of want to keep the farm looking nice. So I'll leave those as it is. And then we'll do the rest of the island too. I think the trees that grow over here are all hardwood, but you know what? I am just gonna clear the section out because obviously we did just get like one piece of coal, which is something. The clay might be good for when we handle all the crafting recipes. And anything else is just kind of a bonus. We don't really need much of this but i might as well grab it while i'm here right i think that's all the trees so i'm gonna go ahead and teleport we're actually gonna teleport to the railroad because i want to see something i got some comments on the last videos about the analyzing of the shrines in the witch hut and i want to try something because i didn't actually analyze the bowls the bit where you actually leave the offering so let's try those luck steel what is that okay we're gonna go find out thank you for those comments i can't believe i didn't realize i messed up there let's head on down into town might as well take down the wood over here here as well whilst we're at it because why not oh and i do have to go handle pickle pete as well so actually we're gonna teleport straight to the ghost town because i kind of forgot uh do i have pale ale nope we're gonna go ahead and teleport home we're gonna pick up a pale ale a pale ale wait have i already i don't think i've given him stuff yet for today let's go 
I don't want to miss him just by like a second, you know? <laughs> like we have been sometimes. Here you go. Stop giving me trash, man. And then we have to actually buy a load more seeds. And I know we're obviously spending a lot of money in doing this, but it's definitely worth the investment for the amount of money each week I get just from the wine from these things. Oh, I do need to set a new date for the gooseberries as well. So what is that going to be? I think it'll be the 4th of spring. And I think we'll call it there. Hopefully that should get us enough. I know it'll give us more than a stack there. Yeah, that should be all right. So we've got like 1300 seeds. That's pretty darn good. I'm actually going to sell half of these gold ones because I think we can get away with that. There's another load of money there. I don't know if I want to pop to the island tonight to drop off these seeds, so I'm just going to leave them in this chest for now, and then let's head to bed. Oh my god, over a million gold. That is pretty darn nice. Come on, two million gold to go. I mean, I probably could make that, like, just from selling off some of the stuff I've got, but we'll be patient, because there's, there are other projects that I do want to do, and I've still got the friendships to handle. So today, what I think we're going to do is go and handle the mines. I'm going to bring some bombs, spicy eel, triple shots, all of that good stuff. Um, I'm also going to bring the purple mushrooms, because I think those will be a good idea. Is there anything else I need? I probably could sell off my geodes. I've got so many of them. I'll sell like some. Obviously the omni geodes aren't actually worth anything, but we might as well get the few extra grand from the geodes that are just chilling in the chest that I'm never going to use. Anything else I really need for this? Um, Probably some ginger. That is the only thing I can think of that I'd need that I don't already have on me. There we go. And then we're going to go straight up to the mines. So let's get that spicy eel on us. A bit of triple shot. Zoom back out and get going. Hard not to want to kill these skulls. I don't know if this version has the possibility of dropping the magic rock candy but i kind of want to try anyway because <laughs> if we can get that that's going to help us out a lot nope just a load of other random stuff <gasps> freebie over there <clears throat> What just happened to my voice? Do we still have- Damn it, we missed the copper quest for Clint. I completely forgot about it. Whoops. And hey, any radioactive ore we get is going to help us out a lot too. Oh, I kind of wanted to- Yeah, we'll track it with our hotbar. <gasps> There's a boss slime here. They can drop some good stuff sometimes. So we will go ahead and tackle that. Oh my god, we got an auto petter. We actually need that too. That's amazing. Even though I'm not doing the quest anymore, I am still going ahead and harvesting any copper that I see just because I do still need it for things like kegs. And also, what else do we need it for? All the animals machines and stuff. It's definitely worth us doing. I'm gonna skip the spiral floor because who has time for those? Oh my god, look at all that copper. I'll be having that. This is gonna hurt a little, but it's worth it. <gasps> I almost just left them. That would have been really sad. <laughs> ah, freebie. I'll take that. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Why isn't it? Go down the ladder. Oh my god, what just happened? <laughs> I mean, we got there in the end, but my god, that could have been bad if I had really low health. Oh, I just missed out on some radioactive ore, but that's all right. I'd rather prioritize getting down the floors right now. Also do want to get the earth crystals though. Oh my god, we made it to the 40th floor. Now we should be able to handle the dust sprite quest at the same time. Kind of want to grab the bug meat though, because I do need more bait. So I'll make sure I just pick up all of those if I kill any. Now I'm pretty sure these count, so let's check. Yes, they do. 22 out of 50. This area is overrun, so we're going to skip it. This is why I still bring the staircases, even in these situations because I don't want to have to deal with all that. All right, we made it to floor 50. Can we get to... I think we can make it to 60 pretty easily. Oh no, not the ghost levels. I'm actually going to skip this one where there's a very obvious ghost. This one I should be able to manage, okay? Oh my god. Okay, never mind. My sword can just throw them a mile. <gasps> Ladder, let's go. As long as I don't let them hit me, we're good. Damn it! <laughs> just as I say that. Good thing I've got some ginger. Come on, give me a ladder somewhere. I've literally gone around the entire edge. Where is it? Oh my god. Another piece of ginger down the next. Where's the ladder? Am I being dumb? Hello? Is there a rock I've missed? Where? There's no ladder. Okay, well, I'll just make my own, I guess. That's weird. I've not seen that before. <laughs> Going straight to all the dust sprites up here, all the little mushroom things. Yep, there we go. We have completed the cave patrol. And we're going to skip the spiral floor as usual. There we go. We made it to 60. Do I try and go home. No, we can carry on. Why not? Might even make it down another five. Oh no, I'm completely out of mana. That's not ideal. Um, all right. Well, we're starting to use bombs up. Can I move? Okay. I'm hoping one of these future days that we're dealing with this is like a better luck day. Oh, there's a ladder. Go, go, go. Okay. We made it to 65. I think that's where we should call it a day. We'll try and get home. See if we can get to bed without passing out. Oh yeah. We need to go see what that spell is, don't we? All right. We'll do that first before we go to the mines. <gasps> oh no, we've got feast of the winter star. I forgot. Okay. <laughs> we'll deal with that first then. I think our secret friend this year is Robin, but I'm going to and double check my mail. Let's collect our reward though from yesterday. And ooh, I got some things from Clint. Three eggplant parmesan. I'm literally just gonna put them in the shipping bin. Is there anything else I can immediately ship from yesterday? Gems, probably the pressure nozzles. That eggplant palm, we're gonna ship the cave carrot. Um, do I put everything away? I'm probably not gonna bother, but what I am gonna do is go and put this auto better in the coop. I'll put you here. And ooh, I noticed all the hay is also empty, so I should probably go refill that before we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and check my mail thing 
things. Uh, do I not know? I'm pretty sure it's Robin. I think I'm just going to bring a universally love gift because then I can't really go wrong. I bring a... I'm going to bring a pearl and a prismatic shard just in case it's Haley and I've forgotten. Because that would that would suck if I brought a prizzy and it's Haley. And maybe we can make it out to the quarry as well and go and smelt this radioactive ore and stuff. Might as well make a little bit more money even on a day like this that's a holiday day. Actually, we've probably got time for a batch of copper because copper smelts really fast. Okay, that's all the copper dealt with. And then we want to deal with any radioactive ore, which is going to take all day. But I suppose the iridium will too. The Feast of Winter Stars started, but I think I still have time to deal with all this first. Shall I leave? Oh, requires one copper. <gasps> I've used up all my coal again already. Well, I'm going to get some more tomorrow and stuff anyway. So how many copper bars did I get from that? Um, Let's put the iridium and stuff away. 72. That's pretty good. Let's sell off the iridium as well. And then we'll take the cut to town. Here we go. Right. Is there anyone I still need to speak to here? We've got Maru. Leo's not going to be here. Door's not going to be here. So just Clint. Where's Clint? There he is. Now I'm pretty sure my secret friend is Robin. So let's hope that I'm right here. Robin? Yes, we got it. And you can have a prizzy. And our gift giver is Marnie. It's just going to be a load of eggs or something, isn't it? Hi, Marnie. Interested to see what you got me. Let's have a look. And it's, yep, a dozen eggs. Thanks, Marnie. Not like I have my own chickens or anything. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's the thought that counts. Some freshly laid eggs could be nice, you know. Oh, I think I'm gonna have something with eggs for lunch. I do love eggs. Is there anything here I can buy for the house? I mean, maybe. I kind of like these log panels. I don't know if these are in the furniture catalogue, though. I'll just uh, stop shopping right now and we'll get out of here. So it's 10 p.m. I do still technically have time. I'm just gonna ship these eggs because they're just not not really worth it. I technically do still have time. Actually, no. Got to deal with this stuff. I was gonna say I'm gonna go and deal with the new spell, but we have a few little farm chores to deal with, like new jelly and stuff. So I'd rather get those done first because the money is important. Jelly all done just in time for midnight. Yeah, I definitely need to get on with those ancient fruit as well. Oh, that reminds me. Ghostberries are next going to be done on spring the 4th. Oops, spring? There we go. I can't type, I swear. Let's get all of those in there and then, ooh, I also want to get rid of the seeds from my inventory too. I don't really need to be carrying those around. Anything else? I suppose I could put the... I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Let's just go in and go to bed. Apparently I need the sleep. And how much money did we make today? Three, nearly 400 grand. Right, so today's Clint's birthday. Very important. We're going to go and hand him a gift. But first, I'm going to put these panels up in this room because they might as well be in there. Oh, yes, I need to put the bait away. That's what I wanted to do yesterday. We've also got the traveling merchant too. I don't think she's gonna have anything that I kind of want. I am gonna make some more triple shots here though because we do need them. Where are they? There they are. Another nine more. I only had four left. And it's also a decently good luck day today so that's pretty good. I'm gonna put that quality fertilizer straight in the shipping bin. Maybe I should put the bait on the fishing rod just to not take up the space. And I'm gonna go ahead and bin my training rod at this point because I don't really need it. So we'll give Clint another topaz because we know he loves them. I know he likes any of the gems. Only what Emily likes I guess. <laughs> Happy birthday Clint and there we go another full friendship. Never have to talk to him ever again. So what I'm gonna do is is on here. I'm going to remove Clint from our list and then we're going to go straight back up to the mines. I'm going to go and say hello to the dwarf though because even though I can't give him a gift I might as well get the 20 friendship points from the talking. Oh the spell I completely forgot. We'll go and do that first. If we teleport back to town, not teleport, take the minecart sorry. I'm going to stay zoomed out because I'm too lazy to zoom all the way back in again and then we'll pop straight over to the altar and I'm probably going to switch out the analyze skill. Um so what is it? Luck steal. The happiness of your loved ones. Oh I'm not going to use that. I think that takes away friendship. I don't want to use that until at least we get perfection, you know? Well, back up to the mines then. Starting on 65. If we made it through 60 in a day, we can definitely make it through another 60 today. Definitely going to make the effort to kill any mushrooms though for the coal because I really need it. Unless there's a freebie right close to the entrance. I mean, that would be silly to skip out on. Just need to make sure I keep an eye on my health because I am taking a fair amount of damage just from being kind of lazy with not getting hit. I suppose it's kind of hard when there's this many enemies. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we made it to the more icy floors. Let's go. We're out of the zone with those really annoying ghosts. Although I think that means that we don't get any more dust sprites, but that's fine. I'll get enough coal from rocks and such anyway. Well, not enough, but like, you know, more than none. And now we're into the lowest floors. Oh my god, look at all that gold. That's a lot of gold. Oh my god, I can't pick it up. Why? Okay, let's get rid of the sap. We don't need all of that. Oh my god, overrun with monsters. Let's get out of here. Am I stuck on this floor again? Oh no, there's the ladder. Go, go, go. I have burned through a lot of my mana, but it's fine. 
fine. I can, I can, I can live. I am going to skip the spiral floor as usual. All right, floor 100. Let's just have a minute to chill, eat some food and just collect ourselves a little. Whew. Okay, let's go. Oh, mushroom floor. Nice. I don't really need them. I, mean, I suppose I could take them to sell. Let's get rid of the dwarf scroll. We might as well grab all of these. It's still a little bit of gold, you know. Oh, 10 floors to go. We can do this. Oh, this floor is very sparse. How am I supposed to? Oh no, there's a freebie. That's fine. I was going to say how am I supposed to bomb it when there's literally no rocks, but it's fine. I also have some of my mana back, so I'm going to start using it again. Ladder, hello. Again? I've literally... Oh no, it's right at the top. Oh my. How did I not see that? Okay, last floor. We got this. So I'm almost out of mana, so I am going to use bombs on this one. There's the ladder. Just waiting out this one in case there's any coal that we pick up, but nope. Oh, we made it. 56 key gems. So shall I go and buy the crafting recipe today? No, I think I'm going to wait until I've got enough in total. And then does the shrine work? today. No, it's disabled today. Okay, that's fine. Oh no, I shipped all of my pineapples. I just realized. Damn it. Whoops. I've got so many prismatic shards that I might as well speed up the uh, growth of my crops on Ginger Island. Oh, I've got 81 copper bars up here too. There's me stressing about copper and I actually have quite a lot of it. I am, however, still reasonably low on coal, so I think I am just going to go up and farm for coal for the rest of the day. Do I have any monster musk on me or here at all? I do. Okay, yeah, we'll use that. So I think I started with 57 coal. No, sorry, 67 coal when I came in here, so let's see how much I can get. What's 57 or 67 i don't remember somewhere around 60 the extra key gems that i keep getting in here are nice as well so i might as well take advantage of those too okay another like 60 70 coal definitely can't complain of that i like doubled the amount of coal i got for the day so i'm happy okay so what i'm gonna do today let's pop up to the quarry first Ooh, we might as well get all this winter forage that is just kind of hanging out here too i mean i'll take some extra clay too that's fine i really do think it's just the friendships that we're gonna be behind on now really wait why did i come to the mines i mean i guess we can talk to the dwarf whilst we're here we do have a new gifting week tomorrow though so that's good we'll leave the copper for now we'll get some iridium we'll do the radioactive as well and hopefully we get a little bit of extra money from shipping off those bars we've then got all of these crystals crystal earth crystal yeah they are still crystals they do come up very often so i'm happy with that we should be able to build up a good quantity quite quickly i know we've got like 60 or something now and i don't know how many half a shed would be we'll soon find out <gasps> we have this cutscene with leo We'll definitely have a move to the town. Hello, Leo. My name is Linus. I heard all about you and your parrot family. It's really something special. Aye, lad. Linus lives on the mainland with the rest of us. After hearing your story, I wanted to help, so I talked to Linus here and hatched a little plan. Go on, Linus. Tell him. Leo. I'd like you to come back with us to Stardew Valley. It's a beautiful place, not as warm as here, but still full of life, and I live right in the middle of it. I know the lay of the land, and many things about the waters, the trees, the animals, and more. You see, I'm a child of nature too. You might say we're birds of a feather, but I'm getting old, and I'd like to teach someone all that I learned before moving on. Leo, will you come back with us? Leave the island? I can take you back for a visit anytime. But lad, you can't live here forever. You know, there are other children back home too. I'm sure they'd love to meet you. Other kids? What do you think? Willow. I think it's a great idea. Well, let's not forget, the choice is really up to Leo. This is very true. I... I'll go. Great. But my family is one of your friends. I'm gonna say goodbye. She says, she says the parrots are all happy for me and that they want me to start the next chapter of life wherever it may lead. And no matter what happens, they'll always be my family. Forever. Bye bird. Goodbye. I'm ready. A new arrival to the valley. It seems our little town is growing. Okay, over to my farm with that stuff over. And then, wait, do I even have the spell on my hotbar? No, I don't. Oh my God. All right, well, back to town. Okay, I'm gonna leave the seeds here first. Do I have any pineapples in here? I don't think I do. I just wanted to like triple check. No, okay. Back to the island. I mean, back to the farm. <laughs> Whoops, I thought I had the blink spell on. Ugh, okay. Reasonably easy to fix. There we go. It's like nothing ever happened. Then what am I gonna replace it with? I think we'll go with the animal analyze spell because I don't really see myself analyzing anything again at this point. Um, Where is it? I think it's this one, nature. Yes, photosynthesis. So we'll put that over there. And then I'm also going to... Oh, I need to check on the kale. The kale should be done by now, actually. So I need to get my scythe out. We'll go back to the farm. And I think that's all the recipes I can do for now. There we go. We got all of our kale. And I'm going to... I'm going to bring it with me, actually. We'll bring the periwinkle too. And we'll see if we can craft any of those remaining recipes okay so we've got the bruschetta that we just learned as well there's the stir fry we've got the salmon dinner the strange bun oh we still need a sunfish right so let's change our list so we need okay we'll go and get the pineapple and the taro we'll get those done and then i do need to fish for a sunfish 
but I think I can only do that in not winter so I'll have to get some magic bait on my rod. So let's photosynthesize. There's our pineapples. Now I actually can remember to take them with me to craft, not craft with three days. Oh what's in three days? So now it's going to be spring the second. Let's shaved two days off our gooseberries and we'll get the taro as well. So we've got the poi, we've got the tropical curry and then we've basically just got stuff that we haven't really unlocked yet. There's only a couple of recipes left and I think they're actually down to the friendships. So uh, we'll go ahead and also get the sunfish. I'm gonna sell the periwinkle. I'm gonna keep the pineapple and stuff just in case I need them again. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sell off all the spare stuff here. Maybe we handle the sunfish another time. So let's change this up. So what I need out of this now is none of it. I literally just need a sunfish, I think. There we go. And how long has our caviar got actually? <gasps> it's done. Is that our last shipping item? Oh my God, I think it is. Yes, we should get full shipment tomorrow. Sweet, we'll remove that. I'm gonna leave the coal on the list because that, that's kind of always in need. And then what was I going to do again? I can't remember. Uh, just take a minute to think about it. Maybe I go and get the sunfish now, actually. Yeah, why not? So I need the magic bait. Let's take the regular bait off. And then we really just want the like town river or something. So I'm just going to use this to get over there. And hopefully we should get some easy sunfish. <laughs> There's the sunfish. All right, back home we go. Let's go cook that dish. I'm going to sell the shad straight away because I don't really need it. So where is it? Baked fish. Done. Okay. I'm just going to go and hover over all my dishes once again, just to triple check that everything we We've unlocked that we've cooked. Yes. So hopefully tomorrow being another Sunday means that we will unlock a new recipe from the Queen of Sauce. And I think that's actually the last one that she has for us. I'm just gonna go ahead and sell my baked fish because I might as well. And then I'm gonna switch over my cheese to goat's cheese because I completely forgot that I actually had cheese in the crop chest where I didn't have room in the animal chest the other day. And then I think it might be time to start making our animal machines. So if I deal with the ones with the earth crystals first, which is a mayo machine, what do I need for that again? uh stone wood and copper so here's the stone i'm just gonna bring a stack of each and the copper so we're gonna do them like 25 at a time so what i'm thinking is a line of looms at the top and then mayo on one side and cheese on the other and then a chest in the middle oh i should do the chest first actually so here's our chest and i know i need more than 25 i just don't want to overcraft them because we don't want too many and then i need to remember as well that we're saving four spots for the machines that we already have and it looks like it's going to be wood that we're out of i could just go by the wood from Robin, I suppose. And what is it that I actually need to make the loom? Fiber, wood, and pine tar. Okay. Well, I'm going to be low on copper anyway, so I might just leave it for now. That is a good start on our little project here, and I do need a few more earth crystals, I think. I have so many stone. Why do I have a sandfish in here? I think I was saving it for Penny, but she's full friendship now, so I kind of don't need to do that. Today's probably a good day also to go through my chest and just kind of like sell off some stuff we don't really need anymore. Like there's a lot of these dishes that have kind of no business being in here. I don't really need to keep, although the trash bear though. No, I'm gonna keep them for the trash bear. And then I am wanting to check Pierre's before he closes today because I do need some grass starters already for the new season, but I'm not gonna plant them till tomorrow because obviously it's the last day of the season. Demetrius wants a crocus, not gonna help you with that because you're already full friendship with me. Um, Let's go ahead and grab, I think I'm just gonna grab like 25. I don't need more than that, I don't think. And then let's have a look at our seed situation as well because I need to make sure I've got enough for spring. I think I'm gonna go out and get some... Do I just go all ancient fruit though? No, because I haven't got enough seeds for that. Uh, rhubarb. I think that's what we're gonna go with. All right, let's go to Sandy's. Hi Sandy, I would like to buy from you loads of rhubarb. If I buy like a stack, I should have enough to last me through most of the season. I'll also grab all this desert wood whilst I'm here. Should mean we can get a few more machines out of what we've got at home. But my trees out here are taking so long to grow. I really wish that the um, photosynthesis worked on trees. I don't think it does. All right, how many can we make with 121 wood. We made another eight. Okay. And where does that leave us? That's the wrong shed. I need to build one more shed in that gap as well, just to make it look complete. I feel like, oh, okay. I've actually made enough, like literally just enough. I should have only made four. That's fine. I guess I'll just leave these where they are then. And that means we don't need the earth crystal crystallariums anymore. So what I'm going to do is pick those three up because I've only got three jade. There we go. I replace those. And then I'm just going to check real quick if the forest needs deforesting because I do need a load more wood and I don't know. Oh, what do you need? You want a jelly? I don't think I have any ready. I kind of don't want to give them star fruit jelly either. I don't really need them anymore. So I might just leave it. Nope. The, the forest definitely hasn't grown yet. That sucks. Maybe I should try out the photosynthesis out there. Kind of curious. Actually, can I hover over it and it tell me? All plants 
in your farming areas. So probably not trees. Okay, no worries. In that case, I wonder if I should go and start on the crafting then. I think that might be a smart idea. I don't have any wood, so... Mm, okay, we're gonna do that tomorrow. I'm gonna go to Robin's. I think I'm gonna get an early night so that we can move on to the next day. Uh, There we go. I mean, 9pm isn't too bad anyway. Let's see if we made any money today because I can't remember if or what I shipped. Oh yeah, we got Leo's little new house being built. That's really exciting. That's gonna make life so much easier. And oh yeah, we did ship some stuff. So I've made almost 100K, but most importantly, full shipment. That's exciting. And we've got the queen of sauce. Shrimp cocktail. I should be able to cook that actually. Can you get out of the way of the oven so I can cook this? Thank you. So what is this now? That We've just got banana pudding, mango sticky, wait, how do I get the banana pudding recipe? Maybe it's from Maru? I don't know. Oh well, let's go and um, does any of our people love this actually? No, nobody loves it. Don't want to eat it at I wanted to look at my mail and now I can't. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh well, I guess I might as well collect the earth crystals as they're ready. Like it's still extra money if I want it. And then we will go ahead and check the coop for things like rabbit's feet and duck feathers. Oh yeah, I completely forgot to feed the animals. So maybe not. I mean, we've got a rabbit's foot, but it's not a very good one. Uh, Let's go ahead and get the hay in there. I knew I forgot something the other day. There we go. That's all handled. Now they're actually going to have some food. Whoops. And then I'll go ahead and check the barn too. Oh, an egg is ready to hatch, but the building is full. Um, Let's get rid of one of the cows I think you Miko I'm so sorry but I'm selling you so what if I go out and in again now aha oh many ball where is holy w <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it because <laughs> whoops that's really funny. Oh, I suppose I should probably fill my animals up whilst I'm here. Fill my animals up? I mean, feed them. You know, I mean, I suppose it is filling them up. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, animals. We'll feed the cows and the... Huh? The cows? We'll feed the chickens and the other things that are in here too. Kind of feel bad. Also, this barn isn't even full, but that's fine. All right, one more hour and then we can pop to Robin's. I'm just going to buy like a stack of wood from her and then we'll do all the crafting or as, uh, as much of it as we can anyway. Actually, whilst we're waiting, let's go and handle all the gifts and stuff. So I will go ahead and take that rabbit's foot. Do I need to though? Not really. We need mango for Leo, ale ale for Pete, diamond for Maru, and topaz for the dwarf. So there's Robin. So whilst I'm here, let's go ahead and get a couple of stacks of wood. I was just going to buy one, but I think two would do us quite well. Give this to you. <gasps> yes, that's another friendship full. So let's remove Maru from the list. And obviously Dwarf is going to be the last one for sure. I do wish the Dwarf's birthday was in winter. I don't know why I always thought the Dwarf's birthday was in winter, but I'm wrong. Leo's hopefully in his new tree. Wait, I can check. Yes. Just checking that he wasn't all the way on the island. Wait, what? Where is he? Is he in Linus's tent? No. Leo? Leo, where are you? Uh, um, oh no, he's on the, what? Maybe he just got to the island. Okay, that's fine. I will handle him when I get back to the farm. Just got to make sure we get our dwarf gift in. Hello, that's for you. We're only on four hearts. Oh, my rubbish. Oh, I've got the sunfish sorted too, so I can remove that. So back to the bus stop, over to the island, and he's back at his usual spot. Catching him up real quick. That's for you. Oh, don't need it. <laughs> that was very close. I think what I need to do is use that spell that we can get in um, the altar. Let's go have a look because then I can do that from the next episode onwards. There's a spell that will let us increase the quality of the items so that we can give higher quality gifts and I think that would be very useful for us. So um, it obviously costs money but that's okay. We're gonna put that in place of photosynthesis because I don't think I need that anymore. And then in fact, oh no, we won't test it here. We'll wait until these guys are out of my way because I think iridium quality mangoes will go a long way. So no one's here. Let's go ahead and use that. How much does that cost? Not very much at all. There we go. They're all iridium now. So now I've got some good gifts for Leo. I probably should have done that before I gave them stuff, but we've got it for tomorrow onwards anyway. And then as for the dwarf, I'm going to use the rabbit's foot for that. And for today, we'll do the crafting. Actually, I can do it with the AOL too, for later. It doesn't work with selling stuff because it basically takes the amount of money difference for the quality of the item. So it's not worth doing it to sell stuff, but it is good for gifting. Got some jelly ready. We'll go ahead and grab that. I am pretty much out of star fruit though, so that's not ideal. That's fine. I mean, it's still another few hundred grand. Reluctant to go pick up the ancient fruit till tomorrow because I kind of forget often. Should I just do it today anyway? Because I'm probably going to forget tomorrow too, right? Yeah, probably a good idea. We'll do that. Especially because I have run out of star fruit completely. Let's grab all of this. Now we have more stuff for jelly. All right, so let's handle the crafting. I'm going to put my gifts away in here for now because I don't really need them. We'll take a stack of sap, take a stack of stone, We've got a fiber, a hardwood, a clay. Uh, why is there a topaz in here? That could go away. We'll get all of our bars and our 
ores out. Probably gonna need to go up to the quarry as well to also handle some of this. We'll work with what we've got for now. So anything I've not crafted, I'm literally just gonna craft and then delete. The loom I won't delete because I do need that. I might as well grab the other pine tar then because I'm gonna need more of it. And any furniture bits I don't need, I'm gonna just shove in a chest for now. Fire quartz, I also need, where are my batteries? Are they all in here? Yeah, they are. Knew there was something I was missing. Coal, I need my coal and that's all up at the quarry. Let's go up there. Praying I got a pumpkin at home for the jack-o'-lantern. I'll keep the crab pot because why not? The rings and stuff are probably gonna sell to the adventurers guild. Gonna need to smelt some more quartz for sure. I need to make this key crystal thing. We'll have a look. Damn, am I really that much out of hardwood? I guess I am. Okay, so we got a good amount of it done. Uh, Let's go back home real quick. There are a few things we need. Got the deluxe speed grow made. I can't believe I've never made that before on this file. I really run out of hardwood. That's wild to me. Just the thought of running out of hardwood. I guess I have. Um, I need the bone fragments too. Cloth. We're just gonna get some from the secret woods, I think. Um, Let's bring the stone in the wood again. Can I teleport there? That's fine. It doesn't exactly take us long to get there anyway. Merchant, are you selling any hardwood? No. I don't even think 12 hardwood is enough for what I need. There are mahogany trees in Ginger Island, so maybe we'll just go and grab all those. We can probably teleport straight there, actually. Uh, if we go from Island West, we'll be pretty safe that way. Damn, I thought I had so much hardwood, but I was wrong. And I could plant the mahogany trees, but I can't be bothered with that, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I'm pretty sure if we just go with what we cut down from the island, we should be good anyway. I think I've done all the ones up there. Okay, let's pop home. In fact, can I craft anything extra here that I haven't already? No, because I need the other pine tar. Let's go home. Easier when I've got all the rest of the stuff kind of like in front of me. There's our loom. I'm going to need that for the shed, so I might as well just go and put it straight in there, to be honest. Whoops. There we go. We also need some fish. Completely forgot about the sap also. Let's bring that back out. There we go. Hyper speed grow. Oh, I'm going to need more pine tar, but that's fine. We need some diamonds and we need some prizzies. So what does this do? An extremely rare crystal created by combining three prismatic shards and one diamond. I don't really know the point of this. I'm just going to go put it in a chest for now because I don't know what to do with it. But yes, I need to refine some quartz as well. Can't believe I've run out of that stuff. Maybe we'll just go take care of smelting that now. And for now, I'm going to keep any bars just because I'm worried about crafting. All right, there's our geode crusher. Got the thorns ring done. Oh, I need a fairy rose for the fairy dust. Oh, I need 10 garlic as well. I wonder if I've still got that or if I need to go buy some seeds. I've also now not quite got enough coal, so I am just going to go to the mines and try and get some. And I know I don't have monster musk, but I'm too lazy for that. We'll do the fives floors. I'm sure there's going to be some somewhere. There we go. And I'm not going to coal farm for the rest of the evening because I don't need quite that much at this stage. I'll do like an, another dedicated day in the future, but not right now. I just kind of want it to be able to craft some things. So I need a load of frozen tears. There we go. And it's one of the rings, I'm pretty sure. There it is, the warrior ring. Don't need that. I will be selling all of those at some point. Um, So what is it that I'm missing now? Oh, I've not done the bone mill. We'll keep that too. I think some of the stuff that I haven't crafted yet is because I literally don't have the items. So the refined quartz I can handle shortly. Fairy rose. That was right. I forgot about that. Um... Do I have any like basic ones? Do I not have any fairy roses at all? I also don't have enough garlic. That's not ideal. Okay, so we need to go get fairy rose seeds and garlic seeds. I'm just gonna put seeds. I'll kind of remember what that is next time. <laughs> Playing a little bit of a dangerous game here. Ooh, as well, I almost forgot to plant all the grass. We should probably handle that. But before we do that, let's put all the stuff away because I'm kind of carrying all the things and it's a bit much. There we go. Um, I'm gonna collect these earth crystals as well because why not? And of course, another batch of animal product. And let's get this field sorted. So before I do that, I wanna get rid of the newly grown trees that we don't want like that. And then I can go ahead and just place some grass down and it will spread a lot tomorrow. And we're gonna put some under, oh, I kind of wanted to put some under the um, fences as well, but that's all right. Because if you put some under the fences, they don't ever decay. And then there's always just like a bit of uh, grass ready for your animals. There we go. So let's put all these away and then we'll head to bed. How much money did we make today? 300 grand or just over. We're starting the episode with something really exciting. And that is grandpa's assessment. Let's see how we did. My dearest granddaughter, it's been many years since we last spoke. You were just a little girl, do you remember? Look how far you've come. Though you may have forgotten me, I've been here all along. You see, my body has departed this world, but my heart will always remain in Stardew Valley. You've been here two years now. I'm so proud of you, my dear. You're a better farmer than I ever was, and you brought great honour to the family name. I can feel it now, my spirit is finally put to rest. Bless you. The future of Enchanted Farm is in your hands now. Farewell. I think that means we got all the candles right. I hope so. Let's go see. Did we get it? Did we get it? Yes, we did. Now, before we do anything, I'm gonna go grab that statue because I'm gonna forget it. 
let's get it. Nope, not the note. I do this every single time. Oh wait, I have to read the note first, right? Because the note goes away now. Didn't know that, only just figured that out. But there is our Statue of Perfection. Where are we gonna put it? That is the question. Probably near the house or inside the house even, because otherwise I'm gonna forget. Let's also go ahead and let all of our animals out as well. They can have some real grass. And I'm going ahead and getting rid of the fiber using a pickaxe, simply because I don't want to get rid of the actual grass grass here. And I do need to get rid of all of these wood things here as well. We've also got wine day to deal with. Why am I working at a normal speed? I don't do normal speed. I'm gonna put my statue here and then we also wanna go and get all of our seeds out that we have. So it really is just all rhubarb, I think. The rest of it I'm not too fussed about doing right now and probably should stick some deluxe speaker on it too for a third harvest. We'd also need a scythe for the fiber. So let's get all of that collected up. Okay, and that's all of those planted up. Let's go ahead and clear these sticks as well because I didn't manage to do that earlier. I didn't have my ax on me. Oh my God, two and a half stacks of fiber. That is pretty darn good. I'm going to go ahead and sell off my truffles and stuff. And then I need to deal with the wine day. It is gooseberry time. All right, there's all of our wine and stuff sorted. And I've also brought home the stuff from smelting as well because I obviously need it for crafting and such. Now let's go ahead and ship our wine. And then what I need to do now is hop over to the island. Where are... Do I have any cinder shards left? I'm really hoping I have enough. I think they cost cinder shards. But the island trainer is the one who sells a banana pudding recipe, which I completely forgot about. Oh, I've got two recipes here. I need the deluxe retaining soil. Okay, so it's bone frags for the banana pudding and deluxe retaining soil needs 50 of the cinder shards. So that's what we're gonna go and handle. Probably just gonna get the bone frags from here because it's nice and easy and clear everything up from this little area. It's some nice easy coal and stuff too. There we go, I've got more than enough bone frags. And then let's see how many cinder shards we can come out with today. Oh, I should have brought my other sword because because these kind of yeet these far away. I'm just gonna have to be strategic with my hits, I guess. Please tell me they can come back. I think I've hit them too far out. No. Oh no, they notice me still. I'm trying to get them to like be hit in that direction. I think, uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to go home and go and get my other sword because this is just not manageable. Let's see what's in this chest though. Oh, it's the soul sapper ring. This is actually the one time I actually wanted the cinder shards. All right, let's just get out of here. We'll handle the cinder shards tomorrow because I just don't have the stuff for it right now. What I will do though is I will grab the other recipe that I needed from here. So there's the banana pudding. That's all done. So we should be able to get Master Chef soon, but I do need to handle Leo, Dwarf, and Pete. I think I can only go to the cinema once a week, right? So who's my lowest? I'll take the dwarf to the cinema. So I'm praying my infinity blade's just in my regular chest because otherwise I'm not really sure where to look for it. There it is. We'll bring that with us. We don't need the scythe and the axe anymore for now. And then we'll get some sleep because we have ghost berries to figure out tomorrow. Not figure out, just replant. I, I know what to do with ghost berries. There's another two and a half gold, so we can also do something else very special today. Maybe we'll go handle that first. Just stop any other rubbish spawning on our farm, you know? If you know, you know. In fact, I'm gonna teleport to the forest because I don't think anyone will be- Oh, we've got a cutscene. Hiya, Miss Willow. Sp spring onion. Mum sends me out to pick these sometimes. He can't- he can usually speak fine. Why just spring onion? They're too spicy for me. Funnily enough, I just had a salad just before recording this that had spring onions in it. <laughs> I do love me a spring onion. You're really nice for a grown up, so I'm gonna show you a secret. When you see it like this, it looks good, right? So here's the thing about what's coming next. Notice how it's like moving. Isn't that gross? But if you peel it a little bit, it's full of bugs. Ugh. Cool, huh? No, it's disgusting. What do you do with the bugs, Vincent? Usually I just squash them. <gasps> That's horrible. No, 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 no. Miss Willow, please put the bugs back in the grass so they can live in peace. I mean, fair enough, but they're just gonna infect the next spring onions. Oh, why is he running in a circle? <laughs> I never noticed that before. You learn how to clean the spring onion without harming any bugs. Spring onions are now worth five times the gold. Wow, so useful. Oh, I'm in the I'm in the water. Um, <laughs> Willow literally walking on water. Oh no. Wait, why have I got seeds in capital letters? Oh, flower seeds. I remember now. <laughs> I was really confused for a minute. Right, do we have a thing to build? The golden clock. Oh, the golden clock looks so good with this mod. I think I've noticed this before, but I forgot about it. Where are we going to put it? I guess we're going to put it up here. I feel like up here kind of makes sense, right? Is there a better place? Like, I don't think so. Unless we put it down here. I might put it down here. Or do we put it here? I'm going to put it there. I feel like there's a place. It kind of fills up a little gap. Another milestone complete. 
We're gonna go and run into town and get us some seeds. I also need some coal, so I might just go and buy it from Clint. Because obviously I did get a comment in one of the previous videos saying, hey, you can just buy it for really cheap from Clint's. I mean, with the 1.25 mil that I've got left, I think it's okay that we go buy it now. Like I probably should just save it for a different day, but that's fine. We have ghost berries to deal with, although that's not gonna take us all day. So I'm just gonna buy like 200 coal. I mean, it's not cheap. It's freaking 250 each I just spent. Uh, about 50 grand just on 200 coal. Oh, oh, I completely forgot that Pierre isn't at his county yet. Um, okay, we'll come back later. We'll go and deal with the berries first. I'm hoping my speed buff runs out soon. No, it doesn't. Still got two minutes left on it. That's not ideal. I was kind of hoping it would run out so that I could go and deal with the seeds, but like not have to keep redoing them where I'm too fast for it. That's okay. We'll just, we'll just do it anyway. I can always get the seeds and stuff another day at the end of the day. All right, let's do this. Oh wait, I forgot it works better in this direction. Hang on. And there we go, we have done the entire field. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell the gold one straight away because I know I have more than enough ghost berries now. And then I am gonna go straight up to the mountain to try and get those cinder shards for that last thing we need. Is Leo on the island today? I don't think he is. I think he's back in town. Yeah, he's he's in the library at the moment. So I was gonna give him a gift if he was here, but he's not. And I am gonna remove coal from my list for now because we're good on that for a minute. Right, this time we should be all right with trying to get our cinder shards because we're not throwing the magnum sprites halfway across the map so much quicker although they're not really dropping any can they like do better okay floor two and we're over halfway so this is going way better than it was yesterday <laughs> okay i've got exactly 50 uh do i try and get some more just in case now nah, we're gonna take a risk we're gonna hop out of the volcano eat some berries to heal up a little because i feel a bit weird walking around with like nearly no health i also need to change my list because my ghost berries are now going to be done on the 11th and now now we can get that recipe. So apparently I do need more wood. I just wanted to see if I had any just kind of hanging out in a chest here and I don't think I do. It's always good to check though. No, we don't. Okay. Have any of the trees grown back over here? Literally one of them, two of them. Is it worth it? Do I just wait? I think I should just wait. What I need to do right now though is put everything away because I've got so much stuff on me. And then what I want to do is just quickly make the banana pudding because that's obviously one of two of the last recipes we need. And then it's literally just the mango sticky rice, I'm pretty sure. And we have to wait for Leo for that. So the banana pudding I'm going to keep just in case. Actually, should we go check out what the trash bear wants or should we have an early night and do that in the morning maybe we'll probably go ahead and do that in the morning i think what i do want to do though is see if some of the trees have grown back here or okay so like one of them has we do need to wait a bit of time then i will just go ahead and head to bed oh my god we've got 400 grand from those ghost berries <laughs> <laughs> that's wild Ooh, we have some jelly ready too so i'm gonna go harvest my ancient fruit it's not ready never mind <laughs> i mean i could do the photosynthesis thing but i don't really want to use an entire prizzy on that i don't know oh we do have some ancient fruit left okay that's not too bad although saying that i don't think i'm gonna have enough fruit like at all that's okay though it's not like we're in a massive push for money anymore now that we've got the golden clock and the ghostberry wine alone sustains us really well what i should have done is kept a piece of fruit to have outside so we'll use just one of these cherries just so i know when the next batch is done and let's get our jades going i'm just going to replace that crystal without picking up the crystallarium first because lazy and that's pretty good time for us to go into town and grab those seeds for the tub of flowers hello pierre so we want i can't remember what it was that we want i'm just going to buy like one of each flower seed and then we should be good i don't think it's sunflower though get a jazz seed and a tulip seed i think that's all of them that should do us fine and then do i just go up to robin's today and buy some wood i think i should right instead of waiting for the trees i think i did only just buy some recently but having some more wouldn't do us any harm because there are a few projects that we do want to do maybe we get her to build us that shed whilst we're here what does the shed actually cost is it just wood or does it need stone as well because i can't actually remember it is just wood okay so i'm gonna buy another stack of wood before we let her go maybe a couple there we go five stacks of wood we should be good for a little bit and then let's fill that last spot with a shed i don't really know exactly what we're gonna put in it yet but we'll figure it out hi leo between linus and miss penny i'm gonna learn everything that there is ben lewis said i'm on a fast track to be coming a well-rounded citizen, whatever that means. Bless him. Looks like he's settling in well. 
And trains passing through. I mean, they're usually a waste of time, but you know what? We're here. I feel like we might as well, you know. Train? Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's a good time for me to have a drink break. Oh my god, no. It's just one of these Joja trains again. I'm just gonna leave it because I know that there's nothing that can come out of this train at all. So do I have everything I need for the tub of flowers already or do I need... Oh, I do. So what crafting recipe? Oh, it's the uh, deluxe retaining soil. The one that I literally only just bought. Oh, and I needed a fairy rose as well, right? Or do I already... No, I think I did need one. Maybe I do need to go get the photosynthesis spell so I can get that fairy rose thing done because I'm pretty sure the other recipe that I'm missing is the fairy dust. Where is it? Yeah. Yes, okay. So I am going to use a few prizzies on it, but I think it'll be worth it. So let's put that in place of the heal spell, because I don't really find myself using it that much anymore. And then for deluxe retaining soil, it's clay fibre and stone, I'm pretty sure. So we'll go ahead and make one of those. And I guess I just put the tub of flowers somewhere on the farm. I don't know where though. Um, here I guess? There we go. Let's get that fairy rose grown. I don't know how many stages it'll be. It says ready to harvest, but it doesn't look very ready, but we've got it. And then we just need a diamond, and I'm hoping that's going to be craft master not gonna have to look it up okay please oh it was not what am i missing farm computer it was the refined quartz i remember us being short on that now what about now okay it wasn't that solar panels and i'm still three short damn it okay i'm gonna bring some regular quartz and some fire quartz with me. Actually, I can use the fairy dust to make the furnace ready as well. I've got a few more quartz going anyway, just in case. But if I fairy dust this, now I have 10, which is exactly what I need. So the farm computer, I'm actually gonna put like here on my way out, maybe like that. And then, oh, my rhubarb's already as well. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that. I don't really need the money that desperately, you know? So I think it was gold and iron, right? Do I have enough of each? I, I hope so. There? No, that wasn't it either. Oh, oh, hardwood. I should have enough now. Actually, I'm like one short. So let's go to the secret woods and get the rest of the hardwood that we need. I didn't realize it would do all of these out here as well. I think I've, now that I say it out loud, I remember this happening before. Oh, I forgot my axe again. Oh, it's not even upgraded the right amount. That's really funny. Probably gonna reach perfection without perfectly upgraded tools, but that's okay. So let's grab all of these. And the last one's down here. And this random solar panel, I think I'm just going to put like here, because why not? So now can I do it? Right, what else do I need for those actually? Solar essence, I think. Please tell me I've got enough solar essence. I think I do. And what else was it? Mini obelisk, where are you? There. Okay, that wasn't it. I mean, I only made one. I'm short on gold, but that's okay. Only only care about having one for now. Let's see what else I'm missing. <laughs> Good grief. Speed grow, because I needed more pine tar, didn't I? Please tell me the pine tar's ready up here. It is not. One day, 17 hours. Okay. Maybe I do have some more and I just need to find it. Let's find out. Uh, I definitely don't have any pine tar. Actually, I know how to find out. If we go into here, find the pine tar in the shipping area, hit F1. I own zero. Okay, I definitely don't have any of them. I would make another fairy dust, but I don't have any more fairy roses, so we are just gonna have to wait for that. So I think today what we might have to just do is go and hand out gifts and such just to the three that we have left. So for the dwarf, we want to see if I can... Ooh, I need to get a rabbit's foot and hopefully enchant it. Praying I've got a rabbit's foot in here. <laughs> we do. So now... We're gonna make it Iridium. So first of all, where is everyone? I mean, we know where to find Pete later. It's just really Leo that I needed to look for because the others kind of stay where they are. Oh no, where has he gone? Okay, he's walked up this way. We're going to chase him down with a mango. Have mango, enjoy. I might as well get the cart from here to the mines. And here's your rabbit's foot. Hey, wanna buy something? No, I'm good. I am good. Oh, I'm missing loads of stuff in the crafting. Oh, I need key gems. I forgot, okay. We're not as close as I thought I was. So we're gonna need a load more hardwood anyway because I haven't done any of the totems. I've got the marble brazier to go and yeah, we need some key gems for... Wait, do I not have the deluxe scarecrow? Hold up. No, I don't. What recro am I missing? Oh no. Let's go find out. Oh, what have I done? Right, we've definitely got the snowman one because I think I've got like three of them. There's the witch. There's that one. I've got two of them. Do I just not have the alien? I think I might just not have the alien. Well, in that case, that one's pretty easy to get. Why is this missing a rhubarb? There's the raccoon. There's the witch. I also don't seem to have the mask one anywhere. This happened to me before. And yeah, I'm not seeing the alien anywhere. So maybe we just go to the casino and handle that right now. Oh, Pam's not here. Wait, why am I going for the bus when I literally have an obelisk? Hello? Oh, there's the mask one. Okay, so we're good on that. So it's literally just the alien. I think. I feel weird that I literally haven't got that yet. Or did I? I don't remember. I don't remember anything. I have 4,000 key coins. Is it because I haven't finished? I don't know. I'm just gonna bet until I get the 10,000 that I need. Oh my god. Oh, so close. <laughs> We're about to get the all star drops. Oh well. Oh my god, please. Yes. That's done it. Okay, let's let's go. 55, nearly 55 grand in key coins. Give me that alien rare crow. Anything else I want to get here? Not really. I'm just going to leave them. Let's go home. 
I can always save the coins to use anything else in the future if I want to come back and buy anything, but probably not, you know. But I'm just going to go ahead and teleport home at this hour. Well, where am I going to put this thing? There's not really anywhere that needs a rare crow, so I'm just going to put it here. And then we need to go see Pickle Pete. So I'm probably just going to teleport straight to the ghost town. Was I too early? Pete, why aren't you here? Uh... Okay, so so we're not we're not giving him that today. Ne never mind, I guess. I don't know if something's gone wrong because I can't teleport either, even though I'm outside. Oh, I've run out of teleport cores. Never mind, that's just me being dumb. I'm gonna try one more time. If he's not here, then we're going home. All right. Maybe he just is a bit like Pierre and doesn't open on Wednesdays, I don't know. And I'm just gonna use my teleport spell all the way home. Not teleport spell, blink spell. All right, well, it's time for bed and we just have to hope that he is out again tomorrow. Okay, so we got the mango sticky rice recipe from Leo, so let's go cook that. I don't expect it to tell us that we've cooked everything because apparently, according to my menu here, I've got some modded stuff, like this, you can't actually, ah, oh, this, these, these I can do. But all the Zuzu stuff, I, I can't really do. So let's go into the cauldron and see what we need for the rest of it. Need a pomegranate and a ruby. Have I got any pomegranates? Please tell me I've got pomegranates. I'm gonna be really upset if I don't. Oh my God, thank God. And then a ruby. Got the solar essence. I also need a gold bar and honey, which I should have loads of. I then need earth crystal. Should have a fiddlehead fern in one of these chests. Yes, I do. And some sap. I also need a morel. Please tell me I've got a morel. Yes. I was getting nervous in case I don't have the ingredients because I'm not in the season anymore for it. And then we need some milk and a poppy. Do I have any poppies? If not, I have to go grow some. Oh no, I've got loads. <laughs> Then I'll grab a random milk and we should have all of the potions then completed. But let's go ahead and make those. One of those, one of those, and one of those. Oh, there we go, Gourmet Chef. So even though it's showing up on my collections tab, I think it recognizes that the recipes don't exist. So I don't have to worry about this anymore. So now it really is pretty much just the crafting and the friendships. So checking on these, I've given, I really need Pickled Pete to like appear. Oh, I haven't given him any gifts this week. Okay, Um, what I'm gonna do is turn all of these into Iridium quality because I might as well have them all be in the same stack and then we're probably going to take leo or the dwarf oh who do we do leo or the dwarf i don't probably the dwarf we'll take the dwarf to the cinema today i think and i'm taking seeds off my list here as well because i've done those i'm also going to take wood off the list because i can just go buy it from robin now whenever i want oh no morel i am in the season four why did i think i'm in summer oh, it doesn't matter this is not the theater i'm not doing joja the theater is over here or the cinema if you're british so I need two of those. And then I think you can take the dwarf to the cinema, right? Am I imagining that? Also, what does the dwarf like? Or is it under the movie theater thing? I love all movies and also rock candy or star drop sorbet. Why am I going the long way when I can just take the minecart? I have a ticket for you. Wait, have I definitely given the dwarf two gifts today? Uh, this week? Yes, I have. We'll talk first. Get those extra 20 friendship points. This is for you. Amu, what? Uh, well, I'm sure I'll like it. I'll be happy to go with you. Oh, bless. Let's go straight there. Um, we're gonna take the minecart again because it's quicker. Then we shall go see a movie. No, I don't want to buy a ticket. I've got a ticket. Let's go see a movie with a dwarf. So let's go buy... So it's gonna be the rock candy today. Come enjoy the other part of the world. I wonder if people are like weird about the fact that I've taken the dwarf to a movie. There is, however, nobody else here. What are we seeing today? The brave little sapling. I don't think I've seen this movie. The brave little sapling is leaving his home. He hesitates for a moment and turns around, knowing he won't be back for a long time. Oh, I made the genome noise. The other saplings of his grove are gathered at the edge of town, excitedly waving their twigs goodbye. The dwarf seems to be in a deep trance. Enjoy your rock candy. Yes. The dwarf is really enjoying their rock candy. Oh no, out of nowhere it starts raining. The little sapling goes into a sprint as the thunderclouds loom overhead. Fearing for his life and demoralized by the relentless downpour, the brave little sapling begins to lose hope. But what's this? The sapling feels a tingling on the top of his head. <laughs> Perhaps a little rain was what it needed to begin its journey into becoming a tree. Oh bless. Farewell little buddy. But did it just get stuck in the ground forever now? The movie is concluded for tonight. We hope you enjoyed the show. Tonight? It's still the morning. What do you mean? It's actually 9.30am. What did you think? Can I talk to you? I didn't understand a thing, but the flashing lights were mesmerizing. <gasps> That's adorable. So where are we now with the friendship? I don't know how much friendship we gained from that, but it's still something, right? Now, where is Leo? Leo's up by Linus's tent, so I'm gonna go say hello to get the extra 20 friendship points. We might as well. <gasps> there he is. Hi, Leo. Have you ever noticed all the interesting birds that live here? If you listen closely, they might tell you something. I wonder what the birds have been saying to you. Well, now that we're waiting, kind of, I'm gonna go to check out the trash bear. Let's pick up the daffodils on the way, why not? Any forageables, I will just go ahead and grab, because usually I think the first thing they ask for is a forageable, but coin to make 
makes sense to have them in our inventory. I don't really know what that accent was, not gonna lie. So trash bear. Oh, we got loads of spring onions. I am just gonna grab them because why not? So like how much are they worth now? 80? Wow. So much gold. What are you after? A carp? Okay, we'll go get the carp. I would just teleport home, but I need to make more travel calls. Don't I not have enough carp? Because I'm pretty sure I had to catch them specifically. Oh no, I do. Okay, I have some. It's fine. Everything's fine. So let's make some more travel calls because I am completely out. 57 will do for now. And then we'll teleport to the forest to save some time because the trash bear isn't really going to notice. I mean, I've kind of been out of his view anyway, but don't think they're going to care about magic because they themselves are kind of magical. Let's be honest. What do you want now? A leek? I do not have a leek on me. Let's see if there's a leek in the forest anywhere. There's a horseradish, but no leek. Actually, what I'm going to do, once I run home to collect a leek, if there's no leek around here, which I don't think there is, I'm going to go to Mr. Key's room and pick up the next key quest because it's Thursday now and I'm desperate for key gems. So we're going to do that first, actually, whilst I'm passing the obelisk. What have you got for us? Please have something easy. I don't want to do danger in the deep. Fine. All right, well, uh, how far away am I from finishing? I'm literally 13 key gems. Okay, 13 key gems. Let's go. I suppose we're going to go to the mines then. Now, hopefully I've got a load of staircases. I don't think I do though. And I think this time I actually am going to allow myself to use the descend spell because I haven't. Oh, I've got so much stone. Let's use some of that up. Okay, I've got another 30 staircases, so that should help a lot. How many others do I have? 39 staircases. So we can get like a third of the way through-ish. It's not even like I'm going to have enough for Sunday either. So we'll just bring some bombs and stuff and just kind of get going. Do I even have it in my hot bar? Yeah, I do. Or in my spell bar, I should say. I'm not going to use the staircases till the lower floors because uh, I don't really need to. Picking up the leak for later as well. So let's go to the mines. Not me trying to use the elevator when the entire point of this quest is that it doesn't work. So we'll also eat a spicy eel and have a triple shot as well. Speed us up a bit, give us some extra luck. So far so good on just breaking rocks with my spell and finding a ladder. This is the first time I've not like got it first time. Oh, this one's infested. So this is the kind of floor where we are just going to skip. So let's put them in the bar that I've put them in the part of the bar that I'm used to. There is a boss slime over here and I am going to bother to fight that because oh, radioactive bar. See, that was kind of worth it. Come on, give me a ladder somewhere. Where is it? Hello. Okay, I'm having the worst ladder luck right now. There it is. Got there in the end. And we do need to leave whilst it's dark today to go as Beach Pickle Pete. I'm determined to do that today. There's a freebie over there. <laughs> we have another boss slime. What are you going to drop us? You have given us... Oh, it's just a bomb. It's not even good. I forgot to bring the um, mana potion type situation again. Oh well, I have to live with this decision now. Skipping this barrel floor because screw that. All right, we made it to 30. It's now dark. So praying Pickle Pete is where he should be. Let's go ahead and teleport over to the ghost town. Please be here. <gasps> yes, okay. Have some pale ale. Happy Friday indeed. Oh my God, nine hearts. We are so close. One heart to go. And then I guess from here, we can probably just go straight back to the mines, you know? Um, I'm gonna teleport to the bus stop because I know no one's there. And then we will get on the mine cart. This is actually a good place for me to also gather hardwood. Just even for a second because I just realized I am nauseated. Maybe I should go home and get some ginger. I mean it's late anyway so we can do with putting it in our inventory anyway. So three bits of ginger I have to save my life tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. No matter any delay we're gonna go straight back up to the mines. Actually before I do that I need to check if I've got any pumpkins because I know one of the things that I haven't crafted yet is the jack-o-lantern. I do. Okay we're all good. We're all good. We will also go ahead and say hi to the dwarf while we're down here for those extra 20 friendship points. Every point counts. Actually, where's Leo? Before we go in. There he is. Good morning, Leo. And then we're starting on 55 today. Come on, give me a ladder somewhere, please. Oh, it's there. All right, we're in the final third. So this is the bit where I might just staircase because I don't want to die. Like, unless it's a floor like this where it's not that busy. All right, floor 119. If there's no... Oh, I ran out of mana. We'll just, we'll just staircase it. There we go. We have done it. So I'm going to leave the mine, come out here, no one's around, so I am going to go ahead and, oh, I've run out of mana. Can I still teleport home? Yeah, I can. So I'm just putting everything away real quick. We'll then go and buy that last crafting recipe from Ginger Island. I just realized, did I get the deluxe rare crow recipe? No, I didn't. Wait, what? What am I missing? I might just have to gather up all my rare crows and have a look. I'm wondering if it's the flower dance one, in which case that's going to be pretty easy to solve given that we're in spring. And looking around my farm, I think it is, you know. It looks like it's actually the flower dance one. That's hilarious. The f Oh no, wait, I've got it. What? Okay, I'm just going to collect up my rare crows for a second. I am so confused. I will have to put them back after, obviously. So there's seven there. Wait a minute. Is it really the dwarf rare crow that I don't have? Hello? No way. That's really funny. Again, that's another one I just kind of think that I've always got and I just don't. Okay, let's go do that. Well, now we definitely have all eight because I've got them all in my inventory right now. I guess we just put them back down again. Oh, how funny. They're literally going to go back down in a random order as well now at this point. Alien is going to go back where it was though. 
I think that's all of my fields covered, so I might just put the rest in a chest and leave them there. And maybe we go today to sell some of this stuff off because I don't really need them. I'll keep those two, probably. And we have some spare weapons too, so the Dark Sword's gonna go. I think I kind of want to keep those because they're cool. <gasps> Hinder, we need that. Now let's get these spares sold. Not that I need the money, just because we might as well. Then I'm teleporting back to the farm because we're going to make a few more things. So let's grab the pumpkin. I need a torch. Do I have just a torch chilling? Yeah, I do. I'm going to put my bombs and stuff away. There's no need for me to be holding that stuff anymore. Actually, we're going to go to the ghost town first. We'll go handle Pickle Pete and then we'll craft some things. Hello, sir. This is for you. We must be so close. Yeah, we've got a bit less than half and half. Next gifting week for sure. All right, now let's figure out what we're missing. So this jack-o'-lantern I'm putting in a chest because I don't want to lose it because it's the wrong season. Uh, we haven't done any of the warp totems, I'm pretty sure. So let's handle those. Hold up, do I not have any coconuts? I guess I've got to go to the desert then. That's fine. Unless I have some indoors. Oh, I have one. All right, so this should now be all of the warp totems handled. Oh, the rain totem as well. I need some truffle oil. Five pinter. Oh, oh, okay. Um, in that case, I need to make more tappers, I think. So where are they? Oh, I haven't got the wood on me. Whoops. I made like another five. I'm hoping I've got five around that I can place tappers on. So there's one. Damn it, I've kind of cut every tree down here too. I knew there was this tree here down at the forest. Do we have any others around? I was hoping at least one more of them had grown up, but I don't think they have, which is up. No, here's one. I have two more tappers. Can I get them down anywhere? Yes. Okay. All of our tappers are now used. So hopefully in a few days we'll have enough pine tar to do the rest of the recipes. Completely underestimated the amount of pine tar we'll need. And while we're down here, I'm going to give the trash bear a leak because I've got them on me. And I suppose I should do the truffle oil too. So here's the leak. What do you want next? Whatever that is. We'll figure that out when we get home. <laughs> Oh yes, I do need to do the oil. Do I have truffle oil in here already? I'm pretty sure I might have... Yes, I, I saved some, thank goodness. But I think it's five pine tar for that. Okay, never mind. Um, Let's just go to bed. But first, I want to put these warp totems somewhere. I just don't really know where. I'm just going to shove them in a random chest for now. Because I'm not really going to use them. They just need to be out of my way. And let's get some sleep. Now I'm praying we've got the rare crow recipe now. The deluxe rare crow. 35 stone from George. And there it is. Okay. I feel so much better now that I have that. So let's go ahead and make it. There we go. That's all of the rare crows now. And this is going to go... Where should we put this? I kind of want to put this somewhere for fun. There we go. The purple suits the vibe of the place too. So now what else do I need? Oh, I need to get some garlic. Some garlic seeds. And then I need to craft the heavy tapper and the hopper. He's not going to be there. Why do I keep going to the store when he's just not there? So what do I need for those things? Oh, the heavy tap is going to be faster as well. So maybe I use some of those. I have the stuff for it. What do I need for the hopper first though? An iridium bar. So we'll craft one of them. I'm going to do like two of them. So what I will do is I'm going to replace two of these with the heavy tappers because they're faster, right? Yeah, one day, 23 hours. So much better. So we should get an extra two pine tar in the time. And then the other thing I haven't done is the marble brazier. Please tell me I've got some marble saved. I don't have any marble. I'm, so, I'm usually so good with saving the marble and I don't have any. Oh no. We're gonna keep Clint busy today. So I'm checking which geode it comes out of and we've got the frozen and the omni geode. 55 of them and luckily I've got 255 of them. Oh my god, this is gonna be a long day. I'm trying to make sure I put away anything I don't need to carry right now because obviously going to Clint's is really gonna fill up my inventory. I think that should do for now. We'll go to Clint's and then we'll make sure we do do a stop at Pierre's to get that garlic. All right, Clint, give me some marble. There it is. There's the marble. Okay, we're all good. We've got it. Let's get home again. We'll make that brazier. That's the mine. That's not home. And anything that isn't that, we're just going to sell. We don't need it. I need marble. I need aquamarine. And I've got the coal. So what else? Do I need anything else? 100 stone. Don't need the coal. There we go. There's that. And now I think it's literally just the rain totem, which is quite funny. Now let's head to Pierre's. We're going to go grab the garlic seeds. We need 10 of them for the oil of garlic. And then I think I am just going to prizzy them. And I don't know if I need to water them, but I'm going to bring my watering can anyway, because when we're doing the photosynthesis thing, I don't know how it works and I don't really want to waste prismatic shards finding out the hard way. So now, actually, what I'm going to do is also harvest this ancient fruit before we do it. Maybe I harvest all the ancient fruit in between. I feel like it'd be a waste not to, right? So first round, second round, and third round. Okay, so we do need one more. Four prismatic shards. We've spent like eight prismatic shards just on growing stuff today. If I thought ahead, what I should have done is actually got the garlic seeds the first time around and then I would have only had to spend four. But I kind of forgot because I kept thinking those were the last items and they weren't. Okay, last prizzy and we should be able to harvest all of this garlic. I'm going to leave this here for the next harvest though. 
just waiting for uh, the Monday to come around. You know what I'm like, we're trying to do stuff on the same days. So now I find me some oil, some regular old oil. I think it's going to be in my fridge. I should be able to do the oil of garlic. Oil? Oil? Oil. Wait, what? I've got 10 garlic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've still got a garlic seed on me. No. Oh my God. Okay. I know how to fix this. I know how to fix this. I'm not using a prizzy on it this time. I'm not using multiple prizzies on it. I do have some hyper speed grow. We've got to wait for some of the other stuff anyway. Oh my God. I can't believe I did that. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed at myself. All right. I'm going to put it in this chest here. I can't believe that. And I suppose we might as well do another set of jelly. Oh my goodness. I have no words. I feel like if that was gonna happen to anyone it would be me like i feel like if you've been watching me by now you kind of been like yeah that's really something i would do oh okay it's fine everything's fine i'm definitely not gonna cry <laughs> I'm actually not. My eyes are watering from me internally laughing. But hey, at least we got another batch of jelly done. We do, however, have some trees that we don't want here. Is it gonna get rid of the grass if I... It does, okay. Kind of not what I wanted, but that's that's fine. I, I can live with that. Not the end of the world. So I'm pretty sure what that trash bear wanted was there, the radish salad. I've got it. I just realized I've still got ancient fruit on me as well, so I'll go and put those back in the shed. Here you go, trash bear. Enjoy the radish salad. I don't even like radishes, really, but if, if you like them, that's good. It, it means it doesn't go to waste. Now what do you want? Hash browns. Oh, okay. I mean... I can see why. Hash browns are freaking incredible. One of my favorite foods in the world. Do I have any spare hash browns? I mean, probably not because I probably used them in a recipe already. So let's see if I can make some. We're going to check this chest in here as well though. No, we don't. Okay. That is fine. We'll just make another. I have another to spare. Is there anything I haven't done today? Friendship wise, I haven't spoken to the other two. So we will be sure to do that. So going to the theater, I can only do once every seven days. So I'm wondering if it means like on gifting reset or if it means like I went on, I, I can't remember what day it was, a Wednesday or something. So I have to go on a Wednesday again or I can't go until Wednesday again. I don't know. We'll soon find out. What I will say though is if we get to the point where only friendships are left I'm not going to make a dedicated episode of me just sleeping and gifting with those people because I think that would be a bit much. So here you go trash bear have your hash browns and I think that should be the last thing that you want. I'm praying. There we go. Yeah clean up the area for us. I do love the little trash bear song and of course we can't forget the steak for Dusty the dog. <laughs> Enjoy your steak. I think it's a steak anyway. It doesn't seem to have any fat or anything in it so I don't know. Just a kind of a hunk of meat really isn't it? I also need to put my Omni Geodes away. I don't really know why I'm carrying them all around with me. So we're gonna say hello to Leo. Hello to the dwarf without uh, buying anything. All those times I was mistakenly buying the cherry bomb and it's kind of like hinting at me like hey you haven't got the dwarf rare crew you need that. And we will also go say hi to Pickle Pete too. And he's not here is it? I was a bit too early or is he just literally not here he's not here okay never mind back to the farm I guess all that's left is to just have an early night what I am going to do though is fill some more grass starters around the farm just in the areas that we don't want any like items I suppose because I feel like it makes sense to fill these areas up with grass I do need to path up here though at some point all right those grass starters are now down I don't know how long it's going to take for them to spread but we'll go get some sleep I'm actually going to go check the traveling merchant just in case that she's selling any pine tar today I feel like it would be silly not to check for that oh I missed a spot for the grass that's fine I'll do it another day oh and also it's Sunday so it's a new gifting week we can go and give out some more gifts I'll check if we got another rabbit's foot he's a pine tar she's in a pine tar how dare you how dare you not bring me pine tar can't believe you've done this so praying for a rabbit's foot we don't have one so I'm just gonna have to give the dwarf just a regular gem or something and I've got some mango somewhere for Leo or a mango I guess he is basically already in town so I am just gonna go straight to the dwarf luckily we've got a chest here full of gifts here you go dwarf and then I'll just take the minecart to town make my life a bit easier where's leo now there you are i guess you're going to the island today this is for you and then friendships wise we literally just have to wait for pete for tonight at least for this game day so what i can try and do today is maybe make some milk machines cheese machines not milk machines so stone wood copper bar what was the other thing where is it? I lost. Hardwood. I do need hardwood for it. Okay. We're going to need a lot of hardwood. So I'm going to get these planted with some tree fertilizer. Oh, I have 64 grass starters. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. What was it that I needed for the tree fertilizer? I think it's just stone and fiber, right? 25 of them will do. So let's get these placed where I want them. And some of them can take their time to spread. That's fine. But there's other places that I need like quite a lot on there just to get it going. Oh, this entire section just has loads of trees. I'm um, going to use my axe simply because I've just put the grass starters down and I don't want to lift them all. Oh, there's so many. I've hit the hardwood jackpot back here and I can chop down any stray trees from the tree farm that we have at the side there or the oak resin farm, I mean.
green. There's also this that doesn't belong. Oh my god, I've got an entire row of trees back there. I'm just gonna leave those ones where they are, I think. Where's the section I missed? Over here. And we've also got this area down here that needs filling too. So I like the long grass look, honestly. So I think the perfect place for our little tree farm is gonna be just here. We'll just whack as much hardwood as we can in this little area and get these all fertilized because we want them to grow nice and quick. And I will also go to the secret woods whilst I'm out here as well and collect anything that's up there. Ashley, are you selling any hardwood? No. It was worth a try. I suppose I could always farm for hardwood as well in the mines, especially if I've got the harder mines on, there is that too. I might actually try that. Oh my God, all of these trees been knocked up. That's so annoying. How dare. So how many cheese machines can I make right now? I made 13, that's not enough. That's the wrong shed. I think it's this one, right? Yes, it is. So for a couple of hours, let's pop to the mines. Let's grab us some more hardwood if we can. Hopefully it's the right type of floor. It is not. Okay, let's go down to 120 and we'll ask the shrine to change for tomorrow. And then what I'm going to do instead is just pop over to the quarry and see how many more kegs we need to fill out the area because it would be quite nice to have that like fully done for the next wine day tomorrow. We actually need quite a lot still. So two more there and then yeah, okay. So I just need to make another whole load. And I'm going to bring any copper and iron ore with me because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to smelt some more because I could only make 52 because I ran out of metal. But I will actually bother today collecting my oak resin because I've not done that in a long time and I'm starting to get short on the stuff. There's a tree in the middle of my pathway, how dare. I guess I should probably remake that path. There we go. So I'll have to see how far these 62 kegs bring us. But first we are going to go and sort out Pickled Pete. Pete, please be in. I have a gift for you. Please. <laughs> there he is. I just, he just, oh my god, give. Oh my god, we're full. Yes. Okay, two more to go. Let's remove Pete from the list because, ooh, do we don't want to remove the entire list. I mean, I, I know I can probably remember by myself, Dwarf and Leo, but this is me we're talking about. And then I'm going to teleport to the bus stop so we can get to the quarry. So I'm going to finish off this row here. We'll do that there. And then I think the next bit I want to fill out is this. So how do we want to do it? I think it'll be three rows of kegs. It'll look something like this. If I can actually place them, that'd be great. Probably because I'm walking too fast. And then these ones, do I keep them going this way? No, we're going to be weird and have them going this way. So this is where we've completely run out of ores. So I'm going to do the copper first. I actually have some copper on me, I'm pretty sure. Like I've got 10, but uh, maybe it'll be enough. I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes with these ones that smelt. And then we'll collect the iron in the morning. Yeah, we've only got 37 copper bars, so that's not ideal. But that's okay. It's still more, right? Like, it's still improvement. Is that a meteor? That's really... <laughs> no way have we got a meteor. Okay. <laughs> The reason I'm freaking out, I almost just knocked my mug over. The reason I'm freaking out is because I got this comment, which is on, aren't, I can never, this side. I got this comment saying that I need to analyze something. It was a rock from another world and I think it's a meteor. And I was like, oh no, what if I just like don't get one for ages or like before the end of the series? We just got a meteor. I need to go get the analyze spell back. An explosion was heard in the night. Oh my God, have we got it. What's it destroyed though? I'm kind of worried. Please don't be anything important. Where is it? Where are you? Wait, this hardwood here. How have I just been completely forgetting this exists? Hello? <laughs> I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb sometimes. It's just my chaos brain. That is my excuse. Come on, where are you, Meteor? Oh, there's a bit of fiber there that we don't want interrupting anything. <gasps> my ostrich grew up. Where is it? Uh, <gasps> There it is. Okay, I don't have the analyze spell, so we're gonna go get it. That is wild. And then I wanna bring my wood and oak resin up with me to the mines. I'm just gonna check real quick on the pine tar up here as well. We got any? Yes, we have it on the two that are faster. So I think we only need like one more pine tar to complete the crafting. No, I definitely not have any other iron bars. I don't think I do. And I might as well start on the wine that's down here. All right, that's the kegs done. Or at least in the shed, I mean. First things first, let's get the iron out of the furnaces so we can turn them all into kegs. So we should be able to get... Oh, we got another 33. So what did we run out of there? Wood. That's fine. Let's just see how far 33 takes us. And actually, we don't need that many more. I think we just need one more double row. So let's count how many we need. So what we actually need is 13 more kegs, which is actually not that much at all. And then... Let's just get another load of wine going. Whilst we're at it, should we smelt some stuff whilst we're waiting? Probably should, right? Probably should just get another batch of iron going. And then we can carry on with the wine. And our wine is pretty much done and just in time for the iron to almost be done as well. Yeah, there we go. Look at that all coming in. Do I leave my ghost berries here? I'm gonna leave. No, I'm gonna take them with me, at least most of them, just because I'm kind of running out back at home. So we'll collect all the iron. And then I'm probably just gonna buy the copper from Clint at this point, I feel like, because obviously uh, we only need 13 more kegs and I've got four already. 
already of the bars, so I don't need that much. So if I buy like 400 copper, which is way overkill, I'm also gonna buy a bit more coal. Cause I feel like we might as well finish it off, you know? I'm gonna then go to the bus stop just so I can pick up another stack of wood. And then we'll get all of that smelting. The first copper's already coming in and I should have more than enough. There we go, there it all is. And I'm literally only gonna make enough for the exact amount I need. Cause I feel like I don't wanna waste any of the resources. So if we go 10, 13. I hope I counted right. There we go. We are officially full on the quarry. Let's remove that from our list. It's getting shorter and shorter. I missed a keg as well down here, so it's kind of a good thing I came back. The corner ones kind of caused me the most issue with the ghost berries. There's another one here that I missed. There we go. Let's go shove them in the shipping bin. I'm gonna put hardwood on my list just so I remember that I need to be gathering it. I can't even remember which day I went to the mines for the shrine. Was that today? I don't think it was today. Let's get these mangoes to iridium quality. I don't know how many I actually need. I should have just done the entire stack really. And I am just gonna keep periodically checking for rabbit its feet in here because it's gonna speed up the dwarf's friendship a lot if we can get those and make them iridium quality because we can't exactly make the rest of the gems iridium quality and i do need to go to pierre's real quick and get that analyze spell because otherwise i'm gonna forget so where am i gonna put this i think i'll put it in place of the water spell because i don't see myself needing that right now if I need it, I'll just come and get it again. So let's have a look at our meteor. Anything? Rewind, spirit, and meteor. Wait, we learned three spells? Whoa. We need to go have a look at those. Before I have a look at them, though, I just realized Leo is on Ginger Island right now, and I don't want to wait until he's already asleep to be able to gift him stuff. So um, I'm going to go handle that real quick. Here you go, Leo. Come on, eight hearts. Oh, I wish we were on nine. How annoying. We're getting close, though. It's fine. Everything's fine. It will be the friendship last as usual. That is always the way with me. And then, yeah, let's teleport back to the farm. Get over over to the entrance and I just want to kind of read what the spells are I may or may not use them so there's the rewind turn back time for a gold bar wait like how far I'm very confused I'm kind of too scared to use it <laughs> we then have spirit summon a lost spirit to fight for you that's pretty cool should we should we get that They're like in place of analyze just because it's funny and then the last one was meteor what does it do catalyst iridium ore does it literally call on a meteor maybe should we try it out I'm kind of scared um I don't really even have anything I want to remove I guess the descend spell we don't use it that much much. Let's now go find Pickle Pete. Praying he's actually there today. Hello. Wait, I don't need to find him. Okay, I'll talk to him anyway because we're here. You're so thirsty. Well, you're in luck. I don't need to find him anymore. I keep forgetting. It's been so much a part of my routine that I've like just forgot that I don't need to go. It's just the dwarf actually I think I need to go see today. So we will go do that. So what happens if I, I'm gonna, <gasps> it's a tiny Junimo. What does it do? Maybe I should test it around some monsters. Oh my, it is just one-shotting everything. Hello? <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, I'll take all the loot. Oh my God, this is amazing. How long does it stick around for? What? Okay, well, I guess it's following me now. That's so funny. I don't know how long it sticks around for, but I can't complain, I guess. How funny. I have a ruby door. And then I think that's all I can do right now. Okay, I'm gonna check the mines real quick to see if I've, yeah, okay. I have, so what I should probably do, oops, is start heading. I'm trying to find some hardwood in here for the night. Well, this makes my life a lot easier in here. Like so much easier. I don't even have to worry about monsters anymore. Oh, I've got a prismatic shard also. How awesome yeah help me out damn i don't even need to fight anymore how funny that is extremely op not gonna lie oh hey this makes farming for the hardwood in here a lot easier i think it's gone away now so we'll call it back there is one more hardwood tree down here oh there's quite a lot of hardwood in here so much easier to get the stuff now i don't know why i was so like upset Oh my goodness. Um, do I have any stone? No. We do have this little thing to help us. It's a freaking spider floor. This is so gross. I think it's having a hard time hitting these spiders as well, the way they jump around so much. Oh, I passed out. <laughs> I didn't even realize the time. Well, 69 hardwood. I'll take it. Another two and a half million from all of our wine. Love to see it. So for a quick review of where we're at, I think all we have for perfection now is literally just to befriend Leo and the dwarf and we're not that far off them either. So what I'm gonna do is just um, empty out my inventory real quick because I know that we started on, I said started, I meant ended on hanging out in the mines trying to get like hardwood and stuff. So let's put that all away. I think I'm just gonna leave the rhubarb as it's because it's not like we're in desperate need of money at this point. And I kind of just like the way a fully grown crop looks. And one of the things I can put away is the pale ale. I don't need that anymore. I've only got two iridium quality mangoes, so I'm hoping I've got more on the island. I will go and check. Oh, I've got loads of regular ones. So I'll leave a few behind in case I need them for anything. And then we are going to, I'm hoping, can we enchant? Yes, we can. We can still do that. So let's go ahead and make these iridium so that we can give all of these to Leo. And then I guess I just have to check periodically and see if we got any rabbit's feet for the dwarf. We are, of course, also going to leverage the movie theater too, but it's been, I don't even think it's been a week yet. So before we do anything, I'm going to go pop to Ginger Island and just make sure that it's the only thing we have left. The ghost berries appeared to be done. 
I seem to have miscalculated, but that's okay. I'm just going to leave it. What else is in my mail? How did I not notice this when we were over there? So where are we? Oh, wait, walnuts? What walnuts are we missing? I finished? Uh, hang on a minute. Three count nuts. Aha, okay. So we did have the walnuts because remember it was on 127 for a long time and then obviously the snake spine was like not really doing it for us and then we found it. So like it didn't update, but it's fine. Everything's fine. We are still one crafting recipe short though. So uh, I wonder what that could be. What is it? I don't remember. No. Um, I'm guessing it was something we needed hardwood for because I have hardwood in my list of to do. That sounded really backwards to say, but you know what I mean. What is it? I'm gonna have to look on Stardew Checkup in a minute because scrolling through these recipes kind of gets a lot. Oh, rain totem, speed grow, and oil of garlic. I still haven't done the basic speed grow. Oh yes, we're waiting on pine tar. I really wish I put that on my list. Why didn't I do that? I'm just gonna leave my page. I know you can't see it, but it's literally just three items. <laughs> and I suppose while we're at it, is anyone here to talk to? No, I, I suppose I should probably just get the 20 friendship points in with the talking to. <gasps> I just realized how much this cat looks like Kruger and I called it Bubbles but then I didn't even have a cat yet so um that's wild. <laughs> oh how funny. I could go into the save files and rename the cat Kruger but I'm not going to do that because uh we do have another cat called Kramer and I feel bad just having one of them in the game. So we'll say hello to you and we'll say hello to you. Oh excuse me Linus. You. <laughs> so the one thing I know we needed for one of the things was pine tar so how long have they all got? They've all got 23 hours so tomorrow are pine tar. Oil of garlic. I think I was just waiting for one seed, right? Um, I don't remember when I put it on there. Oh, it's tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. Wait, it's not watered. <gasps> oh no. Okay. Uh, let me fix that real quick. My basic watering can. I still haven't upgraded all my tools. That's so funny. I'm leaving them as is because I feel like it tells us about uh, how we played in this playthrough, you know. Right, specifically where are the rabbits because I need to pet them. I really need their feet. There's one. I think I- do I only have one? I don't remember. That's fine though. I'll just um, kind of hope that we get one at some point. If not, it's just going to have to be gems. So that is why we're going to have to really leverage that. Uh, oh, the Zuzu block party. So that's why we're going to really have to leverage that movie theater for the dwarf. Plus the dwarf loves all the films anyway. Taking the bus today because I feel like it makes sense. See if we can find everyone to talk to here. I don't think everyone from the valley comes. So um, we'll just say hi to Gwen. We've got Sandy over here. We've got Emily as well. Is that Shane? That's not Shane. It just looks so much like Shane. Free food. It's not free. Oh, we can get cider. That's kind of cool. Big burger. Downtown dog. Talk to these guys. Not that I need to. I want to see what Kristoff says actually now that we're married and we're here. Hi. Hello my love. I hope you're enjoying the party. I helped fund it. Oh okay. I mean for someone who was so like obsessive over watching over their workers they they literally just don't go to the office anymore. <laughs> There's Sadie. I almost forgot to talk to her. I did I see David over there at all? I don't know if I did. Is, it, is that Kel? No. See, I would expect it. Oh no, they are here. They are here. I'm just not used to just seeing the back of their heads. There we go. Oh, thank you for the downtown dog. I'll take that. I'll go give it a try when we get home. Thank you, Cal. Let's get out of here. You can really just talk to people. I don't think there is anything else yet at this festival. Festival end. Okay, so it is night time. Let's eat this downtown dog. Does it have any effects? Literally none, but I mean, it's probably tasty. Now, I don't remember what day last week we went to the cinema, so I will probably try again in the morning. If not, we'll just have the tickets ready to go for whenever we can do it. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but I really do feel like a rainy day is the perfect day to go to the cinema, so I'm really hoping either me or the dwarf are up to it. I think it's you, right? It's you that says I don't feel like going to the cinema. So I now have all of my garlic. Where have I put the rest of it? Because I know I've got nine lying around somewhere. I always put stuff in a safe place and I can never remember what the safe place is. I'm hoping it's in the fridge. Is that to me would make sense. I already had 10, there's already 10 in here. What am I doing? I could have made this ages ago. I mean, I suppose it doesn't matter because I was still waiting for pine tar, but oh, typical. <laughs> Did we expect any less from me? <laughs> Let's be honest. Wait, what was the other thing? Okay, speed grow. So we've done, oh, it's the rain totem. The rain totem, we need hardwood and truffle oil. And I think I have both now. So um, let's grab that. Also pine tar. Maybe I needed a pine tar for that too, right? Yeah, it's because I needed five pine tar for it. How many do I have? I have four. Okay, real good. That's fine. So today we should be able to do that. I'm going to put the oil and garlic away though. I don't really need it. And then we'll maybe go and see an early morning movie with the dwarf. Can I have two tickets, please? And then we'll take the... Wait, what time do they... Are they even open yet? Can we go in yet? Okay, they open at nine. That's fine. I can still go give him the ticket. Put some free trash corn. I hope it's not like half run. That'd be gross. Please come to the cinema with me. Yay. Also talk because obviously it's still extra points, isn't it? And then I guess we just wander over and chill there. Maybe we also go say hi to Leo. Where is Leo today? 
Leo's still in the treehouse because obviously it's pouring with rain. Good morning, Leo. And I'm literally making it down here in pretty much perfect time for when they open. Hello. Yes, I would like to use my ticket to see a movie with the door. <gasps> the crane game's open. Have a look. Immediate distraction. <laughs> I want all the Junimo plushies. No, I missed. Okay, I need to like relearn how this works. Or just like the timings, I mean. Maybe like here. Oh, that's kind of off to the side, but probably gonna drop. Do not drop it. Yes, it fell in. It's fine. Everything's fine. I don't want more than one of the Junimo plushies, I don't think, but I am gonna see if there's anything in this bush. Sometimes there are things hidden in the bushes. Sorry, dwarf, I, I won't be a minute. <laughs> I'll probably be more like 20. I want these trees though, for sure. That's nowhere near the middle. I have such bad aim. Mind you, it's still gonna work. Give me the other one. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Look at that perfect catch. Not even a little bit of wonk. Thank you very much. Um, do I want the little bunny plushy stuff? I don't know. I don't even know if I want the house plant. So I might just like, if I leave on that one and refresh it and see what we can get. I forget that you can refresh it and get like completely different items. Yes, more Juno plushes. Must, 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 must. You get this yellow one? Probably. Yes. I need to get the giant one. I've never got it before. I probably should have waited where I was as well because of the timer. That's fine. Oh, I want to get this big purple flower. That's cute too. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it. No, I'm not. Oh, that's pretty perfect. <laughs> Proud of myself for that one. We do have the movie poster there, but I care about the flower more in this particular instance. Oh, wait a second. I guess we're going to end up with a yellow plush. Whoops. Or well, probably not even. I don't think it's going to hang for that long. Damn it. I really wanted the flower. Oh, well. All right. One more attempt to see if it'll get in here. I'm not going to play them if they don't have the pieces of furniture that I want. Oh, the pink plush. I don't have that. I'm going to try my luck with going over here. Oh no, what am I doing? That's nowhere near. Oh, eh. I mean, it's going to get it closer, right? I just go for the... Oh no, that's going to be really easy now. There we go. There's no chance that we don't pick this up. What? Is it just like not reachable there? I guess not. Okay. Sad. Gutted. My dreams have been destroyed. I'll just wait for this one. It's fine. You're replaceable. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work. Do not drop before. Oh my god, it just bounced in. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. Should I just be satisfied with the four Juno Mid plushes? I kind of want that flower though. Okay, one more, I promise. <laughs> just one more. And do not- Oh, the flower! Don't worry, I'm not like this on real life crane games. I, I literally don't play them in real life. In real life, it's like, it's frustrating when you can see how rigged they are, but this is entirely skill-based. Yes! Okay, this, this must be it, right? I mean, we've got two more chances on just the flower this time, so that's okay. If it drops on that convert- Oh no, it's really near that pink Junimo plush. We can do this. It's gonna be fine. We can do this. I'm gonna wait a second for it to just kind of go round a little more. Do not pick the plot. Damn it! All right, I'm giving up on the flower. <laughs> I'm giving up. It's not meant to be. I can't leave the dwarf just standing here. Let's get the dwarf some rock candy and we'll go in. Oh, there's actually other people here today. It's just Lewis. He better not be spying. I can't remember what film we saw last time. Oh, it was the brave little sapling. Okay, I'm just gonna <laughs> skip over this. We've, we've been through this before. There we go, movie over. How are we doing with the friendship? Does it take effect already? I don't know. He was completely at the bottom before and now he's not. So I assume, yes, look at that. Eight and a half hearts. Do you enjoy that? I talk to you. I can't talk to you, damn it. Okay, he just wants to like leave. Oh no, just wanted to get into a spot. <laughs> I will happily take you to your weekly flashing lights. How adorable. But now I'm just going to stick the Junimo plushes in this chest here because I have plans to make a section of this episode that is purely decoration. And then I'm going to go check on the machines real quick. By machines, I mean tappers. And yes, they are ready. It is time. Time to complete the crafting. So I think we just needed... Please tell me. I... Oh my god, do I not have any clams? Disaster. I'm sure I've got some in the fridge, right? I, I better do. I do. Everything's fine. It's all going to be okay. There's the speed grow. And then I just need some hardwood and this should be it yes craft master we did it so now the only thing i'm gonna do is actually just literally sleep all the way through till sunday and then we've got a new gifting week going i think i'm just gonna keep some gems on me instead of in the ones from the chest so i'll just take like i don't even need that many i don't think are you enjoying married life willow uh i mean you've literally just stayed in the house the whole time I know you are, but that's maybe because I... You've just kind of lost yourself a bit here, really. Okay, on to the sleeping. I'll see you on Sunday. Okay, new gifting week. Ooh, what's in our mail? Got some sashimi from Linus, which I'm just going to ship. A bomb from Kent, which I'm probably just going to ship. Actually, no, I'll take it with. Oh no, I missed the egg festival. Whoops. Oh well. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've ever accidentally missed an egg festival, like, ever in the history of me playing this game. That's so funny. Whoopsie. <laughs> Just trying to make these friends is exhausting, okay? 
I've taken the entire stack of amethyst with me because it's kind of annoying when they go back in the chest when you obviously add to the same stacks and I do need to put stuff away every now and again so um who are we going to first probably Leo where's Leo Leo's down there okay we're gonna catch him because the dwarf doesn't move and Leo is absolutely on the run right now good morning you're a fun and nerdy one the island will be your home too is that where you're headed today it's nice to be able to come back and visit wait is it are you saying that as if you're already there anyway here's here's the here's the mango wait gah. there you go <laughs> and i think we're officially nine hearts now oh half a heart to go okay one more gift and a talk should do it i would think especially with an iridium quality mango <gasps> cutscene look at leo completely settling into the new life here he is learning stuff learning how to fish oh bless him got one lad now this is a little creepy are you just watching her from a bush <laughs> He's got more like valley bird friends, not just parrot. Ah, that was a great day. You know, I still miss my family back on the island, but mostly I feel happy about the memories, not sad. You can go there whenever you want. And I really feel like I belong here. Good for you, Leo. I just realized he's looking out the window there. I mean, I suppose it's a tree, so maybe it sees a bit higher, but isn't there just a cliff behind him? <laughs> it's a beautiful world, friends, as he says, staring at a wall of rock. <laughs> and I'm glad to be a part of it. Bless him. Next up, dwarf. Have an amethyst? Hey, I really love this stuff. You can find great things in the mines. I did find it in the mines. One day you'll have to tell me about this beverage you call milk. I wish milk was like either a loved or hated gift. So like, it, it would have been really cool if there was dialogue of the dwarf trying the milk. Almost nine hearts. Now let's see where we are with the animal machines as well. I think I needed to smelt some coal. Actually, I'll use the mine carts to get to the quarry because why would I walk? So how are we doing all wise? Oh, we have 99 copper, so I can smelt some more. Oh, and I've got, wait, I've got so much of it. Okay, I'm just going to bring it with me. I'll just wait for this. So what am I, what is it that I'm missing? Um, oh, I think it was the hardwood, you know. We have hardwood now. I'm just waiting for the copper to smell and then we will head back. Spilt my coffee down my face, don't mind me. Artifact spot. It doesn't matter how far into the game I am, I cannot resist an artifact spot. <laughs> So I think I need wood, I'll get the stone out, some hardwood, and then I'm going to just double check the shed and see where we're at with it. This is the wrong one. Do I need to upgrade that one? I think I do, you know. Okay, we still had looms to make, but I don't know if we're going to do them. I might just do one more because I don't find myself usually making loads of wood. So I need seven mayo beans. I still need loads of cheese machines, so I'm not going to count it. One loom. And I think I have the stuff for the loom now. I'm pretty sure one of the things that we were struggling with was the fact that it needed pine tar. Well, I do have a few more. I don't think I'm going to have enough to fill the shed with. And I'm actually going to leave that other shed small because I have plans for it. It needs a much smaller, like, more cozy vibe. Now we also need fibre for the loom. I've literally used up all the hardwood. I can only make seven cheese machines, so this is going to be a problem. I might just have to spend the rest of this day in the mines again. Oh wait, I've got all these trees, never mind. I'm going to use my axe though. Alright, so how much hardwood do I have now? I have 150, so let's see how many this can make. I guess it's another 15, right? Where is the cheese machine? There. Okay, 12. Oh, it's the stone I'm missing out on now, but I am definitely going to have to replant these mahogany trees. And maybe I should also go back home and see if I can pick up some fertilizer too. Now I know to leave a line in the middle for the NPCs to not destroy. We've learned that lesson. Oh my god, I'm going to be out of stone. I'm going to have to just go buy some from Robin, I think. 100%, even though it's really expensive, but it feels weird running out of stone. <laughs> not gonna lie. Hi oh, Robin. I did have a nice walk, but I need um, a load of stone. Right, hopefully that'll do and I'll just come back and get some more later. I've got almost three stacks. Uh, let's have a look. So we made another three more machines. We've got 22. Let's see how that does in the shed and see how much more we have to make. So we'll get these female counted right. We'll get these seven up here. That is perfect. Our other loom and then we'll fill in our cheese machines. I think I am actually going to sit here and count. So we need, I think we need 24. And then I'm going to have to get some fiber out anyway to make some tree fertilizer too. And that's fine because should be by the time we get perfection that we can all these done because when you fertilize them obviously they do about a growth stage a day or so I think it is something like that so it's much quicker than waiting for them to just randomly grow and obviously we will go ahead and get the stuff from the secret woods too we might as well not miss out on the slight bit of extra hardwood I really need to sort this out do I just go and upgrade my axe I probably should right I mean it's only to steal it's too late today maybe we'll do it tomorrow and that's fine because obviously after tomorrow I'm probably gonna sleep through till the next Sunday anyway our wine is also done, so I'm just going to leave that be for the day and we can probably sleep from here. Am I going to get 240 hardwood? Um, you know what? 
I know what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna go and grind for the rest of the day in the mines for more hardwood. Because we did get quite a lot of it last time. But one of the days that we're actually awake, we should probably make the most of it. The reason I'm doing this and not just waiting out the trees is because there is no way I'm gonna get 240 hardwood from those trees that we have. So I might as well get as much as I can from in here. I can't help but pick up the radioactive although I feel like it would be rude not to. What I probably should have done is brought some of the food with me. I mean, I suppose I can eat the truffle. Definitely just gonna have to eat one of these mangoes, I think. There we go. Oh my god, that gives you so much health and energy. Okay, they're, they're pretty good foods. Like, I don't think I'm gonna need three for Leo. Literally got half a heart to go. Okay, so it looks like we're passing out with just about- Oh no, half the hardwood we need. No, it landed over there! How annoying! An entire tree! Okay, oh well. <laughs> we tried. So with that, we have made another 13 cheese presses. So that leaves us with... Oh no, we've got 14 in total, so we've got 10 left. I will go ahead and place them real quick. I hope I've counted correctly anyway. I mean, I can always recount whilst I'm in here, right? I think it's going to be more than 10, you know? <laughs> Something tells me it's going to be more than 10. I cannot count. Okay, so that's 10, so it's 17. This means I need another 170 hardwood. I suppose we should probably go ahead and get the daily stumps whilst we're awake. And we'll also get the secret woods as well. Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to go and give my axe into Clint, right? I still have enough iron, so we're all good there. Some of these trees have grown, but I might as well just wait for the rest of them at this point. So 26, enough for two more. I think I'm just going to wait though. There's no point in me doing it right now. And then from here, actually, I'm going to walk to Clint. So let's go and give our axe in. And then we'll go and deal with all of our gifts for the week. For the day. For the second time of the week. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm hoping after today, we literally just have the dwarf to go. I think Clint should be still here. I just realized I was worried about the fact that Clint was closed, but... I literally have the key to the town. I could have just come in here. Although he might have been at the saloon at that point. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, Steel X, please get to it. <laughs> I need it. A little bit of bonus hardwood there too. Probably not even going to need it by the time I get the X pack, but that's okay. This is for you, dwarf. Have a quick chat. You got all this stuff from the surface. So you just take it from your people during the night. Well, that's a bit mean. Maybe that's where my furniture table went. <laughs> Where's Leo today? Leo's on the island. That's okay, because we can just use the obelisk for that. Let's see if this is going to be it for Leo. We'll talk first. Nice to see you back on the island, just like old times. This is fun. Oh, bless him. You know, I was scared when you first arrived. I knew my life was about to change. God, how? You have some sort of powers. Anyway, have a mango. <gasps> yes, it's full. Nice. One more to go. There's just the dwarf. I'm just going to remove it from my list because I do know that that is literally all I have to do. And then it's time to go back to sleep, I think. I will see you all again on Sunday. Oh, wait, I need to make sure that Christoph's friendship is all the way up. Okay, we're all good. Everything's fine. Have an amethyst. <laughs> I feel like half the time when I'm doing perfection, the friendship that I have like messed up on is the marriage one. It's like I let it decay because that is the only one that doesn't stay full when you've reached the max hearts. I realise I could have been sleeping whilst saying that, but my brain forgot how to multitask. All right, one more day. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go gift the dwarf today and tomorrow and then we will see how close the friendship is. I suppose I could just take him to the cinema anyway. Go get a ticket. Why not? Let's just do it anyway. We might as well. Or do we save it for a rainy day like we had been? Actually, let's go check on the hardwood because then we can at least wait for the movie theatre to open. Oh, I need my axe because not all of them are grown. Let's go get that. Beauty about being out this early is no one's around to see us blink. Hi Clint, can I have my axe please? Thank you very much. I know it's a very early morning, but I need it for stuff. All right, let's get all of these chopped down. Whilst I was over there, I probably should have gone and picked up the movie theatre ticket, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll just use the minecart later. Okay, 189 hardwood, so that should be enough. There we go, we made 17 and we've got a little bit to spare. That's a win. Get all of these down and then we can call this project done. Oh no, we need one more, that's okay. I miscounted. I was going to do that somewhere along the way, but hey, the entire thing is complete. I'm not going to set any off because I don't really need it, but um, I just thought it would be nice to have, you know? Let's uh, put away all of our materials because I don't need to bring them with me anymore. And then we're going to get that ticket for the dwarf. Oops, I need those amethysts. I don't need the mangoes though, I can put those away. I don't like carrying loads of stuff on me anymore, I don't know why. I like carrying it with me if it's loot that I just got, but then I like immediately putting it away when I get home. Got another bomb from Kent in the mail. Oh, another amethyst. We have some omelette. What else is in here? Cookies. And that's it. I think I'm just going to put all the food in this food chest here. Okay, let's go get that cinema ticket. Two tickets, please. And then... <clears throat> oh my god, what happened to my voice? <laughs> let's go speak to the dwarf. Uh, over to the mines. Have your amethyst. We'll have a quick chat. Actually, where are we before we even go in? I mean, technically a gift tomorrow will do it, but this is going to do it faster. We'll see if there's anything new in the crane game today as well. Nope, it's going to be the same film at least, but let's have a look over here. Wait, Gump is at the cinema? Who's man in the counter? 
Don't they have a twin? Okay, no, I think it's just gonna basically be the same stuff. Should I try it again for the flower? It is a different day, right? I, I think I think we can justify it. It might take a few rolls for me to have it show up at all. Or is it only on that specific day? I don't know. I don't know how this works. But so far, I'm not having any luck. And I think I re-rolled it like five or six. Oh, no, flower, there we go. We can do this, we can do this, I believe in us. I just gotta time it right. <gasps> okay, we've at least kind of pinched it. Do not drop right in front of another thing. Okay, that's, okay, that's better, that's better. Last time it was just because it was so close to another, oh no, it's actually kind of close again. I'm just gonna wait for it to come all the way back around. Oh no, I forgot to, I did it way too late. Oh no, we, we just about, I think we, we might manage this, you know. Come on, give me that flower, I need it. Thank you. <laughs> Um, I suppose I might as well pick something else up. Maybe we'll pick up one of the plants over here. Oh no, not that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. Oh, well, it's not going to work, but we're going to drop it for sure. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. It is what it is. I I'm satisfied. I got the flower. <laughs> oh, it's a seasonal plant, so it's going to change. Okay. Well, it's all good. Oh, let's not forget the snack. We know that the dwarf loves rock candy. It's not magic, but it's still a good rock candy. I've never actually had rock candy in real life. I kind of want to try it. Let's watch this movie again. I wonder if the dwarf knows that we're watching the same one, but I guess like he's not gonna care when it's just about the lights, you know. If I talk to you now, I think I have to wait for you to stand in a specific spot, right? Lewis is here again? How weird. I wonder if it's to do with the time. <gasps> we're full. We've done it. Oh my god. Run. Run. Uh let's take the minecart. Actually, you know what? No one's around. Let's just teleport. No one can see. I feel like I should pick up all these truffles because there's so many of them. Like literally so many. I'm gonna shove this plant here for now because I kind of want to see what it's doing. I guess it's purple in spring. I'm curious to see what it does in summer. And I'm gonna put my amethysts away too because I don't need them anymore. All right, moment of truth. We wet. We wet. <laughs> Who are we not friends with? Hello? Uh, What's the problem here? Can I just try and... Okay, I'm gonna go and give a gift to Kristoff and maybe that might fix it? Question mark. Uh, kind of worried now. <laughs> Hey Kristoff, do you want to do you want an amethyst? Is is that what the issue is? I haven't given you enough gems this week. We're gonna teleport to Island West because obviously no one's really around there. <laughs> what about now? Is it because it's not even night? Okay, let me look on the Stardew checkup. Need two more. I do have two more. They're all full. <laughs> Maybe I just have to sleep. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep on the island today because it kind of makes sense to it. I feel like is it because it's not even night? I'm so confused. <laughs> right, we're gonna check again. What? Is there a place that, like an easy place that I can see who, who's the problem here? Who is it? Because everyone is full. Uh, right, so according to the Stardew checkup, you can see here it does say I have everyone at 100%. Maybe I just needed to reboot my game. Uh, let's, let's see, let's see what happens. Okay, well, I rebooted my game. We saw in the Stardew checkup, it said 100%. I should have perfection. <laughs> Question mark. Still says 97. Am I going to have to edit the save file? I was not expecting to run into this roadblock. So I need to find in the save file where it says this. Okay, so I had to install some stuff to be able to make the save file a bit easier to navigate. It's a lot easier to read when it's not just in notepad and one long text string. <laughs> so uh, we're going to do it this way. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to search for an NPC's name and uh, see if we can find like all the friendship related stuff. And I'm literally just scrolling through all of the friendships to see if anything is particularly amiss. Or if there's like a name in here that we don't even know. So far so good. I mean henchman isn't really meant to be a friend, right? So that doesn't really count. Wait, unless the henchman- are we supposed to be able to friend the henchman in this? What if I just delete him? Because it's it's got some like friendship data here and he's the only one in here that doesn't have info. So I'm wondering if it thinks the henchman is a friend. I don't really want to delete them as an NPC necessarily. Because on the tutorial that I'm reading, which is just on the wiki about NPCs, it says you can remove it, but I don't, I don't really want to do that. Maybe I might have to. Should I just delete him and see if that works? I've got a backup, so like, if I break something, I can just revert it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? <laughs> I'm curious now, if I go into another save that I don't have Zuzu installed on, I'm gonna have a look real quick, hang on. All right, so I'm gonna scroll through on here. This is the thief run playthrough. You can see a lot of people have negative friendship points, except for like Linus and stuff. But I want to see if the henchman comes up on here at all. And if he doesn't, then I think I did the right thing. So for, oh no, the dwarf is there. Uh, well, let's see what happens. The dwarf, I meant the henchman. You know what I, you know what I meant. I was not expecting this to turn into a troubleshooting episode. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you've had this before, by the way. We'll see if deleting the henchman has done anything. What I should have done is search for Bill, because I do remember in the beginning of the series, I um I had Bill come up as a birthday, and then like I didn't know where he was, so I don't know if they've removed him as a giftable NPC. I know you can't gift him anymore. Let's just see. 
If not, what I might have to do is just run around and give a gift to everyone and see if it fixes it. I'm not gonna lie, it did feel wrong deleting the henchman considering I turned into the henchman for a little. Why did I zoom out? What am I doing? It still says 97. Who? What? Uh. Okay, well, that was the wrong thing. Okay, well, Bill doesn't come up as like a giftable person. I'm so confused. So that is the other thing is I know that the Stardew checkup thing said only the base game NPCs, but just scrolling through one last time to see if anyone has anything missed. I'm wondering if there's a character I've not met yet, but then it would be ze it would come up as zero, right? Like it I'm going back through uh, the friendships again, looking for anyone who has like zero friendship points. I have a feeling there's someone in here that's like from the Zuzu City mod that maybe we haven't met yet somehow. Although it would come up with question marks, right? But then Pickle Pete didn't show up until like a lot later. So check in the Zuzu's wiki, there aren't any other NPCs on here, I've got them all. Okay, I'm gonna try some stuff in Smappy and see if uh, that does anything. Just scroll- okay, Bill was the problem. Bill was the problem. So um, they, they weren't coming up as a friendable NPC on here. You can't actually gift him anything and it's even in the wiki that you can't do that. So you literally can't befriend this guy, but I needed friendship with him to get perfection. So um, if you're playing modder down here and you're stuck at this exact point, all I've done here is I've gone into Smappy, put debug friend all, and I think we should be good now. I had a feeling it was Bill. There we go. There's 100%. <laughs> That's literally all it was. It was Bill and Bill is like a 10 heart person. Like he doesn't have any heart events or anything. I remember him coming up with a birthday at the beginning and then I couldn't gift him anything later on. So that's literally all it was. So um, let's get some sleep. Actually, we should probably sleep in our own house for this. Oh my God, after all that. That was a bit of a nightmare. I don't know why I didn't just think of Smappy to begin with, but I kind of wanted to go into the save file and have a look at like what I could possibly have missed and then, you know, obviously get it if I need to. Crystal, why have you put a random table in the kids room? That's very confusing. All right. Very, very early night or early morning. Sleeping through till tomorrow. We need the rest after all of that. There we go. <laughs> We've done it. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it feels a bit bittersweet now with how we just had to get it. But you know what? We did it. I count it as we did it because, um, yeah, even, even on the Zuzu wiki, you can't gift the guy. <laughs> you can't befriend him. Let's get up to the summit. It has been one heck of a road to get here. Like we literally started this series. It was either in January, it must've been January. Yeah, January of 2022. So it's been over a year and we're not ending like right on the end of perfection. There's still some little things that I wanna do. You'll see what they are after this. But here's Christoph at the summit. What's he got to say? Damn, the summit is ugly and not expanded. Hey Willow, great view, huh? I mean, for sure. I was just thinking about the last three years. Willow's been thinking about them too, and um, even after all this time, Kristoff still isn't quite the same as he used to be. We've been through a lot together, haven't we? Oh, Kristoff, if you only knew. Look how far we've come. Oh, no. Almost every time I do a modded perfection, this happens. Why? <laughs> this is the third time I've had this happen. Uh, yes, Kristoff, dialogue to you too. Oh. Okay. Wow, such words. <laughs> oh man. It's fine. Everything's fine. He hasn't even got anything that exciting to say even when I've done all of this for the farm. Definitely weird listening to this, or I should say not listening to this. I haven't got the music on. You guys will be hearing the music. I don't hear the music, but you know what? We're just gonna enjoy the credits. Is Bill gonna appear in this lineup? Yes, he does. Oh, he's tall. He's so tall. Hello, trash bear. On the lookout if there's any other random modded items in here or beings. <laughs> so far just the NPC but I'm waiting for the fish to come up. I still can't get over what they did to the poor eel in this cutscene. <laughs> oh eel. Like even the lava eel looks a little bit better. There's a bit of definition between the head and the body there. <laughs> oh it's amazing. Oh the Zuzu carp. No it's like blanked out. Oh it's invisible. Poor thing. Zuzu carp doesn't get proper credits. <laughs> it's okay. We appreciate the Zuzu carp. We have a Zuzu carp just sitting in a chest. I still can't get over what the squid kid's doing here. What is that? <laughs> and I always forget that the spike is an actual monster. Not that you can kill it, but you know. Let's see what Grandpa and Mr. Key have to say. What a journey it's been, hey? And not even just like, oh God, don't, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I just completely missed all the dialogue because <laughs> I was thinking about everything since it started. Since the start of the series, I've kind of gone from not being really sure what our lives are doing to legally homeless in a caravan in the middle of winter to moving into a really lovely apartment in a nice city getting married having an amazing honeymoon getting our cats 
starting to do YouTube full time, like the way that things have turned around since I've started this series is absolutely wild. And a lot of it is also thanks to all of you guys. So thank you so much for coming on this journey with me throughout the entire thing. And especially if you've been here since the beginning or if you've been binging the episodes, I mean, I'm sure you're going to have seen like how much things have changed since then. But yeah, we still have stuff to do. So we need to get off this ugly summit. Willow being on that summit has had a little bit of a realisation when they look back on the last three years. Like she said up there, things just haven't really been the same as they were before the whole memory wipe thing. And th things just don't really feel right. So um, we're gonna, we're gonna divorce him. Whilst we're doing that, Willow's gonna get something else because really this entire time there's something else that just feels right, you know? Now I'm thinking some of you might be able to guess what I'm about to- I mean, I've got a bouquet on me, right? So so that, that much is kind of obvious, but um, the who part? This is assuming I can find the person. I haven't got a clue where they're gonna be. I might have to wait until later. <laughs> later in this game- Gwen, I have something for you. Will you accept this from me? <gasps> she has! And you know what? Let's also give her a little gift, because we know she loves blackberries, and iridium quality blackberries are a good way forward. I didn't know you felt the same after all this time. <laughs> The fresh blossoms are nice today, aren't they? The cycle of life and death is a staple of poetry. Ooh, that was dark. But, um, yeah, I mean, I definitely had some comments, uh, through the series kind of saying, oh, I think it should be Gwen, you know? And, um, in my thought of the story, this was always going to happen. It was just a matter of when. And I wanted to, like, wait perfection out because I feel like, you know, for Willow, it's being on that summit, looking back on everything, having that realisation of things really aren't what they were before. Oh, we've got the flower dance tomorrow, but Gwen's not going to be there. That's sad. Never mind. We're just gonna have to obviously like, you know, gift her and stuff and get her up to 10 hearts because I would like to view if she's got all the heart events. So let's get some sleep. Hang on a minute. Oh, I thought I saw him still here then. I just got really confused. Okay, yeah, the spouse room is gone. <laughs> that was gonna be really funny. I just woke up after divorcing him and he's like, I'm not leaving. <laughs> Obviously, we can't do the cinema till Sunday because that's the last time we went. Actually, where are we with the hearts now? Because I know that doing the bouquet actually adds some as well. Oh, we're almost there. Okay, well, maybe this gift is going to do it anyway. Maybe we don't have to go to the movie. Good morning, Gwen. I've brought you breakfast in bed. It is for you. Oh, we're full. That was so, so, so fast. Although she still pretends she doesn't see me and stuff. So let's see what happens, you know, a little later on with that. I don't think she has all the heart events yet though, so I'm not entirely sure. She might she might not show anything, but we will soon find out. We just for now want to correct our little household situation, you know? And do you know what? Before we go to bed, I do need to pick up another furniture table because obviously we lost the last one. Oh, it's the flower dance today. Damn it. <laughs> I guess we're sleeping. We are skipping the flower dance this year. Good morning, Gwen. I brought you breakfast in bed. Damn it, I've already given you two this week. I think she's sick of blackberries for now, but I do have another gift that maybe you might want a little bit more. You'll accept? Three days for a big day. Just doing the things that feel right, you know? Oh, we have another cutscene with Maru. Hello, hi, come in. I was kind of just here to get the furniture table, but um, I guess I'll come and say hello to you. I've been working on a new project, something big. This is just one component. Let me show you a little demonstration. Just put your hand here. I'm gonna regret this. Now I'm gonna flip this switch. And electric you. <laughs> oh, Willow. Oh my God, are you all right? Now, technically I could heal myself, but I have to pretend that I can't. Here, let me apply this burn cream. I'm so sorry. It's okay, it doesn't even hurt. Oh no? Well, that makes me feel a little better. Thanks. I kind of ruined the moment, huh? I mean, it's all in the testing, you know? I still kind of want to know what it does. Anyway, we're gonna go get the furniture catalog. There we go, that's sorted. And now we wait for the wedding. This should be the one. When? Well, Is she left me at the altar? I mean, you can see her little shadow. <laughs> She's there. Just invisible. Oh, poor Gwen. Well, I'm gonna be as much a part of the community as any, like like last time. It is my great honour on this 28th of spring to unite Willow and Gwen in the bonds of marriage. Oh god, it's gonna look so awkward, isn't it? Well, let's get right to it. Willow, Gwen, as the mayor of Pelican Town and the regional bearer of the matrimonial seal, I now pronounce you wife and- wait, husband? I mean, the wiki definitely says she's female. I think there's a little, uh, little error there, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. You may kiss. Now this. Looks awkward. <laughs> Man, this isn't going to plan. It's okay. I hope she's not invisible at home though. <laughs> Future definitely looks bright after that though. Even if it wasn't quite what we expected. Is she? Wait, is that what she's wearing? Okay, adorable. Is that what her wedding outfit was? Hi Gwen. The wedding was wonderful, wasn't it dear? Well, we can't forget about the farm. Time to get to work. Have a blackberry. 
At least we can give her one every day now. Let's go ahead and check our mail. We just got 500 gold. That is fine. And yeah, I don't think that there's going to be any actual heart events. I will be gifting her each day that I have to, or not have to, like each day that I wake up. Uh, but the next thing I would like to do, so... Now that Willow feels like she has her life a little bit together again and things just kind of feel a lot more right and less empty. Actually, before we do anything, we're going to go and look at... <gasps> look at her spouse room. It's so cool. It's even brought a games console. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. It is a good little vibe. Yeah, so can we move this by the way? Okay, we'll move it later. Now that Willow is having a bit more of a pressure feeling start, she's going to do a little bit of redecorating here and there and that's going to involve like the house... Some of the farm, perhaps. I think the farm's pretty well decorated, though. We just need to finish off some things. We're going to decorate out this empty shed here, which I'm going to leave as small because I feel like it's going to look better as a small, cozy place. And then I have a surprise at the end, assuming I can get it working. Life with Gwen has also made Wallow feel a little bit more confident, and now she feels like she can be herself again and just kind of, you know, openly use magic. I mean, she feels like she's proven herself to the community that she's not a threat in any way, and, um, I mean, they do live with a wizard here, even if people do think... He's a little strange or whatever, but um, I think it's safe now, you know? So we are going to, okay, let's pick up all the truffles first because we're on the 28th and I think it'll be a waste. Oh, I should have picked up some seeds whilst I was there too, but that's fine. I'll just go back in a second and I'm going to switch out my spells to make my life a little bit easier with this stuff. So um, let's go back to having, we've got the, no, we don't have the till spell. So we're going to put that back. We can go ahead and remove some of them. Or at least make them lower quality. So like this, we can... Why don't I remove the points again? I forgot. Okay, it's just a case of right click. I can only get both of these to silver, but that's okay. And then we'll go ahead. We've popped on home. We will start the decoration for the first of summer. Let's get some sleep. Can't do anything without giving Gwen a morning gift. Summer sucks, but it sucks less around you. Oh, I mean, I agree. I'm, I'm not much of a summer person either. Like the sun looks nice, but I get too hot too easily. It's just no, just a massive no from me. And yeah, I guess uh, nothing more to do than to get right to it. So um, let's make this a time lapse.
Okay, so, so far you can see that I have very, well, I was going to say very nicely decorated the house, but I think very nicely is a stretch. I've decorated the house. It's less empty. And, um, I have a little surprise. So I'm hoping if I come outside, there might be a male here. Yes, there is. Okay. So listen to this. Dear Willow, after a significant delay, the renovation on your Zuzu apartment number 1D has been completed. If you remember some time ago, we spent some money on upgrading the apartment and nothing happened. We apologise sincerely for it taking such a long time. Getting a permit proved to be very problematic. Please accept this partial refund as compensation. So he's given us back 5,000 gold. P.S. For reasons outside of our control, the plumbing in your kitchen is still not functional and your complimentary bed is fixed to the floor. Take care now, bye bye then. So, um, yeah. A very kind person, Chimpdi, who you may have seen in the comments in one of the previous episodes, has kindly created a fix. Now, he did this for his other half, who was also playing with the Zuzu City mod and wanted to be able to decorate the apartment. And he's very kindly shared the fix with me, so I'm hoping we might be able to decorate the apartment now. Let's go test it out. So I'm just going to teleport straight there, because as we said, we're okay with using our magic now. Let's have a look. There we go. So it's looking significantly different to what it looked like before. Here's the kitchen. It's completely non-functional still. Other than the stool, you can sit on the stool. And then if I go to the bedroom, you can sleep in the bed, but you can't move the bed, which is fine. So let's get decorating. Oh, and the last thing you cannot do is you can't actually uh, redecorate any of the walls and floors here, nor can you fix stuff to the walls, but that's okay because we have plenty of furniture that we want to put on the ground. And I feel like it kind of like fits in with the apartment feel. I mean, at least for the UK, I know in the US things are a bit different, but in the UK you cannot redecorate the walls and floors of a privately rented apartment. You are just not allowed. <laughs> like I know in the US, most places are literally just like, as long as you put it back to how it was when you got here, then it's fine. But here you can't do that. Even if we do put a deposit down, but it is what it is. So for me, this kind of matches like the apartment experience that I'm used to. Okay, so there's all the decorating. Um, so with the apartment, we're gonna start in the apartment because that's where we are right now. We have a little, you know, TV sitting area and Willow doesn't really spend much time here. She just wants it to kind of be like, kind of put together again. That's for the main part of the apartment anyway, but the piece that we obviously care the most about is our little magic potion brewing room. So we've got some like bookcases up there, which like in my head are kind of like more recipes and such and maybe some spell books. We have a few items that kind of fit the bill of what's going on here and I thought it'd be nice to display some of the potions and maybe magical looking items on display. And then I've put the little Junimo plushes in here as kind of like a sort of imaginary lights and Junimos are living here and kind of helping out and they're part of the magic too, you know? The bedroom's obviously like the small room so we've just kind of made it look a bit like a bedroom like we've got the dresses here we've got some lamps to light it up a bit and then for this room i thought what would be quite good is obviously like there are some apartments that come furnished and sometimes you might not want to use the furniture there so i thought this little side room could be good for like a storage room situation so like she's moved the furniture that comes with the apartment into this room so it's kind of like out the way so that then she's decorated the rest of it sort of how she wants it you know going on to the next day to show you the farmhouse so that we have a bit of daylight. But here is Willow and Gwen's new bedroom. I thought it'd be nice to have the little crystals in here. I think that looks really cute and I like the fact that the wallpaper matches it. Now I'm not like amazing at decorating Stardew houses so like I did my best. The kids room I wasn't entirely sure how to 
decorate well. I suppose I could have got more plushies for it, but we've added some little things on the wall, some windows. There was, there was a real lack of windows in this place. And I changed the wallpaper as well, because I'm not a fan of that bright yellow. Over here, we've got like a little aquarium kind of chill room. You can just kind of sit, you know, hang out with the fishes and stuff. And then the kitchen, I liked the sort of like grey stony theme here. So I did that and then I obviously made like a massive dining table, even though we don't really get any guests. I was liking the green theme that the original house came with. So I redid all the walls in this green like wall panelling and stuff. Obviously plenty of bookcases around. I mean, I'm not personally a reader, but I feel like a witch might be. Not all of them, I suppose, but this one probably. And the bookcases do look nice. Of course, complete with a new TV sitting area. I mean, that budget TV is very, very chunky. I've then got probably one of my favorite rooms in the house, which is like this cute little garden room with a little campfire and everything. A way to bring the outside in on a like horrible day, you know? The basement, I didn't do anything with just because it's a basement and it's there to like be functional. I never even finished filling this with casks, but we never even aged any wine because the ghostberry wine doesn't age. The ghostberry wine's the most important. So now onto the farm. I repathed over this bit because it looked a bit rubbish with just the grass. Obviously a lot of the decorating we've kind of done as we've gone along and I like the way that these trees look, I just really love that item. A lot of the void space I do like filling in with long grass. And then we've got a little storage area that we've been using obviously throughout the series. I could have filled this in but I felt like it's not really part of uh, what we've done here as such, like this is just kind of the way we've used it so that's kind of how I want to keep it for the memories. We've got a mini production area over here which we, I mean we used for a while but but then we outgrew it. Also our silo and such over here. I've left the meteor here for the memories too because of what happened. Was it in the last episode? I think it was the last episode. I just realized I forgot to part something. There we go, you didn't see anything. But we've got the barn and the coop here. This is where the animals live. This is their field that they eat off of. So there will be some grass missing. I did go ahead and fill a little bit in whilst I was sorting out this pathway. We've then got our enormous oak resin farm, which we needed for all those kegs. And then down here, we've got some crop areas and such. I like the fact that we still have the stumps over here. I kind of like leaving this little bit of nature as it is, you know, how we found it. Melons, melons, and more melons. Our single solar panel. I forgot the word for it then. <laughs> Tiny not quite grown melon where I made a mistake. I don't know if anyone saw it in the time lapse where I accidentally harvested that one melon, but that's how it will stay, at least obviously until it fully grows, but it's not ready for the tour. You've gotta find perfection and imperfection, you know? We've got our not so golden clock, which I think is way cuter than the actual golden clock. And then over here in our little pond area in the Southwest, we've also got all of our obelisks, which I'm sure you remember us building. Leads back up here to the main little field that we started with. We do have another fish pond up there, but it's unoccupied at the moment. And then we have our sheds. So in our first shed, we've got all of our jam jars. Our second shed over here houses all of our kegs with all of our ghostberry wine. Our third shed over here, you just saw us today finishing off and that is our animal product shed. And the final shed over here, I spent a bit of time decorating which you would have seen. And I thought it would be nice to have like a little tea shed cozy situation. And I think it came out pretty well. I've left this hole deliberately here so that you can kind of like walk through the area. I just felt like that felt right. And then one by the entrance to be like, this is a tea room. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. What's in my mail today? I got some cloth from Emily. That was our final piece of mail. But yeah, even though Gwen isn't at 14 hearts, this is where we're going to leave it. And the reason for that is I don't think she even has the heart events yet. So it's kind of like not even going to show us anything. However, in the time from day one when she just landed after having to wipe everyone's memory, rebuilding all of those friendships, building herself a new life out here, like look what she has created. And now she gets to share all of this with the person who matters most, even if it wasn't the person that she thought it was going to be. But anyway, that is it for Willow the City Witch. I can't believe it. I'll put on the screen right now a final screenshot of the overview of our entire farm. But anyway, if you enjoyed the episode and the series, please do hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much to my channel members, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!